I am a fresh meat death row inmate. On the first day in prison, the in and out was fully booked, but as I faced the upcoming in and out meeting, I lit a stick of incense for myself. That night, the prison bully had a heart attack and died, scaring all the inmates into a state of mental breakdown. Even the warden treated me with the utmost respect. Just last week, I was just a senior student, but because I refused to sell the ancestral Fulong Mountain, I ended up with a death sentence. When I first arrived in prison, I was studying the bronze ancient books that appeared in my mind. The opportunity for a turnaround might lie within them. Suddenly, I saw half a box of cigarettes in the gap of the bedboard. A thought struck me, using cigarettes instead of incense in the Taoist ritual might just work. At that moment, the seven cellmates who smelled the smoke all looked at me. The middle-aged man closest to me grinned and walked towards me. Newcomer, you seem to have quite an addiction. Tonight, since I'm not sleepy, let's go to the toilet and chat about life. I promise you won't be bullied in prison. I ignored the middle-aged man who inserted three cigarettes into the mosquito coil ash, then respectfully bowed and watched the cigarettes burn rapidly, along with the slightly swaying bronze ancient book in my mind. I knew I had made the right bet. Seeing me ignore him, the middle-aged man slapped me. You have no respect. Looks like you're still a rookie. Today, I'll give you a lesson. As the slap came towards me, I dodged it by stepping back, then kicked the middle-aged man down, struggling to get up. He tried to use the bed rail as a weapon, only to be met with my cold gaze. Wang Dagwa, you're going to die tonight. At that moment, the prison guard in the duty room heard the commotion and came to the cell door. Wang Dagwa, do you know the identity of the newcomer? The instigator of the Yun City murder case. There will be another time in solitary confinement. Upon hearing this, Wang Dagwa stared at me in surprise. You are a suspect in the murder case. How do you know my name? I did not answer. Ignored Wang Dagwa and continued to make the bed. Wang Dagwa, who had been warned by the prison guard, felt unwilling in his heart, but dared not continue. Anyway, there will be plenty of opportunities in the future. At this moment, as I lay on the bed, all my attention was on the ancient bronze book in my mind. The recent act of burning incense really awakened the ancient bronze book. The ancient bronze book exuded in ancient vicissitudes of life, with a heavy mist shrouding the front, while the ancient patterns on the back were covered with rust. When Wang Dagwa was thrown out, the mist covering the front of the ancient book dissipated, revealing all his past from birth to the present, the biggest secret hidden in his heart, and all the things that would happen in the future were laid out in front of Zhao In that instant of awakening the ancient bronze book, I knew the name of this object, the book of life and death. All living beings in the world have life and death, and cannot escape the record of the book of life and death, but I alone cannot see my own trajectory. My past and future are all obscured, unclear. In addition, I also discovered that the book of life and death is a priceless treasure trove. Since the birth of the universe, any techniques and supernatural powers related to cultivation that have appeared, even those that have been lost in the long river of history, have been copied and reproduced by the book of life and death. Among them, a mysterious technique named the burning immortal scripture attracted my attention. The burning immortal scripture emphasizes the swallowing of all things. As long as it has energy, all material can be consumed. The densing energy in the prison has become an excellent nutrient. Unconsciously, I practiced until the late night. The bed next to me made creaking sounds. At this moment, Wang Dogwa's expression was extremely painful, breathing rapidly like a bellows, almost turning into a pig liver face. When the first light of dawn shone on his face, I realized that I had not slept all night. Instead of feeling tired, I felt unprecedentedly powerful. The six inmates heard the wake-up call and gradually got up, mechanically getting up, dressing, washing, folding the quilt into tofu blocks, waiting for the guards to inspect later. One inmate who had a decent relationship with Wang Dagwa, seeing that he was still lying motionless in bed, gently patted him, seeing that Wang Dagwa did not react. The other inmates also realized that something was wrong. Soon, the sound of wailing came from cell 56. Hearing the cries, Hu Shao Kang, who had been on duty all night, rushed in. He looked at Wang Dagwa, who had already stopped breathing, and shouted, no one is allowed to step out of the room until the investigation results are out. Soon, a prison doctor in a white coat arrived at cell 18 for a preliminary examination, indicating that it was a heart attack. The inmate's file had a record of it, but other reasons could not be ruled out. It was necessary to investigate the inmates in the cell, and further examination of the body was also required. The six cellmates watched as Wang Dogwa's body was taken away, stirring up a huge wave in their hearts. At this moment, Hu Xiaokong called another colleague to make a simple record of the seven inmates, including me. That guy is too mysterious. Like a fortune teller. I didn't think he was a fortune teller, but a demon who understood sorcery. Brother guard must transfer me away. It's really mysterious. 
not sleeping in bed even late at night, listening to the words of several inmates, Hu Xiaokang and another colleague exchanged glances, holding back the corners of their mouths that wanted to curl up subconsciously. Both of them had undergone professional training before entering prison, and they would not laugh no matter how funny it was, unless they couldn't help it. Seeing me arrive, Hu Xiaokang quickly resumed a serious tone, your cellmates all say you are a fortune teller. Did you predict Wang Dog was deaf last night? Zhao Yi, facing Hu Xiaokong's cross-examination, crossed his arms on the table and acted very plainly. What does Officer Hu think? This statement was made. Hu Xiaokong and the other colleague both stopped. Zhao Yi only came to the prison last night and had never seen the two before. And how did he know his last name? It must have been the prisoner in the cell who told. And the two could only guess in that direction. Be honest. Hu Xiaokang is also a violent temper. Slam the table hard, answer whatever you're asked. Put away those nasty little thoughts. Social scum raping and murdering criminals only. There's plenty of ways to clean you up. Zhao Yi's eyes were bright and deep, and his face was devoid of any emotions, as if he had worn Hu Xiaokang out, causing him to feel overwhelmed. The questioning that followed was very procedural, and Zhao Yi answered truthfully that he was sleeping and didn't know anything about Wang Du was deaf. After finishing the process, Zhao Yi was seized by Hu Xiaokang and returned to the cell. About to the evening, Wang Du was autopsy results came out. 100% confirmed death from heart disease, the time should be about 3 a.m. M. There is no suspicion of suicide or homicide. The grounding order for the prisoners in cell number 56 was cancelled, but they were all looking at Zhao Yi with the same uneasiness as if they were looking at Siener. When it is about to be dinner time, the prison guard on duty, Hu Xiao Kang, comes again and lets the six prisoners rush out to line up for dinner, leaving Zhao Yi alone to say something. Zhao Yi showed an expression of early anticipation and stood up to give back the vacated ground waiting until the six prisoners are far away. Hu Xiaokang took out the boxed lunch that was still hot, two meat and three veggies with a portion of rice. The New Year's Eve in the prison can't reach the standard. You seem to know that I'll come? Zhao Yi didn't answer this question, breaking open the disposable chopsticks and taking large gulps of rice into his mouth. He was really hungry. They had two meals in three days in the confinement cell, or instant noodles with no nutrition, and the transfer to the prison wasn't any better. They were under a grounding order after the death of Wang Dugua and there were certainly no kind people who arrived to bring them food. Hu Xiaokang didn't say anything else, so he quietly observed Zhao Yi eating. To tell the truth, Zhao Yi's looks and temperament really has nothing to do with the rumors of a fortune teller, except for the blue and white striped prison uniform, really is not graduated college students. When the food was almost gone, another bottle of water was handed over. Thanks. Zhao Yi gave a polite cry, took even two big sips, looked at the somewhat impatient Hu Xiaokang, and nodded as an acknowledgement. To get along in prison, you must have inside connections and easy access to the outside world. There are also cameras in the cells. All they had to do was check once and they could see that their cellmate was right, and that the talk last night had caught a fish. Looking at Zhao Yi who nodded his head in acknowledgement, Hu Xiaokang questioned, how do you prove it? It's not enough to see that Wang Dugua died of a heart attack, but I do know that you majored in Chinese medicine in college, so surely you understand the signs when a heart attack is about to happen. Looking at Hu Xiaokong who was sitting across from him, Zhao Yi knew that he wasn't idle either, and had gone to check his file during the afternoon. Hu Xiaokang, 29 years old, unmarried, but there is a talk about 6 years of girlfriend, we're talking about the marriage of the various matters, but your mother-in-law suddenly changed her mind to add another half a million dowry, or to do the dog all smack of the door son-in-law. You can't come up with that kind of money and you won't be a house son-in-law, that's why you're so angry about it every day. Originally had a belly full of words to say Hu Xiaokang, took a deep breath and swallowed it all back. Zhao Yi, who was sitting across the table, got it all right. If one can call out one surname and accurately tell the time of death of Wang Dugua, there can still be an original explanation. Then now one can speak so carefully about one's predicament. In addition to the identity of being a fortune teller, one really can't think of a second answer. Any idea why your mother-in-law suddenly changed her mind? Without giving Hu Xiaokang a chance to speak. Zhao Yi looked straight into his eyes, because your mother-in-law's relatives introduced a better blind date. The other party is a large private enterprise of a middle management, so it will suddenly change its mind and ask for another half a million dowry, as a way of wanting to dissuade you, even though your date genuinely likes you as well. The arm always goes up against the leg, and the trade-off is still family. These words are like a thunderbolt. In Hu Xiaokong's heart at first sound, he is like a mud and wood dummy. Half a day cannot say a word. Zhao Yi stood up and stretched. Gently patted Hu Xiaokang's shoulder, like a teacher who was enlightening a student. How can a big man shed tears so easily? There is still room for things to turn around. Tearful Hu Xiaokang, tilted his head and looked at the innocent Zhao Yi, full of compulsion whispered, 
believe it or not I can make you free of dowry. Mother-in-law also have to accompany to send you a car? Looking at Zhao Yi, who was wearing handcuffs and shackles and looking down at himself, who Xiao Kong subconsciously popped up. How could it be ignored that Zhao Yi raped and killed seven people? Even the old and the infirm could not be quite sure what this condemned madman would do in the end. I need to. Do what? Hu Xiao Kong's gaze contained vigilance. He wouldn't think that Zhao Yi was a kind person who would help himself for no reason. Risky things are never possible. I don't want to spend the rest of my life being a cellmate with you again. Zhao Yi laughed softly a few times, sitting on the bed and leaning against the wall, his fingers gently tapping on the mattress. What you have to do is very simple. Go over to my house when you have time and see what the situation is. If it was really the gang from a few months ago, the first thing they did after they got themselves into jail would have been to look for the deed to Voltron Mountain. The most likely place to put the land deed is definitely the home where they live all year round. If Hu Xiao Kong goes and finds it turned upside down, nine times out of ten, it's them who did it. After a long silence, Hu Xiao Kong agreed, thought he was being asked to help break out of jail, or remove the handcuffs and shackles, which would be overstepping his authority. Today he'll do it, tomorrow he'll be laid off, but just going to his house to see what condition it was in. A small thing done in passing, Hu Xiao Kan thought the deal was a good deal. Now can you tell Say how to realize what you just said? Seeing the fish bite the hook. Zhao Yi also did not ink, tonight at 10 o'clock. The good luck chess hall on Huaping Road. Let the police know. Have a surprise attack. And your problem will be solved. Finished. Over? Eh? Hu Xiao Kong's eyes were round. Always felt that it was really unreliable. But looking at Zhao Yi's certainty, he finally nodded heavily. You'd better not have lied to me or else there'll be plenty of bitterness for you to eat. After that he left. Zhao Yi looked at the fading back and left a meaningful smile. Although prisons and police stations are two systems, they share many aspects and basically know each other. Hu Xiao Kong has a good relationship with Wu team of the police. Not to mention the good luck Mahjong store is a small hadong store. Usually in and out of the middle-aged and elderly people in their 40s, send a few police officers to a surprise attack. It is a matter of words. The prisoners who had finished dinner returned one after another still keeping their distance from Zhao Yi. Zhao Yi didn't care at all. Instead he thought it was a good thing. By 6.55, six inmates had pulled small benches out from under their beds and were sitting neatly on either side of the aisle, with a 30-inch television set embedded in the wall above the cell door. Every day at 7 o'clock is the time to watch the news broadcast, and it is mandatory, must be watched every day. The prisoners also want to use this to understand the national events, the unpredictable international relations, not to be too out of touch with society. It was some pretty boring summaries, but the inmates were watching intently, and from time to time made some, rather professional sounding, suggestions. After a five minute break from watching, the wardens on duty began to call the roll one by one. Then there was a chorus of two red songs, or songs taught in prison. It was already 9.50 when it was over, and the inmates, who had been busy all day, finally had some free time to rest. The inmates could watch TV programs or read paperback books. Of course so many were published so long ago that the spines were lost somewhere. In the meantime, other side, three uniformed police officers, have come to the downstairs of the good luck mahjong parlor, looking at the time as almost, a foot kicked open the locked door, followed by a scene into the eyes, so that their vision are polluted. Wu Team who was eating outside, the cell phone placed on the table suddenly rang, clicked the speakerphone and then put it back, not the slightest avoidance of Hu Xiao Kong who was sitting across the table, how's it going, Team Wu come back here, it's a bit tricky, listening to the voice of the police officer on the other side, Team Wu hung up the phone, Xiao Kang, a piece of it to follow, after all, this raid, it was also your suggestion, halfway through the drive, they learned what had happened, in the daytime good luck to Mahjong Hall customers are a group of middle-aged and elderly people, gathered in a piece of Mahjong, to the evening or the group of middle-aged and elderly people, but play cannot be Mahjong, when the police took pictures for evidence, they didn't even have eyes to see it, and even one more look was diaphragmatic. People of all ages, from 40s and 50s to 70s and 80s, all rejuvenated and gathered for primitive sports. The two rode back to the police station together, and Hu Xiao Kong followed into the office. The computer on the desk was connected to the interrogation room's cameras and was projecting the images in real time, and he just took one look at it and couldn't move away from it at all. Crap! Groove! A plant came off. He saw a familiar figure in the crowd and it was his mother-in-law, who usually put on a show and opened her mouth to present herself as an intellectual. When Zhao Yi said this matter in the evening, he was to the whoring aspect of the association, but Hao did not think it would be the mother-in-law. Team Wu noticed that Hu Xiao Kong's face didn't look right and also came over to look at the computer, jokingly asking, there won't be any familiar faces in there, right? After getting Hu Xiao Kong's affirmative answer, 
Wu Ting's eyes all became complicated, reached out and patted his shoulder. Your mother-in-law still has some good looks, but it's no wonder that she plays with so many flowers. Six of the seven people who have already finished the trial have long-term and proper relationships with her. Hoosier. Ding, 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 ding. The cell phone in his pocket rang. Hu Xiaolong took it out and looked at it, and the memo was written in the style of the mother-in-law. Without hesitation, he hangs up and reshoves it in his pocket. From knowing that his mother-in-law was locked in, he instantly understood Zhao Yi's meaning. It was not yet time to make his debut. He had to air it out for a little while longer for the results to be more obvious. Girlfriends are good at everything, but they're too dependent on their families. The old man's work frequent business trips, six or seven months a year not at home. The mother-in-law at home is a hand. A few times to the door he cannot be less aggrieved. Now let Hu Shao Kang grab the small tail. Today must fucking let her break the tail to save her life. In the hour or so that followed, Hu Xiao Kong's cell phone rang a dozen times, with dozens of additional messages in his inbox. The content of the message has also changed from being overbearing to begging bitterly, and even through the screen, he wants to kowtow to Hu Xiao Kong. Seeing that the fire was almost ready, Hu Xiao Kong did 20 push-ups before pretending to arrive out of breath and running to the detention room where his mother-in-law was being held. Mother-in-law was so excited when she saw Hu Xiao Kong that she cried out on the spot. If things really blew up tonight, she'd jump off a building. Now Hu Xiao Kong was her last hope, and she had to clutch it tightly no matter what. When Hu Xiao Kong came out of the interrogation room, he had a spring-like smile on his face, followed by his mother-in-law who was drooping into a dog's head. As Zhao Yi said that, in addition to the waiver of the bride price of 500, 000 yuan, accompanied by a 300, 000 yuan car, the cost of the wedding banquet, the mother-in-law is also generous all-inclusive. Before he went into the interrogation room, he'd talked to Teen Wu about squashing the mother-in-law thing. After all, we'll soon become a family. The critical juncture of the mother-in-law and the old man divorced again. His wedding do not know how long to delay. Hu Xiao Kang, who came out of the police station, drove to Zhao Yi's house to take a look according to the address he said. Zhao Yi lives in the cloud city of an old neighborhood. There may have to be 40 or 50 years of history. Many facilities are very serious dilapidated. Garbage cans are piled up around the garbage but also do not see the property owners to deal with the property, now live in the inside in addition to widows and orphans, that is, just graduated from the social animal college students, a short five-story building must not have an elevator, climbing the stairs to the highest floor where Zhao Yi lived, he found that the security door was in a state of being falsely covered, walked into the house and found that the inside was turned over in a mess, even the floor tiles are pried open, the thief came to stay 200, on New Year's Day also have to send food, oil, rice and noodles, Hu Xiao Kang took his cell phone and recorded a one-minute video, and when he was on duty the next morning, he called Zhao Yi out of his cell to watch it. I know, please. Zhao Yi's reaction was calm, as if he had expected it. It was possible to confirm that the ones who had framed themselves were the ones who had been there a few months ago, but how could they have imagined that the land deed, which was so easy to lose, hadn't been kept in the house, right? Looking at Zhao Yi who was so polite, Hu Xiao Kang was a bit hesitant. After helping himself so much, it was too much to just record a video. Zhao Yi saw Hu Xiao Kong's small mind. If you're over it, please buy an incense burner with a packet of descending incense and burn three for me every day in the duty room, or else the immortal that is enshrined will be upset and prone to accidents. The main thing is that even if he doesn't say anything, after half a month the mother-in-law is going to be defeated, begging to Hu Xiao Kong to suppress the matter. Zhao Yi is equivalent to picking up the slack and making the time a little earlier. Since he was mistaken for a fortune teller, Zhao Yi was prepared to continue to utilize it to make himself inscrutable and more effective in unexpected ways. Wrap it up. Hu Xiao Kong agreed painfully to burn three joss sticks of incense in the duty room. Something that could be done casually. Last night he also asked a friend to find out more about fortune tellers, and found that it was indeed a very mysterious profession. And it was rumored that some of them would make offerings to an immortal, and that all the information they knew was what the immortal had said. The more powerful the offerings to the immortals, the more powerful the fortune teller will be. Hu Xiao Kang thought that Zhao Yi could rape and kill seven people, and could accurately predict the actions of his mother-in-law. I'm afraid that in the line of fortune tellers is also one of the best, and today's speech is paying attention to the size. Returning to his cell, Zhao Yi found that his cellmates had already gotten up and were seriously folding their quilts into tofu blocks. These were the things that had to be inspected every day, and indiscriminate use of them would be punished. Zhao Yi sighed. The last time I folded tofu blocks was freshman year military training and I've long since forgotten about it, so I casually called out to a passing cellmate, you help me fold the quilt, the cellmate who was called out, did not even dare to meet Zhao Yi's eyes, and numbly got down to work, not daring to offend at all, 
The time came between 6.50 and 7 o'clock, the prisoners came downstairs and were counted. Breakfast from 7 to 7.30. Then start peddling the sewing machine to the workshop. The first priority of a prison is not to make the inmates comfortable anyway. Hu Xiao Kang will Zhao Yi invited to the duty room. The two steeped a pot of tea to drink. At noon do not have to go to the cafeteria. Buy two staff meals on the line. The standard two meat and three vegetarian. Plus a bottle of chilled happy water. In the corner of the duty room, there was also a small table. And in addition to an incense burner with three sticks of incense, there were also apples and other tributes. Zhao Yi had gathered more dead qi in the corner. Hu Xiao Kang was curious and instantly felt the gloom when he walked over. His face turned pale in fear. Zhao Yi, who had finished his lunch, even managed to play with Hu Xiao Kang's cell phone for a while and realized that he had indeed been expelled from Yunchang University. Enter a string of numbers, log on to WeChat, and tap on the classmate group chat. Looking at the former classmates, chatting about the fall of a generation of schoolmasters, in addition to regret actually relieved. Cloud City University is the top school in Dashia, second to Qinghua Jengda, can be examined in none is the pride of the sky, from the millions of candidates killed out of the school bully, until he ran into Zhao Yi, the god of learning, the school bully was killed in pieces, making the teacher open up the privileges, at 9 o'clock in the evening, Zhao Yi went back to his cell, greeting the envious gazes of his cellmates, he practiced until it was dawn before stopping, it was the same for the next few days, the quilts were folded by the cellmates, standard neat tofu blocks, and it was more nourishing than being on the outside, but, not tomorrow, the guards on duty are transferred every half month, and Hu Xiao Kang is going to another floor tomorrow, with a new guard he's never seen before, Hu Xiao Kang said somewhat apologetically, I'll talk to the next prison guards on duty and try not to be harsh on little brother Zhao when the time comes, no harm done, Zhao Yi still looked calm, drinking the last mouthful of tea in his cup, he got up and was about to go back to his cell to rest, when he walked to the doorway, he suddenly turned back to look at Hu Xiao Kang. I can help you out once for free. Consider it as a few days of thanks to you. Hearing these words Hu Xiao Kang, his eyes became bright, thinking that these days were really not in vain. Finally licking this ancestor comfortably, waiting for the lights to go out after returning to his cell, Zhao Yi also exhaled. What calculations Hu Xiao Kang had in mind? How could he not know? But it wasn't time before. He hadn't activated his true spirit yet, and he didn't have the power to defend himself in the face of adversity. After today it will be different. After swallowing the dead chi from the prison for four days, Zhao Yi had accumulated enough essence to finally awaken the true spirit. Awakening the true spirit is a true cultivator who can fight back no matter what predicament he faces. Moreover, after consulting the handwritten notes left behind by the evil emperor, Zhao Yi knew that depending on the individual's roots and bones, as well as the gong methods he practiced, the true spirit that was awakened would be different. The gang hadn't found the deed, so they definitely couldn't give up and it probably wouldn't be long before they sent someone to invade the prison and find themselves to force them to find out exactly where it was. As Zhao Yi, who had settled down on his knees, made one obscure gesture, the deathly aura around him rolled in, and the six cellmates in the cell gradually felt that something was wrong. It's clearly July and August, the hottest time of the year, and the other day it was so hot that I had to get heatstroke, and now I have to sleep under a blanket at night. They all glanced with the afterglow to that, sitting on his knees wearing handcuffs and shackles youth. Bright moonlight through the window, shining on the left half of his childish face. Damn must reflect with the prison guards. From the day Zhao Yi came, they hadn't slept solidly, and they weren't even close to collapsing. Zhao Yi ignored the grudging gazes of his cellmates, and now his entire attention was focused on the center of his eyebrows at this moment. All of the essence that had been swallowed over the past three or four days ended up surging in the center of the brow, the location of the awakening of the true spirit, and from a distance it looked like a shrunken lake, emitting a chile, eerie black light, open, Zhao Yi, who sensed that the time was ripe, let out a low drink in his heart, and the lake in the center of his brow instantly flared up, and along with it, the temperature in the cell skyrocketed, crap, how come it suddenly, it's so hot, it must be 50 degrees, I feel like I'm going to steam, this shit prison is not squatting for a single day, who the hell teamed up with the old man, find a chance to break out of prison, the six prisoners were secretly observing Zhao Yi, but the result was that their breaths became short as they saw the youth. There was a cluster of golden flames suspended in the center of his eyebrows. Zhao Yi also opened his eyes and scrutinized the cluster of prancing and throbbing flames. True spirit? He thought darkly in his mind. In the oral tradition of the ancients, it is said that the true spirit exists in the vast universe and is a subtle substance with primitive life functions, capable of giving birth to all things, and is the origin of all things. Feeling the watery breath, the golden flames felt like an extension of the body, and could be driven at will between thoughts. 
The moment he awakened his true spirit, what the golden flame did, Zhao Yi knew very well. First of all, the skull is the most fragile position of the human body, even a little trauma in the day to day. At every turn there is a risk of becoming a vegetable, and awakening the true spirit is different. As long as the true spirit was undying, even if the physical body was destroyed, it could still survive in the form of a soul body, and then the key thing is to harden the body. That cluster of golden flames could be driven away and reach any part of the body, which then served to achieve the effect of quenching the body. Generally speaking, the cultivator's physical body is a weak point, although there are also specialized in refining the body of the gongfu aptitude. But the human energy is ultimately limited. Most of them can only make a trade-off between the two. Where there is a gain, there is a loss. Zhao Yi was different. Regardless of which part of the body the golden flame was driven to, as long as there was a sufficient supply of essence, it would automatically quench the body 24 hours a day. And as the realm grew more and more refined, the golden flames would grow stronger and stronger. Advancing from quenching a certain part to quenching the entire body, the golden flame was only the first stage of the true spirit and gradually it would diffuse into a furnace-like appearance, and only then would it show its true power. Even the first stage is also very heavenly. Although the divine silkworm Taoist could not cultivate this scripture, but also borrowed a few points from it, and created his own abridged version of the indestructible golden body, and his physical body is enough to ask for the top 10 seats in the entire universe. I don't know if it was a psychological imbalance, but the divine silkworm Taoist didn't pass on the immortal burning scripture until he died 30, 000 years later completely disappearing it into the river of history. If I were to drive and move to second brother's place and quench it for a few months, Ken Shimizu would have to be ashamed of himself. Zhao Yi stopped the bad taste, thought of the journey to the west in the Monkey King, was locked in the Taishang Bagua furnace, and finally was refined out of the fiery eyes of the golden eyes. If you follow suit, will not also have the same effect? Do it when you think of it. Thoughts move around. The cluster of golden flames then moved into the right eye. The expected pain did not come. It was more like a tourist on the verge of dying of thirst in the desert, who suddenly took a big gulp of the refreshing rain, and every cell was sending out ecstasy. How can it be painful when it is one's true spirit? The main reason was that after awakening his true spirit, Zhao Yi noticed that he had undergone a radical change. It was estimated that an ordinary punch would have whacked a hole in the cell's iron door and helped the six wailing cellmates escape. The handcuffs and shackles you're wearing are no different than toys. He even had to pull back now or it would break. Although there is no specific test on the physical body, but according to the handwritten literature to get the conclusion, unless it is to hit the fatal position of the body, or ordinary bullets are very difficult to hurt him. To be honest there weren't even many pistols in the prison. There was no need to harden the flesh for the time being, so it would be better to try the eyes and see if there would be any surprises. Zhao Yi's attention wasn't on the true spirit anymore, and was more concerned about the changes to the book of life and death in his mind after officially becoming a cultivator. The book of life and death is still in his mind, and the ancient bronze exudes vicissitudes, as if it has long existed from ancient times. After experimenting for a while, Zhao Yi withdrew with satisfaction, his eyes glancing at his six cellmates. Their information came out in full, from the previous one person at a time, to being able to access ten people at a time at the same time. The distance had also gotten a lot farther, before it needed to be within a meter. Now it was within five meters and the range could continue to increase as long as it was infused with true essence. Zhao Yi vaguely felt that viewing a person's past and future was not the full power of the book of life and death. The mythological book of life and death has the power to govern life and death. Anyone who is set to die, whether it is an emperor who ambushed a million corpses in a fit of rage, or a strange man who has been living in seclusion for many years, will not be able to escape the fate of death in the end. Right now, although Zhao Yi was unable to do so, he believed that day would not come too far. Tilting his head back and looking at the night through the window, thousands of stars were like night pearls in the canopy, glittering with brilliant silver light. There is still some time from the dawn. Zhao Yi began to practice again. The heart knows that we cannot relax vigilance. He obtained the inheritance can be practiced. The great summer must also be a lot of people in. What made him feel happy was that the speed of swallowing dead chi multiplied after the breakthrough. One hour was comparable to January in the past and it was estimated that it wouldn't be long before all the dead chi in the Cloud City prison would be reduced to the nutrients for cultivation. It wasn't until the east showed the white of a fish's belly that the unfamiliar wardens on duty blew their whistles. Six cellmates got up and washed up and went downstairs to run laps in the square before Jowie slowly and leisurely got up, but the unfamiliar on duty prison guards checked in with a brief glance and went to do other things. Ignoring the special handcuffs and shackles, Jowie seems to have become a free man, as long as not out of this building on the line and even went to the duty room to drink tea, and found that already on duty prison guards have been given to renew the incense. Funny, funny, 
Funny, after saying three times in a row, Zhao Yi went back to his cell and slept back to sleep. When it came time for lunch, the strange prison guard had brought a boxed lunch, the same standard two meat and three veggies, slowly finished eating the luxury prisoner's meal. Zhao Yi came to the duty room to drink tea. Unfamiliar on duty prison guards sit a side office. From the morning to now a sentence did not say. Just the afterglow intentionally or unintentionally glanced over. Squeak. Yikes. The door of the duty room was pushed open. Was transferred who Xiao Kong came back. But his expression was very serious. Let the colleagues in the office before going out. Not long after the back and came in a. Uh, not wearing a uniform of the pot-bellied man. Big belly looks to have 40 or 50 years old. Hair gray half of the temples. Maybe sitting in the office every day for the sake of the belly is so big that it looks like a set of swimming circles. Hu Xiao Kong stood behind Big Belly and didn't say a word. Big Belly looked at Zhao Yi whose expression did not change in the slightest, as well as the tea that was still steaming in front of him. In his heart, he believed a few more points in what Hu Xiao Kong said. Solely sat down across the table, rather than drink the hot tea. After all, it was a death row inmate who poured the tea. He didn't dare to bet on whether the other party had poisoned it or not and questioned with a smirk in the corner of his eye, do you know who I am, how dare you sit like this, Zhaoyi calmly looked at Big Belly, it's not important to know who you are, what's important is that I know what you want, Deputy Warden Li, the fact that he could still have this treatment after Hu Xiao Kong's transfer was authorized by the person in front of him, the smile in the corner of Li Buotao's eyes froze, looking at the long burning incense in the corner, you can, do it, could be, hearing this answer, Li Buotao, suppressing the ecstasy in his heart, tentatively opened his mouth and asked, what do you need me to do, getting out of prison is definitely not possible, the impact of your case is too great, the higher ups are still paying attention to it now, nothing needs to be done, Zhao Yi's words were equivalent to a tranquilizer pill, I promised Hu Xiao Kang that I would take one shot for him without compensation, all as a thank you for a few days, Hu Xiao Kang, who was standing at the back, was moved and almost cried out when he heard what Zhao Yi said, the warden of the Cloud City Prison is being transferred to the Cloud City Police Department as the chief, meaning the warden's position is vacant. Li Botao is 51 this year, and this is the last chance. Failure to make another move up the ladder would mean a gradual marginalization until retirement in the position of deputy warden. If this is just, Li Botao is not so difficult. The key is another weekday deputy warden. He did not make little trips on weekdays. The relationship between the two is very stiff. Has reached the status of one person cannot be two tigers. The other deputy warden has more seniority, 20 years of dedicated service, and has a 90% chance of being the new warden. The power struggle is fierce, and the officials are very powerful. Li Butao knows that if the other deputy warden really on the job, his good days will come to an end. I guess I cannot mix the retirement will have to get out. Hu Xiao Kang, one of the close associates he had cultivated, had told him about Zhao Yi and Wang Dugua a few days ago, but Li Butao felt that further observation was still needed. But, Hu Xiao Kang also has selfishness, after knowing that Zhao Yi had real skills, he didn't reflect on it at first, but incarnated as a ruthless licking dog and served the rightful owner for a few days, hoping that the other party would be a little bit better on their own, as a result, Zhao Yi was also very facetious, and after saying these words, Hu Xiao Kang clearly felt that Li Butao's gaze looking back at himself had invariably become much softer, Zhao Yi put down his teacup, according to the future I see, you will lose in the election, that a deputy warden won in the election, and after taking office to launch a purge on you, a few months later you because of the large amount of bribery, jangling into prison sentence to life imprisonment, what does little brother Zhao have to say, Li Botao's tone was tinged with anxiety, the conference to decide the next prison governor was about to be held the day after tomorrow, he thought he'd get the hell out of there at best, but he didn't realize that the other warden was so ruthless that he got himself a life sentence, although it is from the mouth of Zhao Yi, a nameless fortune teller, but when you think about it it makes sense, if the person who took office was himself, he certainly would not leave hidden dangers. Anyone who can make it to this position has a clean ass and can't stand up to a thorough investigation. Zhao Yi gestured to hold his horses for a moment and sipped a mouthful of tea. Although you have worked hard for many years and have enlisted some contacts, the same is true of the other deputy warden, and his resume is much better than yours. The only way to get the support of the outgoing warden, Chang Xiao, Li Buotao and Hao do not know, bitterly smiled and said, I explicitly and implicitly told Cheng Xiao, but he is not willing to participate in it. What us and the real sword to share a result? Cheng Xiao is a person with iron blood and means. The age is much smaller than him, and the background is very hard. Otherwise it will not be transferred to the police department, into the center of power in Cloud City. The future official path is straight. Nonetheless, staring straight at Li Buotao's eyes, Zhao Yi said the true meaning of it in one word. Cheng Xiao does not help on both sides. 
It's just that you guys can't get it. Let him move things just. Sitting Li Botao's heart trembled. All of a sudden his thoughts were fluttering. Looking at the youth with a full chest. His breathing became rapid. Can you take it out? Zhao Yi didn't say anything. Li Botao is also a human spirit. Nimbly stood up. Picked up the teapot on the table. And gave Zhao Yi's bottomless cup. Bending down to refill it. After talking so much. Little brother Zhao is thirsty. Right? Have a sip of tea to moisturize your throat. Behind the Hu Xiaokong face no change. The heart is like the passage of the 8th grade gale. And even feel some dream. Obviously last week is still a death row inmates. And now actually can let the deputy warden willingly pour tea. Zhao Yi did not feel the slightest bit of discomfort during the process. Knowing that the calmer he was at this time. The more inscrutable he could make people feel. It's actually quite simple. Chang Zhao's son Chang Yanqi fell out of love. Was learned to get major depression. January to several attempts to commit suicide. If not found in time. I'm afraid to white hair to send black hair. Just cure Chang Zhao's son. Here here Li Botao. Excited to stand up. He certainly knows Chang Xiao son Chang Yinchi thing. From all over the country to invite a lot of psychiatrists. Nay no progress at all. Worried Chang Xiao did not come to the prison for half a month. And daughter-in-law all day at home with his son. Does little brother Zhao know any powerful psychiatrists? Recognize. Where? Thinking about the fact that Zhao Yi was previously a student of the traditional Chinese medicine department of Yunshan University. It seemed reasonable to know a powerful psychiatrist. Far away and close. Looking at Zhao Yi who said this, Li Buotao only felt that the other party was joking with himself. A fucking fortune teller and a psychiatrist. Are the two professions even remotely related? Looking at Zhao Yi who was so sure, Li Buotao was carefully considering whether it was too much of a child's play to trust his life to a death row inmate. But, even if you can't die now, you still won't be alive when your opponent takes office. Ryoko. He took a deep breath. What do I need to do? Either choose to let me out of jail or let Chen Yinchi in. Zhao Yi shrugged helplessly. I'm just as magical as I am. But there's no way I can heal from across the sky. Li Buotao knows that the other party is not lying. Chen Yunqi into the prison is impossible. Chang Xiao is still the prison director. In the Cloud City prison has supreme power. There's only one way to get Zhao Yi out of jail. But letting a death row inmate out of prison is equally bad luck in case Zhao Yi runs away. I'm going to think about it. Li Buotao poked his temple's nose. Got up and left the duty room leaving Zhao Yi alone to drink tea. About 7.20 in the evening, when the inmates were on news time, no one noticed a police car gradually pulling away from the prison. Sitting in the back seat of the car, Zhao Yi removed the handcuffs and shackles and put on a casual dress with a white mask. There was a prison guard sitting on each side of the left and right, obviously the trained kind, with a bulging waist, and from start to finish his gaze did not move away from Zhao Yi. On the passenger side was Li Buotao, who eventually decided to take a gamble. Called on two cultivated for many years of close friends, are equipped with real guns and bullets, as long as Zhao Yi has the idea of escape. The first time to shoot. The handcuffs and shackles are definitely going. And a smartphone was given. He called Cheng Xiao in the afternoon and said that he had hired a powerful psychiatrist. And if he met and found him in handcuffs and shackles, the fun would be over. Zhao Yi didn't say a word and concentrated on looking at the scenery outside through the window of the police car. A few days ago, he was wrongfully imprisoned and a few days later he was actually released from prison, still on death row, but a big step closer to true freedom. Chang Xiao is in a high-grade neighborhood, in and out of the face recognition, security guards 24-hour patrol, delivery cannot enter, coupled with the fact that subordinates are usually not allowed to come to the door, and are usually deep and simple. Even the neighbors up and down the stairs do not know that there is such a big shot of Cloud City living in the middle. After the police car was completely out of the prison, the group switched to a commercial vehicle halfway through. This is something that Chang Xiao has instructed emphatically. To enter the neighborhood must be low profile, never drive a police car in. Two more prison guards came up in the center to prevent Zhao Yi from escaping on the way. A death row inmate who had raped and killed seven people would cause unimaginable havoc to society. Take it easy. From the beginning to the end, Zhao Yi appeared calm. Looking to Li Butao sitting in the co-pilot, give a bank card to use. Don't be so stingy. I know that the amount of your small treasury is not small. Li Buotao's face changed. Although he didn't know what kind of drugs Zhao Yi was selling, he still took out a card from his wallet and handed it to Zhao Yi. The business car gradually drove into the neighborhood, turned left and parked at the end of the building. Four loaded prison guards parked in the car. Witness Li Buotao and Zhao Yi two people took the elevator to reach Chang Zhao's floor. One staircase. Knock knock. Li Buotao knocked on the date red door somewhat nervously, bringing a death row inmate posing as a psychiatrist. Door to door to see Chang Zhao's son. If he was found out, the end would definitely be tragic. Coming, coming, coming. A plainly dressed woman jogged over and opened the door to let Li Buotao and Zhao Yi in. 
Chang Xiao had never brought his wife Deng Pan Yen to an event, so it was the first time Li Butao had seen her. Deng Pan Yen more than 40 years of age is not small. Face did not wear any high-grade cosmetics, the body did not wear jewelry. Compared to those keen to play cards of high-ranking official's wife, seems a lot of simplicity. The road is hard. I just made tea. Drink a cup to get rid of fatigue. Deng Pan Yen was very enthusiastic, but the tiredness in the corners of his eyes still indicated that he had been sleeping poorly lately. Cheng Xiao sat on the sofa and did not move. His height of 1 meter 85. Even if he was sitting, he was still very oppressive. His sight was fixed on Zhao Yi. At 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon, Li Butao gave him a phone call, saying that he knew a very powerful psychiatrist who had cured many patients, but he was going to go to a foreign country for further training next week, and he didn't know that it would be a few years before he came back again. Chang Xiao thought it would be better to rebuff at the critical moment of the campaign, but Li Butao on the phone, patting his chest that the psychiatrist, guaranteed to cure his son Chan Yunqi, or he was willing to give up the campaign. Mr. and Mrs. Chang Zhao's hearts were moved, and hope was rekindled in their hearts. But, the psychiatrist in front of me is just too young. Even with the mask on, it can be seen that it is more than 20 years old. How can such a person really be a psychiatrist? Not a student that Li Buatao casually found? Where's the patient? Zhao Yi acted professionally. I'm pressed for time. My flight is at noon tomorrow, and I need to start the treatment immediately. Chang Xiao, who heard this, finally stood up from the sofa to be half a head taller than Zhao Yi, with the dark skin, like a tower of iron questioning. Which hospital psychiatrist are you? And do you have any successful cases? Li Buatao, who was on the side, had his heart choked. He did not expect Cheng Xiao to suddenly ask a question. This was an unplanned turn of events. Zhao Yi definitely could not answer. Quan Zikin, 21 years old this year, under the tutelage of Wu Yufeng, only one year of clinical experience but never missed a beat. In the face of Cheng Zhao's questioning, Zhao Yi was very calm, I was going to go to a foreign country for further training right away, and I am not willing to temporarily treat another tricky patient, if you don't trust me because I'm young, it's just as well that I'm happy to go back to the hotel and rest, say it, turned around and was leaving without a second's hesitation, please stay, Cheng Xiao also a little flustered, did not think that this young man master Wu Yufeng, the questioning in the eyes of the whole eliminated, jogged over to stand in front of Zhao Yi, very sincere speech, just now is my wrong, Zhang said sorry, I also ask you to treat my son regardless of the past. Tang Pan Yen, who was making tea next to him, was also anxious, and if it wasn't for Li Butao, he probably would have kneeled down and begged Zhao Yi, in order to cure her son. She also knows the great name of Wu Yufeng. In the psychological field of Dashia is a godlike status, where all the clients who have been treated are amazed, but usually the gods and dragons, even billionaires are difficult to make an appointment. But the position of the warden of the prison in Cloud City is not enough to make such a big shot. Wu Yufeng's disciples were equally famous, and were held in high esteem by the great clans of the provincial city, and no one had ever dared to impersonate them. Li Buatao, who hadn't said a word in the back, looked at Zhao Yi with a completely changed look. I didn't expect Zhao Yi to actually go off the edge with his sword and actually dare to impersonate Wu Yufeng's disciple. Moreover, Zhao Yi's performance level was extremely high, and with a hesitant look on his face, he finally nodded. Where is the patient? Cheng Xiao and Deng Pan Yan showed joyful colors, our son is in that bedroom on the left, he hasn't gone out for three months, and he only eats one meal a day, he's already starving to the bone, and he'll become very irritable when he sees strangers, they tried to supplement Cheng Yunqi's information as much as possible to increase the success rate for Wu Yufeng in front of them, I know, Zhao Yi walked towards the bedroom in large strides, the corner of his mouth finally curling up as he turned his back to everyone, halfway here, he had a flash of insight and thought of another use for the book of life and death. Although the book of life and death could not view one's future, every word that Zhao Yi made, or even a subtle decision he made, would affect the future of others in a breathtaking way. When he came, he thought that Cheng Xiao, as the prison governor of Yun Chang, would definitely not easily trust a person with no name. Then when he stepped into the living room, he used the book of life and death to preview which reaction the future Cheng Xiao would have after he said something. In the eyes of an ordinary fortune teller, the future is like a fog, with people making different choices resulting in different outcomes, full of all sorts of mystery and unpredictability. That's why the divinations said were also ambiguous, convenient for dumping later, but Zhao Yi was different, using the book of life and death to see the future that was bound to happen. It's the equivalent of getting stuck in a loophole and seeing your future indirectly. After repeated tests, eventually Zhao Yi came to the conclusion that the suspicion in Chang Zhao's heart would be completely removed when he revealed Wu Yufeng's disciple. Walk into the bedroom, close the door with your hand. Cheng Xiao and Deng Pan Yen are very apprehensive. 
invited so many psychiatrists, 90% did not stay more than a minute, was caught in the cranky sun to blow out. If even Wu Yufeng's senior disciple was unable to do anything about it, they would truly be in despair. The thing that made the two fearful didn't happen, and Li Botao was secretly relieved. It seems that Zhao Yi didn't lie, he really can treat mental illness. After about five or six minutes, Zhao Yi came out of the bedroom, closely followed by Chang Yinshi. Looks like Chang Xiao has five or six points of resemblance. Long time extreme malnutrition. Both cheeks are deeply concave. Messy chicken nest head to cover the eyes. Ignoring the two parents. He was right behind Zhao Yi. I'm going to take Cloud Flag out for the night and give you back a healthy sun tomorrow. Zhao Yi didn't say a single superfluous word and took the Chang Yinshi, who had become well behaved, and left the high rise in the elevator. Compared to Cheng Xiao and Deng Panyan, who saw the hope, Li Botao, who had not spoken for a long time, clammed up, and a fine cold sweat instantly seeped out of his forehead. A death row inmate slipped away like this? Fucking actually took Cheng Zhao's son, taking the elevator downstairs, just outside the front door. He ran into four squatting prison guards. When they saw Zhao Yi and Cheng Yinchi, all of them did not know what was going on. Their right hands subconsciously reached for their waist, and the vigilance in their eyes was already overflowing. Zhao acted as if he didn't know them, leading Chang Yunqi through the four and towards the entrance of the neighborhood. What happened? Why did you bring Chang Yunqi out? I didn't say it would be in this condition. The boss hasn't sent a message either. Should we shoot? What the hell kind of joke are you making? The prince is following him. Don't you want your life? Follow it. The four of them quickly came to a decision and decided to follow Zhao Yi and Chang Yunqi, but they were clearly not walking fast. But when the distance between the two sides shrunk to five meters, they always somehow lost their target, either standing behind an illegally parked car or amongst card playing Amazons, all in the visual blind spots of four people. By the time I realized it, it was far gone. In the end, he could only look on as Zhao Yi and Chang Yinchi, the two of them, got into a cab and left in style. Sitting in the passenger seat, Zhao Yi looked at the woeful four through the rearview mirror and thought of a movie he had watched in high school, where the protagonist could see himself two and a half minutes into the future, teasing a group of leering thugs in a casino. Now he can do it too, even more easily than that protagonist. The cab stopped at the entrance of Oriental City. The driver looked at Zhao Yi with a smiling face. The young man can not, a small age will enjoy it. If it is not that the consumption here is too expensive, I will come here once in a high or low month. The driver's gaze toward the eastern side of the city was filled with remembrance and sanctity. Cloud City's highest end entertainment venue, located in the downtown area where every inch of land is gold, occupies an area the size of two or three soccer fields, and with the brilliant neon lights. It looks like a city that never falls in the night. The girls inside are all sirens, and I don't even know where the boss summoned them from. So many of the very best. Urban beauty, pure student girl, exotic flavor, plump young woman. I went there once last year and couldn't stop thinking about it until then. Moreover, the owner of Oriental City organizes a large-scale concert every year, inviting many singers from the entertainment industry. And last year's finale was the little diva Long Yujia. Rumor has it that Oriental City also has an entire floor of casinos with even more sexy lotteries. Zhao Yi did not reply and led Chang Yinchi inside. Brass-colored rotating doorway stood two female waitresses, wearing a set of light blue set of dresses. The opening reveals a section of pink breasts. Rich two thighs wrapped in black stockings. Look Chung Yunchi eyes are moving to move. The hall is so large that it is like entering a palace. With the floor reflecting what the person looks like. A manager in a suit trotted over and politely asked what the two of you wanted. Open a deluxe box for me. Call ten moist girls first to warm up the scene. And those two waiters at the door should come in too. But, the manager was a bit hesitant and stammered. Only gold members can reserve the deluxe box. You two should be here for the first time. Right? Zhao Yi's face remained unchanged, I'm friends with your boss, if you don't believe me, call and ask. The suspicious manager observed the two, not feeling that the two student-like people, could recognize the boss behind Oriental City, but still took out his cell phone from his pocket, turned his back to the two and dialed the phone, and in a short while the opposite side answered, and after chatting for a few moments turned around and handed the phone to Zhao Yi who was at the side, that is to say, after three or five sentences, Zhao Yi re-handed back the cell phone. The manager chatted with Boss Chen on the other side again. Then his gaze towards Zhao Yi changed, and his tone became very respectful, so it's really the boss's friend. I hope to have more tolerance for what just happened. Please go to Deluxe Box No. 5. 40% off all purchases tonight. Then bumbling to lead the two. To the fifth luxury box, Chang Yunqi walked in. Was light shining eyes cannot open. Have to be three times the size of the high school classroom. Gold sprayed walls with a big red carpet. Deep purple sofas that are very impactful and a hanging crystal chandelier that looks equally flashy, that is, 
After a few more minutes, more than 30 young girls wearing different uniforms with concave and convex figures stood in a row and stepped into the box one after another, their beautiful eyes exuding a kind of water-like charm. The manager called all the idle girls over to make up for what he had just done. Chang Yunqi, who hadn't said a word, couldn't help but stare straight. Breathing has become disorganized. 2. A high school breakup is nothing. A little girl with no boobs and no ass is nothing more than a treasure to you students. I'll let you experience the emperor's pleasure tonight. Zhao gently patted Chung Yunqi's shoulder, like a devil compelling to open a Pandora's box. All the women in the box tonight are yours. If you're not satisfied you can continue to call. There will always be the one you like. Say it. He walked out of the luxury box, leaving Chang Yunqi alone. Heart disease needs heart medicine. Now the sexy and mature clubhouse woman is the heart medicine to cure Chang Yunqi's heart disease. Taking a glance at the time, 9.45, it was impossible to cultivate tonight. Zhaoyi strolled back to the hall and found a corner position to take a nap, thinking about the cultivation path behind him in the meantime. The Book of Life and Death had too many feats and aptitudes. The hundred star worlds as well as the immortal forces, the forbidden laws that span the ancient and modern worlds, the downside is equally obvious. The bar is simply too high. Either a specific root bone is required, or precious resources are piled up. One click filtering. The number plummeted to 68, 000, 000 species. In the end, Zhaoyi settled on two. The Underworld Emperor Technique and the Heart of Creation Sutra. The Underworld Emperor Technique is a supreme divine skill obtained by a coward boy on an ancient star of life 20 million years ago, who accidentally obtained a page of black metal and realized the 99 symbols on it, cultivating to perfection. He dominated an era and lived for 20, 000, 000 years before passing away. The Burning Immortal Scripture was the way of the Supreme Yang while the Underworld Emperor scripture was the way of the Supreme Yin, The two were originally mutually exclusive, but Zhaoyi knew very well that the Book of Life and Death would not screen out, and that he would be in trouble if he practiced the technique, perhaps to allow him to combine with each other and walk out of a path of ascension. The origin of the Creation Heart Sutra was mysterious. Coming from the most ancient desolate ancient era, cultivating this method could make drawings of all things, and what was drawn could be transformed from the virtual to the real, and the more people who believe it, the more powerful it becomes. He told Hu Shao Kong and Li Botao. He worshipped an immortal, but also the reason why he was able to see through the fate. Of course, at that time is just a front, but in the future will be able to really draw out. To be born from nothing, to live from death. As for what to draw, Zhao Yi had already decided on it, but it was so amazing that it needed to be examined some more. In addition to the two techniques, Zhao Yi also had to cultivate his direct lineage, or else he would have to do everything himself and he wouldn't be able to stay busy even if he was able to separate himself. Ha! Huh? With a man in a mask entering the lobby and presenting a membership card, he was taken somewhere by a waiter in a tuxedo. Zhaoyi suddenly opened his eyes and a surprised expression appeared on his face. An acquaintance he knew was actually a regular here. After awakening the true spirit, his five senses were already strengthened, and with the golden flames moving to his eyes, he actually had some ability to see through. Even if the other man was wearing a mask and sunglasses, he recognized him at once. Rather more interesting, Zhao Yi murmured in a low voice. After about half an hour, an employee who had passed through Oriental City knew where his acquaintance had gone, and casually slipped a universal card from the manager. It was so easy for him to do such a small thing now. Take the elevator to the 48th floor. Each one is a presidential suite. Standing in front of the floor-to-ceiling windows overlooking the small half of the Cloud City, and the privacy is extremely high, can afford to live in a non-wealthy that is noble. When he came to the door of room 5, he swiped his card on the electronic lock and the door creaked open. Zhao Yi's goal was clear, striding across the luxurious living room. The bedroom was not small, especially the large round bed was particularly conspicuous. A middle-aged man with thinning hair, naked as a white-skinned pig, was huffing and puffing as he plowed his way through a blonde, white-eyed woman. But Zhao Yi glanced at the middle-aged man's length, and that blonde woman was in all probability faking it. Then he took out his phone as if no one else was there. First taking a few pictures and recording a video, the two focused people finally realized something was wrong and turned around to see the strange man standing in the doorway. Zhao Yi. The middle-aged man with thinning hair recognized Zhao Yi at a glance. Weren't you sentenced to death and locked up in Cloud City Prison? How did you appear here? At the same time, he also saw the cell phone that Zhao Yi was holding. A cold sweat instantly seeped out of his brain, and he tried his best to stabilize his emotions. You mustn't do anything stupid. As long as you perform well in prison. The death sentence can be commuted to life. I admired you so much and thought you were such a good student that when I heard the news of your incarceration, I was so sad I didn't eat for two days. As long as you cooperate positively, I can run it for you. The death penalty becomes life imprisonment. 
and the sentence is eventually commuted to 20 years, and you have a great future ahead of you. In order to get Zhao Yi to delete the evidence in his cell phone, he panicked and started to draw a big pie, and finally said with a crying face, if I say that this is a brand new way to learn a foreign language that was developed, would you believe it? Of course he knew Zhao Yi, the legend in the hearts of the students. Every year at the outstanding student ceremony, Zhao Yi stood in the center, the focal point among thousands of people, and as the president of Yunchang University, he personally offered the prize money and flowers, but the two don't get along. The students of the Department of Traditional Chinese Medicine, in the back of the mountain, there is a small medicinal field, which is planted with the senior students' bishops' herbs, in May by the Department of Finance, a few students, to be as a weed to the weed, Zhao Yi happened to see it when he was feeding the cat, and the conversation fell apart after a few words, a few people from the finance department chose to make a move, and ended up getting punched into the hospital by Zhao Yi Quan, the leader of the beatings is called Qin Yuanhao, his family operates a three-star hotel, he suffered a big loss is certainly not willing to backhandedly use the family's power to put pressure on the school, and ultimately, Zhao Yi a person to assume all the responsibility. Director Liu of the Department of Traditional Chinese Medicine secretly received the benefits of Prince Long, the principal of the incident also turned a blind eye, to Zhao Yi punished a fault, recorded in the personal file, and then delayed graduation for one year. Recording a personal file is really extremely serious now, meaning a lifetime of black marks. Moreover, if you delay your graduation by one year, you will lose the title of fresh graduate, and you will be passive when you enter the society and look for a job. Looking at the principal who was as taut as a bowstring, Zhao Yi asked with a smirk, if I send the evidence to your tigress that Principal Wang, who was originally supposed to be on the night shift at the school, appeared in Oriental City to learn a foreign language with a blonde beauty, will she believe it now? The principal of the original is just a system of small transparent, young on the basis of a few points of face value, evening a background of rich women, at the expense of doing the reverse son-in-law, only to achieve the position of the president of the University of Cloud City. If that tigress found out that he was learning a foreign language in Oriental City, he'd have to pack up and leave the next day. What the hell do you want? Principal Wang tried to look menacing, but any layman could see that he was bluffing. I don't want to do anything. Zhao Yi's smile didn't diminish. It's just that the student saw the principal and came over to say hello, and by the way, I'm sending a message to Zhu Guanxi's classmate to tell her that I'm fine. Zhu Guanxi was the young girl in the gallery on the day of the sentencing. After saying that, he didn't give Principal Wang a chance to ask a rhetorical question, turned around and left the presidential suite. Principal Wang looked at the fading back, his face clouded in the light, rubbing his cell phone that had been turned on. He was also an old fox. A death row inmate could run out of prison and appear in Oriental City in a dignified manner, and could also precisely find his room. With his toes, he could also know that there was something fishy. Eyes glancing to the blonde beauty on the side, Principal Wang's desire came up again and he got up and gave it to be pressed underneath him again. Mud, even if I die tomorrow, I'll have a quickie tonight. Walking out of the presidential suite, Zhao Yi's smile grew even wider when he heard what Principal Wang said and the huffing and puffing sounds of hard plowing. Zhao Yi, who had re-entered the lobby, first went to the front desk and came back to take a nap with his eyes closed, and stayed until dawn approached, when Chang Yunqi came out of the box. Chang Yunqi, who obviously hadn't slept a night, stumbled when he walked, as if he would croak at any time but his eyes were very bright, like owls in the night, and his mood was hyperactive as if he had taken a drug, and he was a complete different person compared to yesterday. Seeing Zhao Yi in the hall, Chang Yunqi ran over in excitement, unable to speak properly. From now on, you, are my own brother, I will be all enlightened to think about it. In the future we must try to make a lot of money, and strive to come once a day. Every sister here is better than dumping my girl, looks and body in all aspects of a hundred times stronger. Zhao Yi looked at Chang Yunqi who couldn't stop talking and reached over to hand over a platinum card. I've got a card for you here with a million dollars in it, and as long as you study hard, someone will keep charging it when the balance is low. Spending the natural Li Buotao's money, when how many years of deputy prison director, a district of one million dollars naturally will not be on the mind. The boss of the oriental city no, consume this card is Chang Zhao's son, naturally, will not let the balance is insufficient. Hearing this, Chang Yunqi's eyes were glowing excitedly taking the platinum card and kissing it for a few dozen seconds before carefully putting it away. Cheng Yunqi knew his father Chang Zhao's temper. If he knew that he had come to Oriental City, he would probably be able to be angry and righteous. Let's go back. Zhao Yi led Chang Yunqi out of the gate of Oriental City, casually hailed a cab, and returned to the upscale neighborhood. The two men pushed open the door just as they came in, and saw the three men in the parlor, all equally up all night. And, 
Li Buatao, in particular, is on the verge of a mental breakdown. After Zhao Yi had taken Cheng Yinqi away, he definitely couldn't leave as a guarantor and could only stay here to listen to the sentencing. Every minute and every second was a torment. If Zhao Yi's animalistic nature had gotten the better of him and rolled away Cheng Yinqi as a hostage, not to mention having no chance with the position of the prison governor, he would probably become a sinner in the whole country. After seeing the two return safely, his heart was just relieved. But after seeing Chang Yunchi's appearance, he almost jumped up in excitement. Why does it look like it's not only not cured, but it damn well seems to be getting worse? Chang Zhao's brows furrowed at once when he saw his son, who had been out all night, not only showing no signs of improvement, but looking even more serious. Just as he was about to hold Master Wu Yufeng's senior disciple accountable, he saw his son run to his wife and said in an aggravated manner, Mom, is there any food in the house? My stomach is going to be starving. I was already malnourished. And after a night of fighting, I was lucky if I didn't pass out when I got home. Deng Pan Yen heard his son take the initiative to eat. Excited tears flowed out. Full of excitement ran into the kitchen. Wind and fire began to cook. Chang Xiao was also wet at the corners of his eyes. After repeatedly confirming that his son is really back to normal, he gratefully looked across the table to Zhao Yi and solemnly bowed, Thank you for your kindness to my son's reconstruction. And in the future in the cloud city acres and acres of land, what is the need to open your mouth to say on the line? Li Buotao on the side of the complex gaze. If Cheng Xiao knew that the person who saved his son was a death row inmate, I do not know how he would react. Now that the patient is well, let's not intrude. After settling things, Zhao Yi was about to leave. Deng Pan Yan and Chang Xiao tried their best to stay for breakfast, but were politely rejected on the grounds that they were in a hurry to catch a flight. Otherwise, if you take off your mask, you will be recognized. Walking out of the door of the high-grade neighborhood Li Buotao, the joy in his eyes can no longer be hidden. He had just had a brief chat with Chang Xiao, and the other party had hinted that he would help himself to the position of prison governor at tomorrow's general meeting. The group of people changed from a business car back to a police car. The four prison guards who had redressed into their uniforms were all staring at Zhao Yi with grudging gazes, lest they disappeared from view again in the next second. What they had experienced yesterday was still fresh in their minds now. Li Buatao, who was in a good mood, humming a little song in the car, looked at Zhao Yi in the back seat, and asked with great curiosity, the method you used to cure Chen Yunqi? Master Wu Yufeng's senior disciple was purely a blown front, but he knew that Zhao Yi was only a student at Yunchang University. The corner of Zhao Yi's mouth curled up, making Li Buotao lean over, lying on his ear, and using a volume that only the two of them could hear. He roughly told what happened yesterday. Crap. Groove. Li Buotao sucked in a mouthful of cold air. His expression went from puzzled to incomprehensible to dumbfounded, and finally looked at Zhao Yi's eyes filled with shock. Damn consumption in the oriental city with his money. Chang Xiao to really blame down. He still has to eat a lot. Zhao Yi looked at Li Buotao whose body was slightly trembling, took out his cell phone and tapped on it a few times before handing it over with a calm face. The cell phone shows a video. It is Chung Yunqi in the box, with a few beautiful women cloud in rain video. Shooting angle is very tricky. A few people's positive face appear to have appeared one after another. Li Buotao understood Zhao Yi's meaning for a second, and a ruthless color appeared in his expression. For Chang Xiao, who loves political feathers, this is certainly a devastating piece of evidence. And spending with his own money, Chang Xiao to know the truth after crossing the river to destroy the bridge, based on that one million membership card alone, is enough to ruin the rest of his life prospects. Think about it. Li Butao then looked at Zhao Yi's expression became cheerful, completely without the frame of the deputy warden, you're also hungry for a night. I know a nice pavilion. Want to go over to deal with two mouths? Let's eat back at the prison. I'm not sure about the pavilion. Zhao Yi's head leaned towards the car window. Make a trip to Yunchan University. I'll pick up something there. Li Buotao and the prison guards looked at each other and felt that Zhao Yi's words were so damn reasonable. The pavilion uses pre-made dishes. Unlike the prison, although it is rough, but at least it can guarantee the most basic hygiene. Going to Cloud City University happened to be on the way, which was just 20 minutes away. Li Buotao casually told the security guard at the entrance a reason, and the police car drove directly into the campus. And now that it's summer vacation and most people have left school, plus all the students in the same class have graduated, the probability of running into someone you know is very low. The University of Cloud City upholds the East Meets West architectural complex, and you can feel the strong cultural atmosphere of the century-old institution as soon as you enter. Surrounded by greenery, the environment is very beautiful. Near noon at the time of the meal, a lot of students coming and going, the police car, although striking, but also not recognized by the people who want to. Arrived at the herbal department's exclusive medicine field, which was full of thriving herbs. Each plant is individually labeled with the names of the students, 
one by one, all of whom are graduating from this year's senior class. The most prominent of them was labeled with Zhao Yi's name. The grass next to him made a rustling sound, followed by a pure white and a pure black two little guys, running over with their four short legs, rubbing their heads affectionately against Zhao Yi's pants leg. They are stray cats adopted by Zhao Yi, which is the age of a few months of birth. The white one is as white as snow, and the black one is as black as ink, with satin-like fur that is smooth and silky, like a little elf walking in the world. The little guys were very spiritual, and they could basically understand everything Zhao Yi said named Black Sun and White Yao, very dominant names. To prevent them from being victimized by students with bad intentions, Zhao instructs them that besides coming to feed themselves, their usual range of activities will be in the grass, and that they should hurry to hide when they hear a living person approaching. How come you guys haven't lost weight and gained a bunch after all the time I've been locked up? Zhao stared suspiciously at the two cats, and then looked at the cat bowl in the dense grass, which still had cat food that had not yet been eaten, and a sinister figure gradually appeared in his mind. In May, Li Da Ji from the finance department, after pursuing Zhu Guanxi from the same class to no avail, thought that Zhu Guanxi herself is a congenital aphasia, and her family's situation in the mountainous area is poor. The tuition fees are all on student loans, and as long as she destroys her graduation design, she will have to delay her graduation, and then Zhu Guanxi will have to beg for her own favor in order to graduate. I didn't expect to run into Zhao Yi who was feeding the cat. At that time, Zhao Yi told them to hurry up and get lost. But as a result, Li Da Ji screamed at him to mind his own business and tried to teach Zhao Yi a lesson based on the number of people in the room, and he ended up being all beaten up by Zhao Yi and sent to the hospital. Zhao Yi and Zhu Guanqi's relationship is very good, and when he was a junior in college, he even thought that he would start a business together after graduation, otherwise she wouldn't have been there on the day of the sentencing. Zhu Guanqi was also aware of the existence of the two kittens, and she usually came over to help take care of them when Zhao Yi was not available. It seems that after my jangling incarceration, Kanji San will still come over to feed me from time to time even though I've graduated and left the school. But it's time for moderation or you're all going to get fat as balls. Jowie took out the cardboard box placed in the trunk, looked at the two kittens playing by his feet, squatted down and asked seriously, I won't be coming back here in the future. Do you want to leave with me? The two of them gradually stopped playing, cocked their heads to look at Jowie, and then obediently jumped into the cardboard box giving the nearby prison guards and Li Buatao a dumbfounded look, or the first time to see such a spiritual little animal. Wait for me first, Zhao Yi said with a smiling face, and from the nearby utility room, he took out a small shovel, and in the puzzled looks of a few people, he walked towards the Chinese medicine that he had planted with his own hands, just as he was about to make a move. Woody stopped, his eyes looked to the end, and there was a meaningful look in his gaze, as if he was waiting for something specifically but it was only half a minute later that a man in a suit, followed by a dozen students, was seen rushing this way. Zhao Yi, the man in a suit, aged around 30, wearing a pair of black thin-framed glasses, just a layer of thick bandages wrapped around his head is always a bit out of the drama, with a teasing smile on his face. Just now I thought I was mistaken. I didn't think it was really you. The students at the back were all following over to watch the fun, and many of them knew Zhao Yi. Their expressions all became very dismayed. They also knew that Zhao Yi had been sentenced to death and his school registration had been expelled from Yunchun University. Shouldn't he be in prison now? How could he still come into school? But after seeing the prison guards next to him, he thought about it in his heart and also understood a general idea that he should come over to rediscover the evidence, which is also a process to be taken in the program. Zhao Yi also showed a smile. Director Liu is really dedicated. The head injury is not well. The summer vacation still come over on duty. If I had known I would have been heavier. Let you lie in the hospital for half a year. Last month, Director Liu received the benefits of Li Zilong of the finance department, and got him such a serious result, but Zhao Yi is not the character of a sufferer. And after a week of intervals, when Director Liu was off work at night, and passed through a path where few people passed by, and there were no cameras, he knocked a blow from behind. It's been almost two months now, and Director Liu is still wearing a bandage. Director Liu's smile instantly disappeared, biting his back teeth in hatred. It's actually really you. The third day out of the hospital he went to the police station. But the trail no camera. The night dark and windy and no witnesses. He bit Zhao Yi as the murderer is useless. The police want is not speculation. There is no conclusive evidence. By the arbitrary case. Now that Zhao Yi had taken the initiative to admit it. He instead felt eggheads. The other party had already been sentenced to death. And he himself could only eat this dumb loss. Looking at director Liu who was holding his face red. The smile on Zhao Yi's face grew even more and he opened his mouth to say a national greeting. Stupid, was scolded a bloody head of Lu director. The whole person stayed for a moment, 
reacted to the gas to the body are trembling, behind there are so many students watching it, face really cannot pass, held back half a day can only taunt, at least was also a student of this university, how rough like primitive people, did I scold you? Zhao Yi shrugged his shoulders, his tone was very innocent, speak with evidence, false accusations are illegal, director Lu was also exasperated by Zhao Yi, this shitless place of Yukuda, where am I going to get you evidence? Lu Yu a few steps walked to the front of director Lu, vigorously kicked directly to kick out 5 meters, no evidence you're not wrongly accused of it, damn not give you some lessons today, really think the school is your home opened. Last month, Zhao Yi said that it was a few people from the finance department who moved first, but the result was that he was disliked by director Lu with a sentence about the evidence, and today he actually dared to come up to the muzzle of the gun, director Lu was almost killed by this kick, dizziness couldn't stop dry heaving, just able to see something clearly, he saw Zhao Yi who jogged over and punched him towards his stomach again, the pain made him bow like a cooked shrimp, Zhao Yi had been withdrawing his strength, otherwise with his early stage of the true spirit realm, he would have gotten himself killed if he was slightly inattentive, the student people watching from the back were dumbfounded, how could they not expect that the director would be reduced to this, wanting to go forward to persuade them to fight, but seeing Zhao Yi's amazing force, lest they be flattened as a piece of accomplices, subconsciously they also stepped back a few meters, help, help, director Lu looked at the prison guards next to him for help, but they looked as if they hadn't seen it, tilting their heads in unison to admire the sky, should I not say that the air in the school is indeed fresher than in the prison, standing up for director Lu, are you kidding me, they all know that Zhao Yi is a capable fortune teller, not to mention roughing him up, and will have to be treated as an ancestor in prison, so maybe one day they will beg for it, as long as no one gets killed, I'll pretend I didn't see it, in the end, director Lu was desperate, opened his mouth and spat out four or five dislodged teeth, and next to him, Li Botao couldn't bear to look at it, so he could only continue to tilt his neck and look at the sky, beatings for five or six minutes, more and more students onlookers, standing in a cloud, stay in school almost all came, the principal, who had been huffing and puffing and gasping for breath, ran over with a few security guards with batons, looking at the chaos of students coming and going, unable to see what was going on inside on his tiptoes, and could only shout with all his strength, all, all, disperse, open up, when the students saw the principal coming, they subconsciously made a path, and only then did the principal see the director of the Department of Traditional Chinese Medicine, Mr. Lu, who was sitting on Zhao Yi's stool, and the prison guards next to him, whose necks were sore and who were still tilting their heads back to look at the sky, school, headmaster, director Lu saw the principal coming and was moved to tears, if no one came out to stop him, he felt that he might really be killed, the principal, who seemed to glow in the sun, breathed a sigh of relief before righteously gulping, apologize, director Lu just revealed a smile that was worse than crying, followed by the principal's next sentence, which made him unable to withstand it and fainted directly, Lu Changda, quickly apologize, the students and the prison guards all looked at the principal with shocked gazes, and Li Tao was ready to negotiate from there, but it turned out that the appearance of the principal became the last straw that overwhelmed director Lu, the principal's arrival was no accident, he stayed in Dongfang city until dawn to go home, after dealing with the difficult tigress, just entered the school gate and heard, sentenced to death Zhao Yi went to the medicine field, the director of the department of traditional Chinese medicine Lu also went over, and immediately knew that something big was going to happen, Calling out to a couple of security guards, he jogged toward the medicine field. The road is scared to death. See Zhao Yi did not suffer. Hanging Heart also put down, as long as this master did not suffer on the line. First, he ordered a few students to send director Lu to the hospital, and dispersed most of the crowd of onlookers before coming to Zhao Yi and saying kindly, Yunshan University will always be your home. Come whenever you want to in the future. Zhao Yi was too lazy to be polite with this old fox, leaving Li Tao, who was also an old fox to deal with it, a man re-entered the medicinal field, looked at his graduation, moved another half meter to the side, and dug half a meter deep with a shovel, revealing a very historic mahogany box containing the very deed to Voltron Mountain, a piker is a piker, I didn't realize it was this little gadget that would turn my future upside down, Jowie lamented and solemnly put away the mahogany box, sitting in the back seat of the police car, looking at the cardboard box placed next to it, inside the white sun and the black U2 kittens, already leaning against each other to fall asleep, seems to feel the master came, breathing suddenly more stable, the corner of the mouth could not help but let out a barking sound, the evil emperor's handbook recorded that spirit beasts, before cultivation, had high intelligence, Jowie associated it with the white sun and black obsidian, and had just examined them, and it turned out that their roots and bones were, in fact, 
even better than predicted. With some nurturing, it could come in handy. Not a moment too soon. Everyone got into the police car. Zhao Yi looked at the co-pilot Li Guotao. Please go to the pet store again. I want to buy some items for the two little ones, and some more tributes on the way. Otherwise the immortals should be unhappy. Hearing the word immortal, Li Guotao nodded seriously, and the atmosphere in the car was subtle. First, he purchased the items that the two kittens, Black Sun and White Obsidian, ate on a daily basis at the pet store, and then went to the large commercial building next to him to buy some things that were specialized in tribute. Anyway, it is Li Guotao who pays the bill, and Zhao Yi's principle is, do not seek the best, only the most expensive. After finishing the ride back to the prison, arriving nearly late in the evening, Cloud City Prison seemed to be shrouded in dark clouds all year round, and even if a big sun was revealed today, it gave people a dull feeling from a long distance away. Zhao Yi's bright eyes opened and closed, shooting out two invisible lights of essence, seeing that Cloud City Prison was indeed extraordinary. The Yin Qi steaming out of the ground gathers but doesn't dissipate, and the longer one stays in there the more it erodes. The guards are okay with going home every night except for duty, but not the inmates locked up inside, and there are hundreds of cases of insanity every year. He couldn't see it before, but after stepping onto the path of cultivation, it was also plain to see. Nice place, Xiao Yi softly said, his eyes secretly containing joy. Yin Qi is poisonous for most people, but in Zhao Yi's eyes it is a great tonic. After practicing burning immortal scripture is heaven and earth as a furnace, no matter what can be refined into the essence of the origin. In the earth's cultivation environment nowadays, it can be said that it is an extremely rare treasure. A day of cultivation here was comparable to half a month in the outside world. Even without deliberate cultivation, breathing is able to become stronger. Now it's just a matter of getting him out of jail. Zhao Yi doesn't even want to go. Even the murderer who framed him for imprisonment, I'm afraid, could not have imagined that he had been sent such a chance by crookedness. Now the prisoners are lining up to eat dinner. Zhao Yi and Li Botao's lead, stepped into a decoration is quite exquisite office. Sofa seats are used in high-grade mahogany. Tea with a clear color with the purple sand. After coming back, Li Botao. His attitude towards Zhao Yi has completely changed. Without a bit of shelf, my office is relatively simple. Make do with eating here at night. Have instructed the cafeteria to open a small stove. The taste is not inferior to those big restaurants. Cloud City Prison has a separate vegetable garden. Carefully cared for by the inmates and dedicated to supplying the tables of high-ranking officials. Zhao Yi nodded and turned his head to look at the bottles and jars in the cabinet. Commenting seriously. Your usual tea is good nah. Each bottle is enough to add an extra year to your sentence. Ancestral heritage under the Fuyu mountain also has a few tea trees. Are the old generation planted the thing? There must be a hundred years, but the soil on the mountain is too poor. Zhao Yi checked the library books, exhausting all their efforts, can only guarantee that will not suddenly wither and die. The only other thing that came out of it was that he'd gotten very good at tea and could tell that the tea in the cupboard wasn't cheap. Ahem. Li Butao's old face reddened, people in their middle age do not have any hobbies. Zhao little brother also has a study of tea nah. The cabinet of casually take a drink. Anyway, the family has a lot of these things. We're a big old man. We don't know what's good to drink. And anyway, it's expensive and we're done. Then changing the topic, he said very gratefully, I've already sent someone to pack up a separate cell for you, sort of as a temporary place to settle down, and wait until Warden Cheng's office is empty, to ensure that you will be decorated in a way that is not inferior to the presidential suite in Oriental City. From now on, you can be wherever you like as long as you stay out of this prison. Li Guotao knows that since there is Cheng Shao support, the warden's position is considered to be in the bag. He is also mixed in the officialdom of the old oil. Know that Zhao Yi is a living ancestor. Serve better than anything else. Giving the warden's office a place to sleep is a gift that would drop a lot of jaws. Zhao Yi was not polite and took out a bottle of top quality Longjing and brewed it in a purple sand pot. A light fragrance wafts out, and the entrance fills the lips and teeth. A good tea indeed. The dinner was very rich, with 18 courses. Li Guotao to prevent the table cold, in addition to let Hu Xiao Kang and other cronies as a companion, but also from the women's side of the prison transferred a few just graduated from the police academy. Posture and body are good policewomen. High-grade mahogany table filled with people. The atmosphere is very warm. Halfway through the meal, the crowd slowed down on the chucking, the alcohol started to kick in, and the conversation opened up. I'm curious about one thing, and I don't know if little brother Zhao should tell it or not. The glowing Li Guotao. After getting Zhao Yi's permission, deliberated on the wording and said, Common sense says that a man of your magical powers, what kind of woman you want is a matter of words. How could you do the kind of thing on the news? What he said was already very astringent. And even the female police officers who came to accompany the drinks could be sent to bed tonight as long as Zhao Yi agreed. Moreover, 
Zhao Yi is so handsome, or a senior student of Yunchang University, many days together can also rule out the suspicion of being a pervert. No matter how you think about it, it doesn't make sense. As you should have guessed, I was framed. Zhao Yi put down his chopsticks and looked at the stunned expressions of several people, revealing a wisp of a smile as he explained. It's not that my enemies are so powerful, but fortune tellers all have the disadvantage of not being able to see their own destiny, coupled with the fact that the immortal went to serve in the hell, and a moment of carelessness is what caused them to get caught in the gutter. But, this matter has made the immortals extremely angry. As long as I know who the enemy is, I will definitely make him pay back a hundred times over and reincarnate in the animal path for life. At the end of his words, the smile on Zhao Yi's face completely disappeared, and the temperature of the office plummeted. A dozen or so people's sweaty hair suddenly stood on end, and a seemingly cloudy wind rang in their ears, and their eyes looked towards the fuming rightful owner with fear in their eyes. From Zhao Yi's words, they heard a few key words, the most shocking of which was hell. The hell has always been a vague thing, although there are a lot of folk rumors, but there is no conclusive evidence that can be true. Zhao Yi's words undoubtedly subverted the cognition of their hearts. We are no strangers to the immortal family. Many regions have, especially in the northeast is very hot, either the ghosts of the good people, or cultivate the Taoist animals, but can go to the hell of the immortal family. That must be powerful to what extent. Glancing at the crowd's reactions with his afterglow, Zhao Yi knew that the effect had been achieved, shaping a big backer for the immortal family. Although it was not enough to make Li Buatao and the others completely believe, and there were definitely questions in their hearts, it was enough to deter them from having other ideas. Dinner was eaten until the early hours of the morning before the end. Out of the office of Zhao Yi stretched a lazy waist, was who Shao Kahn led to pack out of the cell. The cupboard of tea he took all the tea, put in the cattle chewing peony Li Buatao that is also a waste. Hu Shao Kang, who walked in front, had a fawning smile on his face as he bent down slightly to explain. Due to time constraints and the fact that no one dared to touch your supply table, we took the initiative to change the duty room into an independent cell. Looking at the expressionless Zhao Yi, Hu Shao Kang quickly added, if you don't like it, you can adjust it again tomorrow. It's not necessary. Zhao Yi faintly replied back, feeling that it was the same everywhere. In fact, you don't even have to go to the solitary confinement room. The cellmates in cell number 56 folded their quilts in tofu blocks, which were more professional than the veterans in the army, and you'll have to do it on your own after you're away from them. He didn't want to think about that right away though. There were more important things to do right now. The things that had been considered for a long time in his mind were drawn using the Heart Sutra of Creation. The Creation Heart Sutra began by treating the vast expanse of the world as a painting table, and then using one's own true essence as a flawless white sheet of paper, with one's spiritual energy as the pigment to paint on it. Exactly what level you can paint at is related to the realm by virtue of the talent of the viewer. The duty room was really transformed, with all the furniture and appliances that should be there, and the kitchen was fully equipped, more luxurious than most apartments. There was a computer on the desk, already connected to the internet, and an unopened, brand new cell phone sitting next to it. Black Sun and White Yao had already moved in, but they stayed in the cardboard box and didn't dare to come out until Zhao returned. Go out and familiarize yourselves with the environment. This will be your home from now on. I'll refine the bimero pill as soon as possible, and then I'll let you all embark on the path of cultivation as well. Under Zhao Yi's gentle enlightenment, the two little milk cats jumped out of the cardboard box and cocked their heads full of doubts. Meow meow meow? They obviously didn't understand the bimero dan and the cultivation path and were asking Zhao what the hell it was. Could it be fresh dried small fish? Ha ha ha. Zhao squatted down and gently knocked on their heads, explaining very patiently, why is your head full of food? Marrow cleansing pills are a common cultivation resource, mostly used in young children, with a series of effects such as cutting down the hair and washing out the marrow, removing impurities, and so on, to build a solid foundation before formally embarking on the road of cultivation. Although you have spirit beast roots and bones, you are still too young and you need to take the bimero pill before you can do so. Although Earth was not as good as those planets with abundant auras, collecting similar herbs could refine a weaker version with lesser effects, and taking a few more could make up for it. While Zhao Yi was explaining, Bai Ri and Hei Yao were like elementary school students in class, sitting on the ground attentively and listening with their ears perked up. After listening to it it seemed to make some sense, but more than that it was still unsettling. But the two kittens didn't think much of it, and in no time at all they were climbing up and down the room and having a good time. Zhao Yi did not care about them anymore, turned his head to the humble shrine in the corner, took out the things he had bought during the day, and after decorating it a bit it changed drastically, and really had a few mysterious and mystical looks to it. From his pocket, he took out the land deed of Volsing Mountain and pressed it under the incense burner in the center, immediately following the legs sitting on the bed, 
entering the state of cultivation, breathing a huge yin qi rolled, to be burned by the golden flame, turned into the purest true essence into their own body. Being in this treasure trove of a prison, Zhao Yi was breathing changes, and it wouldn't be long before he could break through again, has been practicing until the latter half of the night, about three or four in the morning, Zhao Yi suddenly opened the eyes flickering light, really the first time to show the divine power of the fiery eyes of the golden eyes, immediately following his mind without distraction began to visualize, choose the mythological shrouded in mystery of hell, but also to round on the dinner table lie, ten halls of hell level is too high, it is difficult to show the charm of the gods, hastily painting, the probability of failure is too great. In the end, he chose Horseface of the Bullheads to start with. Horseface is also known as Horsehead Rakshasa, the image of the Hooker of Hell, mainly recognizable and instantly recognizable. After the selection, we started to pour ink and draw, using two fingers as a wolf hair brush, initially sketching the outline of the horse's face, maintaining a high degree of concentration throughout the entire process. The slightest carelessness will be abandoned, and the paper and the pigment burned cleanly. The two little milk cats, White Sun and Black Obsidian, obediently stopped playing and quietly watched from the side. It was tinkered with during the period and gradually became more real. The image of horse face is borrowed from movie and television dramas, folk homemade New Year's drawings, as well as adding Zhao Yi's own interpretation. He who looks into the eyes of it, suffers a shock to his soul. Zhao Yi muttered, eventually a two or three meters tall, wearing tattered bronze armor, wherever he passes, filled with black mist, invisibly giving a great majesty, horse-faced man's horror creature, breaking through the reality of the subdimensional wall, was born in Zhao Yi's pen. It worked. Zhao Yi, whose face was a little pale, said in a surprised tone, the first time painting is really laborious, but it's worth it if you succeed. He admired his results, which were not yet perfect, but could be gradually improved later. Normally, they are sent in shrines to attack those with evil intentions, as long as Zhao Yi's true essence did not dry up. Horseface was an immortal creature that could be resurrected again even after being killed. This is the safest location of the Cloud City prison, and no one who comes will be able to take the deed by force. Daylight Obsidian Two Little Milk Cats After seeing the horse face come true, instead of being afraid, excited Kazrin Big Eyes to light. The heart of the master more worship it. Go lighten up. Zhao orders Horseface to go walk around the building and surprise his fellow inmates on the same floor with a billion points. Horseface had no physical presence and didn't need to open the door to get through the wall to the building. 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning is exactly the time to sleep the most. Cell number 15 is the closest to the stairs. Six prisoners in their sleep. Suddenly feel the brain door cool. Followed by a succession of signs of ghosts on the bed. Like the imminent drowning of the fallen. The spirit struggles for a long few seconds before waking up. Jerking up from the bed. He gasped for air. The six of them glanced at each other. And all of them saw in each other's eyes. The celebration of having survived the robbery. Collective ghosting has not happened before. Immediately followed by the back felt being watched. Uneasiness amplified in the heart. Subconsciously turned back to look at the door. The scene that met their eyes made their pupils lax. A great fear wildly surged out. Ah! The mournful screams that erupted from cell number 15 echoed throughout the entire building. And even the prison guards patrolling outside heard it and ran that way in unison. By the time the guards arrived at cell number 15. They found the six prisoners pale and huddled in a corner of the bed, already delirious with fear. For the next two or three days, cells would be plagued and prisoners driven mad with fear. The inmates who could be locked up in the Cloud City prison, except for the few who were falsely accused like Jowi, the rest of them were all social scum picked out at random. Prison guards interrogated the prisoners were scared crazy, trying to come up with the night in the end what happened. The results of the East and West only got out. Long a horse-faced humanoid monster, never dared to commit a crime again must be a law-abiding good people. This matter remained until the return of Li Buotao, who had successfully assumed the post of director of Cloud City Prison from the end of the campaign meeting. Immediately after Li Buotao was honored to be promoted to warden, many people threw out olive branches, but he politely rejected them one by one. And in his heart, he only thought of hurrying back to the prison to say goodbye to Zhao Xiaogao, just returned to the prison. He was informed of the prison guards, heard about the events of the past two days. Instantly associated with the words of the dinner table, the bottom of the hearts of the people for the hell half belief, by Zhao Yi or the offerings of the immortal sensed, the face of the smile instantly solidified, the joy of being a prison warden was thrown out the window, his expression became very serious and he brought heavy gifts to visit Zhao Yi, on the way there his heart thumped, knowing this was a crisis and that he had to gain Cho's forgiveness, otherwise, I'm afraid I'll be kicked out of this position before I'm even warmed up, Zhao Yi had this strength, he didn't doubt it in the slightest. Seeing Zhao Yi expressing his loyalty right away, 
Li Buotao did not have a bit of the warden's stance, humbling himself like a little brother, patting his chest and assuring, as long as you are in this prison, your command level is higher than mine. I will also do whatever it takes to thoroughly investigate that case about you and bring the murderer behind it to justice. Zhao Yi could see Li Buotao's uneasiness, and his own act of releasing the horse's face completely subdued this prison warden. Smiling, he reassured a few times, informing that there was no need to be apprehensive. Then his voice lowered a few degrees and solemnly looked at Li Buotao and said, The immortal told me last night that your official career is more than that. Perhaps it won't be long. There will also be a promotion. Hearing this, Li Buotao looked towards the offering table in the corner. His eyes became more and more respectful, and finally his mouth was grinning up to his ears with a giggle. The honor of being promoted to warden is already something that Li Buotao is dreaming of and waking up with a smile. But today, Zhao Yi actually said that it wouldn't take long for him to be promoted and he was so excited that he couldn't even say, Mr. Zhao, no one can see it anyway, why don't I give you a kowtow? It was the first time that Li Butao felt that he would also experience, the day he was hit by a sky-high lottery ticket. Thunder and rain are the grace of God. The previous tactics would indeed make Li Butao fearful, but what Zhao Yi wanted was for him to submit wholeheartedly and become a good card in his hand that he could play at any time. Don't kowtow if you don't have a new year or a holiday, Zhao Yi said with a smile then picked up a piece of paper on the table with about a few hundred words on it, the deputy prison director who failed in the competition with you, the incriminating evidence written on top of the white paper is enough to make him, spend the rest of his life in prison, do it as soon as you can and don't let me down, the deputy prison director who lost the election, although Zhao Buotao can also be dealt with, but to deal with an official in such a position, if there is no conclusive evidence of violation of the law, it will take a few months to do it slowly, in order to prevent any late changes, Zhao Yi would help one more time. Li Butao and stay in Zhao Yi room for half an hour. Repeatedly confirmed that there is no problem before leaving. Walking on the avenue face re become majestic. A word end of the warden's frame. Took out his cell phone and dialed a number. I'm the warden of Yunqing prison. Li Butao. The real name to report the deputy director of the prison. Dong Zhengxin. During the tenure of office. He was a wise man and knew very well in his heart who was really the benefactor. Instead of the position of warden being appointed by the organization. It was given by Zhao Yi, and it wouldn't be long before it might be given again. So no matter from which point of view, Li Butao must do his best to serve Zhao Yi, except for his wife who has been lying on the couch for decades, the rest can be given with both hands. As for what he's going to do now, Li Butao's eyes narrowed slightly. With the conclusive evidence given by Zhao Yi, the deputy director Dong Jingxin was finished. The prison post was going to undergo a major change. He would carry out a drastic reform clearing those who stood on the wrong side of the line to the fringe position. I don't know whether the higher-ups really pay attention to this matter, or there is a person who pushes the envelope. Most of the complicated processes have been simplified, and that night Dong Zhengxin, the deputy prison director who was sleeping under the covers, was gripped by two SWAT team members in explosion-proof suits. The evidence is overwhelming, and sophistry is useless. Two days later Dong Jingxin was dismissed from his post and secretly sentenced to life imprisonment, but instead of being put in the Cloud City Prison, he was put in the Qin City Prison in Kyoto, which made Li Buotao a little regretful. And then the naivety of Cloud City Prison changed, and many positions changed. The highest rank on the surface is the prison director. Only a small number of Li Buotao's cronies know. In actuality, there is a young man in his twenties. Even Li Buotao also have to be the head of the horse, took off the blue and white prison uniform Zhaoyi, wearing a casual loose white clothes, but there is a kind of inexplicable spiritual charm, casually slipping in the whole prison, followed by the back of the ass, a black and white two kittens, passers-by simply cannot see, he is actually a death row inmate, Li Butao has already gone to operate, first to change Zhao Yi's death sentence to life imprisonment, which will be finalized in the next few days, this morning was no different, and by the time the inmates came downstairs for roll call, Zhao Yi had already slipped away for a while, rather than appearing bored, he was searching for a dragon. Through many days of observation, Zhao Yi could see that there should be a yin vein underneath the prison, otherwise there would never be such a dense yin qi. He used a technique he got from the Book of Life and Death to mage the approximate location of the yin vein and then set up a spell formation to gather the yin qi, allowing the speed of cultivation to go up to another level, avoiding the prisoners who went to the square to gather. Zhao Yi was going up the stairs when a prisoner who was in a hurry to go down the stairs with his head down suddenly rushed out from the left hallway and was about to collide with him. Zhao Yi's expression didn't change at all, only his body shape was like a drifting autumn leaf, idly avoiding the prisoner without the corner of his clothes being touched, the prisoner who was avoided, who looked to be 18 or 19 years old, the childishness on his face had only just faded away, this age was also extremely rare in Yunchang prison, 
looking at Jiaoyi with apologies. I'm very sorry. I was in a hurry to go to the roll call. I didn't see you come over. After saying that, he didn't stop and ran to the square in a hurry. Looking at the fading away lean back, the corner of Zhao Yi's mouth turned upwards. Schoolmate He Ching Hong, what an interesting person. It can be said that the performance of the young prisoners, really seamless, the old actor cannot do so natural. The key is the control of time to this extent, accurate calculation of their own time to go upstairs. If not the book of life and death, it is really possible to be cheated over. Zhao Yi saw everything about this young man through the book of life and death. Name is He Ching Hong, also a native of Yun Chang, age 19. Since childhood he has been unforgettable. His memory is very amazing. The college entrance examination language failure, but with a few other grades, but also was admitted to the University of Yuncheng, the standard of a school bully. The first 18 years of my resume were pretty mundane, until the summer after my senior year of high school. He Light Han's family conditions are also general. Parents are ordinary workers, thinking of taking advantage of the summer vacation to do part-time work to earn a little pocket money. Flyers wash dishes a class cannot see. The regular large companies do not hire high school students, desperate to take the risk of doing a fraudulent marketing. Damn he Ching Hong did not think that he was damn talented in scamming distribution than in learning. Just a month or so the amount of money involved in tens of millions of dollars. Brainwashed 50 or 60 loyal little brother. But the first time or inexperienced, close to the beginning of the school year is still exposed. The judge remembered in the age of young, sentenced to 20 years of imprisonment. However, what Zhao Yi finds interesting is that he Ching Hong didn't stop when he arrived at the prison. That is, he was imprisoned one year earlier than himself, and he is all about to mix into the underground emperor here. Brainwashed a number of inmates as minions, and then contacted minions in the outside world, bribed prison guards with money deposited in foreign accounts, and then established a complete channel of importation. The prison inmates could buy any merchandise they wanted from him, even if he wanted a woman to let off steam. As long as he gave enough money, he Ching Hong could get him into bed. He Ching Hong also learned a lesson from the last time, cultivated a few puppet leaders. I easily do not show up, know the real identity of very few. Daily life as a silent ordinary prisoners. Of course he was well informed in the prison and knew about the privilege given by the warden to open up and investigate Zhao Yi's travel routes in recent days. So there was the seemingly accidental incident just now. Wanting to probe the bottom of this, the fortune teller, Zhao Yi was interested in He Ching Hong. Originally both students of Yun Chang University, now both became inmates in prison. He thought of creating a force in Cloud City as well, cultivating He Ching Hong as a bright chess piece, so that he could act conveniently in the future and glean out the real culprit who framed him. Of course there was no rush on this for now. He didn't want everyone. He still had to test them some more. There are also young people who are always arrogant in their hearts and are not willing to be other people's little brother, and forcibly accepting them is easy to get out of the backbone. The next day when Zhao skipped, always feel in the not too far away. There are different people in the observation of their own. Smile a little also did not care too much. After awakening the true spirit, his five senses were sharp, and he could feel anyone watching within 300 meters, all the way to the evening of the fourth day. Zhao Yi Kanshi to the key, and feel several eyes watching, fiercely turned back to issue a cold snort. The empty spirit rhyme became harsh, a hundred meters away from the building's fourth floor. A few are observing with binoculars a few inmates. Suddenly at the same time to emit a mournful scream, their eyeballs were crushed and popped, splattering pulp everywhere in an extremely bloody scene, sitting on the side of the big boy with a clear face. He Ching Hong was also pale, forcing his trembling body to calm down, but his fingers, already clenched in white, still revealed the emotion of trepidation, messing with the tough guys. He Ching Hong murmured in a weak and thin mosquito voice, looking at Zhao Yi who was no longer paying attention to this place. His taut heartstrings finally relaxed slightly. Sua happiness all let his little brother observe Zhao Yi and did not get involved himself, or else he would have to become blind as well. He thought the matter was over, but it turned out that at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, all the prisoners who had been observing Zhao Yi in recent days were all frightened and wailing in their cells, and had become delirious lunatics when they were found. Such bizarre means, has subverted the cognition. Tuning the surveillance also did not find anything. Scared he light hung paralyzed in the chair, a long time to speak, Zhao Yi who looked harmless as he idly walked around, was already as fearful as a god or devil in his heart. The one who started it all, Zhao Yi, was still practicing at night and walking around during the day. Daybreak and Obsidian, the two little kittens, were following behind wherever he went. Also Kansai almost, determined the best location, located in the direction of the right east corner of the warden's office, which is being renovated, happens to be within the range, and set up a formation there. The effect will be more significant. In recent days, 
he had gone through the book of life and death, and among the countless formations included, he had finally chosen the little green underworld formation. The complete green underworld formation also has a hefty reputation in the universe, carved into an exceptionally dangerous Jedi, with a thousand miles of eerie in chi coming from a radius. It can even briefly form a ghost gateway, summoning those heroes who died in battle, long departed battle souls to fight. Zhao Yi, who was standing next to the window, looked at the distant scenery and lamented, the current me can't set up a complete green underworld town, but I can also choose the much simplified small green underworld formation, which is enough to mobilize all of the yin chi and use it for me. Arranging the small green underworld formation was also not easy, it required the preparation of many treasures, and in the earth where the aura was barren, Zhao Yi would have to find materials that were as similar as possible to replace them, and he didn't know how long it would take to gather all of them. His advantage lies in the hand clutching a in vain. No need to extend the range to a thousand miles in a circle. Just covering a few dozen miles of prison is still possible. The quality of the slightly poor can also be used. And with the day and night by the in gas moisturizing, time will also be metamorphosed. After the kanji is done, there is less going out. During the day, he would nestle in his room and dive into the tai in sutra, gaining insights every day. The air around Zhaoi seemed to be frozen solid, as if it was telling a helpless whale. It was the prisoners on the upper and lower floors who suffered, shivering as their bodies were pierced by the bone-chilling cold, trying to press their bodies against the walls in an attempt to draw a trace of warmth from them. The meal is delivered by Hu Xiaokang, who now comes in for a big jump when his position is transferred. However, the daily routine is also to help Zhao Yi to run before and after. This job does not know how many people envied. Also thanks to Hu Xiaokang recognized early, otherwise it will not fall on him. In addition Hu Xiaokang had a mission. Every new inmate in Cloud City Prison had to be temporarily locked up in the interrogation room first, and then the first thing he did was run over to inform Zhao Yi that he would use the Book of Life and Death through a wall to confirm whether or not it was the real culprits who had framed him, the spies who had been sent in. The usual skulking in addition to the kanji, almost all the inmates in the prison, have been checked by Zhao Yi. The real culprit's target is the Volsing Mountain that has been passed down from his ancestors. Zhao Yi has been keeping an eye on the place, and no party has yet come forward to take possession of it for themselves they should still want to get a deed to the land, and are unwilling to leave hidden dangers in the future, so surely will come to the prison, but Zhao Yi also nowadays is different from the past, as long as they dare to send to the door, will certainly launch a crazy revenge, although not found sent spies, but there are some prisoners seem to be theft, but in fact, the body also carries a few lives, in the police department that are not solved the old cases, do a favor, give Li Boatao, the incident shocked the police department in succession, and the province knew about it, it was decided to have a recognition meeting to specifically recognize Li Buotao and gild the resume. Li Buotao didn't care about the commendation, and hired several chefs with heavy money to cook for Zhao Yi in different ways, enjoying the most excellent service. Common casual days passed for a few more days, Zhao Yi's case dropped completely, and there wasn't much discussion on the internet until 3 o'clock at noon on a Friday, when a blue Bentley pulled up in front of the prison and came down with a beautiful figure. The woman wore a pair of sunglasses that covered the small half of her melon face, mid to late thirties, but you could tell it was extremely well maintained. Although wearing a set of French apricot colored slim trench coat, but cannot cover the hot body. Round, snow white legs through the flesh, stepped on six inch bow heels, stepped on the ground to send out a crisp ringing, exuding a mature woman's soft charm. Entering the prison to the small guard on duty at the door were dumbfounded, nervously stammered, you have, what, help, hello officer, I need to visit someone? The woman's voice was also very nice. Languid with a coolness that easily prevailed in conversation. Who? Zhao. E. The expression of the small prison guard on duty at the door changed instantly. First carried out a detailed registration. Longer than the time taken to check the family register. Just short of asking whether it was single or married. Then instead of being led into a public meeting room, there was a clean unoccupied office. Not long after that Hu Xiaokang pushed his way in, panting and apologizing. Mr. Zhao is taking a nap. Miss Gu might have to wait. If you have something urgent to deal with, you can wait until next time. Sinister woman ahead of question marks. Prison so follow human nature. Death row inmates nap cannot be disturbed. And it's already 3 o'clock. Right? Isn't it over already? Chenli woman sat until 3.30, waiting for all impatient. Hu Xiaokong only went and returned, carrying a high-grade tea tray, which contains a full set of purple sandpot tea set. The. Wait until the tea was made according to the steps. Then retire. There were prison guards coming in behind them, filling the glass table with melon and nut snacks, like they were treating a grand guest. After everything was done, the sleepy Zhao Yi only then opened the door and walked in. Sitting across from the Chinli woman, 
opening his mouth and yawning, spring sleepy, fall tired, summer snooze, accidentally slept more, Miss Gu please forgive me, out of the way, Gu Qingqing who sat on the sofa opposite Zhao Yi, two long soul stealing legs alternating together, thin skirt longitudinally up to the knee, every move has a strong temptation, I'm curious, how can you, a death row inmate, be subjected to this kind of treatment, Zhao Yi let out a light laugh and didn't talk about it, instead, he stared straight at her, I'm also rather curious, what is it that the boss of Oriental City, is looking for me for, the dainty woman in front of her was called Gu Qingqing, and only a few people knew that she was the big boss behind the Oriental City that Zhao Yi had led Chang Yinchi to, it's still the first time she's had a successful prison visit, when he was first imprisoned in Cloud City Prison, Shu Guanqi also came a few times, at that time he had not yet stood firm, and was told by the guards on duty that death row inmates were not allowed to visit the prison, and each time he was lost and left, Gu Qingqing also did not expect, Zhao Yi not only did not answer, but also stared so straight at her, and did not know if she was really shy, the delicate beauty quickly swept up two groups of flushed red, your guts are really not small, the last one who was so rude to his sister has been sunk in the river, the last sentence was bitten hard as a way of trying to get Zhao Yi to tighten up a bit, Zhao Yi seemed to be blissfully unaware of this, still quietly looking at the beauty of the landscape, looking across the mountains and not saying a word of rebuttal, Gu Qingqing was defeated, with a deep sense of powerlessness, calmed down a bit, and asked another question, how do you know my identity, what's written on the registration can be fake news, that night she spoke with Zhao Yi, the other side of the road to bring Cheng Xiao Sun came, can you arrange a luxury box, afterwards, Gu Qingqing came to Dongfang City and pulled up the surveillance video from that night, discovering Zhao Yi's identity and all the things he had done, and realizing that this death row inmate was by no means simple. Recently, Dongfang City has encountered a difficult situation. The upper and lower have no solution. Gu Qingqing thought of Zhao Yi, dead horse as a living horse doctor came to the prison. Zhao Yi leaned his body forward and poured himself a cup of tea, taking a small sip as he said, the reason is very simple. I made offerings to the honored immortal and became a fortune teller, so I naturally know. Fortune telling. Mr. Li Rong, who heard this, laughed and trembled. I'm beginning to doubt Li Buotao's IQ. How can someone who can solve so many old cases in the police department be fooled by the stuff of a charlatan? Laughing for a while Gu Qingqing also did not expect. Up to now Zhao still staring at her figure to see it. Face cold like a layer of frost. From the sofa stood up angrily, since you are a fortune teller. That say am I secret. To prove that what is said is not true. Don't think you'll be able to rest easy in prison. As usual, you'll be able to get some pain. Zhao Yi looked at Gu Qingqing, who was like an explosive little lion, and poured her a cup of hot tea as well, still calmly saying, you have a moderate darkness phobia, you will become agitated in the darkness, and you will also have difficulty breathing after a long time, Li Rong was like a thunderbolt from a clear sky hitting her head, staring blankly at Zhao Yi across from her, unable to speak for a long time, Zhao Yi is right, she does have a phobia of the dark, after 6 o'clock in the evening, rarely go out, to prevent to avoid encountering unavoidable things, the bag is always loaded with a flashlight, this is the heart of the biggest secret, never told the second person, the closest father and grandfather do not know, I did not expect to be in front of the Zhao Yi learned, it's safe to assume that he really does have a couple of tricks up his sleeve, and there may be a solution to the oriental city matter, what are your demands, Gu Qingqing was also a smart person and knew that it was definitely not that easy to get Zhao Yi to make a move, Zhao Yi didn't say anything, he just took out a piece of white paper, placed it on the glass table, and calmly pushed it over, Gu Qingqing just glanced at it, it immediately indicated the impossibility, on the white paper are written a dozen kinds of Chinese herbs, all of which are necessary for the refining of Bimadula Dan, five of which are worth 10,000 tails of gold, especially the centuries-old ginseng of Chang Bai Mountain, the red Ganoderma lucidum of Shenangjia, and the wild three-inch purple Wooten vine, the stuff that can hang a dead man's life in critical moments and can't be purchased with money alone, of course Misku can give it out, by virtue of you being the first granddaughter of the Gu family, Zhao Yi lightly threw out another heavy news, the Gu family is a century-old family in Yuncheng, with a history dating back to the Republican period, making its fortune in the Chinese herbal medicine business, and nowadays the sons and daughters of the family are spread out in more than a dozen different fields, with their influence radiating to half of the province, I'm going to reconsider, Gu Qingqing did not immediately agree and got up to leave the office, she felt that she was far from being able to see through Zhao Yi, this man sentenced to death was hiding too deeply, and in a very short time he had gotten around the prison so well that even the guards were serving him, but the herbs on the white paper are also frighteningly expensive, translating into several hundred million Chinese dollars, the family's medicine storehouse totaled just those, or the ones passed down from ancestors, 
using one less than the other. Don't think that what Oriental City is facing is a minor inconvenience. Zhao Yi called out to stop her, hands crossed on the table. Very patient explanation, I see the future of the Oriental City through you. Did not crack the person in the casino how to cheat. The other party is the old fox from Hong Kong Island now, won a billion dollars before leaving, and the reputation of the Oriental City caused a great impact, but cost is far more than the herbs on the white paper. Gu Qingqing stopped, very torn in her heart, and finally sighed. You win. In the end she chose to take a gamble and trust the youth in front of her for once. Zhao resumed his teacup and gestured for Gu Qingqing to sit down as well. Congratulations on making the right decision to step out of the office, and double the reward for letting me out again. I don't know why, but Gu Qingqing, who heard these words, was a little glad in her heart. How can you help me? Let me go to Oriental City tonight and meet those guys. You, playing me? Gu Qingqing, who had just sat down, instantly bounced up from the sofa, her eyebrows knitted together. I'm not that magical, letting you out of prison as a death row inmate. The Gu family is just not powerful enough to do that. Zhao Yi drank all the tea in his cup and took his cell phone to send a message. Not long after Hu Xiao Kang pushed the door in, holding a white jacket, an unopened disposable blue mask. Mr. Zhao, it's been arranged. Should we send a few people to protect your safety? It's not necessary. Zhao Yi put on his mask and put on his jacket again and stretched. It seems like it's been a long time since I've gone out, so it's time to move around. Gu Qingqing, who had walked out of the prison, tried to restrain her expression and glanced at the man on the side with her afterglow. A prisoner sentenced to death, just casually walked out? The prison guard's standing guard at the door acted as if they hadn't seen it. Their eyes glued straight ahead. It's early in the day, the casino doesn't open until the evening, and I'm going to do something important. Zhao said while walking towards the blue Bentley. What are you doing standing around stupidly? Do you want me to drive? Gu Qingqing sat in the driver's seat and asked in a cool voice. Where to? Movie theater. A surprised Gu Qingqing looked at Zhao Yi who was sitting in the co-pilot. You're not kidding me, right? There was a pending comedy movie that I was looking forward to, but before I could watch it, it was falsely imprisoned, and it's going to be taken off the shelves tonight, so if you don't watch it, you'll have to wait until you get on the video software. Zhao Yi adjusted a comfortable sitting position, closed his eyes for a nap, and opened them until he had to drive to the place, and said in a somewhat light tone, How did you drive to the eastern city? Gu Qingqing got out of the car first her face delicate and picturesque, there are also movie halls in Oriental City, and the grade is much higher than outside, I still have documents to deal with, just tell the manager what you need, after saying that, she stepped on her high heels and left straight away, Zhao looked at the distant slender figure, a person stepped into the Oriental City's theater hall, there are three to four hundred seats, but today it is for him to pack the room, called the waiter to bring a bottle of coke, put the mouth gently blow, instantly turned into a cold, sat in the middle of the seat, seriously watching the movie. After watching it for only 10 minutes, I got a little bored. The main reason is that he is the only one in the theater hall. It seems a lot more empty and silent, not as lively as usual, so he took his cell phone and sent a message to Gu Qingqing. Not a moment too soon, the idle employees of Oriental City then came and received the assignment to come here to see a movie. The employees looked at each other in disbelief as they watched the movie being shown, and had to give a few perfunctory laughs when a punchline appeared in the act. They looked curiously at the masked man sitting in the center and wondered what the hell was this dude's status? It's the first time I've encountered a big boss who has never shown his face personally giving orders just to accompany a person to watch a movie? They even saw, before the seats were filled, a few supervisors being transferred over with the same expression of confusion. Zhao looked back and there were still some empty seats, fingers as brushes, drawing in the void. It was just a few breaths of effort and dozens of unfamiliar faces that were dressed in Oriental City's work clothes but had never been seen before stood in front of each other one after another. Their eyes were dead and empty, their faces were pale and bloodless, and their mouths were tinged with a bizarre look, standing as if they were dead, watching the hearts of those living people behind them shrink. Things drawn on the fly to make up the numbers are worse in terms of quality. Take an unoccupied seat. I won't allow an empty seat in such a wonderful movie. Zhao ordered with an expressionless face, and dozens of people drawn out of thin air like the hydrogen balloons that children like to play with, randomly drifted to the top of the blank seats, and watched the half-acted movie with all seriousness. The employees of Oriental City couldn't tense up. Extreme fear surged to their hearts, wanting to get up and flee out of the studio, but those who appeared out of nowhere, their eyes glanced over intentionally or unintentionally, and their butts, which had just stood up, sat back down in embarrassment. It was dark by the time the movie ended. Zhao was the first to get up and leisurely left the theater leaving behind a paralyzed group of people. Oriental City in the darkness of the night, 
Like a bright pearl, the crystal chandeliers in the hall shed a soft light, illuminating the marble-paved floor, the air was filled with a faint aroma, and the rhythm of the music intertwined, weaving a mesmerizing atmosphere, went to the restaurant first and had a dinner, then he took out the golden elevator card given by Gu Qingqing and went directly to the highest floor of Oriental City. The highest floor of Oriental City is not open to the public during the day, and only after 9 o'clock in the evening do members pour in one after another. The casino is much stricter than below. You must have a familiar customer who spends no less than $1 million as a guarantor. There are six tall bodyguards standing at the door, and before entering the door, you have to go through a strict examination, and electronic devices such as cell phones have to be handed over. Ears and clothes should also be checked to prevent harboring cheating tech. Gu Qingqing gave this casino the name Dragon Gate. As the saying goes, if you cross the gate, you can ascend and turn into a dragon. It means that there are unlimited opportunities here for even the lowest carp to leap over the dragon's door and cross the class. Zhao Yi also came to the Dragon Gate Gambling Hall. Gu Qingqing had long ago instructed, as if no one else walked in, the six bodyguards were as if they did not see. After casually sneaking around, the program is really complete and not bad compared to Hong Kong Island. The lotteries were all dressed very sexy, with large breast globes exposed, stimulating the hearts of the gamblers with the specialized words they had learned in training. It was only eight or nine minutes before Zhao Yi came out, walking idly in again, the most heavily guarded corridor, with a dozen bodyguards standing on either side all with very stern gazes, obviously all practiced. At the deepest part of the corridor was a conference room, in which a large screen was placed to monitor the entire Dragon Gambling Hall Table 19. Gu Qingqing was inside, watching Table 19, a young man with dyed blonde hair killing it, wildly winning 5 to 6 million in just 10 minutes, her two curved willow leaf eyebrows locked together, her mood bad to the extreme, it has been magnified dozens of times, even the young man's sweat hairs are vaguely visible and still no traces of cheating have been detected. The blonde young man's name was Su Moore, said to be the son of a family from Hong Kong Island. At first when I first came here, I was losing millions every day, and Oriental City was happy to have such big players, but after a week it all changed. Young people, even if they are extremely talented, can hardly achieve anything before the age of 30, because they have accumulated too little experience at the gambling table, and in the face of sophisticated masters. The inadvertent micro-expressions will also reveal the cracks. But this article on Sue Moore is not adaptable. He is like the god of gambling on the body. Almost never lose. Every day can win 80 to 90 million. To today has won 300 million. He was almost the center of attention in the room. Surrounded by crowds of people. Warbling endlessly. Enjoying the treatment of the stars. The hard part is that Dongfang Cheng is always watching him. And the several gambling experts sitting here have tried to break their heads. But they have not found any traces of cheating. In accordance with this speed win go on, spare the oriental city again rich and powerful, behind the scenes with the Gu family backing, but also to face the danger of cash flow. In addition to Gu Qingqing, whose heart was shrouded in a gray fog, there were five or six other oriental city executives next to her, unable to stop wiping the sweat from their foreheads with towels. Squeak, yikes, Zhao Yi pushed the door in, sipping a glass of ice cola, instantly attracting the eyes of the whole house. So lively? Other than Gu Qingqing alone. The rest of them did not recognize Zhao Yi, but those present were all human beings and knew that since this person could come in, he must have gotten permission from his boss, so they did not open their mouths to kick him out. How's it going? Gu Qingqing asked eagerly. She saw Zhao Yi enter the gambling hall. Only the stay was too short and thought she didn't see anything. The gambling hall doesn't close until 4 in the morning. You have enough time to observe. It's not necessary. Zhao Yi sat on a chair, his fingers gently tapping on the table, looking at table 19 on the monitor a smile blooming at the corner of his mouth, please ask Mr. Su to come in, after winning so much money by cheating, he should spit it out today, Gu Qingqing gave a wink, and the bodyguard behind him understood, in no time at all, Su Moore, who had dyed blonde hair, a cigarette in his mouth, and was in a very emotional state, was brought over, faced with dozens of pairs of unkind eyes in the conference hall, Su Moore showed great condescension, half-burned cigarettes thrown on the ground, stepped on two feet hard with his leather shoes, and then questioned in an angry tone, Oriental City has this belly, only let the loss of money do not let the winnings, right? said he to the next chair, and fished out a cigarette from his pocket and lighted it, crossed his legs to the table, the anger on his face gradually changed to disdain, I do not know which rule I have violated, did not ask for my consent, forced to invite to here to be questioned, you have to give a statement today, or I'm staying here, a few of the higher-ups were speechless, unable to do anything at all in the face of the hobnailed meat, and looked at Gu Qingqing for help. Gu Qingqing's gaze fell back to Zhao Yi, the only hope now. 
Zhao Yi took a few steps to come in front of Su Mo, bending down to be at the same height as him, a gentle smile on his lips. You're very emboldened right now, aren't you? The focal point of the gambling hall in recent days. I don't know how many upper class people are paying attention to you. It is expected that Dongfang City doesn't dare to play the underhanded one on you before they have evidence. Su Mo's expression was stunned, then returned to normal. I don't know what you're talking about. He was indeed spoken for by Zhao Yi. In the past few days he has been very high profile in the gambling hall, and must be surrounded by warblers and swallows. That is, to prevent Dongfang Cheng from losing his eyes sharply, and then sending people to do it to him behind his back. Can go in and out of the gambling hall in the Cloud City also have a few strength? Come here to play is valued the reputation of the Oriental City. If you have a day suddenly attacked, the people who have the slightest association can guess the general, and will certainly not come back later. Oriental City threw in the towel and could only eat a dumb loss. It doesn't matter if you admit it or not. Zhao Yi shrugged indifferently. Anyway, everything you do has to be based on cheating not being discovered. Otherwise Jesus can't even keep it. Su Mo was like an explosive lion. Instantly jumped up from the chair. Staring at the man wearing a mask. But inexplicably gave him great pressure. Said cheating to take out the evidence. I'm 100% with. Or else spit on people beware of me to sue you. As if he was a prophet. Zhao Yi took a step backward the moment before Su Mo jumped up. Avoiding the rolling cigarette and looked to the black-clothed bodyguards at the side, check mister, sue properly, don't let go of any part of him, the black-clothed bodyguard looked over at Gu Qingqing, and after receiving his boss's consent, he transformed into a vicious tiger and pounced on him, not a moment too soon, Su Mo, who was left with only a pair of underwear, was so angry that his face turned red, you guys better find something, or else I'll make sure you pay for it, the bodyguard still found nothing in the clothing, even the lighter was dismantled, and was just about to open his mouth to report to Gu Qingqing, when Zhao Yi, who was wearing a mask on the side, reached out to stop him, the smile on his face amused, there's still one more place to go, take off his underpants and focus on checking that part, the bodyguard who had gotten the go-ahead naturally had no qualms about ignoring Sumo's rant and striking right away, the picture is just too beautiful to look at, the conference room resounded with inhuman wailing, audible to those outside even through the thick walls, Gu Qingqing looked down at her cell phone, and several executives had horrified eyes and furrowed their eyebrows in a single piece. Having never seen such a ferocious scene before, the pain caused Su Mo to curl up into a ball, and he was about to faint several times. Eventually one of the bodyguards made a discovery and found one, about two or three centimeters of black object, and cleaned it up briefly with toilet paper before handing it to Gu Qingqing, who hadn't said a word. What is this? Gu Qingqing didn't answer and turned her head to ask Zhao Yi. Zhao Yi asked his bodyguard to cover Su Mo with a layer of blankets. The picture was too beautiful to be really spicy, the new equipment over on Hong Kong Island, a kind of modified long plug, because of the special hiding location, it can dodge almost all the checks of the casino, what it does is, through the frequency of the vibrations, it transmits a combination of codes, a person cannot do through the long plug out of cheating, there must be a mole out of the oriental city, the position is not low look, Su Mo, who was forcibly enduring the sharp pain in his chrysanthemums, struggled to get up from the ground, his forehead covered in fine beads of sweat, I can, tell you, the other mole, can also spit out the winnings, provided that you let me, leave safely, the cheating was exposed, and he knew he was in a critical situation and had to show value to get out of it, Gu Qingqing looked at Su Mo's eyes like a fool, cheating to win so much money, actually thinking of leaving safely, really think that oriental city is a charity, ignoring Su Mo's request, Gu Qingqing completely believed in Zhao Yi's identity, and unconsciously lowered her stance, I have to trouble Mr. Zhao again, to help count out another mole. Zhao Yi casually waved his hand. It's only right to receive money to do a job. The mole is not one person, but a small gang. Three people to be exact. Chen Sha Sha, Jiang Tao, Zhu Kailiang. Do you recognize the three? Gu Qingqing nodded. Just because she rarely showed her face didn't mean she wasn't familiar with Eastern City. Each employee's resume is placed on the desk. After a strict review before hiring, Zhao Yi said that the three are veteran managers at least four or five years in Oriental City. Seeing that Gu Qingqing recognized these three people, Zhao Yi got right to the point, spending a high price to buy a new type of cheating equipment from Hong Kong Island that has been circulating on a small scale. And by the way, hiring Su Mo in front of you, he fabricated the identity of a non-existent family disciple, and came to Oriental City's gambling halls to make a lot of money. If you don't believe me, just check their transaction records. It's all in the name of a relative and wired to a Swiss bank. As Zhao Yi spoke, his eyes didn't ripple at all, as if he was talking about a small matter, but the entire conference room was frighteningly silent, and Gu Qingqing's fingers clenched white, 
How could I not have thought of that? It's hard to prevent home invasions day and night. The executives in the conference room were trembling with fear, and their minds were rapidly pondering whether they had any interests with the three. And if they were liquidated by the boss piece by piece, they would have to cry. Su Mo, who was lying on the ground, was staring at Zhao Yi with a horrified look on his face. He only knew Jiang Tao alone. He didn't realize that there were two more mole ghosts. Gu Qingqing took a deep breath and changed back to her high cold model. Please come over and talk to the three of you. The black clad bodyguard nodded. And this time it took a little longer. Six or seven minutes passed. And the three managers who had been named were thrown into the conference room with their next grip. The moment the three saw Su Mo, who was spraying blood from his chrysanthemums, they immediately knew what had happened. And just as they were about to open their mouths to argue, Gu Qingqing took the first step and said, I know what you want to say, and now I'm giving the three of you a chance to find out who wants to check their own recent remittance records, and I'll make amends in person for those who aren't guilty. After Gu Qingqing's words, all three people were dumbfounded. It really doesn't stand up to scrutiny. They only make 600, 000 to 700, 000 dollars a year, and can't explain the source of tens of millions of dollars in remittances in such a short period of time. Jiang Tao, who had the hottest temper, viciously kicked Su Mo, causing him to let out another wail in pain. You ill-raised dog, you actually betrayed Lousy. Su Mo, who was more wrong than Doe, forced himself to endure the severe pain and howled. I also wanted to betray you guys, but none of them gave me this opportunity. And the man with the mask in front of him directly said the names of the three of you. Don't forget, I didn't know you had two other accomplices. Jiang Tao suddenly more angry. Another kick out, Malagobi also do not make up a better reason. Opposite wearing a mask that man I have not seen. Is he a fortune teller? Counting out? Su Mo thought back to the conversation in the conference room just now and suddenly revealed an expression of sudden realization. Crap. He really did calculate it. You think I, like a fool? Zhang Tao felt that his biggest mistake was finding such an oddball from Hong Kong Island. So angry that his body couldn't stop shivering. Do you really think that Gu Qingqing will let you go after you betrayed me? She's a man-eating demon. Mr. Gu. Chen Sha Sha was the first to panic, kneeling on the ground and crying like a pear, playing the emotional card. I'm also an old man of Dongfang City, and I've done my share of work over the years without merit, and it's all because I was compelled by the two of them to do this kind of lucrative and scandalous thing. Please forgive me this time and promise it won't happen again. Jiang Tao and Zhu Kailian were both infuriated by this woman who suddenly turned against the water, you shameless bitch. It wasn't you who found us in the first place, so we could conspire to do this. But now it's good to know that you know that you're dumping the black pot. Zhaoyi found a chair and sat down, enjoying watching the fun the most. Enough. Gu Qingqing's face was ugly. Stopping the three people's farce, it's too late to say anything now. For the sake of you all being old employees, you will be sent to Maine North overnight tonight. Whether you die or live all depends on your own destiny. Jiang Tao and the three of them looked as if they were dead. As if they had drained all of their strength and paralyzed to the ground. That place in northern Burma. They were sent there to live and die. Especially for the likes of Li Sha Sha. A half-aged woman who still has a few moments of good looks. The fate she faces can be imagined. Black clothed bodyguards also do not let them nagging. Gripped up from the ground and dragged out of the conference room. To give the snake hair message to come over to collect people. About five days after the arrival of the north of Maine. Gu Qingqing sent someone to fetch a box and handed it to Zhao Yi with a complicated expression. All the things you want are inside. I didn't think there was much hope. It was purely a dead horse. But I didn't expect it to go surprisingly well. For Zhao Yi's identity as a fortune teller. She was completely convinced. Blinking her watery almond eyes. Her eyelashes as light as butterfly wings. Swirling with charm and charisma everywhere. Since you're a fortune teller. Then surely you know who the other mole in oriental city is. Right? 100 million. Zhao Yi finished inspecting the goods, after determining that there is no problem, stretched out a finger and shook it in front of Gu Qingqing, 100 million to tell a person's name, how about a fair price, after this village, there is no such store, Gu Qingqing glanced angrily at Zhao Yi, the price offered is too high, and if it's a small stray fish, she'll have to lose it to her grandma's house, if you don't want to, forget it, it's not forced anyway, Zhao Yi didn't care, he got up and was about to leave, open a presidential suite for me, I won't go back if it's too late today. Just send a car to send it again tomorrow morning. But, walking to the doorway, Zhao Yi's words turned, turning his head to look at Gu Qingqing, suddenly revealing a smile of ulterior motives. You can also help me investigate my case. If you really want to be able to find out who framed me, cleaning out all of Oriental City's mole ghosts won't be a problem. Even, to help you find out who was responsible for the death of your mom when you were five years old, the real killer who ordered the truck driver to touch your mom to death. After saying that, 
he pushed the door alone and left, leaving Gu Qingqing who was already lost in thought, swipe the card to enter the presidential suite, lie in the bathtub to soak, take the phone to read the message, WeChat group has exploded. The fact that he had beaten up Director Wang, although he had been warned by the school not to talk about it everywhere, it still caused a small circulation, and the class group had chatted about it for hundreds of times. In addition to this also in the chat out of the campus to know, the community turned out to be so cruel. Before going to work as just an ordinary family's good boy, after going to work every day to do the idea of a small three. Ha! Zhaoyi filtered the useless information and really found Hua Dot. A female classmate said Zhu Guanqi passed the policy of independent entrepreneurship of college students, received a small amount of financial support, the office is in an apartment in the old city, and strived to develop the first combination of traditional Chinese medicine and cosmetics of pharmaceutical cosmetics. Got a little mental when I saw this one. When he first started his freshman year, Xu Guanqi, who appeared on campus, attracted the attention of almost the entire campus. Long braids hanging down casually, a few strands of loose silk in front of the forehead, beautiful and beautiful melon face without powder, like a lotus blooming in the red dust. It was later learned that he was a congenital aphasic, and was withdrawn and seldom interacted with others, causing many suitors to give up. Zhao also noticed Zhu Guanqi, but did not produce too many exchanges, but the two men's academic performance is extremely good, almost get full marks in every subject, year after year to get the highest scholarship, and gradually became a very good relationship with friends. Most of the time it was Zhao Yi talking, Xu Guanqi sitting next to him quietly listening, occasionally using sign language to say he wasn't distracted. In his junior year, Zhao Yi had a flash of insight, said the combination of traditional Chinese medicine and cosmetics, so that sitting next to the Zhu Guanqi amazed, and then the two often in a piece of research, the two daily part-time job earned zero money, and scholarships per semester, in addition to food and drink, almost all thrown inside, it was a difficult walk, but there were breakthrough discoveries, the two agreed not to give up on this even after graduation, vowing to develop a product that would impress those big international brands, after Zhao Yi wrongly imprisoned, Xu Guanqi do not believe that he is the kind of person, looking for people everywhere to seek help, but an ordinary no background students, but also suffers from congenital aphasia, and can have what energy it, received our ice cold reply, so that's what you're working toward by not coming to visit the prison back there, Zhao Yi gently put down his cell phone and looked at the starry sky with a lot of emotions, Zhao Yi, who had slept overnight in the presidential suite and washed up at 6 o'clock, ate the breakfast brought to his door by the waiter and put his mask back on, take the elevator to the spacious hall, compared to the night of the song and drums, the early morning seems to be a lot of silence, just out of a Maybach, slowly parked next to it, the driver's seat came down to a man, wearing a pair of clean white gloves, his stay type face gave the impression that he wasn't smiling, and he slightly owed his respect, Mr. Zhao, Mr. Gu had to leave beforehand and sent me to send you back, okay, Zhao Yi simply replied back and sat in the back seat of the car, the country faced man drove smoothly, his eyes sharp and intent, glancing stealthily behind him from time to time with his afterglow, Zhao Yi also knew that the man was observing him, and looked at the scenery outside and said softly, actually, it's quite aggravating for you, a dark force expert coming to be a chauffeur, there won't be anyone who will believe it when you say it, the man's body shuddered imperceptibly, but quickly recovered, Mr. Zhao, I don't understand what you're talking about, Zhao Yi's mouth lightly smiled, also do not go deeper, lethargically leaning backward, closed his eyes and said, first do not go back to Cloud City Prison, go to the old city Shishing Road Hualong apartment, to arrive to tell me a word, good, the country-faced man answered, his face not fluctuating excessively as he continued to concentrate on driving, Zhao Yi, who had closed his eyes for a nap, was digesting using the book of life and death to check the information of Wang Fuzhu, the man with the country face, it was almost the same as the one he had guessed, now that De Xia's aura was barren, and after the De Qin Fangshir did not know where to go, there were no more cultivators in the world, but an alternative martial arts path was derived, and the stage was shifted from in front of the stage to behind the scenes, moving behind the scenes doesn't mean going downhill, or even ushering in a new glory as the times go by, there are many strong martial artists who are now also sitting on one side, either attached to one side of the force as a guest, or into the army as instructor positions, for the great summer military force to make outstanding contributions, Wang Fu cast is dependent on the Gu family, Iron Sand Palm 20 generation heir, has stepped into the through the ventilator Ming pulse of the martial arts master, the current Gu family head of the personal bodyguard, in the Gu family has a pivotal position, the younger generation to see have to respectfully shout at a Wang uncle, samurai, martial artist, martial king, small, medium, large and complete, 
the king of the martial arts to attract gas into the body. The essence of life and heaven and earth aura generated true chi. Five senses sharp can dodge bullets, has transcended the category of human beings, placed in the ancient dynasty as a first class sect head, and now it is even more dominant hegemony of a party. In addition to the martial arts world, it seems that there is also the arts and crafts world. However, Wang Fuzhou had stayed in the Gu family for more than 10 years, and his information was rather closed, so he didn't know much about the art and magic world, and only knew that he was able to cast some spells. Cloud City had recently come to have a painstakingly cultivated master of the arts, who had been honored as a guest by many. It is also true that there are people in Dasha who have made offerings to the immortals and who have attained extraordinary greatness without the need for diligent cultivation. Zhaoyi is more surprised. Wang Fuchu's ancestors traveled around the world. About this record is also very detailed, saying that the immortal is the decline of the Qing dynasty, the earth's gas obscurity and turbid vapor, resulting in the revival of the product of the demon, most of the hungry wolves in sheep's clothing. When you gain something, the immortal will also take something from you double, and the more powerful the immortal, the greedier they are. It amounts to making unequal deals, and most of them don't end well. Then Zhaoyi was weighing up which realm of the great summer martial Dao he was currently, corresponding to, it should be at martial king, but stronger than that. Although the effects of the martial king's true qi, and his own true essence, sounded similar, it was a world of difference between glass and steel, and he was also able to cast spells from the artistic realm. In Biathlon, the gap is even bigger. Today, Wang Fuzhu came to be the driver. It was last night Gu Qingqing told the family all about Oriental City. The Gu family head, who was also Gu Qingqing's grandfather, asked him to come over to check Zhao Yi's reality, but the result was that he recognized it before he could reap the benefits, an hour and a half to get to the place. Zhao Yi opened his eyes and yawned, help me go to the fourth floor and call a girl named Zhu Guanxi to come down, please. Rao Wang Fuzhu also some blowing beard and eyes, before did not recognize the identity of the even if, and now are still treating him as an ordinary driver, but after a second's hesitation, he chose to go upstairs. Zhaoyi also got out of the car and surveyed Hualong apartment. The Hualong apartments had been built a long time ago, and the traces left by time were unusually obvious, the outer layer of the building was speckled, the window frames were a little rusty, and the paint had peeled off in large areas, exposing the original texture of the masonry. They say it's an apartment, but it's actually quite a mixed bag. Many people look at the cheap rent and also come here to open studios as small as 5 to 10 people, but the tenants here love it, and the floors are clean and tidy with no accumulation of debris. Zhaoyi came here last month. It was very dirty and messy. Garbage was just thrown away. How come it's changed so much? Not a moment too soon. Wang Fuzhu came down, followed by a girl. I've brought the man. The girl is wearing a plain white short-sleeved shirt. The lower body is washed white jeans, wearing a pair of ordinary canvas shoes. The whole body does not see any ornaments, but there is a strong sense of intellectual beauty. See Zhaoyi's eyes light up, followed by the look became very nervous holding Zhao Yi's hand to run to the apartment. Stop, stop, stop. Zhao Yi understands what Zhu Guanqi means, opened his mouth to explain, I am now in a safe situation. Out to sneak around for a while no problem. Or why that big cake face across from you? Why don't you notify the police? Wang Fuchu, although Zhu Guanqi couldn't speak, her mind was very delicate, remembering the words that Principal Wang had passed on, and knowing that Zhao Yi wasn't escaping from prison. The tension on her face dissipated and she smiled as she signaled to Zhaoyi, asking him how he was doing lately. Zhaoyi also responded to each of them, saying that he was doing well. The inmates were friendly and helped fold the quilts every day. You're alone in the Walloon apartment? Shu Guanqi shook her head slightly and continued to tell Zhaoyi in sign language. At the very beginning it was one person, and then five or six classmates came behind. Everyone didn't believe that you would be like that, and gathered together in one piece to attack the problem. But last night's research was too late for her to stay here herself. After understanding, Zhaoyi asked again, how did it change so much here? Shu Guanqi, who heard this, raised her little head with some pride and took her cell phone to type for Zhaoyi. It would be much easier to communicate here. When I first rented it, it was indeed very dirty and messy. So in order not to leave a bad impression on my fellow classmates, I got up every morning at 5 o'clock to clean it up. Slowly the tenants here got infected, and piece by piece they followed my maintenance. And it became what you see now. For this reason, the landlord was so pleased that he gave me a 500% reduction in rent. Looking at Zhu Guanqi who leaped to tell himself, Zhao Yi thought to himself that the tenant here, also can't stand the condemnation of conscience, letting a little girl who suffers from aphasia to help throw the garbage, letting people know is not to poke through the spine, but he didn't poke at it either, giving maximum encouragement. 
Shu Guanqi looks like he suddenly remembers something and asks Zhaoyi if he picked up the two little kittens. Eh? Zhaoyi nodded. Shu Guanqi continued to lower his head to type. With a faint fragrance. After you were framed and imprisoned, I went to the medicine field behind the school and asked the two little guys if they wanted to come with me. And they both shook their heads. So it seems to be that they sensed in the underworld that you would come. It's busy here. But I write a letter every week and drop it in the chief's mailbox at the police station. So I'm sure there's always a response. Now that I see you're okay. It's really great. Combined with the valuable experience you've researched. We're about to develop our first product. A big step away from our original dream. By then you. Still come out to see us? Meeting Zhu Guanqi's expectant gaze. Although it was only a paragraph. He could feel a huge emotion. Zhaoyi nodded seriously. Definitely. Shu Guanqi spread a smile. Like the rising sun. Eyes are bent into two elegant crescent moon. Firm and expectant of the future now. The two exchanged a few more minutes. And Zhaoyi felt that it was almost time for the pedestrians on the road. After saying goodbye and getting into the back seat of the Maybach. When the car drove out of this intersection. The smile on his face abruptly disappeared. And his eyes calmly looked at Wang Fuchu. Don't investigate her. Or you will die. A plain sentence. But it made Wang Fuju's heart flinch, as if the other party could really do it, and he took a deep breath to calm his emotions. He felt the need to adjust himself and was almost bluffed by a student. The opponent could not see any traces of training and definitely did not practice martial arts. Wang Fuju could be sure that Zhao Yi had really enshrined an immortal, and it was a very fierce kind, or else he couldn't explain all the divine means he had suddenly learned, but he had plenty of backbone not to be afraid. Wearing a pair of white gloves all year round was a symbol of iron sand palm cultivation to great success. The hands looked whiter and tenderer than a woman's. But in reality, they contained earth-shattering power. And the airflow between the palms was swift and overbearing when they were operating. A strong body capable of lifting a thousand pounds could be called a samurai. Containing the vital energy, with the power to open the monument and crack the stone. Almost 3,600 pounds, can be called a martial arts master? And now Wang Fu cast at this level. Splitting a tiger to death is not a matter of course, and it is clearly documented by the ancestors that the drawback of those who offer the immortals is that they have to communicate with the immortals before applying each power. Wang Fuzhu in this time period had a hundred ways to kill Zhao Yi. Let's not go back to the prison yet. I'm going to kill someone. Zhao Yi stopped looking at the scenery and said very seriously. Who? Wang Fuzhu puzzled, and greatly puzzled, thinking that you have become a death row inmate. Why do not you keep a low profile? Qin Yuan Hao. Zhao Yi's eyes glowed like he was only talking about a small matter. He used the Book of Life and Death to check out. Shu Guanqi's passed in recent times, and found that Qin Yuanhao had not yet given up, and had become even more arrogant and domineering when he entered society. Offered a million dollars to Zhu Guanqi, as long as he accompanied him for a week to get it, but was Zhu Guanqi coldly rebuffed, and then hired a group of street punks, three times over to come over to Hualong apartment to look for trouble. The law is being seriously trampled on because of the rich status. In order to not let Zhao Yi worry, Zhu Guanqi didn't talk about any of this, but now that Zhao Yi knows about it, let's just kill it on the way and not make one more trip. And if he could find out from Qin Yuanhao who the murderer behind the frame-up was, that would be killing two birds with one stone. You want to kill Qin Yuanhao? Aren't you afraid of his old man? Wang Fuzhu stepped on the brakes, looked back at Zhao Yi and said in a single sentence, Qin Yuanhao is Qin Hong's only son. Qi Tian Three Star Hotel is Qin Hong's industry and he has very hard connections in all fields. Recently, he's prepared to acquire a snack street and build it into the busiest commercial street in Cloud City. It's not as good as the Gu family, but it's not to be underestimated. If you really kill his son, the sky will turn over in Cloud City. Zhao Yi listened to the expression did not change, fingers gently knocking on the car window, and finally revealed a mouthful of snow-white teeth, his old man if he dares to jump. Just give me the opportunity to a piece of the extermination. Unjustly accused of adultery and murder for no reason. Really think I'm a soft persimmon? Wang Fuzhu stopped talking and drove single-mindedly. Anyway, he is just a driver today. Zhao Yi let him go wherever he wants. Helping to kill people is definitely impossible. And the necessary moment to draw a line first. So as not to bring undeserved disaster to the Gu family. But in the end, he still couldn't hold back and politely advised. Immortals are not charitable organizations. It's better to try not to rely on them or else you'll regret it sooner or later. Zhao Yi's gaze finally changed, containing a variety of emotions, knowing that Wang Fuzhu also meant well, secretly telling the immortal the truth. Although the immortal is just a fictionalized front, but Wang Fuzhu still for the Ping Shui met him, can do this step, really some out of the expected, many thanks. Zhao Yi lightly responded and sent a message to Li Buotao to check on Qin Yuanhao's trail. Li Buotao also do not ask more, simply returned a good Lu. Five minutes later sent a positioning, 
go to the Chi Tian Hotel. Last night Qin Gongzi led two female models, and now not yet out of it. The black Maybach made a U-turn and drove towards the Chi Tian De Hotel. Chi Tian Grand Hotel is in the development zone of Yunchang, with a modern and classic design. The main body is made up of dark tones of glass and metal, a casual meal costs several thousand dollars, and the parking lot is full of tens of millions of luxury cars. Zhao got out of the car and signaled that Wang Fuzhu could leave, and that he could take his own taxi when it was over. Standing close to the Chi Tian Grand Hotel, Zhao Yi injected true essence into the Book of Life and Death, covering the entire Chi Tian Grand Hotel with the scope that he could view, skimming over one irrelevant person after another, and finding Qin Yuanhao who was sleeping with his arms around the two female car models. Half a minute later Zhao Yi retrieved the true essence, although did not harvest the information of the murderer who framed himself, but also found a thing that seems to be related again. After Qin Yuanhao was beaten into the hospital by him that month, he was so angry that he asked his father to pay for Master Tiger's hand to unload one of Zhao Yi's legs to take the heat out of himself. However, Qin Hong felt that Master Tiger's heart was too black, out of the blue to give people death, and then sit on the ground, did not agree to his son's request. The only thing Qin Yuanhao knew about Master Tiger was that he was a local mob leader in Cloud City who suddenly appeared in Cloud City five years ago with a mysterious and powerful background. In just half a day, the underworld was unified, and the four leaders of Cloud City were saddled with it. Basically, if you pay money, you do everything, and it was done so seamlessly that no evidence could be found. Rather, it fits the characteristics of the murderer behind the wrongful conviction of Zhao Yi. Zhao Yi also learned that Qin Yunhao, this son of a bitch, during the school period with ecstasy, forced to sleep with a dozen girls, the back either with money, or with coercion, to suppress. It was only because Zhu Guanqi was cautious and resolutely refused to drink the water that was out of sight that he didn't get his way. Come out when you're done and bide your time. Wang Fuzhu, who drove out a few kilometers, suddenly chose to turn around and drove the car into the open parking lot of the Chitian Hotel, looking for a position with the best view to stop. He saw Zhao Yi sitting on the flower bed opposite the hotel, playing with his phone with his head down. Time passes by. About 9.30, Zhao Yi suddenly put away his cell phone, saw a not very tall looking, head to toe as a famous brand. Five or six waiters attentively wait, left and right also attached to the two female models. After a night of plowing, Qin Yunhao's face was white and he walked with weakness, sitting on the flower bed of Zhao Yi, and Qin Yuanhao was also separated from a road, about more than a hundred meters away, although it is the morning but also passing a lot of traffic, coupled with the Qi Tian Hotel is the home industry, everywhere is the surveillance camera, Qin Yuanhao simply did not notice, there are two men in the observation of him, Wang Fuzhu was seeing a person who had made offerings to the immortals for the first time and was curious in his heart. Wondering how Zhao Yi would kill Qin Yuanhao in full view of the public, it was seen that Zhao Yi put away his cell phone, the fingers of his right hand made the shape of a pistol, and very casually fired a shot into Qin Yuanhao's head, through the air, pa, then he jumped down from the flower bed, patted the dust on his ass, and went to the side of the road to hail a cab, he also waved his hand towards the parking lot before getting into the car, and after greeting the peeping Wang Fuzhu, he disappeared to the end of the road in less than half a minute, Wang Fuzhu, who was in a daze, could not understand what Zhao Yi had done at all, thinking that he was joking with him when, immediately after that, he violently realized that Qin Yuanhao seemed to have kept a posture for a long time without moving. The tall model next to him, who had also discovered Qin Yuanhao's abnormality, smiled and reached out to pat his shoulder, and with a burst of crisp cracking sound, then Qin Yuanhao was like an ice sculpture, suddenly shattered into hundreds and thousands of pieces, scattering everywhere. Wang Fuzhu's eyes suddenly widened. Qin Yuanhao, dead and it was a particularly shocking death, instantly cut off from life and frozen into an ice sculpture, hundred meters away from the silent killing life, the key appearance does not have any change, during the period of no one to find the end of the clues, spare masters cannot do it, a great fear engulfed Wang Fuzhu, his body subconsciously tensed up, his heart thumped wildly, as if he had been violently shocked, his back was completely drenched in cold sweat, and he sat in the car and panted heavily, thinking of what Zhao Yi had just said, a bitter smile appeared on the corner of Wang Fuzhu's mouth, he would really die if he faced him, and he might not even be too much better than even Qin Yuanhao, what the hell did he offer, what immortal, Zhao Yi was riding in a cab back to the prison, his eyes closed as he took a nap, cultivation of the underworld emperor know-how has been a period of time, 100 meters apart instantly freezing Qin Yuanhao's whole body blood, for him to cost not much real yuan, really a home travel, killing must learn the god level skills, the reason I didn't kill it in a big hotel is that there's surveillance everywhere, and it's easy to leave a hidden agenda. The driver was a chatterbox. Looking at Zhao Yi he suddenly asked, how did you go to prison? 
You're a college student, right? The food at the prison is good. It's almost mealtime. That's why I'm rushing back. Before that I was a student at Cloud City University. Jowi answered truthfully. The driver thought that Jowi had relatives in the prison and could go and dabble in a meal when he had nothing else to do. And that if he was a student of Yunchang University before, that meant that he had already graduated. And his attitude was instantly solemn. After all, Cloud City University is also very powerful. And the college entrance examination must also be 650 points upwards. Heat sked. Followed by another question. My child is in the fourth grade this year. Cultural achievement is a mess. How to judge whether he has talent in art? If he really has, first send interest class tutoring is also okay. Jowie pondered for a second. My suggestion is to just judge the absence. The accuracy is actually extremely high. The driver lapsed into silence and didn't speak again the whole way. Getting off from the door of the prison and walking in brightly. The prisoners are now stomping on their sewing machines. And they don't see many people where they pass. Stepping into his room. The sunlight through the half-open curtains dappled on the floor. And the two little milk cats ran over and rubbed against Zhao Yi's pants leg. The shrine was untouched and the deed was still pressed underneath. Zhao Yi had instructed that no one would be allowed to enter during the time of departure. And violators would be responsible for the consequences. Three long incense sticks were burned. And the green smoke curled and coiled. Meow meow meow. They tilted their furry little heads. Clear as amber in their eyes. And asked their masters where they had been yesterday. And smelled a familiar odor on them. And if they had gone to see their pretty big sister. The corner of Zhao Yi's mouth hooked up a hint of a smile. He squatted down and reached out to the two kittens. His hand felt soft and warm, as if he was stroking a ball of cotton. Indeed, I met Zhu Guanqi's classmates. She said that she misses you guys very much, and that she'll come back to see you when she has the chance. Black Sun and White Yao's eyes immediately lit up, and they couldn't help but let out a satisfied purr. Zhao Yi then opened the box, revealing the rows and rows of medicinal herbs inside. The medicinal herbs for refining the bimero pill have been obtained. Later on, you guys stay away from the flames so that you don't get your hair scorched by the flames. The two kittens looked curiously at the box and even subconsciously licked their mouths, thinking that it was something more delicious than dried small fish. The gluttonous and bold black sun, even tumbled into the box, barked a bite into the old mountain ginseng of Changbai Mountain. Then his expression became difficult, spat out four or five times, and retreated behind Zhao Yi with a cowering face. Ha 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 ha, it hasn't been refined yet. Zhao Yi enjoyed this moment. The cozy and tranquil atmosphere, letting the two kittens stay away. His left palm spread out flat, and a cluster of golden flames rose up. There were also handwritten notes on the Dan Dao in the Book of Life and Death, and he had been going through them in recent times, and today was the first time he had practiced it himself. Ordinary pill refiners, the flames are pale yellow, the higher the ability the heavier the color and the more powerful it is. A smile appeared on Zhao Yi's face, whereas my awakened true spirit is an exception. According to the Divine Silkworm Taoist's records, the quality is so high that it can scare people to death. And even without the aid of a pill cauldron, it's still more than enough to refine the Bai Pith pill. With that, Jin Yuan imperialized a medicinal herb and threw it into the golden flame. The medicinal herbs were just dipped into the golden flame, instantly calcined into a liquid, and the impurities themselves were burned clean. The two kittens in the distance were dumbfounded, holding their breath and not daring to breathe heavily, lest they distract their master. Zhao Yi who was refining pills for the first time, was fully concentrated. The temperature of the golden flame was extremely high. A little inattention would calcine the wrapped liquid into worthless dregs, then throwing in the rest of the herbs one after another. About 10 minutes passed, a rough surface turquoise jade-like pill slowly presented itself from the flame. Jowie performed some more repairs, and eventually they all became rounded and smooth. It's done. In addition to the herbs themselves, it's also infused with my thick true essence. Making up for a lot of deficiencies, Zhao Yi's tone was filled with excitement as he used the prepared glass bottle and collected the 18 by marrow pills. In fact, it would be better to use a jade bottle carved out of the finest jade to contain it, preventing the medicinal properties and aura of the holding elixir from being dispersed, but Zhao Yi would immediately give it to the two kittens, so it probably wouldn't be able to disperse even one ten thousandth of it. Remove two and hand them to them. Meow meow meow. The two kittens blinked their big transparent eyes curiously observing the bimadula dan in their palms, and the black son who had suffered from the pain came close and sniffed gently, as if trying to distinguish what flavor it was, but under Zhao Yi's encouragement, he still gently opened his mouth and swallowed it in one mouthful. The effects are immediately apparent when the elixir enters the abdomen. The bimero dan was a relatively mild elixir, and the two kittens would not be in danger even if they were only a few months old. They metamorphosed silently. The medicinal power flowed between their limbs and bones. The impurities in their bodies were squeezed out of their pores. 
their breath was much thicker compared to before, and their body size also became a circle larger in half an hour. Eyes gleaming with intelligence, feeling the changes in themselves, Black Sun and White Obsidian were very excited and flew through the house as if they had become the guardians of this. Take one per day for about five days, and then you become on the true by marrow pill. Jowie used his true essence to test their vitality and tentatively came to this conclusion. Looking at the blear-eyed kittens, continuous serving is not good for the body. You guys better rest and eat another one tomorrow. When you finished cleansing your marrow, I'll pass on a piece of my heart. The heart method that was passed down came from the demon emperor millions of years ago, and the local was originally just a small ant that continuously quenched its own essence blood and eventually evolved into a black true dragon. The kitten that had metamorphosed once had its IQ shackles flushed away, and was basically able to understand Zhao Yi's words. They dutifully lay down in the litter box and closed their eyes to rest. Zhao Yi nodded with satisfaction. He could feel the two kittens' reliance on him. Sitting down on the chair and continuing to flip through the Dan Dao handbook, he felt that he needed a Dan furnace. Refining less difficult pills such as the Bimero pill was not going to come in handy, but to be a little more difficult, with the assistance of a medicinal tripod, the success rate is quite a bit higher. The matter of collecting the materials for arranging the small green underworld formation should also be put on the agenda, as well as investigating Brother Hao, whom he knew from Qin Yuan Hao. He had a very strong premonition that that person was absolutely inextricably linked to his case. Suddenly he opened his eyes and there were feet coming towards this, stopping at the door and then knocking. Knock knock. Enter. Hu Xiao Kong pushed the door in and directly showed his cards. He Ching Hong, the prisoner of No. 51 on the third floor, hit half a million dollars into my account last night, wanting me to pull strings from it, and he said he wanted to see you. I took the money, but I didn't touch a cent of it in the card. It's all at your command. Let him come alone. Zhao said. Take it since it's given to you. You've been working hard lately. Consider it a treat. Hu Xiao Kong was overjoyed. Half a million top three years of wages, patted a series of farts before leaving, he also wanted to keep the money quiet, but when he thought of Zhao Yi's various miraculous means, the little bit of his heart immediately suppressed, and he didn't even dare to take offense in his heart, not a moment too soon, there were footsteps coming over again, knocking on the door of the room a few times, and Zhao Yi let He Ching Hong come in, He Ching Hong, who hadn't been seen for a few days, had become as dull and lifeless as a forest in late autumn, his healthy complexion had been made waxy and gaunt, and his hair was like a tangled mass of weeds, scattered disorderly across his forehead and cheeks. He was genuinely scared, not daring to close his eyes and sleep, his spirit breaking down, lest he end up in the same situation as those people. Even if a person has the strongest will, he will be destroyed when what he sees overturns his perceptions. Entered the door on the deep low head, after Glow glanced at the corner, burning three long incense shrine, vaguely as if there is an incomprehensible existence watching inexplicably bring his soul to bring the pressure. Zhao Yi back to sit on the chair, fingers every time to knock the table issued by the sound, are like a sledgehammer fell heavily on the heart of He Ching Hong. Mr. Zhao, I was wrong. He Ching Hong plopped to his knees and cried to Zhao Yi with a suppressed voice, I shouldn't have tested you, much less sent someone to observe. Everything is my own fault. I'm willing to become your slave and offer all of my possessions. I only begged to be able to spare this little life of mine. He really didn't want to die. He was only 19 years old and had a great future ahead of him, and the family's parents are ordinary people, and they've offended a lot of enemies in recent years, so if they really die in prison, they're sure to turn on them. Zhao Yi, who stopped knocking on the table, but also did not speak, and the room fell into silence, kneeling on the floor, He Ching Han looked like a sinner waiting for judgment, trying his best to suppress his inner fear, his hands gripping the floor tiles tightly, as if he wanted to find a trace of solace from this coldness. He didn't even dare to take a big breath, so as not to wake up the two kittens lying on the side, in the cat's nest. About eight or nine seconds had passed, long as a century to He Ching Hong, Zhao Yi turned his chair and slowly turned around, his side face lying stern and distinct, his face expressionless as he looked down at him. You want to work after me? Think. He Ching Hong, who grabbed a life-saving straw, nodded his head like a chicken pecking at rice, almost shouting out the word. The corner of Zhao Yi's mouth hooked up into a smile. I've already forgiven the matter. You can go out safely now, but you have to want to follow me to do something. Always have to show your loyalty. Qin Hong's son was killed by me. Now he hates to turn Cloud City upside down. You kill him as a token of surrender. Killed. Qin Hong? He Qin Hong's breath caught in his throat, his eyes covered with blood, and he collapsed to the ground and said disheveledly, but I don't have a way to get out of the prison, much less a way to kill him. After his son Qin Yuan Hao was killed, he was followed by bodyguards 24 hours a day and relying on this untrained body, it was a no-brainer to kill Qin Hong, no harm done, 
Zhaoyi kicked out and the man under the chair rolled out. It was clearly Qin Hong who was tied up. Qin Hong was gagged with a towel, his hands tied behind his back with a rough rope. Unable to stop his helpless whimpering, all parts of his body showed signs of being violently beaten, and he kicked out and rolled next to the kneeling He Qing Hong. Zhao Yi, who was sitting on the chair, picked up the dagger on the table and threw it next to He Qing Hong. Kill him, or of course, you can choose to leave, and I'll pretend all the same that you weren't here today, Zhao Yi said in a tone of blissful indifference, getting up and making a pot of tea, pouring himself a cup and drinking it while teasingly watching the show. He Qing Hong stared at the dagger in death his heart about to jump out of his chest, unable to imagine what means Zhao Yi used to tie in Qin Hong without God knowing it. If he really killed Qin Hong, there could be fingerprints on the dagger, and he definitely couldn't escape the death penalty. But, he Qin Hong, who had made up his mind, picked up the dagger from the ground and walked towards Qin Hong with a fierce gaze, seemingly sensing he Qin Hong's killing intent. Qin Hong's mouth whimpered even more heavily, his body rubbing the floor and rubbing back hard, his gaze revealing all the begging and fear. He Ching Hong is not an indecisive person, and he will not be merciful when he has made up his mind, or else he will not be able to do any good except for making Zhao Yi more contemptuous, inexperienced in killing people for the first time. I hope that boss Qin will be more tolerant. Walking up behind Qin Hong, the dagger instantly sliced through his neck and blood splattered all over his face. The violent features are unusually conspicuous in the sunlight. The dark eyes are even colder than a lone wolf, and the wildness in his bones can no longer be suppressed probably because he thinks that Qin Hong is not yet dead, and raises his dagger to make up for it. But what surprised him was that the body of Qin Hong lying on the ground, Woody turned into a streak of pigment. He Qin Hong? Snap. Snap. Zhao Yi stood up from his chair and applauded with satisfaction. Congratulations on passing the test. The Qin Hong in front of him is naturally a fake. After Hu Shao Kahn left with the creation of the Heart Sutra, painted a dummy just, just all aspects are lifelike. Non-intimate people cannot see the end. He Ching Hong also smiled, very happy to have passed Zhao Yi's test. Instead of getting angry at being teased, he felt more and more that Zhao Yi was divine and knew that he had followed a powerful person. Zhao Yi came to He Ching Hong's front, reached out and patted his shoulder, injecting a thick true essence. The fatigue from the past few days was swept away and replaced by inexhaustible energy. Mr. Cho, sit. Looking at the tearful He Ching Hong, Zhao Yi told him to sit down first and personally poured a cup of tea and handed it over. What kind of business do you have in the prison? And about how much profit do you make each month? Hearing the question asked, He Ching Hong sat a little more upright, thinking in his head for a few seconds to make sure there would be no mistakes before saying, mainly sells goods to the prisoners. The best sellers are still cigarettes, and then there are condoms of a kind. It's about half a million dollars profit per month, or it's because the prison guards have a limited quota. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a problem to double it a few times. Then there's some rich guy who's holding back hard and wants to sleep with a woman for anywhere from fifty to three hundred thousand dollars. It had to be said that rich people were popular everywhere, and there was a high-class cell building in the Cloud City prison, one room for two people with N-suite bathroom, at $200, 000, 000 a month, that money goes into Li Buotao's pocket, no need to stomp on the sewing machine, and the food can be served small, and of course the prices are beautiful, waiting for He Ching Hong to finish, Zhao Yi also said, there won't be a limit on the amount of cigarettes in the future, and the prison guards will give the green light all the way over there. And whoever dares to make trouble out of it will be made to go to the warden's office and write a separation report by himself. He Ching Hong was overjoyed and thanked him. After all, he had underestimated Mr. Zhao's position in the prison. And I'm afraid that even the warden had to follow orders. Zhao Yi shallowly tasted a mouthful of tea, seemingly offhandedly asked. Prison is ultimately a small stage. Even if I let go of the restrictions, and you have a business mind, in addition to those few rich tycoons, how much oil can be squeezed from the rest of the people? He Ching Hong was confused, not understanding what Zhao Yi meant. With a meaningful expression, Zhao Yi stared straight at He Ching Hong. If I say I can let you be free, but at the cost of never being able to show your true face to anyone, can you bear it? I. He Ching Hong tried to swallow his saliva, and his efforts failed several times. His heart was like a beast trapped in a cage, frantically bumping against his chest. Excitement intertwined with the apprehension of the unknown. He stood up and bowed towards Zhao Yi, and his hoarse voice exclaimed, Mister. Zhao, I do. He was sentenced to 20 years imprisonment, and even if he carries out further operations, he will not be released from prison until 8 or 9 years at the earliest, and by that time, the yellow flowers will all be cold. Mr. Zhao is not wrong. The prison stage is too small. The flame of ambition burns him at all times. Even if he can't use his real face for life so what? He has to kill a world step by step. Very good. Zhao felt that he did not look at the wrong He Ching Hong. 
is indeed capable and ambitious people, the prison for him instead of a school, where he is used to seeing the ecological inflammation, he saw the future of this schoolmate, and then out of the prison cloud city are going to be a big change for it, you can choose five more of your minders from the prison, write up a list when you're sure, and I'll make an appointment for you to have plastic surgery and be given another fake identity that doesn't exist, he Ching Hong nodded solemnly before exiting the room, he was very efficient, he gave the list in the afternoon, and in the evening the cosmetic surgery was booked, with Li Buotao's current status, it was easy to do this thing, there is no need to fix up their parents, fine tuning of their facial features will suffice, as Zhao Yi will draw five dummies to impersonate them to serve their sentences, post-operative recovery would not take long, so Zhao Yi became a hands-off, leaving it all to Li Buotao to carry out, period, Qin Yuan Hao's death made Qin Hong furious, he issued a sky-high reward for his son's murderer, and millions of people up and down Cloud City were on edge, the police department took the matter very seriously, but after checking all the surrounding CCTV, no suspicious person was found, martial law was ushered in throughout the city, the police were mobilized to look for suspicious characters, but not a dime with Zhao Yi in prison, the whole day in the room behind closed doors, with a fountain pen to write page after page, when tired, teasing two kittens, the days are much more leisurely than when they went to school, don't want to go out for a while, his cultivation reached the key, just one step short of the middle stage, when his strength would change radically again, five days later, the two kittens, white sun and black obsidian, finished cutting their tendons and washing their marrow, completing a metamorphosis, size than adult cats are no less, running up tiger wind, vitality exuberant like a fire pit, agile jumping and impact, without the use of external forces can be from the flat ground, jumping to the height of four-story building, meow meow meow, the two kittens were barking at Jowie with their heads held high, like little kids showing off their achievements to adults, Jowie smiled and nodded his head repeatedly, it was indeed better than expected, stretching out a finger, pointing it at their eyebrows and passing on a small section of the demon emperor's blood quenching mind method, you must practice hard and strive to become dragon cats, although only the human race can awaken the true spirit, spirit beasts have a strong innate body, and as their realm increases, they will also activate their innate aptitude, so their potential is much more terrifying than the human race, after the kitten's intellect was enlightened, it was fully able to understand human speech and nodded its head very seriously, then ran to the side and went to cultivate in peace, perhaps it was the fact that the heart technique really fit with them, and in no time the body resounded internally with the sound of clanging, 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 clanging iron, he Ching Hong was discharged from the hospital, the rest is very good, you can remove the gauze, although it still needs some time to heal, but also can be released, looking much more mature than before plastic surgery, he has a beard implanted on his chin and wears a pair of black rimmed glasses, he respectfully stood in the room, opposite stood with his plastic surgery before, from the eyebrows to the bridge of the nose are no difference between the person, whether it is the appearance of the body, or behavior, are like looking in the mirror, the presence of this father is also difficult to detect the flaws, even though he had already seen, Mr. Zhao's miraculous means, he Ching Hong was still shocked, walked up and poked with his finger, the flesh felt the same no difference, the only flaw was that his eyes were hollow and he couldn't think like a real person, otherwise he could really replace he Ching Hong, tomorrow you leave the prison, Zhao Yi instructed, when you go out, you will do your best to collect information on Master Tiger, and report to me as soon as you find something, all death penalty cases have the right to appeal, and the court will certainly hear it, and as long as they can find the murderer who framed him, they can change the original sentence, he Ching Hong nodded seriously, remember, his time of mixing with the society is still too short, less than a summer vacation was locked in, but he has heard of Master Tiger's reputation, but it seems that this person is very cunning, never showed his face in public, and the usual orders are passed on by his inner circle, said Zhao Yi took out a booklet, about 40 to 50 pages, which was densely filled with words, all of which were insights that had been organized over the past few days, when you get out of prison, go to the Hua Long apartment, and hand it over to a girl named Zhu Guanqi, what was written on it was Zhao Yi's insights on the top of medicine and makeup after he was imprisoned, combined with quite a lot of content on the Dan Dao, which could definitely open the door to a new world for the students of Hua Long apartment, how it was his dream, he had to be somewhat involved, the main thing is that among the students who came to help, there are a few of them who were all middle-aged during their college years who used large iron pots to boil down Chinese medicines in a vain attempt to create a body-quenching liquid, and Zhao Yi is really afraid that they will act recklessly again by virtue of the equipment they have. Yes, he Ching Hong solemnly put away the booklet. Zhao Yi's outstretched hand didn't retreat but instead made a point at He Ching Hong's brow. 
and instantly a large amount of words and pictorial symbols, transformed into a rainbow light that surged into his mind. He Ching Hong's pupils dilated in a circle, only to return to normal after a long time, muttering at the corner of his mouth, Mr. Zhao, you are? In addition to gathering information about the Tiger Master, the objects in the picture should be followed up, and whichever one you find, you will be rewarded with a change in your destiny. The picture was of the basic style of the medicine cauldron, as well as the materials for arranging the small green meditation formation, and some objects that could be used in cultivation. He didn't expect He Qinghong to find all of them. As long as he could find one or two, it would be a surprise to Zhao Yi. As for the content of those texts, Zhao Yi smilingly explained, then it is the introductory chapter of being an assassin. I want you to learn it as soon as possible, and then pass it on to your loyal subordinates to set up an assassin organization, but also to send people to keep a close watch on Qin Hong. He has to really find out about me at this time. You have to shut him up forever. It's only a primer, but that comes to the suicide shrine. The Temple of the God of Murder is an organization that has been destroyed in the universe, and it is rumored that in their halls, there are thrones cast from the skulls of heaven's pride and the god of murder who sits atop them reigns over the world and slaughters hundreds of living planets with a single thought. In the end, the killing god palace was surrounded by the group. The fire in the hall burned for three years before it was extinguished, and the inheritance was also divided by all the males. Although it was only the introductory chapter, it was also precious. If one could really cultivate all of them, it would be enough to hunt down the martial kings of the Grand Xia, He Ching Hong, whether it was his personality, his talent for overachieving, and his secretly wild heart, was a good candidate to become an assassin, and it wouldn't take long for him to shine. In the prison selected five believers, Zhao Yi has also seen, although the root bone is not how light hong, but wins in the loyalty, cultivated well, the same can give reuse. He Ching Hong sensed for a while, and an expression of ecstasy appeared on his face. Zhao Yi took out another glass bottle, which contained three by marrow pills, the two kittens, white sun and black obsidian, were basically ineffective after taking five of them, and giving three to Yi Ching Hong could help him quickly step into the threshold. How could he not know the preciousness of the elixir for the gongfu? He repeatedly assured Zhao Yi, I will definitely not let Mr. Zhao down, and will never let Qin Hong mess up your purity. With that said, he respectfully exited the room and prepared for his release. He Ching Hong, who was released from prison, contacted the outside world's believers and made every effort to collect the information Zhao Yi needed, and it wouldn't take long to reap the rewards. When Zhao Yi was in prison, his days were casual. During that time Gu Qingqing came over from time to time, wanting to make the rest of the offer, knowing where the driver who had run away after touching her mom to death when she was five years old had gone. Zhao Yi is just breaking through the key, see the annoyance of the expulsion order. The future Gu Qingqing come again do not inform. Five days after Yi Qinghong was released from prison, Zhao Yi managed to break through to the middle stage of the true spirit realm. The golden flame suddenly became a circle larger, and could be split into two clusters quenching the left eye and right eye at the same time, subconsciously running the true essence again, it was even smoother compared to before, and the roots of the great Tao were even stronger, the initial range of the view changed, growing from 5 meters to 20 meters before stopping, Zhao Yi tried to inject a large portion of his true essence, almost covering one-fifth of the cloud city prison, and could access the passing of several thousand people at the same time, compared to in the early stages, apart from only being able to access it, Zhao Yi who had broken through to the middle stage was different again. For example, the Li Bu Tao standing in front of him right now, Zhao Yi's eyes, under the flame true spirit enhancement, could blurrily see his body, a thousand threads of destiny, each of which represented something that would happen in the future. Perhaps if I go just one step further, I can tweak the threads of fate and change the course of his life, Zhao Yi secretly thought in his heart, almost matching the guess, the book of life and death can really change his life. Li Bu Tao topped with a black eye stood respectfully in front of him, handing over a list, the decoration of the previous director's office has come to an end, there are about 10 days left to hand over the work, the list is the furniture and electrical appliances that were purchased, and you can see what's still missing, Zhao Yi took a glance, basically everything was there, even the coffee machine, can be seen really attentive, when the construction, Li Buotao is on the side of the supervision, to prevent which aspects of the problem, and then cause Zhao Yi's dislike, you've been working hard lately, 2. Zhao Yi put down the sheet, trouble adding a few more futons and hiring a few more teachers who can repair shrines, since it's a housewarming, you can't condescend to the immortals, Li Buotao nodded his head repeatedly and said that he would personally go and do it, as long as immortals were involved, they had to be treated solemnly, after the explanation, Li Buotao wanted to leave, but stopped when he reached the door, swallowed back the words that came to his mouth, 
and finally looked at Zhao Yi with a hesitant expression. Something's up. Zhao Yi was looking at the color unnatural. No this old fox, today rushed over to offer attentiveness as something, but the recent breakthrough mood is still good. Or not tricky words, by the way to help solve. Getting promised Li Buotao, like unloading a thousand pounds of stone, rushed over to explain, recently with a retired old man on the line, his body from last year on the deterioration, to the hospital did not check out the cause. If you're free, please go there and see what you can find out. Zhao Yi became interested in the old man Li Buotao was talking about. The book of life and death was activated and understood. His expression couldn't help but move a bit as well. Looking at Li Buotao who had a cocky expression. You call this an old man? With Li Buotao on the line of the old man called Yin Chaozong. This year is already 70 years old. Had participated in the Vietnam self-defense counterattack. For the Dashia made great achievements. Could have been sealed a general. But due to the body of the accumulated work to leave a hidden problem. Coupled with the death of his partner due to cancer. He also got up the idea of retiring. Politely rebuffed the sealing general and returned to his hometown, Yun Chang, to live a leisurely life. It is worth saying that the current commander of the military region of Yun Cheng, to shout Yan Chaozong a squad leader. So even if the army returned to his hometown, it is still a big man with great energy. Yun Cheng city mayor have to be respectful when they see. I don't know why, but my health has been deteriorating over the past two years, and my organs are failing irreversibly, and I can't find out the cause of the disease in the hospital. If Li Buotao could cure Yin Chaozong, in the future, when he met the commander of the Yun Chang military region, the other party would have to sell him face. Okay, Zhao Yi also had the desire to meet Yin Chaozong. Plus the place where he lives seemed to be very close to the ancestral Voltron Mountain. Tomorrow, you send a car and we'll both go over to take a look. Got it, Li Buotao answered excitedly, walking with much easier steps. The next morning at 8 o'clock in the morning, a black sedan drove out of the prison. There is no loaded prison guards followed. Only driving Li Buotao and sitting in the back seat of Zhao Yi, as well as two lying on the car window, curious to watch the scenery outside the kitten. It's not good to stay in prison for a long time, and it's good to see the world with two little ones. They had gone through the process of cutting down their hair and washing their marrow, and quenching their blood with the heart method. Their tiny bodies contained explosive power, and they were unmistakably two little leopards. Elder Yan likes quiet, Li Buotao explained as he drove, so the residence is rather remote. It will take about two hours to arrive. Mr. Zhao can squint for a while. I'll notify you when it's going to arrive. By the time we reached the foot of the lush hill, a concrete road that had been in repair for years came into view. Black sedan drove up after another ten minutes. A simple and elegant quietly standing courtyard gradually appeared in front of the eyes of the two, as if a beautiful painting in the mountains and the surrounding natural scenery into one. A pair of stone lions stand majestically at the entrance, as if they were the guardians of this ancient courtyard. The car stopped at the gate of the compound and the two men and two cats stepped inside. In the center of the courtyard there is a cornice up, small and delicate exquisite pavilion, next to the repair of a not small pool, the wind blowing through the green water gently rippling, inside the tail of the red koi carp, also with the swaying posture. A few men in dark green uniforms were cleaning up, only to see Li Buotao and Zhao Yi come in and scrutinize a few times to make sure there were no problems before they continued to work with their heads down. They were all people sent by the military region to protect Yin Chaozong's safety, and each one of them was an elite who could take on ten people at a time. Seeing Li Buotao and Zhao Yi arrive, the two people sitting opposite each other in the pavilion, got up and came out to greet them. One was an old man wearing a plain Zhongshan suit, a simple dark gray tone, with a figure that was already slightly stooped but still looked straight, the Yin Chaozong that Li Buotao was talking about. The other one, in a white coat with two prominent sword eyebrows was a middle-aged male doctor. We're coming over now. I hope we haven't disturbed Elder Yen, Li Buotao asked jokingly, dressed formally today, trying to leave a good impression. But the old man's attention was on, the two playful and frolicking kittens in the back, and said with great surprise, what a spiritual two little guys, it's the first time I've seen them in so many years. Immediately following that, he skipped over Li Buotao and looked directly at Zhao Yi in the back. I wonder if little friend can bear the pain and sell the two kittens and cats to this old man of mine. Not for sale. Zhao Yi simply returned two words. Black Sun and White Yao also gave Yan Lao a blank look, as if they were looking at child-stealing traffickers, and then plopped down by the pool to watch the koi go by. Elder Yan also noticed that he was being despised, and laughed out loud a few times in a sprightly manner and said, Little friend Zhao you are really something. Nah, being able to be recognized by such a spiritual cat, being sentenced to death and still being able to freely go in and out of the prison, and even being brought to me by Little Li. The middle-aged male doctor at the side was unsure, what are you talking about? Elder Yan. Another death sentence and in and out of prison. 
It was just that Li Botao's expression changed drastically and there was sweat seeping out of his forehead, like an old boy. Yen Lao introduced Chen Fu, the male doctor, in a very solemn manner, I can't believe you didn't recognize him, Zhao Yi, who was a big hit at the police station some time ago, who was sentenced to death for raping and murdering seven people, and who was locked up in Cloud City Prison, Zhao Yi took off his mask, the corner of his mouth hooked up in a smile, Yen Lao's eyes are really poisonous, his virility has not diminished, wh, what, the middle-aged male Dr. Shen Fu expression opened greatly, looked back at the soldiers who were cleaning up the garbage, looked unnatural to Yen Lao eyes, meaning to hurry to shout over to catch the prisoner ah, the soldiers who were responsible for guarding Yen Lao's safety had all received orders before they came, and unless something happened that jeopardized Yen Lao's life, they would never make a rash move, looking at Shen Fu, who had an embarrassed expression, as well as Li Buotao, who had an out of control expression, Elder Yen instantly laughed even more happily, with tears in his eyes, if it comes, then it's safe, and I'm also curious as to what skills little friend Zhao has, and if he can discover where the old man's illness lies, let's not stand around, let's come to the pavilion and drink tea together, not a moment too soon, the four people sat in the elegant pavilion one after another, the sunlight sprinkled dappled light and shadow through the cracks of the glazed tiles, and four exquisite teacups and a steaming teapot were placed on the small antique wooden table, Zhao Yi also knew the identity of Shen Fu, the vice president of Yunchan Hospital, who came over today to check Yen Lao's body to see if there was any improvement after taking the medicine, the bad news was that it was not getting any better, and seemed to be getting worse, accompanied by a few coughs now and then, and a lack of blood in his pale face, all indications of a very serious illness, Shen Fu acted very alert, his eyes stopping on Zhao Yi, unable to comprehend how Elder Yen had lost his mind and wanted to sit with a convicted rapist and murderer, the prison director, Li Buotao, is even more significant dereliction of duty, and if the top knows about it, he will surely face double regulation. Elder Yen stood up and poured tea for Zhao Yi. I don't know if little friend Zhao can see where exactly my body has gone wrong. Zhao Yi small mouth sip hot tea, first with the book of life and death access, eyes closed and abruptly opened, such as two pearls bright, troubly an old man where left hand of the Buddha beads handed to me. Buddha. Beads? Although Elder Yen was puzzled, he still removed it and handed it to Zhao Yi. Nine delicately shaped Buddha beads, which look like fresh springs from a deep valley in your hand, each carefully polished to present a rounded and smooth texture, and each bead is beautifully carved with either a lotus flower, a Buddha statue, or a scripture, which stands out on the black background, not only demonstrating the masterful work of the artisan, but also conveying a deep religious undertone, talking about the Buddha beads, Yen old face emerges reminiscent of, just retired from above, not yet deceased old companion to send trinkets, said it is from the peach blossom temple begged for the Buddha beads, from the hands of abbot Yun Hai, my old companion said that I have been fighting and killing all my life, and I don't know how much blood has been on my hands, so wearing it year-round can eliminate sins, and it also has the effect of meditating and concentrating the mind, the peach blossom temple is famous throughout the country, and every year in mid-August, when the mountains are filled with lotus flowers in full bloom, creating a sea of flowers, there are a sea of devotees who come to return their wishes, Abbot Yun Hai is Peach Blossom Temple Monks, this year is already 130 years old, has opened the temple door continuously preaching Buddha for 7 days, during the period of time did not enter a grain of rice and a drop of water, so that hundreds of miles of peach blossom trees open half a month earlier, is the fervent believer's worship is the reincarnation of the Lohan, Yen old man also know this matter, plus sent the old partner feelings, so on the Buddha beads are very precious, usually sleep or wearing, Lu Yu is quietly said, have ever considered is the reason for the Buddha beads, the problem with the beads, Elder Yan's expression froze before he snickered and spoke, little friend Zhao must be joking, how could there be a problem with this string of Buddha beads, since wearing the Buddha beads, it seems to have a real healing effect, the old problem of insomnia has been improved, and the agitation has been calmed down, and now every day I just play chess, raise flowers and tease the fish, and live a leisurely and happy life, if it wasn't for Zhao Yi talking about it today, he definitely wouldn't have associated it towards the Buddha beads, on the side of Shen Fu is also a fox face, think Zhao Yi is pure nonsense, a little medical basis are not, itself is on his great vigilance, if not this is Yen Lao's yard, would have notified the police to come over to arrest people, the smile on Zhao Yi's face did not diminish, the composition of the Buddha beads is an extraterrestrial meteorite, the radioactive component exceeds the standard by thousands of tens of thousands of times, and the initial years did not have any incidents, it was completely Yin Lao's body was fantastic, so it was only in the last few years that it was revealed. Li Buotao, who hadn't said anything, also came out anxiously to defend at this moment. Mr. 
Zhao's calculations are really very spiritual, and if Yen Lao doesn't believe it, he can send someone to the testing agency to check it out. What happened today was just too beyond expectation. I didn't expect Zhao Yi wearing a mask to be recognized. If he couldn't gain Elder Yan's friendship, he would surely die a horrible death. Elder Yan stopped talking, seemingly in thought, then called out to a soldier and the Buddha beads were handed over to him. Go to the testing organization and check. After the soldier left, the four continued to drink tea. Idly, the conversation box unconsciously opened. I have a query to ask Elder Yan. I wonder if I can answer it. Li Butao finally threw out the long twisted question after getting Yan Lao's promise, Mr. Zhao always wears a mask, and you haven't seen it with your own eyes, so how in the world did you recognize him at a glance? Next to him, Shen Fu did the same, curious as to how exactly Elder Yen did it. Greeting the two curious gazes, Yen Lao laughed a few times without saying anything, instead Zhao Yi made an explanation. I was the top student of the Cloud City College entrance examination four years ago, and at that time I was also on Cloud City's TV station. Yen Lao was more or less concerned about it, and there was so my case after it broke out, and he didn't believe that I was a psychopathic maniac who did that kind of thing. Although I've never met Elder Yen, yet he's seen me frequently on video, and it's only natural that military personnel, with all their sharper senses, would recognize it. Yen Lao's expression changed again when he looked at Zhao Yi. All of them let Zhao Yi say the right thing, then he let out a long sigh. There's no need to wait for the test results already. More than half of my body is really the problem of the Buddha beads. Shen Fu next to him felt that Yen Lao was still too arbitrary in this way, but he had a clear cognitive positioning of himself, and could only indignantly drink muffled tea alone. Elder Yen faced Zhao Yi with no frame at all, but rather, he was excited. I have a question I would like to ask young friend Zhao, I don't know if I can be bothered to answer it. Elder Yen, please, in the face of a veteran who had participated in the Vietnam counterattack and had made great achievements, Zhao Yi also had a lot of respect. Especially since Yen Lao did not believe that he was a murderer based on his intuition alone. Yen Lao was very excited and stood up, leading Zhao Yi to the fish pond next to him. The bottom was paved with pebbles of different sizes. Inside a koi carp was swimming leisurely. A few old turtles slowly climbed up and chose a sunny rock, lazily lying on it and basking in the sun. The two kittens, Daylight and Obsidian, curiously squatted aside to watch, and didn't get bored after half an hour. Yen Old Man laughed, after retiring to his hometown Old Man does not have any hobbies. Every day is to serve some flowers and plants turtles and fish, said the corner of his mouth, maliciously grabbed an old turtle, gently threw a throw into the pool, cutting through the tranquility of the water surface, stirring up a circle of ripples, but I don't know what's going on, put in a pool of koi carp can't live more than three months, that is, these old turtles are tough to the present, a number of professionals have been called in during this time, and the water in the pool has been replaced several times, but still the tragedy could not be avoided. Thinking that little friend Zhao can raise such a spiritual cat, I wonder if he can tell the truth about the inexplicable death of the koi, the old turtle that was thrown into the pool water, again not slow to climb out, disgruntled glanced at Yen Lao, obviously the other party is not the first time to do this kind of thing, continue to lie down and sunbathe, elder Yen stepped back and let me take a look, Zhao Yi was also curious as to what was the reason for this, running his true essence to catalyze his true spirit and reflecting the flame symbol in his eyes. He stared at the fish pond and couldn't stop looking at it, patrolling the koi that were swimming and not finding anything odd before inspecting it inch by inch. With the blessing of the true spirit, one could look through three meters of the ground. The two kittens crouched curiously to the side, wondering what their master was doing. The soldiers who were silently cleaning up the sanitation also stopped their movements, wondering what this young man was doing. But without Yan Lao's order, they could not go up and stop to watch. Suddenly Zhao Yi paused, no longer consuming his true essence and looked towards Elder Yen who was at the side. Rather, I probably know the reason, but I have to fish out the koi first. Simple. Yen called over a few soldiers and told them to use a net to fish up the koi and place them in the fish tank for the time being. Zhao Yi, who asked for a shovel, directly jumped into the pool and dug down towards the pebbles at the bottom, probably to the two-meter position. A piece of strange stone estimated to be the size of a basin, emitting a unique dark red blood light appeared. Zhao Yi kicked his feet, his voice suddenly dull and turned his head to look at Yen Lao by the pool, it is what caused the koi to die one after another. Yen looked surprised, never seen a stone that emits bloodlight, took out the latest Apple phone from his pocket and took a dozen pictures in a row, looking at Li Botao and Shen Fu's shocked expressions, Yen Lao laughed as his beard buckled, what kind of old codger do you guys take me for, I'm still the king's 20 stars, if I'm not mistaken, its name should be called the Blood Sun Iron Crystal, and it can actually be seen in Dashia, Zhao Yi's emotions also had a lot of ups and downs, there was a book in the Book of Life and Death called The Complete Book of Cosmic Rarities. 
he usually flipped through it to read it, and at a glance, he recognized the origin of this stone, which belonged to a very rare type of strange gold. Even on planets with cultivation inheritance it was valuable, and legend had it that it was solidified from the blood of a divine bird, and once it appeared it would trigger countless forces to fight over it. Soon, the four of them went back to the pavilion to drink tea again. Yen Lao could see Zhao Yi's thoughts and said with a bashful smile, If you like this stone, just take it away directly. The guy who killed hundreds of my koi is really on fire just by looking at it one more time. Zhao Yi didn't expect Elder Yen to be so generous, and knew that he would fall behind if he was more humble. Then thank you Elder Yen. The Blood Sun Iron Crystal was absolutely priceless. The harvest from this trip was earned. It could be refined into a divine ability. Near noon a few people at Yan's old home to eat a meal, although the abalone and lobster of the Grand Hotel, but are all natural and pollution-free wild vegetables, free range in the mountains full of local chickens, eat up also have a different flavor. When the soldier brought the test results in the afternoon, Shen Fu shut his mouth completely, no more half-questioning in his eyes. No matter what Zhao Yi's identity was, there was no denying that he had saved Elder Yen, and Shen Fu was very grateful for that, although it has long been expected, but when he saw the result, Yen Lao's eyes still welled up with despondency. Zhao Yi got up and poured tea for him. The matter of the Buddha beads has nothing to do with your old partner. She is also a victim of being deceived. Hearing this, Elder Yan's tightly frowning brows finally stretched. It's also thanks to the timely discovery that it would have been difficult for the gods to cure it if we had waited another year. Zhao Yi said truthfully, but now it's also eroded into your bones. Dr. Shin knows better than I do on the side, and needs to find a way to clear up the radioactive material or else you'll have at most three years left to live. Shen Fu nodded solemnly and said worriedly, what little brother Zhao said is true, but the current level of medical science in the country is unable to do anything to remove the radiation material that has penetrated the body. Yen is very open-minded, but also to guide Shen Fu came, the same period of comrades are not many left. I can live until now has been burnt incense in the ancestral tomb, and then eat three years of rice has been very good, we do not expect to live a hundred years. Just because it can't be done at the domestic medical level doesn't mean I can't do it. Zhao Yi, who had gotten the blood young iron for nothing, how could he look at Yan Lao and wait for his death? Wait for me to go back to the prison and think of a solution. Shen Fu, who heard these words, actually got up from the stone chair and stood opposite Zhao Yi, facing the three puzzled faces, and in the next second he even respectfully bent down, bowed heavily, and shouted hoarsely with his head lowered, trouble you to be attentive. If you need anything, just let me know. Zhao Yi was also stunned by Shen Fu's transformation, followed by a smile at the corner of his mouth, what he wanted was this sentence, another happy present is undoubtedly Li Buotao, today in disguise to save the life of Yan Lao, associated with not long ago Zhao Yi told him that his official career will not take long to promote, think of the heart can not help but music, but still, he had to pretend to be unperturbed as he got up and poured tea for the few people present, none of the people present were easy to mess with, even the inconspicuous Shen Fu, in addition to being the vice president of the Cloud City Hospital, but also stronger than the Gu family are out of a line of the Shin family, the current head of the Shin family's own brother, Shin family mining gold mine to make a fortune, poor only money, many sons and daughters have been sent into the military region to train, and now have some achievements, belong to the money bag and the barrel of the gun both hands, Elder Yen had saved the previous head of the Shin family, Shin Fu's father, for which the entire Shin family was grateful, it's getting late, so we should get back, Zhao Yi said smilingly, bidding farewell to Elder Yen and Shen Fu and getting into the black car, and when he drove to the foot of the mountain, he turned to Li Buotao and said, you sit in the passenger side and let me have the meeting, yes, Li Buotao sat down on the passenger side and started to let Zhao Yi drive, continuing to go deeper inside, the road became progressively rougher, the tires jumping between rocks and potholes with a dull, rhythmic clatter, and at 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon, the destination was finally reached, Voltron Mountain. Zhao Yi got out of the car and murmured in a low voice, compared to the vibrant life of the several large mountains around it, its surface was almost lifeless and barren, like a silent painting, with only a thin layer of grey soil and the occasional hard rock exposed, sparse weeds dotted the landscape like forgotten orphans, let's hike, Zhao Yi, who had embarked on the path of cultivation and was now in the middle stage of the true spirit realm, now looked at Volsung Mountain again with a completely different feeling, Li Buotao terrier head difficult, bitter a face, very for it, mister, Zhao Yu log on, I sit in the office every day, the beer belly to clothes cannot be pocketed, just watch the car here on the line, Zhao Yi didn't make things difficult for Li Buotao, and alone, he began to climb the mountain, the two kittens, black sun and white obsidian, followed closely behind, the two of them as athletic as leopards, completely unaware of what it meant to be tired, darting in and out of the rocks, 
adding a trace of life to this barren mountain. Passing by a patch of half-dead tea trees, they stand halfway up the mountain, their branches bent and twisted, their leaves yellow and sparse. If it wasn't for Zhao Yi's painstaking efforts to save his life, he would probably have turned into firewood long ago. By the time we reached the top of the mountain it was nearing sunset, and the flaming afterglow splashed across the sky, filling it with endless warmth and magnificence. Zhao Yi again operated his true essence to catalyze his true spirit, inspecting every blade of grass and tree of Volsing Mountain in an all-round manner, seeing through the essence even through the thick layer of soil, as it extended meter by meter towards the bottom, blood gradually and faintly appeared at the corners of his eyebrows, the veins on his forehead rippled like snakes, and his eyeballs could break out at any time. In the end, he also vaguely saw a meandering, fluttering and manifesting dragon vein, which was sealed by a complicated spell formation that turned into a rope like a cold stone statue, his eyelids couldn't move, Zhao Yi didn't speak anymore either, his gaze deep and empty, so this is, the truth of the fall of Volsing Mountain, the dragon vein is the product of the favor of heaven, where the dense essence is rich, is the perfect place for cultivation, but now it is trapped by 81 hostile legal formations, turning into a barren slope that is extremely difficult for even the weeds to survive, what the hell, what happened, Zhao Yi for no reason rose a heart sadness, eyes moist flickering shimmering, Ancestral generations handed down the Volusia mountain, in the end suffered what happened to end up in today's situation. Meow, meow meow meow. Sensing their master's low mood, Bai Ri and Black Yao couldn't stop rubbing against Zhao Yi's pants leg. Zhao Yi, who had been silent for half a minute, gradually came back to his senses and squatted down to comfort the two kittens. There's nothing wrong with my body. I'm just thinking of some past events. Originally, he thought that the real culprit who framed him, and presumed to get the volcano mountain was for the sake of money but now he saw that he still fought too simple, and was caught in a huge conspiracy, and he had to find the tiger master as soon as possible, then he would have to refine the blood young iron crystal, cultivate an innate divine ability, and crack the 81 spell formations that sealed Volsing Mountain, so perhaps he could find out from that as well, let's go, Zhao Yi hid his sadness and sketched a smile, letting the kitten follow him as he prepared to return to Cloud City Prison, black car driving to the Cloud City Prison on the road, concentrate on driving Li Buotao, also found Mr. Zhao Mood is not right. Lowered his head do not know what to think. Back to the prison did not say a word. Lonely back to the room. Taking the phone to read the message. He Qinghong said that he had a clue to the medicine tripod. But the specifics had to be reconfirmed. Two days later. Zhao Yi resumed his idleness and came out for a walk in the evening. When a new offender came to the prison. Hu Xiao Kong came over to notify him. Zhao Yi came to the interrogation room as usual. His expression changed after consulting it. He let out a long breath and turned his head to Hu Xiao Kong next to him, put him in a separate room. After waiting so long, it's finally here. From Qin Yuan Hao, I learned that the always mysterious Master Tiger is a person who does things seamlessly, does not leave any cracks, pursues flawlessness, and is even heavily obsessive compulsive disordered. So he is bound to do everything he can to get his hands on that land deed, and to turn the volcano mountain into a legitimate property under his banner. Today, this prisoner is called Sun Xiaolong and he's just a minion who just received a message telling him to enter the Cloud City prison first and find a way to get close to the death row inmate Zhao Yi. There's bound to be more in the back, so let's put them in solitary confinement for now and deal with them when they're all together. Yes, Hu Xiao Kong was also excited that he was finally useful, unsurprisingly to Zhao Yi's expectation. In the latter half of the month, 19 people came in one after another, committing different sins, with sentences ranging from 5 to 30 years, and even two life sentences and death sentences but without exception, they were all kept in solitary confinement, nor are they booked in, nor do they wear prison uniforms, not to mention delivering water and food, it's locked up in a few square meters, in a dark, dark room, the 19 men were also confused, many of them were second timers, memorizing every part of the process better than the prison guards, but how was it completely different this time, we're human beings too, we can't be treated like this, damn I'm an old man in my second year, you guys are not even close to being in compliance, I'm going to appeal and sue you for not treating me like a human being, at least give some water and food, I haven't eaten for two days, after waiting for another three or four days, the other party stopped giving away, Zhao Yi called out to Li Buotao, do you have any comments, Li Buotao spat on the ground, his eyes staring gloomily at the small black room, every year there are hundreds of people in Yun Chang prison who are either dead or crazy, and this year only 80 people were registered, plus these 19 are just enough to count, now Zhao Yi is his biggest possession talisman, and he can't wait to build a shrine for Zhao Yi, and get up every day to burn three incense sticks to worship him, now that someone actually dared to enter the prison, in his territory, and ate the ambition to dare to lay hands on Mr. Zhao, 
they absolutely could not be allowed to walk out of the prison alive, even at the risk of slaughtering them all. Let's do it tonight. On Zhao Yi's table were five pieces of extremely high quality jade, which he had sent a message to Shen Fu after returning from prison, asking him to help bring them from the family for Yan Lao's treatment. Knowing that it was for Yan's old man's treatment, Shen Fu was very eager and brought five or six pieces, each piece is deep in color, emerald green like the first spring water, crystal clear with a warm luster, as if containing a clear spring, so that people will be in awe at first sight. Normally each piece is worth tens of millions of dollars, and they are extremely rare treasures. Only a big dog family like the Gu family could take it in one breath. Yen old man's body delayed for too long. The potency of the potion is too fierce easily out of the hidden trouble. Need to wear a jade made of magic weapon. Years of slow expectoration of the Zhao Yi was now going to start. For the first time, refining a magic weapon. In the last few days, he had immersed himself in drilling the Dao of formation. And with the experience summed up by those formation masters in the book of life and death, who had spent their entire lives, he had made significant progress every day. The first thing to do is to sacrifice some. Call out the true spirit golden flame. Pick up a piece and throw it in. The small amount of impurities in it are gradually removed. And the grade rises by another level. Presenting a faint blue-green hue. Like ice crystals condensed on the surface of a lake in the early winter. After the preparations were done. The hands began to make seals and carve out spells on them. Talismans containing the most exquisite talismans in heaven and earth were born one by one between his knots. Guiding the rich Qi in heaven and earth and injecting it into the extremely high quality jade. Although the Yin Qi in the prison was harmful to the human body. As long as it was simmered by the golden flame. The bully wore out all the harmful substances and turned into the purest origin energy. The jade emitted an intense light. And the textures inside became clearer and clearer. Zhao Yi's hands were like playing a silent music. Smoothly and accurately on the jade. Leaving behind a fine and tiny symbol. His forehead was covered with fine beads of sweat. But his spirit didn't dare to relax at all. Refining magic weapons required patience and care. The slightest carelessness could lead to the abandonment of his work. After two or three hours, the jade finally underwent a metamorphosis. The magic weapon in the daylight presents a faint ghostly light. A closer look will find that the surface is covered with exquisite runes. Looks mysterious. As long as worn close to the warmth of its spiritual charm, in less than half a year Yan Lao will be able to restore health. Li Buatao, who was silently watching the whole thing from the side, couldn't take his eyes off the spell and stammered. Mr. Zhao, did you enlighten the jade? Enlightenment? Zhao Yi felt that this call was also apt. According to the information received from Wang Fuzhu, the objects after enlightenment are indeed also magical artifacts. But in the modern era where the aura is barren, there are really very few people with such a high level of moral skill. The Abbot Yunhai of the Peach Blossom Temple in Yen Lao's mouth should be a very Taoist master who can do secular enlightenment. Especially from Wang Fuzhu's past, he learned that 30 years ago, there was a powerful martial king who was not used to the broken rules of the Buddhist temple, relying on his two fists to let loose that he wanted to demolish the Peach Blossom Temple. But in the end, before he could even enter the gate, he was subdued by the abbot of Yunhai with a slap, and then became the temple suppressor Vajra of the Peach Blossom Temple. Deterring those curmudgeons, they have not dared to act recklessly so far. After resting for a while, he chose the worst piece and refined another one, not as good as the one given to Yen Lao, barely in the category of magic weapons. The role is also very single, only when the wearer is in trouble. Blessing good fortune, just after a period of time he can use. It is a consumable item and can only be used three times. How to say Shen Fu is also given six pieces. Refining small green meditation array is also used. Zhao Yi is not the kind of person who takes advantage of the situation. Gifting a piece of magic weapon is enough for the price. Trouble you to run a trip to Yen Old Man in DR. Shen to send. Mr. Zhao. You're welcome. Li Buotao solemnly put away the two magic weapons and left the room with his mouth grinning up to his ears, humming a small tune. He didn't have the guts to take two magic weapons all by himself, and he didn't even have the life to use them if he had the life to take them, but he is the grace of the deliverer. A little effort can brush a wave of goodwill. This kind of pie in the sky good thing, to come a few more times, at most the year after next he can move up another level. Li Buotao, who had returned from delivering the spells, was in a good mood and gave the prison guards, who had nothing to do. A day off. There's a wave of people to deal with on the main night. And there's a lot of people so as not to cause a storm. By the time it's 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. The silence envelopes the world like a monotonous ink painting that. 19 inmates locked in a small dark room. Half asleep. Are kicked awake as guards violently gag their mouths with towels and drive them with batons down the isolated paths of the prison. The buildings around them look like sleeping behemoths. Their windows blackened like bottomless abysses. Devouring all sound and light. The inmates felt an invisible oppression in the air, for no apparent reason. 
When they arrived at the execution ground, Zhao Yi and Li Guotao had been waiting for a long time. Behind the two stood five prison guards. Is checking the execution with a pistol? Staring into the heart of the inmates Harry, turn around to run when the baton fell, smashed them lying on the ground uncontrollably wailing. They're just stupid enough to know what to do. Ah! Ah! Thirsty glances were directed at the wardens, and deep fear showed in their eyes, meaning that they were willing to surrender and give an account of all they knew. Early to be accounted for Li Botao also has no patience. Lazy to listen to them waved his hand for the prison guards to execute. Today over the heart, followed Li Botao did a lot of bad things. Private shooting prisoners is not once or twice. Familiar let 19 in order to kneel. Encountered disobedient directly kill the rod serving. Not a word was said in the process as five prison guards stepped to the back and pistols were quickly cocked. Bang! 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 A cloud of flame erupted from the muzzle of the pistol. Accompanied by a deafening thud as brass casings popped out of the bottom and landed on the hard concrete floor. After a minute or so, all the prisoners fell to the ground. The air is filled with the pungent smell of nitrous smoke. Li Botao used a handkerchief to cover his nose, all thrown into the ground to fertilize. Each person 100, 000 yuan. Enjoy seven days of paid leave. Tonight's matter rot in the stomach. The vegetables in the prison grow beautifully, all without natural fertilizers, and there's no telling how many corpses have been buried. Of course it's all eaten by the inmates. The guards eat it with Zhao Yi. There's no way there's any of that. The prison guards were beaming with joy. Normally when they participated in this kind of mission, they would only be able to share 10, 000 dollars. Today they directly doubled 10 times, which was comparable to the salary for the majority of the year. Looking at the stacked corpses, Jowie first took a picture with his cell phone and then sent it to send them a message phone number. Not a moment too soon. Zhao Yi's cell phone rang. Li Buotao made a silence towards the crowd. The ringing echoed in the empty execution ground, and tapped the receiver to his ear. The opposite party was also cautious and waited half a minute without speaking. Zhao Yi had plenty of time to spend with him. And in the end, it was the man on the opposite side who opened his mouth first, his voice hoarse like a crow's. As if there was a cold wind blowing out from the depths of his throat. Count yourself cruel. Same to each other. Zhao Yi said smilingly, his body leaning against the concrete wall. It's delaying Master Tiger's sleep. When the man across the street heard this, he apparently froze for a second. Followed by a cold laugh. I actually let you recognize me. I should have known that I would have gone through all the trouble and sentenced you to death. Making the situation so tricky now. You killed Qin Yuanhao as well. Didn't you? It was indeed done very beautifully. Without leaving a single bit of evidence, even I was willing to bow down. Zhao Yi didn't say anything either, quietly listening to Master Tiger ramble on. Master Tiger, who had said so much, seemed to be a bit tired as well, and changed his tone of voice to speak. It's better to settle an injustice than to tie it up. Let's make a deal. Master Tiger, please. Zhao Yi's interest also came up, wondering what kind of drugs the opposite side was selling. Anyway, my goal is your land deed. It's useless to keep a worthless barren mountain. Your goal is to clear your name. Well, as long as you give me the land deed of Volsing Mountain, I'll let the real murderer turn himself in. How about another billion as a subsidy for all to be happy? The person on the other side of the phone said slowly, feeling the sincerity through the screen. No problem. Jowie didn't even think about it and agreed. Very happy to speak. The land deed of Volusia Mountain is put in the prison. Tomorrow Master Tiger sends someone to take it on the line. This shitty place I can't stay down for a day. One billion is enough for the rest of my life to lie flat. Do you think I'm stupid? Master Tiger was Jowy angry and happy. His throat seems to be sandpaper grinding. Listening to the next person's heart uncomfortable. Send in 19 people do not know each other. You can find out one by one. If I send a person to the past, you find me how to do by following the vine? The two of us are already immortal. Don't think that this ability is insurmountable. Where there is something to be gained there will be something to be lost. Frequent use will also have a great impact. Right? You're not the only one who has made offerings to the immortals in Cloud City. In the future I'll be sending people in there frequently. Let's see how long you can hold on to it. When I spoke, the call was disconnected. And when I called back, it showed that I was no longer in the service area. Jawi looked at Li Butao who was on the side. Can you use the phone number and find out the exact location? Li Butao shrugged regretfully. I immediately found a friend to check. But the probability is that it's an unlisted phone card. So it's probably hard to get anything. Everyone knows that he came to Cloud City five years ago and unified the underworld in a very short period of time, but no one has ever known what he looks like, and the usual contact also relies on the phone, and the ones who come out to do something are just a few beloved ones, who are his minders, Zhao Yi more and more curious about the identity of the Tiger Master, actually guessed that they enlisted the immortal family to see, 
Otherwise there would not have been that sentence Cloud City enlisted the immortal family can be more than just you. Very sadly, there really is no impact. Sending people inside frequently, that dare I say it, is a good thing, is adding to the performance of the prison. Li Buatao is the director of the prison in Yun Chang, dealing with prisoners every day. For these things like a finger in the pie, none of them are the big mongrels in Yun Chang. Before Master Tiger came the turf are very big. I do not know how to return to the surrender. Zhaoyi stopped talking and rubbed his chin. It was getting late, so he went back to his room alone, and the two kittens had already gone to sleep, and when they heard Zhaoyi come back, they were about to curl up into a ball of fur, lying on the bed without sleepiness, the cell phone once again lit up, someone sent a message, Zhaoyi looked at it and closed it, and then came to the rooftop alone, the blood yang iron crystal is here, and it has to be quenched every night, how to say that the blood yang iron crystal also belonged to the rare, if it wasn't for the golden flames being too counterintuitive. Based on Zhao Yi's current realm alone, he wouldn't be able to hurt his skin for a hundred years. Heaven and earth are furnaces, everything is copper, yin and yang are charcoal, and creation is work. Zhao Yi let out a low cry to burn through the outermost layer. The blood sun iron crystal in front of him was certainly not pure, and was equivalent to an initial gold ore that needed to be smelted before it could be used. What he was going to cultivate was a discipline, which he had seen before, called Gung Jin Qi. Gung Jin Shi was obtained by chance in the immortal meteorite planet 5 million years ago by a Taoist stone spirit who was seriously injured by an enemy. Cultivation can be born in the lungs of a mouthful of Gung Jin gas. As long as the swallowing of rare gold can be constantly contained the, compared to the flying sword of the royal swordsman over and over, spit out can be like a wave of starlight sweeping hundreds of millions of miles of the heavens. The stone spirit to take this aptitude, back to the pinnacle of the realm, dominating a star field. 10,000 years to collect rare gold with all its might, and nurture to the extreme metamorphosis into a half-step Zhanxian flying dagger, killing the same level as grass. In his twilight years, he passed it on to the little stone spirit, but he was eyed by a number of forces, and he went out of his way to get it. The small stone spirit did not grow to great success, suffered a surprise attack instantly hit, the critical moment choose to self-detonation. Gengjin Shi this aptitude is completely severed, lost in the river of years and years. Zhaoyi had noticed it a long time ago, but there were no conditions at that time, although it can also be replaced by ordinary steel, but at least tens of millions of hundreds of millions of tons, in order to be in the refining of a quality minimum Gengjin Qi. And now with this basin-sized blood yang iron crystal, using the rich Qi in the prison as firewood and urging his true spirit golden flame, Zhaoyi had 99% confidence that he would be able to quench an extremely high quality Gengjin Qi. It's still necessary to set up the little green underworld formation as soon as possible. At least it will be able to reduce the time by two thirds. Zhaoyi hammered away as he spoke, his progress not falling behind at all. Rather guessed the mysterious tiger master, how to restrain those big mongrels, willing to do things under the hand. Just received a message from Yi Qinghong, found the treasure suspected to be a medicine tripod, just to go by the way to verify the authenticity. In fact, he was more curious about what level of strength the person who worked alongside Master Tiger, the one who had made offerings to the immortals, was at. The sky gradually rose to a faint fish belly white. Zhao returned to his room from the balcony. Hu Xiao Kong came over to deliver breakfast. Now the two kittens' appetites have increased so much that simple cat food can no longer satisfy them, and they are eating dozens of pounds of fresh beef at every meal. The demon emperor's quenching heart method is incomparably overbearing, and it is absolutely impossible to cut off the blood food, or else all the organs and bowels will be shattered, and the corresponding body size will grow by a circle every day and then wait for a few weeks to be unable to fit in the room. Still in pure white casual clothes, Zhaoyi combed his new hairstyle in the mirror, and gradually his features changed, and the sides of his face hardened, to the point that he stopped only when he was far from his original appearance. It is a very ordinary looking one, thrown into a crowd and not photographed. Zhao Yi's eyes glittered with satisfaction, wearing a mask or being tried on by Yen Lao, allowing him to come back and then practiced a morphing technique that could briefly change his face. It might not be able to hide from martial artists with sharp senses, but it was enough for ordinary people. You guys keep an eye on the house today, I'm going out. The two kittens watched curiously, and nodded their heads obediently with a familiar scent despite the change in their faces, avoiding unplanned accidents. Zhaoyi also drew a dummy exactly like himself before leaving the prison, so that he wouldn't break when checking in. Out the prison gates, a sky blue Bentley was waiting early. Zhaoyi opened the door and sat in the back. Gu Qingqing in the driver's seat turned back. Her eyebrows frowned for a second before stretching, every time I see you, you give new surprises. Zhao smiled and didn't answer, and turned his words around and said, the information you gave is still behind, I already know about Master Tiger, and had a friendly exchange last night, 
After he left that day, Gu Qingqing went all out to investigate. It was found that there may be an inseparable relationship with Master Tiger, which also involves one of his beloved, Lu Laozue, who opened a dozen underground casinos, and the Gu family found out that he suddenly lost a few of his minions, and so far they are nowhere to be found. You swindled me? Gu Qingqing stared at Zhao Yi suspiciously. Her eyes were getting very impatient. She had sent him a message last night and agreed to meet at the prison gate today. She knew that Zhao Yi could tell fortunes, and it might have been just now that Zhao Yi learned of Master Tiger's name. Zhao Yi helplessly handed out his cell phone. You can check last night's call. I've already recorded the audio. There is a false statement. I will never have to clear my name. Gu Qingqing listened to the recording all over, confirming that Zhao Yi wasn't lying. No matter what, you haven't investigated Lu Lao crooked yet. It can always be counted as half a clue. Zhao Yi nodded his head without refuting and looked at the scenery outside. At 6 o'clock this evening, there will be an internal auction at the treasure pavilion. So help me buy one of the exhibits as a way to make up for half the clues. Gu Qingqing knew the Jubilee Pavilion well, and she was still a platinum member there. The internal auctions are closed to the public. Only registered members can attend, and there is probably one every month. She took out her cell phone and dialed. Immediately the staff of the Treasure Pavilion sent over the information of the 19 exhibits to be involved in the auction that would start at 6 o'clock. After a general glance, Gu Qingqing agreed. In addition to the finale of the collection, the organizers nervously did not reveal too much. The starting price of 10 million, the rest are tens of millions of trinkets. The internal auction is not that the price is necessarily expensive, but some of the collection is not the right way. Many are just brought out of the tomb, as well as the Ming and Qing dynasties before the antique stuff. In the country does not allow the sale of the category, the exposure of the easy to cause unnecessary disputes. Now where are we going? Gu Qingqing looked at Zhao Yi who was sending a message down and asked, The auction won't start until 6 o'clock. Where are we going now? That day when Fuzhou returned to the Gu family, he informed Elder Gu of what he had seen. After listening to the old man Gu's serious demeanor, so that Wang Fu cast must be rotting things in the stomach, and finally just told Gu Qingqing a person. Even her father Gu Qingshan are blinded in it, but also decided that you can check Zhao Yi wronged in prison. Anyhow, it's also a master. Although the immortal that is offered is fierce and I don't know when the thunderstorm will happen, but it's always good to make a good relationship. And... What happened to Gu Qingqing's mother was also the pain of Elder Gu's life, reducing his most valued son to a waste of space, dreaming of gleaning out the murderer. When Gu Qingqing was five years old, her mother drove her out to play, and halfway back at night, she collided with a truck that ran a red light. Gu Qingqing's mother died on the spot, and Gu Qingqing, who was sitting in the back seat, recovered her life, but also suffered from a phobia of darkness as a result. That truck driver turned himself in afterward, though, and was punished by the law and imprisoned in Cloud City Prison. However, Elder Gu always felt suspicious that the driver might have been instructed, especially since the driver had died suddenly and tragically in his cell two years after going to prison, further confirming his thoughts. Zhao Yi, who finished sending the message, put away his phone and said, First go to a movie theater. There is another movie released that is very good. Not going to Oriental City. Less people are not lively at all. Thinking about what happened in the Oriental City studio, Gu Qingqing's face stiffened, and many of the employees who accompanied the movie resigned the next day with a heart attack. The two of them went to the nearest movie theater. Zhao Yi was going to see a movie called Zhou Dei San Hao, belonging to the largest scale of the last 10 years. It was just released in theaters that were so hot that they were packed to the rafters. Today's Gu Qingqing wore a short denim skirt, girding out her supple waist, rounded and sturdy hips, and trimming out her two straight and elastic legs, with a stance comparable to that of a professional model. The gazes of the men in the audience, from the opening of the movie to the curtain, fell over without stopping, and then he looked at Zhao Yi who was sitting next to him, thinking to himself what the hell is this kid's origin, he can't be a son of any family, actually able to capture the heart of a beautiful woman, it was going to be noon when we walked out of the movie, Zhao Yi again asked Gu Qingqing to drive towards the university town to eat at the wonton store that he had shut down every now and then during his school days, the small store is a husband and wife store, not very large, and occupies only a dozen square feet, but the couple is very clean, never used the groove head meat, thin profits rely on volume to make money, Zhao research medicine poor to death, he will also be more than a few, try to eat more full, the snack street, which originally had a lot of foot traffic, looks unusually cold today, entering the familiar ravioli store, the husband and wife, who hadn't seen each other for over a month and had a lot more gray hair, still welcomed the two customers with smiles, Zhao ordered two wontons, and when Gu Qingqing wanted to settle the bill after eating, the shopkeeper forced a smile. We'll be closing tomorrow. You're the last customer. So there's no charge. Gu Qingqing, 
who started the car, was puzzled. It's mealtime now, the flavor is quite good, and Yuncheng University is close by, so why haven't we seen a few guests? Zhaoyi coldly looked at the empty snack street, when Wang Fuzhu told him that Qin Yuan Hao's father, Qin Hong, was preparing to acquire a snack street to be built as the busiest commercial street in Yunchang. He didn't care at the time, but now that he thought back carefully, he realized that it was actually this snack street, and Qin Hong in order to reduce costs, gave an extremely low purchase price, hundreds of stores have just renewed the rent, to agree to have to lose to the grandmother's house, in order to let the shopkeeper nimbly away, Qin Hong spent a high price to let the old crooked loose shot, every three to five to send a horse to go to the store to smash, encounter to eat is also a scare with the intimidation, so that now not many people dare to come, the shopkeeper's wife suffers from uremia, and has to go to the hospital for dialysis every month, the original income can be maintained, but now the income is not enough to make ends meet, so the store can only be closed to find another way out, Zhao Yi, who was sitting in the back seat, didn't answer Gu Qingqing, but just coldly said, go to pleasant company, Gu Qingqing snapped her head back to look at Zhao Yi, you still want to kill people? The one who set you up was Master Tiger, Lu Lao Crooked is a puppet, killing him won't help, from Uncle Wang, I learned that those who have made offerings to the immortals can't perform their abilities easily, or else their lifespan will be shortened, no matter what, Zhao Yi had also helped her, and should, in all reason, give a friendly warning, Joyful Company Limited, although the name is very festive, is the headquarters of Lu Lao Crooked, the business is to open underground casinos and loan sharks with interest, and I don't know how many people have lost their money, originally a tumor in Cloud City, he now works for the mysterious Master Tiger, Zhao Yi looked at the wide-eyed Gu Qingqing and made a very innocent expression, am I really a murderer in your eyes, guarantee that I won't move a hand, I believe that Lu Lao Crooked has been reformed, and see that we are coming to be swept couch to welcome it, Gu Qingqing, who had a face of disbelief, still went to the Pleasant Company, Pleasant Company is the headquarters of Lu Lao Crooked, the more obsolete 18-story office building, the company raised the strong beaters eat and sleep all this, everywhere is a surveillance camera, where there is no appointment personnel, it is impossible to see Lu Lao Crooked himself, the car was parked downstairs and the two walked towards the front door, at the door stood six fighters, uniformly wearing black frame sunglasses, waist with an open blade short knife, bumped into looking for trouble direct action, there will not be the slightest hesitation, the gangsters are more than ruthless, a little softness and you'll be destroyed, Gu Qingqing leaned on the car body, her hands encircling her breasts, six thugs are standing at the door, and there are cameras in all the nooks and crannies, so are we flying or digging a tunnel to get in? Don't bother, just walk in through the front door. Zhaoyi walked towards the main entrance of the Pleasant Company, not hiding at all. When the six thugs saw him coming over, their fierce expressions instantly changed into fawning, nodding their heads and welcoming Zhao Yi in, giving Gu Qingqing, who wanted to watch a good show, a startled look. Zhao Yi, who walked in far away, found Gu Qingqing standing at the door. What are you still standing there for? Delaying everyone's time as much as you can. If you don't go in, just stay in the car. Zhao Yi took the elevator with Gu Qingqing and arrived at the highest floor of the office building. The 18th floor had the most fighters, 20 or 30 by eyeballing, specializing in the security of Lu Lao Crooked. Zhao Yi only look at it still know that the body are carrying a few murders, a few of them waste bulging, loaded with pistols purchased from special channels. They also acted respectfully when they saw Zhao Yi. The two at the forefront helped lead the way, and only stopped when they had to walk to Lu Lao Crooked's office. Mr. Zhao, we'll send you here. Master Crooked is inside. Lu Lao Crooked is an extremely careful and vicious people. The men usually nothing can never get close to, or at every turn is to break an arm or a leg. When did you meet Lu Lao Crooked? Gu Qingqing, who was walking in the back, inquired with a suppressed voice. She was very clear that in the morning, Zhao Yi still had a half understanding of Lu Lao Crooked. How come it was just after a small half day? He could enter and exit Xiangjiang Company at will? Squeak. Yikes. Zhao Yi didn't answer this question. He just pushed open the office door and let Gu Qingqing follow in piece by piece. Lu Old Crooked office decoration is very luxurious. As far as the eye can see is a colorful yellow rosewood appliances. Prices ranging from dozens to millions of dollars. Rich sandalwood aroma comes to the nose. The right corner of the window is dedicated to a two-meter statue of Buddha with a gold-plated exterior, which is very visually appealing. The Yakuza bigwigs in Cloud City were all keen on worshipping Buddha, obviously doing the most harmful things, but they had a solemn heart for God and Buddha, and they didn't know if they really believed in it or if they were afraid of being claimed by the wrong souls at night. The rightful owner, Lu Lao Crooked, was kneeling on the ground, not daring to move a muscle, and a pistol, dismantled into parts, was thrown next to him. 
On the office chair sat a young man with a clean face, precisely He Qinghong after plastic surgery. Seeing Zhao Yi arrive, He Qinghong hurriedly got up and made seats for the main host. In the morning, Zhao Yi sent a message to He Qinghong, asking him to find a way to solve Lu Laozuan before 3 o'clock in the afternoon. He Qinghong took three by marrow pills. The human race is the longest of all the spirits, enough to undergo a complete felling and washing of the marrow. The gift of unforgettable is born for killers. Studying the introductory chapter in just a few days is a small success. The strength is similar to that of a great warrior. He successfully infiltrated the company and subdued Lu Laocuan. Let Lu Lao Crooked give instructions to his men that there will be two honored guests in the afternoon and no one should take offense. The doubt on Gu Qingqing's face intensified. Not knowing which way the strange boy in front of her came from, how could he willingly work for Zhao Yi? Zhao Yi casually sat in the office chair. And it had to be said that Lu Lao Crooked was very good at enjoying himself. The chair is carved from individual pieces of mahogany. The back is carved with unicorn patterns. The front is a small piece of a small piece of buffalo skin. Layers of hand stitched. Sitting on top of the skin can't touch the mahogany. You can only feel the gentleness of the cowhide. Lu Old Crooked to have 50 years old. People as its nickname. Mouth askew is very powerful. Feel the wind leakage of speech. Kneeling on the ground is not panicked. I do not know which offend even the boss of Oriental City. Say not on the line. Why go to such great lengths? Gu Qingqing was not at all surprised that she could recognize it. Those who could make a name for themselves in Cloud City, how could they not have some means? She revealed her standard smile and glanced at Zhao Yi. I'm just a driver today as well. You'd better ask the main man. Lu Lao crooked some surprises. Look to the early twenties. The same very young man, dare to ask you which way the gods. Old crooked I admit it. How much money you want to say as much as you want to say. Mixed for so many years or a little strength. Having seen the horrible hands shown by the clean-cut boy, Lu Laocuan also didn't have the idea of shouting for the fighters to come in, otherwise the first one to die would definitely be him. Zhao Yi casually sat down on the office chair, and it had to be said that Lu Lao Crooked was very good at enjoying himself. The chair is carved from a child's yellow rosewood. The back is carved with unicorn patterns. The front is a small piece of a small piece of buffalo skin. Layers of hand stitched and become. Sitting on the skin cannot touch the mahogany can only feel the mildness of the cowhide. The rightful owner, Zhao Yi, tapped his fingers on the desk as if he hadn't heard Lu Lao Crooked's words. He Qinghong saw that there was a tea set in the room and walked over to follow the steps to concentrate on making tea. After knowing that Zhao Yi likes to drink tea, he practiced the tea ceremony for two days, and now he is already very skillful, and poured a cup and respectfully put it on the desk. Zhao Yi, who took a sip of tea, finally looked at the kneeling Lu Lao Crooked, very plainly inquired. The punks who harassed Donghua Snack Street, causing hundreds of stores to be forced to close their doors, are all the people you sent over, right? Lu Lao Crooked is also a human essence. Immediately understand what it means. Began to Qin Hong to throw the pot. Blah 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 said more than 10 minutes. Dry throat to smoke. And finally cannot wait to Qin Hong frustrated. Not putting on a show, but really hating. Damn help you to do bad things. The enemy fell to find me here. I do not know how much money to pay for life. Zhao Yi nodded his head approvingly. Qin Hong is indeed guilty as sin. Now I'll give you a chance to unload one of his legs plus one of his arms. As an outlet for the hundreds of shopkeepers in Donghua Snack Street, the original thought was that as long as Qin Hong did not pop up to his head, he would let him live. But since he ran into it, he did it by hand. Ha! Huh? Lu Lao Crooked's expression changed abruptly. Not expecting this. Barely? Zhao Yi bent down and calmly asked. No. Barely. Lu Lao Crooked's eyes showed violence. No matter what, he couldn't offend the young man in front of him. Otherwise he felt that today, he most likely wouldn't be able to live. Although Qin Hong opened a three-star hotel in Cloud City, he is always a businessman. And he is indeed practically ruthless. Do you need to ask him to come over and waste one of his legs and one of his arms in front of you? Forget it. I'm kind-hearted. Zhao Yi said with a smiling face. His tone very sincere. See no blood. Lu Lao crooked face stiff. Nimbly pulled out his cell phone. Dialed a phone to the people under the hand. Rush to unload Qin Hong an arm and a leg. Do Qin Hong is not a small thing? Zhao Yi also knows that there is no hurry. Let Lu Lao Crooked first stood up, sat down to his opposite side. The two of them drink tea while asking, in fact, I'm very curious. You're so powerful. Why do you want to give the Tiger Masters to sell their lives? Just so willing to be a dog? Lu Old Crooked brow frowning. Dry Qin Hong are not so difficult. A long sigh. Red eyes. Old Crooked I admit it. Now life in your hands. Want to take it away. Master Tiger has treated me well, so I'm sorry I can't reveal it. Zhao Yi laughed, stood up and looked down at Lu Lao Crooked. You can get away with it. The villain who got to the top 20 years ago by getting his boss killed. Saying this kind of bullshit, do you believe it yourself? 
It's not just that 20 years ago, he was injected with a tube of poison and had to be injected with an antidote every six months or he would have died an extremely miserable death. So what's there not to talk about? Lu Lao's crooked expression changed dramatically, his eyes filled with fear, his body subconsciously leaned back, tilted over from the chair, the back of his head was bleeding out and he didn't care, his lips couldn't stop trembling as he stared at Zhao you, in the end, who are you, who the hell are you, who I am, doesn't matter, the smile on Zhao Yi's face became even more gorgeous, the important thing is that you, it seems like you're not too loyal to Master Tiger either, and already have plans to rebel, Lu Lao crooked, who was lying on the ground, had a terrified look in his eyes, his pupils contracted into a thin line, and his eyeballs almost glared out of their sockets, but he still managed to hold back and keep his sanity, you are Master Tiger's people, right, there must be a mistake somewhere, I was loyal to Master Tiger, how could I ever think of rebelling, said also took off wearing a pure gold necklace, to have a small thumb thick, flattering to Zhao Yi hand to plug, a little small meaning, is worth five or six hundred thousand, you have to help me in front of the tiger a few words of praise, there will be heavy thanks, he had it all figured out, it was the mysterious master tiger who could have such a terrifying figure, all right, the impression was that master tiger was a psychologically deformed, even heavily obsessive compulsive person who demanded absolute loyalty from his subordinates, there have been means tests used, and last year a man of similar strength to him failed and died tragically in his home the next day, the fruits of years of operation were divided up and he was given five underground casinos as well, Zhaoyi looked at Lu Lao crooked, who was even more wretched than a dog, and was able to understand just how much of a psychological impact the poison injected into his body had actually had on him in the end. Every month, as long as the antidote is not taken on time, the body is like falling into a snake pit, suffering the pain of 10,000 snakes devouring the skin, and death is a luxury now. I'm not one of Master Tiger's men. On the contrary, I have a grudge against him, Zhao Yi explained with a smiling face, but Lu Lao Crooked obviously didn't believe it. A fawning smile fixed on his face as he chattered on and on to show his loyalty to Zhao Yi. The expression is disgusted Zhao Yi, do not even need to do it yourself. Standing next to Yi Qinghong is very eye-catching. A foot to Lu Laoqiu and kicked out two meters, Mr. Zhao Yi need to lie to you, don't be like a bedbug, snot is going to stick. Zhao Yi, who stood up from the chair, was dressed in white without a speck of dust, and Lu Lao Crooked, who was kneeling on the ground, tilted his head to try to see as clearly as possible, and this angle was more like Hajj God. Twenty years ago. You were just a middle of the road punk living on the edge of a knife. Zhao Yi flips through Lu Lao Crooked's resume while telling the secret story of 20 years ago. Until a man in a white mask finds you and promises to give you a step to heaven. The prerequisite is a single injection of poison. Allegiance to the organization from then on. And a tube of antidote suppression every year. You agreed. The next day your boss died tragically at home. And with the help of that mysterious man. He quickly became the new boss. And there were others besides you who rose to power during that time. The man in the white mask, on the other hand, didn't use you guys to do anything, just sent a tube of antidote every year until 5 years ago when a man named Master Tiger sent you a message. Those of you who became puppets 20 years ago can only be forced to do anything for him and pay two thirds of your income every year going forward, but you are not willing to be enslaved all your life. Last month spent a lot of money to secretly buy the truth potion from the United States, thinking that at the end of the month wearing a white mask mysterious person to deliver the antidote, poured into the water to sneak tricked into drinking and then set to ask for the formula of the antidote, the truth potion is from a rice lab, the user forgets the past 2 hours of memory, and you think you've done a good job of being completely sure, but, master tiger isn't as stupid as you think, that mysterious man with the white mask is definitely a tough guy, when you hand out the truth potion, that's when your head moves, after saying that even Zhao Yi was surprised, or underestimated master tiger, and the strength of the forces behind the scenes, he actually laid out the layout 20 years ago, swaying the four major figures of the Cloud City underworld to become four of the sharpest pointy knives. According to Lu Lao Crooked's past, that mysterious person wearing a white mask should be the one who had made offerings to the immortals. How could he be put down by something that dealt with ordinary people? Lu Lao Crooked's eyes dribbled, already believing that the man in front of him was not one of Master Tiger's men. Otherwise, according to the character of the tiger, knowing that he wants to rebel against the detailed plan, simply do not bother to waste time, has long come over to silence. Lu Lao Crooked's heart breathed a long sigh of relief, not associating the man in front of him at all towards Zhao Yi, who was locked up in prison, because it was simply unrealistic, by the way, I'll give you another free piece of information, the antidote works by suppressing it, but the toxin is still slowly penetrating, even if you get the formula, it's useless, you still have 2 years of life left at most, if you don't believe me, you can go to the hospital and get a full test, 
Zhao Yi didn't lie. He just examined it once and found Lu Lao Crooked's condition. But it's just that there's an antidote to suppress it. And there's no thunderstorm. Lu Lao Crooked's panicked face was as pale as paper. Then he found a life-saving straw and crawled on his knees next to Zhao Yi, kowtowing heavily one after another. Mr. Zhao, please, save me, one at a time, harder than the other. Blood oozed from his forehead. Zhao Yi, twenty minutes later, walked out of the office with Gu Qingqing. He told Lu Lao Crooked, who wanted to live, his request to wait until the end of the month when the envoy to deliver the medicine came, and notify him at the first opportunity. Zhao Yi promises Lu Lao Crooked that he can develop a real antidote. Not the kind of stuff that requires injections every three months and can only live for another two years, but the kind of good stuff that can live a healthy life to a hundred years old and still work seven times at a time. As for today's own come to this trip, will not also be offered to the immortal, may be able to fortune telling means of the envoy knows, Zhao Yi on the life and death book has sufficient bottom, also checked Lu Laokuan's men, no spies sent by Master Tiger, and do not know what happened in the office, there is no probability of leakage, Gu Qingqing would be even less likely to leak. The Gu family had stayed out of it, and no matter how big the matter got, it wouldn't affect it in the slightest. No matter how stupid his brain was, he would not offend such a crazy person like Zhao Yi for the sake of an unrelated person. Not to mention that Gu Qingqing was still begging Zhao Yi right now. The two of them got into the car, and it was getting late, getting ready to go to the gathering pavilion. Gu Qingqing, who was concentrating on driving, Woody looked at Zhao Yi and asked with a complicated expression. If you rely on Wang Lao Crooked and really glean out the Tiger Master behind the curtain, will you give the promised antidote? Zhao Yi looked at the scenery through the car window and didn't answer the question. For the person who indirectly harmed himself in prison, how can he be saintly to this extent? As long as the use of the last value, he will personally send Lu Laokuan on the road. When he was about to arrive at the treasure pavilion, Zhao Yi's cell phone lit up. It was a message sent by Lu Lao Crooked, with eight or nine photos plus a video. The photo shows a middle-aged man motionless in a pool of blood, with one arm and one leg broken. The video was two and a half minutes long, and Zhao Yi clicked on it with interest. One of Lu Lao Crooked's men, clutching an iron rod, faced Qin Hong who was kneeling down towards him, and violently smashed it down so hard that the sound of bones cracking entered his ears. In two and a half minutes, Lu Lao Crooked's men took turns until Qin Hong lay motionless in a pool of blood, and only then was he satisfied and gave a scissor hand towards the camera. Now Lu Lao Crooked's entire hope is placed on Zhao Yi. So he is especially attentive to Zhao Yi's orders and gives a little added kick in teaching Qin Hong. Jubilee Pavilion is the largest auction company in Cloud City. In addition to rare antiques, land and financial assets are also included. The company's big boss and the core of the family are all honored members here. I don't know if the owner of Jubilee Court is a fan of martial arts novels. Not only is the name ancient, but it is also built to look like it has come to ancient times, with a similarly large footprint and staff dressed in specially tailored ancient clothes. There are a lot of people here today and the parking lot is going to be full. There are 28 auction rooms in the treasure pavilion, taken from the 28 stars in the sky. The more important the auction, the higher the serial number. In the last half month Jubilee Pavilion opened 17 auctions. The serial number of the most forward is tonight at 6 o'clock. With the number 5 Hyper Golden Dragon Hall, is no longer open to ordinary people. Only members are eligible to enter to participate in the auction. Membership in Polygon is onerous. Starting with a spend of $5 million or more, three referrals from acquaintances, and finally a two-month vetting period. Zhao Yi was the only person Gu Qingqing had a membership among the people he knew. As the first eldest granddaughter of the Gu family, Gu Qingqing was naturally a platinum member of the highest specification, and after revealing her identity, she stepped into the box in the fifth Hyper Golden Dragon Hall under the guidance of the staff. Jubilee Pavilion members of the non-wealthy that is, pay close attention to privacy and comfort. Cannot be like a public hall only a bench, the door is a large Chinese screen, spaced out a small box, the box had leather sofas and wine and champagne, the staff member hadn't left and was in charge of serving tea and water in the back, Gu Qingqing more surprised is that the 6th hall of 20 small boxes are actually full, before at best is to come to 8 or 9, asked the back of the staff to know, are for the last finale of the collection, what the hell is that stash, Gu Qingqing asked the staff behind her, she already knew that what Zhao Yi wanted was collection number 9, a very strangely shaped bronze cauldron that had been plowed out of some old pit last week, with unclean dirt around it. The expert appraisal of the treasure house is consistent with the Eastern Han Dynasty. The starting price was $6 million, and Gu Qingqing's experience estimated that the sale price would not exceed $20 million. The staff is a young girl in her 20s, regrettably informing that the finale collection is very mysterious, and she doesn't know exactly what it is, only knowing that it has attracted a lot of big bosses. Today's auctioneer was called Su Yunshang. 
who was also the owner of the treasure pavilion, a few years older than Gu Qingqing, and was at her most charismatic moment. The auction where the bosses are on the floor is enough to see how much importance is attached to it. Su Yunshan was wearing a plain white Changsam. Her thick hair was neatly bundled behind her head, and her white melon face with a cherry mouth was very much the flavor of the classical beauty of Dasha. The Chan Sam's opening is just right, revealing full and compact calves. The body model is slightly plump and looks fleshy, and her mouth is open with a warbler-like brittle voice, and she is mobilizing the atmosphere of the hall with her words. Any bidding that Su Yunshan participated in was priced one-third higher than usual. Zhao looked at Su Yunshan with interest. Gu Qingqing on the side laughed softly. You're also mesmerized. Wherever you see Sister Yunshan, there's no one who has remained calm. Do you want to be introduced to you? Apparently the two knew each other and were quite familiar with each other. Zhao Yi was obviously not attracted by Su Yunshan's beauty, but rather thought of a special physique called the born to enchant body. Those who are not strong-willed will fall in love with anyone who looks at them. Although Su Yunshan's bloodline was impure, the people she faced were all ordinary people, and it was enough to mobilize the atmosphere of the entire room. As the auction began, one collection item after another took the stage, and after being introduced by Su Rong, they were all auctioned off at good prices. The ninth collection was carefully carried on the booth by two people, a very oddly shaped bronze tripod, its surface covered with mottled green rust, its height flush with Su Yushang's rounded knees, attracting the attention of the entire audience on its debut. Bronzes have always been popular for collecting, and the tripod-shaped ones are even hot items, and were eventually auctioned off by Gu Qingqing for $32 million. I filmed it. Gu Qingqing looked at Lu Yu, who was stoned, and said solemnly, I've auctioned off the collection you wanted. I hope you can keep your word. Zhao Yi nodded and continued to get high. It is indeed a real medicinal tripod. I just don't know which tomb it came from, so I can make a trip there when I have the chance to see if I can get something new. The exhibits that appeared one after another in the back. The highest heat is also Tang Yin's real handwriting, and was finally auctioned by a boss for $22 million. Until the finale of the collection covered with a piece of black cloth came on the stage, the whole audience let out a light eek. Su Yunshan also did not sell a secret, lifted the black cloth of the box, held inside was a delicate red peach. In the face of the crowd's puzzled looks, two employees went and returned with a small metal cage containing dying mice. They used a knife to cut a small piece from the peach and fed it into the mouth of the dying mouse. Something magical happened. The little mouse, which was on the verge of death, was gradually revitalized with the swallowing of the peach meat, and came to life in the cage. Su Yunshan's eyes were watery and spoke in a dainty and soft voice, I believe that everyone is no stranger to the master who has recently arrived in Cloud City, and has recently come to Gathering Treasures Pavilion as a guest for a reason, and this immortal peach is what he is asked to send to auction, and I believe that the effect is something that everyone has already seen. The Hidden Treasure Pavilion has already done the testing, and the results show that it has the ability to nourish yin and replenish yang, beautify and nourish the skin, prolong life, and a series of miraculous effects. The starting bid is $10 million. Each increase shall not be less than $2 million. As soon as Su Yunshan's words fell, the people in the box began to compete, shouting up to $100 million in a few rounds. $100 million is just a starting point. Those who can enter the auction hall are either rich or noble. In the face of such a miraculous immortal peach, and with the endorsement of the treasure pavilion, they are all excited to take it. 200 million, 300 million, 500 million. The price slowed down when the shout reached half a billion dollars. Although most of the people present have billions of dollars, but it does not mean that they can take out billions of cash. 500 million has been the limit of many people. Su Yunshan on the stage was getting more and more delicate red with excitement. Her high and full breasts were undulating. The commission that Hidden Treasure Pavilion could get today was definitely a very considerable amount. Just as Su Yunshan was about to hammer the point home, an unfamiliar male voice resounded in the hall for the first time. 600 million. All of a sudden, the eyes of the entire room looked towards Gu Qingqing's box. Gu Qingqing's eyes widened as she looked at the plain-faced Zhao Yi. I don't have that much cash. You'll just have to have to find someone else to get the money. It was Zhao Yi who was puzzled. Who told you? I'm going to give money? If you don't pay. Do you want to whore yourself out for nothing? Gu Qingqing said in a half-joking tone, but when she looked at the serious Lu Yu, she subconsciously had to shout out, but still tried to suppress her voice. You really want to whore yourself out for nothing? Don't joke. Although I have some relationship with Su Yunshan, it's hard for me to protect myself from this kind of thing. Gu Qingqing was anxious, but looked at Zhao Yi and said seriously, I never joke. In the back, when someone offered $700 million, before Gu Qingqing could breathe a sigh of relief, Zhao Yi shouted $1 billion, causing the entire room to let out a gasp of surprise. Gu Qingqing, who knew the truth, 
resisted the urge to rub Zhao Yi's hair into a chicken nest. Anyway, this guy does not intend to pay money. It is useless to shout to 10 billion. The price of the grand finale's immortal peaches was finally set at 1 billion. The bosses who had no chance of getting their hands on them sighed. But just those effects Shen Yunshang had said were not worth bidding for at a higher price. The bidding is over and one after the other leaves the room. Gu Qingqing and Zhao Yi also left. They auctioned off two pieces of the collection and were led into the VIP room by the staff. The box is always still a public area. And it's easy to overhear conversations. After about a few minutes, there was a knock on the door of the room. Enter. Gu Qingqing combed her hair and resumed her upright appearance as several staff members in ancient costumes came in. Among them was the owner of Hidden Treasure Pavilion, Su Yunshan, but the one at the head was an old man with a dry figure, wearing a loose dark red Taoist robe. Su Yunshan gracefully walked to Gu Qingqing front, was very surprised to say, good sister to come also do not say a word. We have to have more than two months have not seen it. The first will be dealt with the matter finished. The evening a little bit of good hospitality to you. She looked at Zhao Yi again, doubt lingering only for a split second at the tip of her eyebrows, and said with a gracious smile on her face, a new friend you've met. Why don't you introduce him? Gu Qingqing simply let go as well and walked next to Zhao Yi, her tone biting hard. I would like to introduce to you Mr. Zhao in a grand manner, the billionaire who auctioned off the immortal peach. Hello. I really didn't expect Mr. Zhao to be so young and already accomplished. Su Yunshan gently greeted Zhao Yi, then respectfully introduced the old man next to him, wearing a dark red Taoist robe. The one in front of you is, the amazing grandmaster who asked to send an auction for the immortal peach. He was very happy to hear that someone was willing to spend a billion dollars, and he came over to have a good talk with you. Two crew members, in the back, pack exhibit number 19 to their heels. Gu Qingqing glanced at Zhao Yi in the afterglow, saw that the other party did not have any problems, nodded to confirm that there was no mistake, before handing over a bank card, swiped 12 million and returned it. Inspection is a mandatory process to prevent further swapping in the middle. Another workman walked towards Zhao Yi carrying a black wooden box that contained the immortal peach now, close observation of the peaches, the feeling is different again, filled with a light fragrance, the VIP room people just sniff a mouthful, only to feel refreshed up, Zhao picked up the delicate reddish fairy peaches and put them back after just a glance, sneering, dare to fool me with the cottage stuff, a few pounds and a few tails are so bold, I'm afraid that you have the life to take the money, but not the life to spend the money, the atmosphere of the VIP lounge went cold for a moment, and all eyes fell on Zhao Su Yunshan also did not expect that things would take such a turn, and kept making eyes at Gu Qingqing. Gu Qingqing, on the other hand, returned a look of love. She couldn't control Zhao Yi either. Amazing Dusty Z's expression was shortened, followed by an icy tone. Young man, I advise you to take back those words, or else I can define it as this is. A slur against the old man. Zhao Yi was amused, not caring at all about the people present, and laughed so hard that his waist was bent. Amazing Dusty, who was ignored. His expression became very ugly, but he still retained a point of his superior demeanor. What evidence do you have? Evidence. Evidence? Hearing this Lu Yu, laughter suddenly came to an abrupt end, held in the right hand of the immortal peach, in full view, gradually turned into a puddle of mud, very disgusting thrown to the ground, now also want evidence? Watching the immortal peaches turn into rotten mud, amazing Dusty's two long eyebrows were windless, his rosacea nose grew redder and redder, the temperature of the VIP room suddenly rose. Clenching his back teeth and questioning icily, where did the rash young man come from? Actually dare to tear down the old man's stage. Zhao Yi just calmly watched without saying a word. Su Yunshan can develop the Jubilee Pavilion to such a scale. A little thought guess 7 or 8 points. Zhao Yi is Gu Qingqing brought friends. Amazing Dust Z is a high person with a real Taoist line. Both parties cannot be offended. The paragraph out of the middle of the two people to play a round table. There must be a mistake somewhere. Why don't we all sit down together in peace and discuss it? And let's pretend that today never happened. Amazing Master did not let up at all. Stepping forward and staring at Zhao Yi with a deadly stare. Itching to swallow him up. Erect son. Where did you get the guts to ruin my good deed? If I don't kill you today. Won't I? Amazing Dusty Son. Become a joke? Said. He recited the incantation in a low voice. And his hands were also rapidly forming seals. With naked killing intent in his eyes. The hem of his robe fluttering violently with his movements. The kid can actually recognize the deception. So try facing the old man's spells and still remain so calm? A blazing ball of incandescent fire took shape in front of Grandmaster Amazing, so dazzling that it was impossible to look at it directly. The heat emitted seemed to melt even the surrounding space, presenting the illusion of flow, and the people in the VIP room seemed to be standing in front of a furnace, and were forced back to the corner to feel better. Su Yunshan's eyes dripped with shock, 
She had been interested in ancient immortal laws since she was a child, so the treasure pavilion that was set up was biased in favor of it, both in terms of its name and its construction. But now was not the time to watch and harden your heart and continue to persuade the fight. Fireball magic? Zhaoyi asked curiously. To actually be able to recognize it, it counts as you know what you're talking about. If you kneel on the ground today and obediently hand over $700 million, you might be able to keep your life. Looking at the pairs of awe-inspiring gazes in the VIP lounge, Grandmaster Amazing felt great satisfaction. In the face of ordinary people, he is a god. Gu Qingqing was really anxious. Although she had heard Uncle Wang say that the immortal that Zhao Yi had enshrined was very fierce, killing Qin Yuanhao with a single blow a hundred meters apart. But hearing more was not as good as witnessing it with her own eyes. And Grandmaster Amazing's technique of summoning fireballs out of thin air was, in her opinion, close to an immortal's means. Zhao Yi you give in. 700 million dollars I'll pay for you. Although 700 million is a lot. But the oriental city has been open for so many years. Take out or more than enough. How to say that Zhao Yi has helped her. Cannot stand by and watch being killed gas. No need. Zhao Yi opened his mouth very calmly. Looking at the very bluff fireball in front of him. And gently blew out a mouthful of cool air. An extremely cold breath came. And the fireball that Master Yen had painstakingly condensed was blown out in an instant. Amazing Dusty stayed where he was. His eyes lost in thought for a while. And his back was drenched in cold sweat. As if his soul had been hammered by an invisible heavy fist. It was so frightening that the body shuddered involuntarily. The fireball that had been condensed with all his might was actually blown out by the young man in front of him with a single breath. Legs can no longer support the body. Like a puddle of mud crooked on the ground. Rolled and crawled to the feet of Zhao Yi. While kowtowing in fear and said, small eyes did not recognize MT. Tai. Did not recognize the true face of Mount Lu. Offended the real person really deserved to die. Only a real person could do this. Without the need to chant lengthy incantations and make complicated hand seals. Releasing spells with a single thought. Looking at Amazing Dusty who was crying with a handful of tears and a handful of snot, Zhao disgustedly reached out and kicked it to the side. But instead of being annoyed, Amazing Dusty let out a long breath of air after the robbery. As long as he wasn't killed instantly, it meant there was still room for maneuver. The scene that Amazing Dusty's son displayed all fell into the eyes of the crowd in the VIP room, and their pupils flickered with astonishment. In recent days, they had seen how terrifying Master Yan's methods were, but in front of Zhao they were defeated and they couldn't even rise up with the thought of resisting. Gu Qingqing snapped out of her shock and finally realized, what exactly was the concept that Uncle Wang had said about the offerings to the immortals being fierce. Su Yushan even stared at the autumn water like eyes, open mouth looking at the man in white, murmured in a small voice lost in thought, originally thought that you are a business wizard, or the son of a great family. So this is what you rely on? Zhaoyi looked towards Amazing Dusty, who was kneeling in the corner. The corner of his mouth hooked into a cold smile designed to disguise as a fairy peach, but in reality it's a money pit. From start to finish it's nothing but a scam. Can you admit it? Your eyes were right on all counts. In order to save his life, Amazing Dusty had no principles at all and admitted it through and through. Su Yunshan's expression changed again, frowning willow eyebrows of looking at the kneeling Amazing Dusty. She for the immortal peach but did enough publicity, came to a dozen Cloud City local bosses. The result is from beginning to end is a carefully set up a scam. If it wasn't for Zhao Yi today, but had been bought by the bosses and found out afterward that they had been cheated. Where would it make hidden treasure's face go? No amount of money can make up for the loss of years of accumulated credibility. Su Yushong, who wanted to understand, looked at Zhao Yi with a much softer gaze. It's good that you admit it. Kissing ass isn't enough if you want to live. Hurry up and take it out. Lu Yu sat back on the sofa and looked down at the kneeling amazing Dusty. His flat tone carried a threat. I'll only give you ten breaths. Turn in the life preservation money. Amazing Dusty's face showed reluctance, but he didn't dare to disobey Zhao Yi at all, and flusteredly took out a small wooden box from his Dao robes, presenting it with both hands full of flesh pain. It was his own fault, and to be able to save a life with this thing, it's worth it. Zhao Yi didn't check the contents of the small wooden box in front of a few people and put it on a side table, counting that you know what you're doing, I'll spare your life. Amazing Dusty, whose heart was jumping up to his throat, was like an amnesty when he heard these words and cowed out several times. Standing up and about to escape from the VIP room, didn't let you go yet. With Zhao Yi's light words, Amazing Dusty looked like he had been cast in a fixation spell. He shrank his neck, living quail phase, thinking that it would not be so unlucky. The real person in front of him would not want to kill people, but he still had to face a smile and asked Zhao Yi what else he had commanded. I am lacking a manpower. Your strength is weak but it is barely useful. Don't go out of Cloud City in recent days. Zhao Yi's tone was very flat, seemingly asking in an inquisitive tone. Any opinions? 
to be looked upon by a real person. I really have the honor of three lifetimes, and I can wake up at night with a smile in my dreams. Amazing Dusty was so happy that he was about to cry out, but he still had to deliver a wave of ass, or else if he blew over another breath, he would have to end up with a big disability even if he couldn't die. Escape? Are you kidding me? Give Amazing Dusty 10,000 guts. He wouldn't dare to let a real person off the hook. Makoto is both an honorific and represents a realm. Collecting chi, entering the way, and being a real person. Real people are equivalent to the martial arts of the martial arts king, and even the status to be more respected, but also more tricky and difficult. In ancient times are calling the wind and rain, into the dynasty can be a master of the character. He was also just a small success into the Tao. He might still have a chance of survival if he stayed in Cloud City, but he would definitely die if he wanted to escape. The VIP room at once appeared to be a lot more empty. Xin Yunshan slinking over, gentle light smile gratefully said, many thanks to Zhao little brother justice out of the way, otherwise the credibility of the hidden treasure pavilion will be ruined. A show of hands, Zhao Yi observed Xin Yunshan up close and checked her pass through the book of life and death, which further confirmed that it was a natural charming body. Although Su Yunshan was born into an ordinary family, she showed extraordinary from birth, and she became a beauty embryo in junior high school, and was the center of attention in the crowd no matter where she was. Boys are jealous of them, and girls can't afford to be disgusted by them, and there are countless others who have broken them. Moreover, Su Yushan was very good at utilizing her advantages. Besides having the charisma that made people fall, she was also able to sense other people's emotions and intentions, and without betraying her body, she developed the hidden treasure pavilion step by step to such a large scale. What made Zhao Yi pay more attention was that underneath Su Yunshan's beautiful skin, she actually had a great yearning for cultivation. Off work to read a class of fairy novels, but also online to buy tutorials to secretly practice their own play. But more than 10 years a little achievement. So very respect Amazing Dusty. Logically get the small wooden box from Amazing Dusty. Zhao Yi face smile unconsciously are more. Compared to more than 10 million auction of bronze medicine tripod. Obviously White John's small wooden box and the value is more important. Of course the medicine cauldron was also important. Jowie found that in addition to alchemy, it could also be used as the core of the small green meditation formation. Since ancient times, the tripod is the most mysterious artifact of Dashya. Throughout the thousands of years more than a dozen dynasties, known as a sacred object with the suppression of national fortune, as long as he gathered some more auxiliary materials, Jowie would be able to start setting it up. Little brother can make amazing master bow down. It really makes Yunshang admire him so much. Just looks a bit strange. Could it be that he is also a high-level person who travels in all directions? Su Yunshang's voice was soft and glutinous, giving people a very comfortable feeling, and had already begun to think of befriending her. My name is Zhao Yi, a native of Cloud City who has never left. Zhao Yi was honest and answered truthfully. Zhao Yi, Xin Yunshang chewed on these two words. Treasure pavilion is dry is the business of buying and selling. Cloud City were the famous and famous. She has heard a little bit. Only on Zhao Yi is very strange. But it seems to have heard of it from where. She opened her watery eyes, her natural emotion perception was sharp, and looked carefully at Zhao Yi's face, and said suspiciously in a voice that could only be heard by two people, you can't be, the Zhao Yi from the prison, right? Zhao Yi neither admitted it, but neither did he deny it. Su Yunshang asked all the employees in the VIP room to go out. Since she was a child, her perception was very sharp, and she could vaguely detect that what the man in front of her showed, was not his real face. Sometimes not denying it is an admission. The bottom of Gu Qingqing's eyes was surprised. Did not expect Xin Yunshan to be able to detect the clues. Along the way she did not know how many eyes she had peeped. How did she not know what Zhao Yi used? And before it was simply a different person. The three exchanged words for a while. Su Yunshan showed great interest. Does Mr. Zhao have any idea of taking on a disciple? Could you consider Yunshan first? I'm willing to give a condition you're satisfied with. Even if it means giving up the foundation. She had also initiated worship to Amazing Dust's son, and had great respect for the divine ability of harnessing fire. Even if she abandoned the treasure pavilion that she had operated for many years and lived the life of an ancient person who had returned to the mountains and forests, Amazing Dusty, who had received a hundred million dollars in favor fees, immediately agreed happily, saying that Su Yunshan's roots were superior, and that she might be able to collect chi after ten years of cultivation. But there was a drawback to their clan's techniques, they would be scorched by the heart fire before they aged. Don't look like he's in his 90s, but his actual real age is just over 40. Su Yunshang immediately backed off and asked if there were any gong methods with fewer side effects. Amazing Dusty said regrettably, Dasha is now the heritage of the arts, obtained from the Qin dynasty Fanshir, who is no longer known, compared to the martial arts, which has never been broken. 
The time is too long resulting in a lot of missing, most of which will have drawbacks. There are only a few orthodox feats that do not have any drawbacks. For example, the thunder method of the heavenly master's palace, the sword art of the 10,000 swords mountain, and the starlight aptitude of the purple heavenly palace. Even if you look at the great summer is a behemoth. The head is so big that it cannot be imagined. Casually out of a person is a transcendent into the saints. It is not possible to collect disciples in the secular world. Zhao looked at the burning gaze of Su Yunshang and understood why she was so interested in cultivation. It was the natural charming blood flowing in her body that was at work, unwilling to be a mortal for the rest of her life. And in the end, she would be nothing more than a red powdered skeleton. Not a moment too soon, Zhao Yi, who walked out of the hidden treasure pavilion, got into Gu Qingqing's car and left, leaving behind Su Yushang, who was full of hesitation. She will agree to your terms, Gu Qingqing, who was concentrating on driving, observed Zhao Yi through the inner rearview mirror with a complicated expression. Giving the condition that Su Yunshan would become a pawn with no freedom for life. What goes around comes around. The promise will lead to orthodox practice without any drawbacks. If it were up to her. Even if she had the orthodox cultivation method. She couldn't agree to Zhao Yi's conditions and give up everything she had now to become a pawn. Zhao Yi. Who could see Gu Qingqing's thoughts. Couldn't help but let out a light laugh. I don't have eyes for everyone. Miss Gu was still at ease as the boss of Oriental City. Gu Qingqing. Who had received a 10. 000 point bludgeon. Plucked out Zhao Yi with a very grudging glance. Zhao Yi ignored Gu Qingqing's mind attack and just looked at the scenery through the car window. Tomorrow I will go to Gu's house. Make sure everyone is there. And I will announce the murderer who killed your mom when she was five years old. Gu Qingqing who heard this was stunned. The hand clutching the steering wheel trembled lightly. Two lines of clear tears slid silently down her cheeks and finally answered heavily, taking a few deep breaths to return to normal. Are we going to come pick you up tomorrow? After saying that Zhao Yi's cell phone rang, it was Su Yunshan who came to call. Zhao Yi put it in his ear and said a few words. The corner of his eyes rose slightly after the interruption. M.S. Gu doesn't have to come. She has already agreed. Su Yunshan, excluding her natural charming body, was herself an extremely intelligent woman. Knowing that at moments like this, the longer you hesitate, the worse the impression you leave. You think for a few minutes and sell yourself short. Zhao Yi took in Su Yunshan was also moved by the love of talent. Like He Qinghong are suitable for cultivation. Plus with the truth known more and more. The organization represented by the Tiger Master is very tricky. Cultivating some underlings can also facilitate the layout. Getting off from the prison entrance. Zhao Yi, by himself, brought the bronze tripod back to his room. The two kittens that had been held back for a day were very curious and circled around the medicine cauldron. And the gluttonous black son, faced with something unknown and curious, as always, was the one who chose to take a bite. The teeth barely broke and he stepped backwards several meters. Zhao Yi did not care about the bronze medicine tripod, but took out the small wooden box, opened it and poured out a, about the size of a palm, wrinkled grooves and furrows, numbness and laxity of the texture, like weathering traces on the stone, soft irregular white brown small things. Ten years ago amazing Dusty passed by Changbai Mountain, accidentally got this gadget, checked the ancient books were not able to know what this is a thing, just found that it will be put with ordinary fruit, and so on after a few days. That ordinary fruit has become extraordinarily spiritual. Feeding it to a dying critter can also have the effect of bringing the dead back to life. But it only lasts for a day. At which point it reverts to its original state. In the past 10 years he had used this method and set up an unknown number of scams. Accumulating a large amount of wealth. All of which he had purchased cultivation sources in order to cultivate to the realm of small success in entering the Tao. The realm of arts was different from martial arts. Chi picking is to pick heaven and earth aura. To do this step can open up the valley cultivation, but cannot be alone to perform spells. You need to use the magic weapon to help. Entry into the Tao is the advancement of Qi collection, deepening the understanding of magic spells, and being able to cast spells alone. But one needs to recite incantations and make hand seals to connect with heaven and earth, which takes a certain amount of time. And one must remember to keep a safe distance from the enemy. A real person is different. Casting a thought and taking a life with a word. According to the information from Wang Fuzhou and Amazing Dusty, Zhao Yi understood both the martial arts and the arts. Each has its own strengths and weaknesses and cannot be divided into strong and weak. But, I do both. I don't have to make a choice. Rubbing the pitted gadget, Zhao Yi flipped through the handbook related to the book of life and death. If I'm not mistaken, it should be a seed. And it's a very impressive seed. From the mysterious Changbai Mountains, where it's well known what they produce, the years of experience are a bit far away. But the fact that it can cause ordinary fruit to become spiritual means that there is still some vitality, and there is no possibility of germination. 
Zhao Yi was thinking, prisons definitely don't work. The Yin is very strong and not suitable for seeds to germinate. He thought of Mount Voltron. If the great array of ceiling is cracked and the prosperity of the past is restored, the seeds should be allowed to germinate. Zhao Yi solemnly put away the seeds, then sent a message to Hu Xiao Kong to send a late night snack over. He hadn't eaten dinner because of the auction. Twenty minutes later Hu Xiao Kong brought a bowl of mutton wontons with a few fresh mutton garnishes on top, the tantalizing aroma wetting one's appetite. Looking at the bubbling hot wontons, Zhao Yi was not enjoying them. Hu Xiao Kang, who was standing at the back, was puzzled. Where Mr. Zhao is not satisfied. I'll have the back kitchen remake it again. Zhao Yi gently inhaled a mouthful of aroma. Master Tiger really didn't disappoint, always giving new tricks. Actually thought of sending someone to sneak into the back kitchen and poison the food I ate. When Hu Xiao Kong heard the word poisoning, his entire body sobered up and said in a panic, Mr. Zhao, the one on duty tonight is Chef Wu. I'll bring someone to get him now. Thanks to Mr. Zhao's wisdom, saw the wonton poison, or really accidentally eaten under the accident. He had to suffer. I'll go with you. Zhao Yi got up and followed into the kitchen. Before leaving, the two kittens were instructed to keep a watchful eye on their surroundings and never let strangers in. Halfway there, Hu Xiao Kong notified Li Buotao and brought a dozen loaded prison guards to surround the back kitchen. A group of people rushed into the kitchen and found Chef Wu lying on the floor with black blood oozing from his lips, obviously having taken poison to kill himself. It should have just died and the body is still warm. Like the result of a suicide step taken knowing I could tell fortunes, realizing I would be exposed, and preventing the disclosure of information about the people behind the scenes. Zhao Yi arrived at a decision in his mind after just one look. Li Buotao's chest rose and fell violently, like a volcano that was about to erupt, compared to the last time when he sent someone inside. This time it was already writing the face output, making him, the prison director, lose face, and the target his mister. Cho, which is most unbearable. Chef Wu is last week just selected in the chef, with 20 years of relevant experience. Li Buotao even up three generations have been checked to confirm that there is no problem before transferring in. Actually there will be such an accident. Mr. Zhao, it's my dereliction of duty this time. Please give me a chance. I'll definitely give you an explanation. Li Buotao looked at Zhao Yi who hadn't said a single word, and for no reason felt a wave of fear, like a demon about to awaken from its slumber. It doesn't have to be that much trouble. Zhao Yi stared at the fallen body. His eyes, the dozen or so lights in the back kitchen flickered and became flickering, and the moonlight outside became abnormally bleak. Through the half-closed curtains, the mottled shadows were reflected on the walls, like a picture of a stern ghost crawling out of hell. The guards only felt oppressive and eerie, with a chilly air current rising from the soles of their feet to their heads, and subconsciously felt a wave of boundless fear, as if something unnameable was creeping up on them. A blurred and shadowy figure emerged from the soles of the hero's feet, and instantly the entire room was instantly plunged into dead silence. The prison guard's face was filled with terror, desperately covering his mouth for fear of attracting the attention of the dark figure. They had always heard that Mr. Zhao was very divine, and I'm afraid that if they were lucky enough to be able to see it today, they would be left with a psychological shadow. Only Hu Xiao Kang and Li Buotao were showing respect, glancing disgustedly at the prison guards who were going to wet their pants. That was the immortal that Mr. Zhao had enshrined, and being able to witness it with their own eyes was definitely a blessing of three lifetimes. The black shadow quickly condensed into a solid body, standing nearly three meters tall, wearing tattered armor. With an incomparably hideous face of horse face, his eyes flickering with an ethereal light. After Zhao Yi's continuous refinement, the horse-faced Rakshasa became more and more majestic, and ordinary people would have nightmares just looking at it. Up, Zhao Yi said to Chef Wu's corpse, and horse face was ordered to come before him and recite an ancient incantation. To create a persona in front of the people in front of them would be too big a loophole in case those present revealed that they had casually summoned the immortals. Immediately following the scene that overturned the three views of those present occurred. They saw a soul body so dull that it was almost transparent, but identical to Chef Wu's. Being gleaned from Chef Wu's corpse, Chef Wu's soul was clearly terrified, and his throat surged up and down with an oozing cackle that was unnerving to watch. Horseface comes from the depths of the underworld and is responsible for guiding the spirits of the dead. A person who has just died and whose soul has not yet completely dissipated is likewise able to be hauled out and use the book of life and death to view his past. It's actually you, tired of living. Zhao Yi's voice was cold. And when Ma Mian got the signal, he opened his mouth and inhaled Chef Wu's soul into his mouth, chewing on it for a while before swallowing it contentedly. Then it quickly dissipated, like it had never been there. Mr. Zhao, how's it going? Li Buotao had heard Zhao Yi say that the immortal enshrine had something to do with the hell, but after recognizing it as horse face with his own eyes, his mind was still greatly shocked, 
and he stammered to ask what the situation was. Cloud City Zhang Wintian did it. Zhao Yi spat out this name, one of Master Tiger's four believers, compared to Lu Leakuan, the sins are even more profound, the owner of the Ping'an Charity Company, who has three or four private orphanages under his name, has taken in an unknown number of orphans, but has repeatedly been exposed as enriching himself in the name of charity, as well as the orphans he has taken in, who often disappear into thin air, only a small number of them are known, some are supplied to Myanmar, and those of good quality are specially cultivated and sold all over the world, demons in human skin, scum with no conscience, the police have raided Lin He Feiyu's properties more than once, but they couldn't find any substantial evidence and could only watch him get away with it. Mr. Zhao, don't worry, Li Botao forcefully patted his chest, very impassioned loudly said, I am more or less in the Cloud City also have a little network, tomorrow to Zhang Wenshin's industry to a big cleaning, his mother does not believe that you cannot find out a little bit of cats and dogs to, at least have to sentence him to a 10 years or 2 years, Zhao Yi did not nod his head, and his eyes grew colder and colder. The justice that the law cannot give, I, Zhao, will give it, and the gates of hell will open for them. Horse-faced Rakshasa once again appeared from the foot of the foot, with a cruel killing intent hanging from the corner of his mouth, and passed through the thick wall of the back kitchen, accompanied by the whistling ghastly winds and eerie howls, gradually disappearing into the darkness of the night. I'm tired, go to your room. Zhao Yi left the back kitchen in disinterest. Li Botao followed and closed the door, looking at the prison guards who hadn't come back to their senses yet. His eyes cold and sharp, I hope that tonight's incident will be treated as if it hadn't happened by all of you, and I won't say much about the consequences if it reaches the ears of outsiders. The guards repeatedly assured that after seeing Zhao Yi's great terror, they would have nightmares when they slept at night, so how could they dare to reveal it? Looking at the reaction of the prison guards, Li Botao nodded his head in satisfaction. You've all worked hard tonight, transferring $100,000 per day, taking a week's paid vacation, playing wherever you wish. Think of it as adjusting your mindset. The guards were in a jubilant mood, washing away quite a bit of the fear that had gripped their hearts. Zhao Yi, who went back to his room, sat on a chair and looked at the scenery. The darker it gets tonight, the higher it gets. It's a good day to kill. A lot of people would die, and Cloud City would be dramatically shaken by it. Able to. What does it have to do with Zhao Yi? He's just in prison now. A prisoner sentenced to death Nah. The two cats seemed to understand what was happening and kept circling around him. Meowing urgently. Oh, Zhao Yi became interested and stared at the two of them. Do you also want to share my worries and want to follow horse face around to clean up the bad guys who poisoned me? The two kittens nodded in unison, their eyes very solemn. The morning fades into the mystery of the night and ushers in the dawn of a new day. A serious case that hasn't been seen in a hundred years has occurred in Cloud City. Ninety-five lives were killed in one night. All of them employees of the Ping and Charity Company. And the boss, Zhang Wintian, was even more miserable hanged on the wall of the orphanage. The incident naturally shook the police department, and the police went up and down the streets in full force, but checked the surrounding surveillance and found nothing. There wasn't even a trace of armed struggle at the scene. It was as if an invisible ferocious beast had broken in and killed everyone in a very short time. On the contrary, the police, from the safe of the charity company, found thousands and thousands of high-definition photos, all evidence of Zhang Wintian doing ugly things, none of the dead people innocent in ancient times can be executed by lynching. Of course it is a small gift left by Zhao Yi, in order to reduce the strength of the police department to investigate this matter. Anyway, the death is a group of heartless beasts, maybe it can be counted as a merit. At the same time, it is also deterring Lu Leakuan, so that he must not be a wallflower, or the consequences must be worse than offending Master Tiger. Live around the neighbors are very happy, some also bought a box of gift flowers to release, straight said to raise their heads three feet there is God banging drums to celebrate for three days, finally the scourge of Cloud City tumors to accept, Zhao Yi had let the two kittens rest well last night and had already prepared sharpening stones for them, today, Zhao Yi has changed his appearance to go to the Gu family, the morphing art or to study again, from a clan that steals for a living, and does a lot of evil to make the whole universe abhorrent, and cultivated to the great achievements, not to mention the appearance and temperament, and even the origin of the bloodline can be changed. Appearing out of the prison he saw that an executive Land Rover was parked at the entrance and Su Yunshan was waiting early. Su Yunshan who appeared in the monitoring doorway, different from the solemnity of the auction house, only wearing a white dress, black hair naturally written scattered on both shoulders, almost without decoration gives a strong to the extreme shocking beauty. When Su Yunshan saw Zhao Yi walking over, although it was different from what she saw yesterday, her temperament was indeed the same. Two scarlet blushes floated up on Baishi's face and she softly and glutinously shouted, Lord, person, 
Zhao Yi was also stunned, and his figure stumbled slightly. He knew that Su Yunshan misunderstood, actually substituting into the role of the ancient maid. Very patient explanation, from now on, although you do not have a free body, but does not mean that it is sold into slavery, I have not been nasty to that extent. Zhao Yi valued Su Yunshan's talent in cultivation, and watched the other party nod her head as if she understood, before getting into the car and following up with a sentence. Call me Mr. Zhao in the future. Good. Su Yunchang answered and concentrated on driving quietly. Unlike some chatterboxes Gu Qingqing, Su Yushang is clear about her own position. Driving when a driver. Never speak so as not to mess up Zhao Yi thinking. Zhao Yi sent a message. And halfway there, another person got into the car. And it was clearly Amazing Dusty, who had fled in ashes. Amazing Dusty Z sat next to Zhao Yi. Not clear about what the real person summoned him for. But a thousand wears a horse's ass does not wear. Trembling to send a wave. Si Zhao Yi frowned a little. Hurriedly shut his mouth. Zhao Yi had long thought of sending someone to Volsing Mountain. To secretly monitor whether there are suspicious people close. But he Ching Hong has just been introduced to the ability to deviate. And now it is not enough to be reused. Amazing Dust Si took the initiative to send to the door. Just in time to settle the Gu family's affairs. Let Xin Yunsheng send it over. At the same time as also Yen Dusty although last night woefully exhausted. But see that scene are the staff of the treasure pavilion. In recent times in the Cloud City also has some prestige. A lot of people see have to respectfully shout a Yen master. Taking him along for the ride will save you a lot of trouble. The Gu family lives in the old city. And in the early years bought a large piece of land to build very elegant manor houses. Halfway Zhao Yi's cell phone rang. An unfamiliar number that he had never seen before. Zhao Yi moodily placed it on his ear. And a familiar raspy voice rang out. You are really ruthless. 95 lives. Say kill. Even I am ashamed of myself. Zhao Yi didn't say anything either, quietly listening to Master Tiger's fury. Obviously Master Tiger also didn't expect that Zhao Yi would strike so decisively and eliminate Zhang Wintian right out of the gate. The cost of inviting an immortal to take action is not low, is it? At least 10 years of life expectancy. Let's see how long you can live. Zhao Yi forward square body, although in the smile but let a person is very cold, so that the phone on the other side of the Tiger Master cannot help but hit a cold shiver, I can still how long this is an unknown, but I will find you before I die to give you the world's most brutal way to die, he said hanging up the call and closing his eyes for a nap, arrived at 9 o'clock at Gu's home, the manner in the eyes is very eye-catching, using the prevailing classical style, all show it's noble and elegant, can be treated as a scenic area, Master Gu was very concerned about Zhao Yi's arrival, last night he instructed all members of the Gu family to not go out even if the sky is falling today, and early in the morning he let Wang Fuzhu come out to meet him, the three got out of the car, when Wang Fuzhu saw Amazing Dusty, his entire body became a bit more solemn and led the way to the Gu family's council hall. There were dozens of people sitting in the council hall, all members of the Gu family, and as they watched Zhao Yi's trio come in, their gazes all swiped over in unison. They were all confused when they received the old master's notice, but they didn't dare to question the old master's order, so they could only come to the council hall to gather early in the morning. Some people recognized Su Yunshan, the big boss of the treasure pavilion. Many young people had fiery gazes, while others recognized Amazing Dusty, the Grandmaster who had been in the limelight in Cloud City lately, and the idea of befriending him for a while arose in their hearts, but both of them didn't seem to have enough status to, let's say, make the entire Gu family welcome. For Mr. Zhao to come to the Gu family, it really makes old me feel fluffy. The old man in the very center of the conference room, sitting in a wheelchair arched his hand and said, still hale and hearty at the age of 80 or 90, wearing a navy blue tang suit. Hurry up and make room for the three guests. Next to the old man stood Gu Qingqing. Dark circles under her eyes were clearly visible on her fair cheeks. Obviously she didn't sleep well all night last night. And when she saw the main man, Zhao Yi, her right hand hidden under the Chong Sam was trembling slightly. It's not necessary. Zhao Yi politely rebuffed. There's quite a lot going on today. So don't waste everyone's time by directly stating who the murderer present is. Gu Qingqing, who heard this, was pale and couldn't see blood. In what Zhao Yi had said before. She had vaguely guessed that the murderer might be a member of the Gu family, but still had a lucky feeling that she might be overthinking it, and it wasn't until Zhao Yi had said to have the entire Gu family there that she was forced to accept this cruel fact. Zhao Yi took a step in front of a middle-aged man, over 50 years old and still wearing a straight suit, with a 6 or 7 point resemblance to Elder Gu sitting in the first place. The murderer is you. What? Murderer? The middle-aged man's face showed anger as he stood up and glared at Zhao Yi, although I don't know who you are. Based on what you just said alone, you can be sued for slander. 24 years ago, you hired a truck driver to try to completely kill Gu Qingqing and Wang Rong on their way home. As a result, 
Wang Rong died and Gu Qingqing lived, and the purpose was barely accomplished. Zhao Yi ignored the anger of the man in front of him and revealed a long-standing secret. One moment. Conference hall all eyes, all looked to the middle-aged man, eyes with complex emotions, especially in the corner of the scruffy, looks to have 70 people most conspicuous. The middle-aged man was so angry that his face turned red. He was Gu Qingqing's second uncle called Gu Yulong, nowadays the number two person besides Elder Gu. Originally, it should have been Gu Qingshan, who had been given high expectations since childhood and had the most potential to become the next head of the family. But with the car accident and the death of his beloved wife Wang Rong, he hadn't come out of it until now. Drinking all day long and ignoring the affairs of the Gu family is a waste of time. Where's the brat from that dares to come to the Gu family to splash dirty water? Come in two bodyguards and blast them out. Behind Gu Yulong, a few people stood up and drank. All of them were fellow clansmen who were closer to him and had close business dealings, so they had to speak out no matter which way they went. The two who screamed the most intensely were Gu Yulong's wife and son. Amazing Dusty was immediately displeased, taking a step out to stand in front of them, so angry that his rosacea was red, pulling his loud voice and staggering, I see which ones are the little arm brats, actually dare to be so rude to Mr. Zhao, are they tired of living or is their brain pinned by the door, one person is as loud as ten, moreover, he was particularly unkind, opening his mouth to spit a mouthful of old phlegm, accurately spitting it into the mouth of Gu Yulong's son, who was screaming the most arrogantly and dyeing his yellow hair, the rest had fear in their eyes and tried covering their mouths with their hands, lest they too be fed through the air. Stop it all. Although Elder Gu was missing two legs, he was very authoritative in the Gu family, and one sentence was like a heavy hammer, and the Gu family shut their mouths. Elder Gu's name was Gu Tianya, and he was also a figure in his youth. When I was young, I carried dozens of lives on my back, and in order to escape from my enemies, I ran alone to Southeast Asia, where I encountered an ambush and after a fierce battle, my two legs were left there forever. He asked Wang Fuzhu to help push the wheelchair and came to Zhao Yi. His face eased. Can Mr. Zhao have evidence? After all, this matter is of great importance. We can't wrongly accuse a good person for nothing. Sure. Zhao Yi nodded and looked at Gu Yulong. After the truck driver's success 24 years ago, you told the truck driver to kill Wang Rong, and you can't get away with it wherever you run. So why don't you hurry to the police station and turn yourself in for leniency? In order to reassure the driver to go to the police station, you also paid $5 million into his account and ended up with a 12-year sentence. Zhao Yi's voice echoed in a silent venue. Each word was like the tip of an ice-cold knife, vaguely piercing Gu Yulong's heart. Nonsense. Nonsense. Gu Yulong clenched his fists, trying his best to suppress his emotions, glaring at Zhao Yi in front of him, his eyes flickering with a blazing fire. Who the hell sent you? Is this pouring dirty water on the Gu family as a way to make the Gu family fall apart? Where's the evidence? Everything is your side of the story. A three-year-old wouldn't believe it. Amazing Dusty was very perceptive. And before Gu Yulong could speak, he opened his mouth with a mouthful of old phlegm, forcing him to kneel down and dry heave. No interfering with Mr. Zhao's speech. Zhao Yi glanced at Amazing Dusty in disgust, thinking that this old thing, it's a pity that he doesn't go to cultivate water arts. The level of disgust is unmatched. And then looked at Gu Yulong who was kneeling on the ground. I know what your bottom line is. You're meticulous enough to know that only the dead will keep secrets, so you sent someone to secretly kill the truck driver in prison six months after he went to jail. But unfortunately, Zhao Yi looked down at the constantly dry heaving Gu Yulong. That truck driver isn't stupid. You're not the only smart person in the world. He recorded all your conversations and told one of his cellmates after he was imprisoned, said Zhao Yi, pulling out a memory card from his pocket, a wry smile hanging from the corner of his eye. Now do you want to expose what you said 24 years ago in front of everyone? Gu Yulong's eyes were densely bloodshot. His expression was even more hideous and horrifying like a wild beast. There was no need to admit it in person anymore. The people present were not fools. They could see that Zhao Yi was right. Gu Qingshan, who hadn't said a word, broke down, shedding tears as he made his way through the crowd to Gu Yulong, his hand like a vice trying to pinch his neck. Why did you do this? Because Gu Yulong couldn't even catch his breath his forehead covered in veins, she, should, die, Zhao Yi glanced at his cell phone and nodded in agreement next to him, speaking from Gu Yulong's point of view, if he hadn't killed Wang Rong that year, big brother Gu Qingshan wouldn't have degraded himself, and he wouldn't have been qualified to become the Gu family's number two, Gu's old master's face is iron blue, let Wang Fu cast hands will bring down with Gu Yulong, what punishment is to say later, when so many juniors face a little bit to stay a little face, Anyone present with a discerning eye could see that Elder Gu wanted to ensure people, no matter what, the heart of the hand is meat, secretly protect Gu Yulong. 
at least give a way to live. Zhao Yi came to Elder Gu with great approval and said with a sigh, for this person who presumptuously attempted to kill his father, there is indeed a need to give a very heavy punishment. D aside, father, dozens of faces in the council hall were dumbfounded in unison. How did they get involved with patricide again? Zhao Yi said fervently, if you don't believe me, you can go to the office of Gu Yulong's company to rummage around. There is a small silver box, which stores colorless and tasteless poisons, and is trying to find a way to find an opportunity to make you drink it unknowingly. That poison is a powerful, overpriced goody, and when taken, the organs fail so quickly that no amount of advanced medicine can check for problems. Elder Gu asked Wang Fuzhu, who had returned, to hurry to the company. Even though he knew that Zhao Yi was an accurate fortune teller, he still needed to see solid evidence in such matters. Zhao Yi, who rushed to Gu Yulong's company, did find the poison from the insurance. Why? It was Elder Gu who had a hard time this time, almost growling out the words, for the simple reason of having lived too long. Zhao Yi looked at Gu Qingqing who was beside him with a smiling face and whose tears had already drenched her face. You have too much guilt on Gu Qingshan, plus Gu Qingqing is just too good. Running Oriental City at a young age. Gu Yulong is afraid that you will suddenly have cerebral palsy and hand over the huge family business to Gu Qingqing. Elder Gu fell silent, unable to say a single word. With the matter settled, Zhao Yi is leaving. Gu Qingqing came out to see off Zhao Yi's trio and waited for Su Yunshan to start the car. She looked at Zhao Yi and forced a smile. Today's events had a big impact on her as well. Thank you. Zhao Yi laughed heartily and waited until the car drove far away. Su Yunshan, who had been watching from the sidelines, couldn't help but inquire curiously. The poison in Gu Yulong's office. You sent someone to put it there, didn't you? How do you know that too? Zhao Yi asked smilingly, but his tone was not at all surprised. Su Yunshan answered truthfully, because you glanced at your cell phone in the middle of it, plus I always felt that something wasn't right, who else knows besides me, your feeling is correct, not only did I put the poison in, but also the memory card, which is just as much of a subplot, Zhaoyi re-pulled out the memory card and casually threw it out through the car window, it was true that the truck driver had told his cellmate the secret, Zhaoyi had spent a week going through the pasts of all the inmates in order to find out if there was a spy in the prison, and among other things, he knew about the secret, of course the truck driver was really stupid. Gu Yulong really didn't do anything wrong by assassinating him. He told it purely to pretend that he had 5 million dollars in savings on his bank card, and that he must order 5 chicks on the treadmill when he got out of jail. Prisoners curious about how the 5 million came, the truck driver directly out. If it is not Gu Yulong afraid of too fishy, early half a year to find a way to give him a slaughter. Zhao Yi really do not have a way to know the secret. Originally knew Gu Yulong's murderer. After seeing him and then using the book of life and death to access it, as long as the time and details are set accurately, even if this is a fake memory card, Gu Yulong's heart will not have doubts. As for the poison, it was indeed Zhao Yi who told Yi Ching Hong to put it there. Because Zhao Yi understands human nature too well, knowing that even in the event that Gu Tianya knew that the one who bought the murderer was Gu Yulong, the odds are that he would have found a way to suppress it. Zhao Yi eradicated Zhang Wenchen's company and got a lot of poison, consistent with what was laid in the ravioli last night. The Fox organization has just developed a poison that will cause organs to fail within seven days of consumption and cannot be detected by any of the equipment in the hospital. Zhang Wintian took it from the Fox organization. Fox organization is also one of the four beloved of Master Tiger, specializing in benchmarking imported drugs that are not included in the medical insurance, developing high imitation drugs with similar effects, and selling them to those who cannot afford to buy the genuine version of the family at a low price. Although high fashion drugs have the efficacy of genuine drugs, in addition to the great side effects on the human body, the most outrageous thing is that they are also secretly put into the drug, resulting in many innocent patients become addicted to them, and ultimately end up in the family's death. On the one hand, Gu Qingqing had helped him a few times. On the other hand, it was not to leave a hidden danger for himself, dismantling Gu Yulong in front of so many people. It was really hard for Zhao Yi to feel at ease if he didn't die. A glance at his cell phone was a message from Yi Qinghong, who had successfully placed the poison in Gu Yulong's safe. The only person who knows the password of the safe is Gu Yulong. Even if he talks his head off, it's useless. Anyway, Zhao Yi has a sufficient alibi. Su Yunshan could see it, and so could Gu Qingqing. Of course for hiring a driver to kill her mother. Even if this person was her second uncle, Gu Qingqing would not be soft-hearted. Instead she was very grateful to Zhao Yi. Amazing Dusty was the only one with no brain in the entire room. And of course he saved Zhao Yi a lot of time by shutting up the pricks who would only scream. Gu Tianya won't let him go anymore quietly disappearing from the world. I love to tell the truth and occasionally lie a little. Zhao Yi sent Su Yunshan the address of Volsing Mountain. It was close to going to be noon when they arrived at Volsing Mountain from Gu's house. 
Zhao asked Su Yunshang to stay in the car while he got on the car with Amazing Dusty. Both of them were not ordinary people. They reached the top of the mountain in half an hour. Even though they had been here many times, Zhao Yi still felt a lot of emotions. How does it feel? Amazing Dusty looked at the desolate volcano mountain, but his face was a pilgrimage expression, and he recited with great reverence. When one will be on top of the mountain, one can see the mountains. I really want to return to seclusion here in the future. Sometimes Zhao Yi really wanted to kick him. Did he really think he was funny? As you like. The corner of Zhao Yi's mouth hooked into a smile. From now on, you'll live here. I'll have people send you daily necessities. Don't let anyone go up to the mountain. And notify me the first time when you run into a hardened criminal that you can't deal with. Amazing Dusty. There was no aura at all in the broken place. And after staying for a long time, there was a risk of regression in the realm. But the water that had been spilled could not be taken back now. So he could only agree with a drooping face. After resolving the matter of Volsing Mountain, Zhao Yi is going to go and go back as well. With the amazing Dusty who has entered the Tao of a small degree of success sitting here, there is no need to worry about the Tiger Master playing the Yin. Zhao Yi, who was just about to descend the mountain, as if he suddenly thought of something, turned back to Amazing Dusty and chanted out a few lines of obscure mnemonics. Amazing Dusty Z was initially unimpressed. His expression gradually changed. His eyes flowed with incandescence. He panted heavily. His words stuttered out of order and cautiously asked, Makoto, what you recited, is it a fire technique? Although there were only the first few sentences, he had been indulging in fire techniques for decades, and he instantly heard that what Zhao Yi was reciting was clearly a fire technique. Moreover, it was extremely extraordinary, without any drawbacks, a stunning ancient scripture, their own phase of cultivation compared to it, a heaven and a world, simply not worthy of putting a piece of comparison. I'm afraid that can be comparable to the thunder method of the heavenly master's house. He had a very strong intuition that if he could obtain the gongfu recited by Zhao Yi, it wouldn't be long before he could step into the Tao de Chang, and in time he would also have the chance to impact the realm of a true person and see the most wonderful side of the world. Looking at Amazing Dusty's longing look, Zhao Yi acknowledged it smilingly, and then said in naked temptation, If you guard the mountain well, I will recite this technique in its entirety by the time next month rolls around. Hearing this, Fire Old Devil was like playing chicken blood, excitedly tilting his head and wailing his fist pounding on his chest to show his loyalty, real person, you put your heart in the right place, I'm just going to lose my old life, I'll definitely not let a single person come up here, hit a stick and then give a sweet date, a two-pronged approach to smoothly subdue amazing Dusty, he will definitely guard the mountain with 12 points of spirit, Zhao Yi valued Volsung Mountain, and it was a matter of whether or not that seed could germinate, although what was recited was only in the universe, a fire technique from an unorthodox clan, to the current amazing Dusty, it was not too much to say that it was an immortal scripture, enough to pay any price to fight for it. Zhao Yi, who had gotten out of the car, sat on the back seat and told Su Yunshan to go back. Why hasn't Master Amazing come down? You wouldn't have killed him, would you? Su Yunshan asked in a joking tone. After spending time together today, she also knew that Zhao Yi was not a curmudgeonly person. He said the view was too good on the mountain and was dead set on staying up there, so I had no choice but to come down myself. Zhao Yi who had solved another hidden danger was in a good mood. Reaching out, he made a point on Su Yunshan's brow and transmitted into the spirit fox clan, the cultivation techniques related to the true spirit realm. Su Yunshan was born with a charming body, and the spirit fox clan was the most suitable. Not waiting for Su Yunshan to get excited, Zhao Yi spoke first, I won't allow there to be waste among the pawns. I'll give you 10 days to get started, and then I want to see the head of the fox organization's boss, placed on my desk. I know, Mr. Cho, Su Yunshan nodded, knowing that this was a test, and if she couldn't pass it, she would withdraw the bestowed gongfu, her eyes gleamed, she would definitely not fail Zhao Yi's high expectations, and she would go back and practice hard, she must take the head of the fox organization's boss's dog within the deadline, only the last of Master Tiger's four beloved ones in Cloud City remained today, his name was Meng Xuanxi, and he was the oldest one, already over 60 years old, raped a high school girl 20 years ago, ended up chasing and almost dying in an alley, and was finally bailed out by who knows who, but the two eggs were also wasted, and to this day there is no offspring, Meng Shuangxi under the banner of the clouds, Cloud City's most notorious liar, the means of extremely clever liar, at the same time he is also the largest dealer of the underground lottery, I do not know whether it is less than two eggs, the psychological serious deformity, play a lot of ducks dead, he was the whetstone that Zhao Yi had prepared for Black Sun and Black Yao, Master Tiger's four beloved end has been doomed, but Zhao Yi also did not therefore relax vigilance, do not know the dark side there is no laid pawns, 
Always adhering to the principle of prudence is certainly right. One more trip to the Walloon apartments, Zhao Yi commanded. It's been a long time since I'd been to see Zhu Guanqi, and I wonder what progress they've made in getting their own pamphlet and researching it. In the car Zhao Yi restored his original appearance, Su Yunshan playfully blinked her eyes, younger than expected, and did not get off the car after arriving at Hualong apartment, first circled around, checking the surrounding thousands of people, and confirming that there is no eye line of the tiger master. Zhao Yi sends a message to Zhu Guanqi, telling her to come down alone. The main thing is that it's still a guilty conscience and it's not appropriate to let your classmates see it as well. The two of them sat in the cafe next to each other. Xu Guanqi's dark circles under his eyes were very heavy. He drank a cup of iced Americano in two or three mouthfuls, and typed on his cell phone with great excitement, and then placed it in front of Zhao Yi. With the valuable experience you sent, many bottlenecks have been broken through, together with the financial assistance given by a mysterious boss, and no punks coming over three times. The first product came out right away. Now we need to find a cosmetic company to release it. The way she felt about Zhao Yi was like a big brother next door, armed tightly in front of outsiders. He would unload all of them when he saw Zhao Yi and share the results of his research in recent days. Watching chess students is awesome. Zhao Yi did not mince words of praise, followed by a sincere suggestion. Guanxi students should still set up a pharmaceutical company. Otherwise, according to the group of capitalists eating, the years of hard work will be reduced to their dowry. Xu Guanxi shrugged helplessly. She also knew that setting up a pharmaceutical company, but setting up a company is not doing research. There were so many things to consider, most critically money, and she didn't have that kind of finesse. You don't have to think about the money though, I can be the gold master to give the investment. No need to think about the return in the early stage, and then give me a share of the money when you make it. Zhao knows that Zhu Guanqi's principle is very strong, and he will definitely not accept the money directly, but it is different when he gives funds to be the behind-the-scenes gold master. The reason why he was so attached was that he still saw the future of Zhu Guanqi. If there is no variation, it is very dark indeed. Zhu Guanqi, who successfully developed the product, had a difficult time seeking cooperation with companies, none of which were willing to pay for a product that was not popular. In the end, in order to make ends meet, we had to sell it at a low price, and we didn't even fight for the team's right to sign the product. Later on, relying on the money from the sale of the first product, a small team of five people researched day and night. A few years later, the second product is difficult to come out, on sale in just a few months of fire and dasha, but the meager power of three or five people, facing those majestic international brands that have been in the field for many years, failed once again without any suspense, and the result was that Zhao Yi's classmates either signed a contract restricting their practice, and were forbidden to participate in medicinal research for life, or chose to kill themselves under the loss of their souls. Even the concept of medicinal makeup, which was born from dasha, has been washed into the originality of those international brands, which in turn harvest the national leaks. How to say medicine makeup is also born in the mouth of Zhao Yi, cannot stand by and watch the tragedy repeat, and also see the huge potential contained. Cultivation in addition to their own talent roots, the important thing is the wealth couple law land, and wealth occupies the first place. As the realm cultivation went to the back, the amount of money needed would increase, and it could easily be tens or tens of billions of dollars and it wouldn't be enough by virtue of He Qinghong and Su Yunshan. Zhao Yi also needs to cultivate an industry, really made his hundreds of billions of dollars in the market, with Estee Lauder and L'Oreal, those, famous for a hundred years of the international brand tripod. You, give, money? Xu Guanqi typed out these three words on his cell phone, and also uneasily stretched out his small hand to put it on Zhao Yi's forehead, wanting to see if the other party had a fever. Zhao Yi looked at Zhu Guanqi with some amusement, and explained patiently, I don't have a fever, and I'm not sick, I have a deposit at home, it must be about tens of millions of dollars, and I can't use it now that I'm sitting in jail, so I might as well keep it to open the company, anyway, I'm confident in our products, just make up a random reason for where the money came from, although he does not have much money on his card, but from Li Buotao, He Qinghong, Su Yunshang three people to put together, to get a few hundred million or a sprinkling of water is a small matter, and with Zhao Yi escorting him, it was impossible to lose money. Hearing that the deposits were in the tens of millions, Xu Guanqi's small mouth slightly opened, obviously very shocked inside, then quickly typed on his cell phone, you're actually a hidden rich man. Looking at Zhu Guanqi's reaction, Zhao Yi nodded bashfully. Once the first step is negotiated, it's easy to follow. Xu Guanqi agreed to financial assistance, but insisted that before the first product to make money, the team of five people only take the minimum salary and Zhao Yi is the nominal chairman of the board of directors, enjoying the power to veto everything, Zhao Yi agreed to all of them, 
I will go back and transfer money to Zhu Guanqi, and I will hire a lot of professionals to reduce their burden and concentrate on research. After chatting, Zhao Yi separated from Zhu Guanqi and returned to the prison in Su Yunsheng's car. A few days after Zhao Yi got 10 million transfer to Zhu Guanqi, to prevent the Tiger Master again under the killer, with an extra piece of extremely high quality jade to make a magic weapon, let the people help to give to Zhu Guanqi sent. Being actively triggered by an attack, Zhao Yi could also instantly know. Then it was to collect the remaining materials for arranging the little green underworld formation. The treasure pavilion being the number one auction house in Cloud City. It took five days to almost collect all of them. It's worth saying that the Zhang Wentian incident was suppressed. The police department also finalized the case as a result of the blackout. Zhao Yi of course knew that it was Yen Lao who made the move. Otherwise who could have such a great energy? Zhao Yi thanked him in his heart. But the most important thing at the moment was still to set up the little green underworld formation. He had dozens of rare materials in front of him, waiting to act at night when the Yin was at its peak. Zhao Yi has moved into a room converted from the warden's office, and Li Butao has found a way to empty the entire floor into his private domain. Invited a few professional craftsmen to the shrine to do is very atmospheric. Every day on the incense are Qinan descending true incense. Oh will have to be combined thousands of dollars, burning that a real money. Zhao Yi also does not let Li Butao busy work for nothing, drew a few talismans for him to wear, but also has a series of effects of meditation, although not as good as the best jade made of magic weapons, but is also very precious treasure, live more than 10 years is not a problem, Li Butao was ecstatic, for him, it didn't matter if it was a magic weapon or not, as long as he could live a long and healthy life, no amount of money could buy it, the dozens of materials placed in front of them are very sophisticated, two writing table sized stone lions, the carving process is very exquisite. Certainly from the hands of famous craftsmen, the texture of the body is clearly visible, revealing a majestic atmosphere. Coming from a very famous ancient tomb, they seem to have become nearly psychic after centuries of being nourished by the Yin energy. In addition to suppressing those restless dead souls, it is also to deter those greedy grave robbers. 18 small streamers not much different from the palm of a hand. Again the product from the ancient tomb. The streamer poles were made of ordinary black iron, which had rusted over the years making them look quite old, and would shatter if touched. The surface of the streamer, however, was dark red like blood, the color deep and bizarre. The highest value is also a piece of armor from an unknown dynasty, which is still relatively well preserved, and Su Yusheng spent a lot of money to smuggle it over. Amazing Dusty also has some collection, are rare things in the ancient tomb, usually cannot see the light, all the trustees to get a gift, and then there were the personal effects of some of the wrong deaths, which filled two large suitcases. None of them are extremely ferocious and heavy grade in things, and regular people will feel uncomfortable when they lean close to them, and they can barely replace the original materials. Of course the most important core was still the bronze tripod. After two days of Zhao Yi's sacrifice, it could sit as the needle eye of the small green meditation formation. In addition to gathering in Qi, the small green underworld formation also takes into account the functions of detection and defense. Once the arrangement was successful, Anyone with some Tao skills who entered would be detected at the first opportunity. Zhao Yi's look is very solemn. Looking at the time is almost, began to set up. Let the prison guards will be placed in the prescribed position. And then quickly return to the duty room. Was warned to hear what movement are not allowed to come out. At this moment, at every step, Zhao Yi must not be distracted. And the two kittens were far away. Da, he summoned the cluster of true spirits. Burning golden flames that crazily devoured the surrounding Yin Qi burning it and turning it into strong true energy to prevent the process from failing due to force release. A thick layer of gloom gradually enveloped Cloud City Prison, and the silver moon was completely obscured, the shadows on the ground resembling a beast that wanted to devour everything. A ghastly wind arose out of nowhere, carrying a piercing chill, mixed with eerie horns, blowing in every corner of the prison. Two stone lions were placed at the gate of the prison, their eyes deep and stern in the darkness of the night, as if they had come to life, patrolling the gate majestically, discouraging anyone with ill intentions. In the meantime, other side, more than two dozen prisoners, gagged with towels, knelt in rows in the execution ground with an ancient suit of armor in front of them. Suddenly, theirs was the shocking discovery that the armor's chest armor suddenly moved, as if it was a heart beating faintly, immediately following the armor as if it had been given life. It slowly rose upwards from in front of them, hollow eye sockets peeked out of the armor's helmet, as if two invisible eyes were staring, and arms and legs began to move stiffly each step accompanied by a shuddering of the stone floor, and a dull metallic sound echoed through the execution ground. The humanoid armor clutched a broken sword in his right hand as he walked towards the twenty or so prisoners kneeling on the ground. The prisoners were so scared that their eyes were glaring out of their heads, 
They couldn't stop letting out whimpering howls and instinctively rubbing back a little bit, but what came face to face was the fierce broken sword. Head after head fell to the ground more sharply than with a pistol. They were all I sent in by Master Tiger in recent times, and Zhao Yi was in no hurry to execute them, but kept them as offerings for the little green underworld formation to glow with the last bit of light and heat. It wasn't just the one armor that revived. Two large suitcases of personal belongings of the wrong dead, today's Riching Qi has become a breeding ground for a variety of shapes of ghosts and spirits. They were revived. They roam around in the prison, their footsteps echoing in the empty corridors, and some of them even emit ear-piercing, shrill laughter their hideous silhouettes looming in the moonlight, creating a horrifying picture that looks like a hundred ghosts walking at night. The prisoners who were sleeping woke up with a jolt, their backs were drenched in cold sweat, and they tried to open their mouths for help, but they couldn't shout anything. The weird situation lasted until the latter part of the night before disappearing, and Zhao Yi, whose forehead was covered in sweat, sat on the rooftop huffing and puffing and gasping for breath, and finally managed to set up the small green underworld formation when his true essence was about to run out. The two stone lions were now very extraordinary, and anyone with a little bit of Taoist skill, or who had bad intentions towards Zhao Yi, would be detected. Lest Zhao Yi has to make a trip for every prisoner that comes in, ancient armored golems were guards along with a hundred ghosts, patrolling every inch of the land in the dead of night. Stood the horse-faced Rakshasa, defending him, closed his eyes to feel the power of the small green meditation array, eighteen small streamers red into blood, in accordance with the orientation of the rooftop stands in eighteen positions. The entire prison of the vast majority of the Yin Shi are forced to pull over, imprisoned on a rooftop of several hundred square meters. Not a trace of it can escape. The bronze tripod stood in the middle of the rooftop as the eye of the formation. Zhao Yi opened his eyes, his heart in awe. The effect of the small green underworld formation was far more effective than expected, with the density rising by at least five times. And this was just the beginning. As time went on, it would definitely get higher and higher. Turning into a heavenly Yin treasure land was possible. The 18 small streamers had the greatest gain, and might become the first great in object to metamorphose. The next level up is a treasure weapon, which can gulp spiritual chi on its own and possess extraordinary power. Zhao Yi cherished the time, took out the blood yan iron crystal and quenched it, cultivated the gung jin chi as early as possible, and broke the 81 spell formations of Volsing Mountain. I have to say that the spell formations of Voltron Mountain, although they are far inferior to the little green underworld formation, but they can't help but be too many in number and they are all very insidious, and they will self-destruct at the slightest mistake. The, with the normal method, two or three months to hit the bottom. As long as he refined the blood young iron crystal and cultivated a gung jin shi, coupled with his attainments in formations, he would be able to settle it in a few moments. The chest of the horse-faced Rakshas arose and fell. It was also swallowing and sucking in the yin shi, its body becoming more and more solid. Sooner or later, one day, it would be able to give birth to a spirit. Zhao Yi looked at Ma Mian, his eyes flashing with a lingering light, when I cultivate my Gung Jin Qi, then I'll outline a prototype of hell, and get the Naiha Bridge and Ghost Gate pass out. More than 10, 000 inmates in the prison spent the night in fear and trembling, only to breathe a sigh of relief when the sun rose. It's just too creepy. The woman's shrill laugh rings in her ears. Dull footsteps sound in the corridor. The bold ones walk to the door but see nothing, and fear grips everyone's heart. The guards on duty have all disappeared too they look like they've been abandoned, curled up under the covers, he couldn't even show his head, July and August are the hottest time of the year, but the body temperature is definitely not more than 5 degrees, freezing the whole body sweat hairs stand up, Zhao spent two more days perfecting the deficiencies of the small green underworld formation, and after confirming that there would be no problems, he allowed Li Butao to transplant over a few hundred acacia trees outside of the prison, and there was no lack of dozens of hundreds of years of king of trees. The acacia tree is also in and has the effect of attracting ghosts. The surrounding in souls and stern ghosts would unconsciously be attracted to enter the prison and then be imprisoned by the little green underworld formation, becoming the most faithful slaves guarding the prison, and nourished day and night by the in chi permeating out from the in vein, and also able to cultivate the so-called realm. From amazing dusty, it was concluded that there was also a realm of night ghosts, gray-hearted ghosts, white-shirt ghosts, yellow-pupiled ghosts, red-shirt ghosts, Last night from the two big boxes revived is the gray heart ghost, the whole body covered with a faint weird gray smoke, only with the help of the moonlight can be temporarily manifested, the big success will be cohesion of a heart, in the daytime is also able to appear freely, the white shirt ghost and the yellow pupil ghost are even better, possessing a certain amount of Taoism, the red clothed ghosts would be heaven defying, equivalent to the martial king of the martial arts world and the real person of the art world, as long as they appeared they would cause trouble. 
and if they were not dealt with in a timely manner, thousands and thousands of people would be victimized. The state then has a department that specializes in dealing with it. An amazing Dusty met a few years ago, but still knows very little about it. In the following days, Zhaoyi fought hard to quench the blood yon iron crystal. The outer stone shell melted most of the way, gradually revealing the innermost treasures. The crimson metal exuded crimson blood red, stabbing people's eyes couldn't open. The divine bird that formed the blood sun iron crystal was just a generalized term that could be called anything that fit. Zhaoyi felt that the blood sun iron crystal in front of him was formed from the blood of an immortal bird to be exact. Immortal birds themselves were fire-bathed divine birds, extremely powerful races in the universe, almost never falling when they reached adulthood, and even if they fought until only a drop of blood was left, they could quickly regenerate. It doesn't look like the birth will take long. Two beams of light flew out of Zhao Yi's eyes, which were tempered by the flame true spirit day and night, initially displaying magical effects, vaguely seeing the blood sun iron crystal entwined with horrifying runes, to break free to attack and kill the coveted Zhao Yi. That is the bloodline inheritance of the immortal bird clan. Really fusing it might be able to have another chance. The corner of Zhao Yi's mouth curled up, looking forward to it even more. The seclusion didn't stop until the fifth day. Zhao Yi, almost quenched to the end. The next step was fusion. He had to calm his mind. Sitting in a wicker chair in the window seat, a pot of tea made on the small table beside him. The sunlight dappling over, gilding the stoic face with a gentle glow. The scenery outside the window swayed gently with the breeze and the green leaves shimmered with vitality, holding a yellowed old book in his hand, the pages gently turning in the sunlight, emitting a faint smell of ink. Integrating the blood young iron crystal into the lungs to give birth to a gung jin chi is also a very arduous process. The slightest carelessness as the lungs are strangled, it is necessary to make all preparations, and resting for a day is regarded as regulating the emotions. The two kittens were not accompanied, they knew that after the hunting mission, all they did was mentally quenching their blood all day long, and every day there was a noticeable improvement. Ta da da. Footsteps sounded. Then a knock on the door. Enter. Zhao Yi answered. Hu Xiao Kang stood at the door and respectfully said, Mr. Zhao, a man from Shinfu has come and said he wants to see you. Zhao Yi sat up from his rattan chair, but it was not unexpected. Bring him to the parlor. I'll be there in a while. The parlor was also transformed by Li Botao, with a dark marble floor, specifically to welcome guests looking for Mr. Zhao. Zhaoyi rushed to the parlor and Shinfu was already waiting with a glass of water in front of him. Seeing Zhaoyi push the door in, Shinfu immediately bounced up from the sofa, and was very excited as he took out the jade pendant on his neck. Mr. Zhao, you saved my life today. Zhaoyi saw that a crack appeared on the jade pendant, so he knew what had happened. Dean Shun, sit down first and speak slowly about what's going on. Shinfu obediently sat back on the sofa, but the emotion was still agitated. Last night I got off work late at night. And when I got to the main entrance of the hospital, a man suddenly rushed out, clutching a very long sharp knife in his right hand, and stabbed it into my stomach, and at that time I thought I was going to die. But, speaking of the Shinfu, exuberant, stood up again, the jade pendant you had someone send me, I've been wearing it all along, and when the sharp knife was about to pierce in, the jade pendant suddenly released its light, and shook the person who attacked me out. I know very well that that man was coming for my life, I was bound to die. But the jade pendant you gave me saved my life. Zhaoyi just quietly watched Shin Fu speak, not interrupting at all. In his opinion Shin Fu is a very interesting person. Although it is the contemporary Shin family head of his own brother, but since childhood is not interested in doing business, focusing on medical treatment to save people, to the position of vice president did not rest. Stay on the front lines day in and day out, harder than a doctor. And it doesn't live in Shin's house either. It rents a one-bedroom apartment near the hospital and walks to and from work every day. As Shin Fu spoke, his eyes suddenly widened, and all his years of cognition were turned upside down. I remember you are a fortune teller. Could it be that you counted that I had such a calamity? And that's why you gifted the jade pendant. Zhao Yi nodded. Flatly recounted, last week you gave a hemorrhaging pregnant woman to do surgery. Has been notified that the situation is now critical. Can only give up the baby to protect the adults? The husband of the pregnant woman is also signed a consent form. The pregnant woman's husband, who has personality problems of his own. After the operation, after learning that the dead baby was a boy and that his daughter-in-law would never be able to have children again, took all his grievances out on you, bought a pig-killing knife from the hardware store, and then, after figuring out your off-duty pattern, he wanted you to pay for the life of his dead son. At present, the man has been taken away by the police, and is still under interrogation, the cause of which Zhao Yi first told Shin Fu. I can't believe it. Shin Fu remembered last week's surgery and sighed as an afterthought. The hemorrhage was already severe when the pregnant woman was brought here. 
That surgery would have saved adults and children if it hadn't been for him, but in all the years of being a doctor, I've run into this kind of situation, but it's not as treacherous as last night. Thanks anyway. Shin Fu was a person who knew how to repay kindness, and stood up and bowed respectfully. Zhao Yi waved his hand. Just as he was about to open his mouth to say something, the door to the room was knocked on again, and in came a serious-faced Hu Xiao Kong, who hesitated for a moment or said, Mr. Zhao, Chang Xiao is here, and wants to see you as well. Chang Xiao is the previous director of the prison, and now that his office has been converted into Zhao Yi's couch, how can Hu Xiao Kong not be nervous when he sees it? Then let director Chang come in. Dean Shun and I will wait. Zhao Yi, however, did not panic at all and took out another teacup from the tea tray and poured tea waiting for Director Chang. Not a moment too soon. Wearing a police uniform, Chang Xiao came in. After taking office as the director of the five features more rigid, but the eyebrows are also as tired as possible. Obviously not as easy as in the post of the warden. Every day to deal with a variety of emergencies. Chang Xiao sat on the sofa opposite Zhao Yi, his waist straight as a pine maintaining his solemnity regardless of the occasion. I really didn't expect that a death row inmate would actually be able to go this far. No period, Zhao Yi added. After Li Buotao's operation, it's now indefinite. Not important. Cheng Zhao's thick eyebrows knitted lightly, lightly biting his back teeth and asked. The last time I wore a mask to my house and claimed to be the disciple of hypnosis master Wu Yufeng, it should be you as well. Zhao Yi nodded his head in acknowledgement and inquired caringly. Your son's illness hasn't recurred, right? Speaking of this Chung Xiao, his eyebrows wrinkled even more, resisting the urge to hit someone. It's not like he's depressed anymore. He's just hiding it from me, running to Oriental City for three days. It's fortunate that the condition doesn't continue to get worse. Zhao Yi didn't panic at all. Instead he looked at Shen Fu who was next to him. Dean Shen spoke to Director Chang about what will develop in the end if the major depression is not relieved. Shen Fu was suddenly named, sighed regretfully, and spoke in a solemn tone. Major depression is not relieved for a long time. The light is loss of mobility, and the heavy is not able to think of suicide. Witnessed cases are too many. Chang Xiao also knows these. In fact, for his son's status quo, he is already very satisfied. You can whore yourself out if you want to. It's better to be like the old days, looking for death all day long. And the study has not fallen, steadily occupying the age of the top 10. Ching Hua Bei Day is not a problem. Don't look at the fact that Zhao Yi is now a prisoner. There's really no way to do anything to him. Peace charity organization was eliminated overnight. 95 lives were killed. The police want to investigate the real culprits. But the military side is to give the pressure. So that this matter to the end. Combined with a series of recent events in Yin Chang. Always with Zhao Yi in prison. Has a thousand relations. Meticulous Chung Xiao boldly guessed. Until he saw Zhao Yi. Who is now sitting in the parlor. And knew that he did not guess wrong. It's just amazing. Obviously a person sentenced to death but in just over two months, became the mastermind behind the prison, even sitting next to the Shin family's number two. The fact that Li Buotao hasn't shown up yet confirms a lot more. It showed that Li Buotao wasn't afraid at all that the exposure of Zhao Yi's identity would have any bad effects on him. Zhao Yi told Chung Xiao to sit down as well, passed the tea forward, and leisurely crossed his legs. I don't believe that Director Chang came to the prison just for the sake of his son's business. Chang Xiao was silent. Really let Zhao Yi get it right. He came to the prison today not for his son's sake, end up drinking a mouthful of tea, Cheng Xiao Long sighed, I am for the brother-in-law, this year 3677, will soon run 40 people, die not willing to get married, and even do not want to participate in the blind date, the old man has been in poor health for the last few years and his dream is to hold a grandchild before he dies, it occurred to me that since you can cure my son, wouldn't you also be able to see where my brother-in-law's illness lies, as he said these words, Cheng Xiao was also straight up worried, the old husband's family had been kind to him, and without their strong support, he would never have gotten to where he was now. Also took brother-in-law to the hospital. The body indicators are normal, can only be the psychological aspects of the problem. So Chang Xiao came to the prison to take their chances. Director Chang personally came to the door. How can I refuse? Zhao Yi got up from the sofa and looked at Shen Fu next to him. If Dean Shen is free, follow along. After all, I'm still an amateur. Still not as good as a professional. Okay. Shen Fu didn't push back either. The three of them went out of the prison successively and took a car to Cheng Zhao's old husband's house. Cheng Zhao's old man lives in the Cloud City Villa area. The average price of more than 30, 000 a square meter, plus a full set of decoration down over 10 million. My old man was the last mayor of Cloud City, and he must have been retired for almost 10 years. Cheng Xiao, who was driving on one side, explained with a sigh, when I graduated from the police academy and fell in love with Pan Yen, Although I had no money or family history, 
My old husband did not dislike me for it, but instead, he defended my dignity in every way. The first time Zhao met Cheng Xiao, he knew that his old husband was the last mayor of Yunshu City, and still the door's son-in-law, but because of the ability to exceptionally outstanding, exceptionally let his son with his surname. The villa community is far away from the hustle and bustle of the world, and each building is elegantly designed with a high greening rate of 60%, passing by a crystal clear lake, turquoise in the sunlight, with the occasional leisurely swan paddling by, nestled in exquisite pavilions and benches for the residents who come out to walk at sunset. Zhao Yi, who was sitting at the back, realized that the aura here was more dense, and those who lived here year-round would gradually become healthier. In addition to Cloud City locals, there are also many people from other provinces who live there for a few months in their free time. Arriving at the villa where Chang Zhao's old husband lived, he parked his car in the parking space in front of the entrance. Chang Zhao's old husband, Deng Kaiji, was assisted by a nanny to personally come out to greet him, and was surprised to see Shin Fu, Dean Shin. Xiao said he went to invite a very powerful doctor, and I didn't think it would actually be you. Shen Fu waved his hand repeatedly and looked at Zhao Yi. I'm just a companion today. The doctor is this Mr. Zhao. Oh, Deng Kaiji was surprised, looking Zhao Yi up and down, and finally could not help but exclaim. Today the old man has seen what it means to be a hero from ancient times. Where's the patient? Zhao Yi didn't like to be polite and directly wanted to give medical treatment. Deng Kaiji's body is inconvenient. Trouble Chang Shao to lead the way. The two came to the third floor of the villa. Zhao Yi knocked on the door of his brother-in-law, went in less than 10 seconds, and came out with a complicated expression. How's that? How's that? Cheng Xiao anxiously asked. Is it also hurt by love? I have prepared half a million dollars, despite letting him go to Oriental City to spend. Zhao Yi's expression was very complicated. Looking up at the sky helplessly, the situation is going to be trickier than expected. What the hell is going on? Anxious Cheng Xiao is on fire. If even Zhao Yi can't do anything, he really can't do anything. Your brother-in-law has some peculiar hobbies, innately disliking girls and having a penchant for boys instead. Zhao Yi said truthfully, looking at the staggering footsteps, head confused Cheng Xiao, want to say a word to ease the mood, but what a half a day can only come to a sentence, although there has not been a girlfriend, but there are a lot of boyfriends, at least there must be 30. With a heavy heart, Cheng Xiao walked downstairs and told his old husband the truth. The old man Deng Kaiji heard, almost fainted. Cheng Xiao rushed to let the nanny to get fast-acting heart pills, after a while to slow down. Deng Kaiji tearfully held Shin Fu's hand, Dean Shin, please, you must save Xiu Wen, or our Deng family will be extinct. For this kind of thing, Shin Fu is also helpless. From a medical point of view, homosexuality cannot be considered a disease. It can only be considered a sexual orientation disorder. The main thing is that Huey Man is in his 40s and the chances of fixing it over are slim to none. Forced intervention will only trigger greater rebellion. There's no telling what you'll do if you really stress. My advice, it's better to let nature take its course. Deng Kaiji, who heard the bad news, almost fainted again. Chang Xiao asked the nanny to take the old man inside to rest. At that old age, he can't have violent mood swings. Waiting for his old husband to enter the house, Chang Xiao only reddened his eyes, looked at Zhao Yi who was watching from the wall, took a deep breath, removed the face of the director, and pleaded with great sincerity. Mr. Zhao, I know that you surely have a way. Can you help me for once? On what grounds? Zhao Yi relied on the willow tree at the entrance and asked back in a very flat manner. On the side, Shen Fu's pupils shrunk slightly, surprised that Zhao Yi actually had a way in the face of this situation. Chang Xiao was silent again, and after four or five seconds, asked with red eyes, what do you need me to do? Cool. The corner of Zhao Yi's mouth hooked up with a smile, and also opened the door. Within five days I will eradicate. The Fox organization with Meng Shuangxi's company, probably will die some more. I hope the police department will not pay too much attention to it, wasting unnecessary police force too. But don't worry, guarantee that not a single innocent person will be affected, all of whom are guilty of the most heinous of murders. Looking at Chang Xiao who didn't say anything, Zhao Yi persuaded again. I'll even find out the evidence of their crimes and put it on the desk of the director's office as a resume to support you to move up the ladder. Enough to climb up to your old man's position in five years. I really can't do it. Chang Xiao spread his hands helplessly. Fox organization and Meng Shuangxi's company must have a total of three to four hundred people. Really if all die in one night, even if they are all the major criminals who are carrying a crime, just rely on him as a police chief. By no means will be able to suppress this matter. What I want is not for you to press it down. Zhao Yi felt that Cheng Xiao had misunderstood. You just need to mind your own acreage and not waste unnecessary police force. And don't underestimate your old man too much. He's only retired, not dead. All the contacts that were once there are still there. 
It's just a matter of giving them up. Chang Shao still did not immediately agree, said to discuss with the old man, at the latest the day after tomorrow we'll give a reply. When it's over, they have to go back. Chang Shao wants to see them off in person, but is rebuffed by Zhao Yi, who has to visit one more person. Out of the pricey villa neighborhood, Zhao Yi sent a message to Yi Qinghong, not long after a car came over, the driver used to be a prisoner in prison, was selected five people to do plastic surgery, and now also passed down the killer introductory chapter. Mr. Zhao, I'm Sun Quan, sent by he, the driver said respectfully, looking at Zhao Yi with gratitude in his eyes. It's not all bad people who go to prison. Many are bitter people who have been pushed to their deaths. For example, now driving the driver, 35 years old, wearing a pair of very thick glasses, perennial manager of the company sent to the field on business trips, and by chance came back two days early, entered the door and saw his daughter-in-law and the manager, naked and lying in bed. He would have swallowed things for the sake of living, but the manager, fearful of exposure, joins forces with his daughter-in-law to drug and murder him. The result is that when they are about to kill, the amount of ecstasy they put down is not enough. And Sun Quan, who woke up in a daze, ran into the kitchen in a fit of rage and chopped the adulterous couple to pieces with a kitchen knife. Then he didn't want to run, squatted on the ground, smoked a cigarette, and went into the police station to turn himself in, finally sentenced to a 15 years, into the prison everywhere subject to bullying, originally the life path of despair, was Ho Light Hong received a little brother to get better, and now was lucky to be selected, out of prison to see the other side of the world, Zhao Yi had done him a great favor, and Sun Quan couldn't fail to live up to his high expectations even if he had to lay down his life, 5 is just a small experiment, if it really works, the number will gradually increase, Anyone who can go to prison is a good seed, for Zhao Yi is a talent pool, except for thieves and rapists, at least there will not be a lack of blood, as long as you sift through the trash with corrupted character, you can really create a dynasty of killers if you cultivate them over time, Zhao, first, Shang, Zhao Yi body slightly tilted to look at Shen Fu, has always had something to say he could not hold back, in fact, this matter is not difficult for Chang Xiao, ultimately, there is a thorn in the heart, not willing to cooperate with you just, He's kind-hearted, but he's no Madonna. I don't understand why. Removing the three major tumors of Cloud City, something that has all the benefits and none of the harm. Chang Xiao is so pushy. Looking at the furious Shen Fu, Zhao Yi was clear in his heart. No matter what, he was always a prisoner. Chang Xiao is also a stubborn donkey with a straight nature. Even if this matter is beneficial to him, he still feels a little uncomfortable in his heart to cooperate with a prison inmate. I'm sure I'll agree by the end of the night anyway. Just trying to maintain the persona that the righteous director is forced to work with the inmates and die trying. Zhao Yi didn't care about all of this, making his brother-in-law's orientation become normal. As long as he took a tiger and wolf dan to get rid of the feminine chi in his body. Although the tiger and wolf dan is not as high as the blue marrow dan, but the collection of a material also has to be 20 to 30 million. Normal channels cannot be bought. When the time comes to ask for 20 copies, a little bit of remuneration. Ordinary people can also take it. After taking it, it would be as ferocious as a tiger or wolf, and was often used in the military to charge fearlessly on the battlefield. Zhao Yi was able to use this to make the assassins he trained even more ferocious. There is no fear that Chang Xiao and his old man will disagree. Zhao Yi threw the book of life and death, flipping through his brother-in-law Deng Xiaowen future, saw that today in the middle of the night is going to elope with a, three months in love with his boyfriend, although quickly discovered and caught, but Deng Xiaowen to death, almost Chang Xiao his old man gas died. When the time to take the tone is Zhao Yi. Director Chang also has his own difficulties. No matter how I say I'm also the one who wears the guilt. Let's understand a little bit. When Zhao Yi said these words, Shen Fu's eyes were different. Feeling that the previous preconceived notions about this young man were still too big. Removing the unimaginable means. Just the broad-mindedness. None of the Shen family juniors could compare. The place to go is Yan's mountain compound. Yan Lao, who received the message first, stood at the entrance of the small courtyard sitting on the bamboo chair he compiled, and when he saw Zhao Yi getting off the bus, the wrinkles on his face stretched with smiles, I waited for you guys half an hour ago, come in quickly and have some tea, after all this time of being nourished by the spells, his body bones were visibly hardened, and his face overflowed with a healthy redness, the three of them sat in the pavilion and drank tea, Shen Fu spilled out everything that had just happened in front of Elder Yen, Yen old man went to war a few times, to participate in the Vietnam self-defense counterattack, Temper is also a first class hot. Know that after the beard or angry warped, Xiao Jiao you despite let go to do. The old man I will give you the bottom. Yen old man's temper is really urbane. Young in the battlefield pre-Madonna, or die before the old partner, would not have begged a string of Buddha beads. 
I've known for a long time that the four great tumors, and what a mysterious master tiger. Over the years, I don't know how much trouble they've caused for Cloud City. Emotionally Hai Yen Lao, from the chair stood up, a mouthful of tea in the cup, if it is not the old man retired. Stepping on the horse from the military region to bring a reinforced platoon, have to be this group of corrupted conscience of the son of a bitch mutiny. That night when I learned that Ping and Charity Company was destroyed and its boss, Zhang Wintian, hanged to death in the orphanage. I knew it was Zhao Xiaoyo's hand. What a damn relief. They're the ones who put you in jail, aren't they? Seeing Zhao Yi nodding his head, Yen Lao became even more excited. Today I'll put my words here. Zhao Xiaoyu can go ahead and do it. It doesn't matter if Cheng Xiao doesn't agree. The big deal is that I'll just sit in front of the police station. And whoever wants to go out to the police will just step over my body. Xin Fu was all taken aback. Seeing Yen Lao in such a posture for the first time, the three chatted until the evening. Sitting a piece of dinner, Yen Lao from the cellar, took out the collection of good wine, all drunken before the end. From the small courtyard, Zhao Yi in the car, his face quickly awake, let Sun Quan first send Xin Fu, and then go to the prison. Back to the prison has been in the early morning, Li Buatao squatting in the gate of the prison, always feel next to the stone lion is alive, from time to time to look at his side, scared calves are numb. Si Zhao Yi is like to find the backbone. Mr. Cho, he shouted enthusiastically, handing over a thermos. It's cold at night. Don't catch cold. Zhao Yi took the thermos. Know what he thought. Or some of the heart. While walking inside. While feeding a pill. Chang Shao's side is fine. Just begged me. Don't be afraid to have nightmares at night again. Li Buotao smiled and said which can be. The big stone in his stomach finally fell to the ground. Zhao Yi went back to his room and put down his cell phone and other items before coming to the rooftop. At this moment, he was in a very good state and decided to fuse the blood sun iron crystal and cultivate a gung jin chi. The early morning night was as silent as a black satin, spreading noiselessly across the sky, leaving sparse stars twinkling occasionally, picking up that piece of blood young iron crystal, chipping away the outer stone shell, it was now only as thick as a chopstick. He operated the burning immortal scripture and summoned the true spirit flame. The red young iron crystal gradually began to melt under the scorching heat of the flames, and it also became more and more radiant and the terrifying runes that were entwined around it were going to turn into an immortal bird that was going to shatter with Zhao Yi's jade. But the golden flames were too extraordinary to burn the gods and devils of the heavens, and provoked by the runes and the blood of the immortal bird, it was even about to turn into a furnace in a hidden way. The corresponding yin in the rooftop was shrinking at breakneck speed, vaporizing a large portion of it with each breath, turning it into firewood for the furnace to burn. The red sun iron crystal was undefeated, and the runes were returned to the primordial. Jowie watched as the time had come, opened his mouth like a whale sucking a cow's drink, and gave it a swallow at once, then sat down on the ground with his legs crossed, and ran the spells to start the fusion. The liquid burned hot and heavy, coursing through its body. Jowie only felt that his whole body was on fire, and his eyes were blazing to spit fire, several times higher than the temperature of magma, and he couldn't help but let out a low hyperbolic voice, is it really going to be refined into fire eyes? There was even a ferocious avian song that emanated from the belly straight up to the high heavens. Eventually in Zhao Yi's lungs converge, followed by a resounding sound, like being refined by 10, 000 sledgehammers. There is a light red breath coming out of his mouth and nose, drifting out and touching the rooftop's cement guardrail, and even dryly chopping off a large chunk of it. Avatar, it's done, Zhao Yi shouted excitedly, and the vision disappeared after half a minute. The rooftop in Qi is all depleted and needs time to build up again. No matter what technique or magic weapon, it would take time to catalyze it, but the avatar was different, being an ability possessed by the cultivator himself, even if Zhao Yi no longer swallowed precious gold, and the Gung Jin Shi that was conceived in his lungs would evolve as his realm grew, and, Zhao Yi was excited, there was more to the night than that, the golden flames were forced to revive into a furnace prototype under the stimulation of the terrifying runes, quenching the immortal bird clan's mysteries and baptizing Zhao Yi's physical body once more. Thus obtaining a heavenly creation, Zhao Yi spat out a strand of Gung Jin Shi towards the location of his right arm. Gung Jin Shi kills. Bullets cannot hurt its flesh, but instantly cut a 10 centimeter long wound. But, the blood healed at a rate visible to the naked eye before it had a chance to escape. The healing talent of the immortal bird clan was the best, and although one drop of blood was not enough for Zhao Yi to inherit, it was enough to accelerate his healing speed by 10 times. The human race's aptitude is the beast race's talent, called by a different name. There's another one. Zhao Yi's body shook violently, and a powerful force erupted from his back, and a pair of feathered wings were slowly born. The feathers were like a blazing fire burning, emitting a fiery aura that illuminated the night sky in blood red. The same is also the talent of the immortal bird clan. 
Under normal circumstances he would have to reach the perfection of the mortal transformation realm before he could master the greatness of airborne power off the ground. Now the middle stage of the true spirit realm can, and the speed is also very appalling. The flight at full power is comparable to that of a civilian airliner. Of course the amount of true essence consumed was also first class scary. Zhao Yi estimated that at most a hundred kilometers, he was at risk of crashing. On top of that was his lifespan. Having fused the drop of immortal bird blood, even if he didn't continue to cultivate upwards, his lifespan could be as high as a long 2000 years. Zhao Yi, who is in a good mood, returns to his bedroom from the rooftop, picks up the cell phone on the table, and finds that there are more than a dozen missed calls, all of which were made by Chang Sha not long ago. Zhao Yi also didn't dial back to go back, walked into the large 50 square feet bathroom and comfortably took a bath, waiting out is half an hour later, lazily pick up the phone, missed calls and more than a dozen, call back to the opposite side of the second through, came Chang Xiao anxious voice, can be considered to contact you, something wrong? Zhao Yi lethargically yawned, there's nothing important, it's better to wait until tomorrow, a good beautiful dream has been woken up by you, no, no, no. Cheng Xiao on the other side of the phone had a toothache and said three times in a row for Zhao Yi not to disconnect. Something big happened tonight. My brother-in-law eloped with a man she knew for three months, thinking of leaving Dasha to go to Rice, but was detained by me in time. But he is now in an extreme mood, clamoring to commit suicide. The old man is angry in the hospital, and his daughter-in-law is so anxious that she has five blisters on her mouth. I agree to your terms. I beg you to step in and help. Zhao Yi was silent. Cheng Xiao captured the Chinese point. Anxious and panicked asked, do you have what you need? Lack of what just say, I guarantee not to return the second price. Zhao Yi sent over the list of herbs that he had prepared long ago, and each of them had multiplied by 20 written on the back. Just by looking at it, Cheng Zhao's head got big. It was simply a lion's share of money. He couldn't afford it even if he sold it, and said bitterly, I can't afford it. Zhao Yi already knew what Cheng Xiao was going to say and shot back without any politeness at all. I've already said. Don't underestimate your old man. He's retired. Not dead. The retired mayor of Cloud City still has influence. Chang Xiao couldn't afford it, but the old man could. I need to confer with my old man again. Chang Xiao has to talk to the old man. Five or six hundred million is not a small number. And more importantly, you have to spend a lot of favors and use a lot of channels to buy. A favor is something that is used once and less often, and you really don't want to take it out until you have to. Sure, no problem. Zhao Yi said and disconnected the call. His cell phone turned off and threw it aside, laying down on the bed to rest, asleep until 10 o'clock in the morning. After waking up to send a message to Hu Xiao Kong to send breakfast, Li Butao also bumblingly followed over, entering the door respectfully said, About two or three hours ago, Cheng Xiao gave me more than a dozen phone calls to ask you how it is, and so far there is no response. I thought that you should be resting and didn't bother. To be honest Li Butao, really a burst of darkness, before Cheng Xiao when the director of the time, all day bored a stink face, the whole owe him money like, a word let the prison vibration, Li Butao not less follow the suffering, the first time he heard words of begging from Chang Xiao, even shouting words like brother Tao, Li Butao felt a sense of relief, it's a shame that I forgot to record it, otherwise it would be one of life's great pleasures to take it out and listen to it normally, Zhao Yi slowly to the cell phone boot, more than 30 missed calls, all of them are Chang Xiao a person called, call back over the opposite side of the second pass, the opposite side of the voice is obviously very tired. The voice is very hoarse excitement, Master Zhao. I agree. Ah, uh, Zhao Yi's fingers gently tapped the table, feigning a helpless emotion. There's a situation on my side. 20 copies aren't quite enough. It might have to be 30 to make it work. Opposite Chang Xiao Xiao angry liver to pain. This is not a naked knock. But now the brother-in-law looking for death. The old man in the hospital are added to the ventilator. An old man if something happens. I guess his daughter-in-law will have to think about it. Okay. Chang Xiao gritted his teeth and agreed. He was afraid that if he said he'd think about it again, in a little while it would be 40 copies, and then he'd have to jump in the river. But the number is so huge that I'll need time to get it together. Two or three days at the earliest. No problem. Zhao Yi's tone did not change. Whenever Director Chang raises the money and sends the herbs to the prison, I'll be able to refine the elixir. Chang Xiao on the other side of the phone. His teeth hurt. His tone has changed from pleading to begging. Trouble Master Zhao to give an idea. Now I'm being roasted on the fire. Can let my brother-in-law temporarily quiet for two or three days? Or two or three days later to see as a corpse? He really wasn't kidding. My brother-in-law is now so extreme that he's only given one last hour. And if he's not allowed to travel, he'll just kill himself at the airport. Zhao thinks that Cheng Xiao is just a fan of the authorities. And gives the simplest and most brutal solution. Send someone to shine a hammer on the back of his head. 
and it won't be enough for him to be in a coma for three days in the hospital. Don't be afraid to hit too hard. As long as there's a breath left, I can bring it back. Chang Xiao on the other side of the phone had a toothache. This method is also too immoral, but it seems to be the only way. And hung up the phone after a few more polite words. Zhao Yi put away his cell phone. Let Li Butao go out with Hu Xiao Kang and eat breakfast out of the prison. He hailed a random cab from the entrance and got off from the suburb two hours later, then summoned the crimson feathered wings on his back and flew with all his might in the direction of Volsing Mountain. Passing through the large swathes of mountains, Zhao Yi was light and swift, flying dozens of meters in the blink of an eye, arriving at the top of Volsing Mountain in only ten minutes, giving the amazing Dusty, who was concentrating on patrolling, a dumbfounded look. True, people, his mouth was open in shock. After living for so many years, he had never heard of a real person being able to fly. Zhao Yi ignored Amazing Dust Z and calmed his fluctuating true essence. His feet stepped on the land of Volsing Mountain, and he said to himself with great emotion, after being sealed for so many years, it's time for you to return to your former prosperity. Then he told Amazing Dusty to go down the mountain and retreat as far away as possible. If he was affected in a while, he couldn't spare his mind to shelter him. Regarding what Zhao Yi said, Amazing Dusty immediately carried it out. Even the real person said that he couldn't be sheltered, and he didn't think he was hardened enough to survive the ripple effects. Waiting for Amazing Dusty to go down the mountain, Zhao Yi, who was standing in the center, summoned out his crimson feathered wings again, rose up to the ground to lag in midair, and opened his mouth to spew out that blazing Gengjin gas, just like a waterfall that whistled down. Even though it had only just been birthed, it was already notably powerful, a hundred times stronger than a flying sword. One legal formation after another was cleaved and destroyed in the middle of the destruction. The commotion made was just too great, and all sorts and sorts of terrifying attacks swept through. Fire essence, ice cold, venom. In the end, a few flying stiffs actually jumped out to act as fierce slaves guarding Volsing Mountain, killing all those who attempted to destroy the spell formation. But none of them were good enough in front of the Gung Jin Shi, and they were twisted into pieces in an instant, hiding behind the rocks at the foot of the mountain, thinking it was safe. Amazing Dusty, at the moment, wailing in pain, his toest robe was all strangled by the blood-red afterglow, his bare buttocks crying as he ran, and his mind was smashed by a dozen or so bags of debris. After the 99 spell formations were destroyed, the dragon vein of Tenlong Mountain, at this moment, regained its free form. After being trapped for so many years, the dragon vein at the bottom was finally able to move and let out an exuberant chant, and Amazing Dusty, who had found a few leaves to cover his body was incomparably astonished and looked at the Voltron Mountain, and vaguely guessed what it was. The Volsing Mountain rumbled and was pulling itself up at a speed imperceptible to the naked eye, restoring it to its original splendor. Accordingly the aura is slowly rising. A half-dead tea tree is being nourished and is finally coming to life. Zhao Yi destroyed 81 legal formations. In addition to breaking the seal of the Volsing Mountain, there are also 8 more underfoot, stained with dirt small objects, from the silver white dagger to the purple and gold gourd are all there are acting as a formation of precious artifacts. It's not as good as a bronze tripod, but it's not as bad. Hands and feet shared heavy climb to the top of the mountain amazing dusty, kneeling next to Zhao Yi, trembling cupped a shovel full of soil. Incomparable shock murmured, actually is a dragon vein. It is sealed by the spell. Actually see in my lifetime. The dragon vein is the bell of heaven and earth, where the aura is exceptionally rich, is all martial artists and magicians. The lifelong quest of the treasure. I didn't realize that he had been guarding the barren mountain for more than a week, but his origin was so big that it had no boundaries. Cough, cough, wouldn't it be a bit too rude for the two young friends to move the formations of this mountain without the master's consent? An old cough sounded, and then is the questioning sound. Amazing Dust subconsciously turned back, but saw an old man wearing a piece of gray straw raincoat, even God did not know the ghost, came to a dozen meters behind them. The old man was much older than he was, his eyes were hollow and lifeless like black glass beads from a kiosk, H had eaten away at him to the point where he looked more like a skeleton wrapped in cloth. Amazing Dusty frowned, but there was something familiar about it. He always felt that he had seen it somewhere before. The old man in front of him looked like he had to be a hundred and twenty years old. The skin was rough and loose, like an old bark covered with furrows and wrinkles. The skin had long since lost its elasticity and clung to the bones in an unusually intimidating way. I remember. Amazing Dusty's expression became solemn, one of the Withered Wood Sect's Supreme Elders suddenly disappeared 30 years ago. I believe you are Elder Withered Shadow. Kuki Sect is a first-class sect in Disya. Although it is not as strong as Tianchifu and Ten Thousand Swords Mountain, but it is stronger than the Flame Sect that he belongs to. And Kuki Sect's Supreme Elder is Kuki Sect is the perfection of the way 30 years ago. The old man's throat made a neighing sound. And approval appeared in his dead gaze. 
I can't believe that after disappearing for 30 years, I'm still recognized today. I'll give you a hard time when I kill you in a while. Now he was a half-step martial king, tens of times more powerful compared to 30 years ago, the one who used the leaves to shield his body with fire vapor, should have practiced fire arts to enter the Tao of small success, and that one young man, no man of fluctuation of practicing arts, much less traces of practicing martial arts diligently, plain and ordinary people, although I don't know the two of them, how they cracked the Voltron Mountain Array, but all killed on the finish, never leave a little bit of trouble. Jawi looked at the withered shadow elder and used the book of life and death to look through his life history. In that moment, elder withered shadow only felt that the space around him seemed to freeze, and a mysterious and majestic power enveloped his entire body. A flash of horror flashed across his face and he instantly realized what was going to happen, but tried to stop it but found he could do nothing. The course of his life unfolding like a picture before the young man's eyes at the moment, a glimpse of his past, present and future. Zhao Yi's eyes were focused and deep, going through the resume of a half-step martial king, the amount of true essence consumed was indeed quite a lot, it was comparable to 10, 000 ordinary people, and a small half of this true essence disappeared cleanly in a flash, but, the information obtained from the withered shadow elders solved all the doubts in Zhao Yi's heart, the 81 spell formations on Bolsing Mountain came from the masterpiece of the Shangli organization, the mysterious Master Tiger and the Elder of Withered Shadows were both members of the Sagittarius organization. It is rumored that Shang Liu came from a strange demon in the Classic of Mountains and Seas, a ferocious beast in the Classic of Mountains and Seas in the ancient times, and after losing the war, he fled to the Japanese country in distress, and changed his name to Yaki Orochi, and was worshipped as a supreme god, enjoying the enshrinement of temples, and having a supreme status. The Ayagi organization is the terrorist force that was secretly developed in 1945 when the Japanese lost the war and surrendered unconditionally, and secretly stayed in Dasha when they left. In recent decades, the Japanese country has hidden support. According to the withered shadow elders known, it involves more than a dozen provinces, in hundreds of cities have laid puppets, Tiger Master is one of them, the puppets have different identities from one another and need to be rigorously selected, and likewise injected with poison, which is suppressed with an antidote every year. Battlefield period Fulong Mountain fell into the clutches of Japanese warlocks, they found the bottom of the dragon vein, ecstatic resident in this cultivation, to leave to prevent the use of the Dasha, the joint deployment of 81 legal formations, each one was vomited and too many heavenly materials were consumed, the nine most precious ones were used as array eyes, thinking that when the time came, they would sneak into Dasha to reactivate them, 30 years ago, Elder Withered Shadow's lifespan was running out, and before he died, he was approached by a man wearing a white mask, promising that he would be able to break through to a half-step martial king, provided that he would be injected with a poisonous agent and go to guard a very important mountain silently. From entry perfection to half-step martial king, the lifespan can be extended by 50 years, Elder Withered Shadow agreed, then lived in a barren mountain 20 kilometers away from each other in the Volsing Mountains. He had never set foot in the city for 30 years, drinking dewdrop spring water when he was thirsty, hunting wild beasts and eating some wild fruits from the mountains when he was hungry. Until just now when the dragon vein was unsealed, he had rushed over in a hurry. Zhao Yi understood all of it, and his eyes were thick with killing intent. What the hell? What did you do to me? The unaware withered shadow elder stepped forward a big step, like him who had lived for more than a hundred years, experiencing many times in the life and death hovering in the baptism. The heart and mind is definitely not comparable to any other person. Staring at Zhao Yi the corner of his mouth revealed a hideous evil smile. You should have a powerful magic weapon on you but it will be mine in a moment. To die in the hands of a half-step martial king is the greatest honor of your lives. In the face of the mountainous killing intent, Amazing Dusty didn't panic in the slightest, instead revealing a teasing smile. So what if I'm a half-step martial king? Zhao Yi, who was next to him, was a, well, real person. Withered Wood Palm, the withered shadow elder who sensed that something was wrong, stormed up and lashed out at Zhao Yi, a circle of wooden annual rings emerging from his palm and slashing towards his brow. The Witheredwood Sex Witheredwood Palm has been famous for a long time, and the part hit will wither instantly and turn into lifeless dead flesh. Such an injurious gong method also has disadvantages for the practitioner. Even worse than the flaming fire sex, the skin will wither into a bark-like appearance, like an inhuman freak. The deeper the practice the more obvious it is. The half-step martial king's withered shadow elder made this palm even more terrifying, and the air exuded an aura of withering and decay. The weeds instantly withered wherever it passed. Jowie didn't dodge even for a step, and still blew out a breath in a flat manner, instantly causing the withered shadow elder to fall into an ice cellar, and it was too late for him to make any resistance, and he watched as he froze into an ice sculpture before landing on the ground, 
Amazing Dusty's entire body was dumbfounded, knowing that a real person against a half-step Marshall King was an uncontested victory, but this was too outrageous, there were no strikes at all, no spells were cast, and it was killed in one breath, half-step Marshall King is a foot into the threshold of the Marshall King, with the extraordinary combat power of the Marshall King, facing Zhao Yi but not stronger than an ant, in one breath, he froze into an ice sculpture, too dead to die, amazing Dusty Z's heart set off an uproar, still underestimating the strength of Zhao Zhenren, I'm afraid that it was the little heavenly master of the heavenly master's house, a rare wizard in a hundred years, who was far from being able to match it, suddenly felt a burst of gratitude, that day in the hidden scripture pavilion, thanks to Zhao Zhenren did not move to kill, and his own resourcefulness in time to hand over the money to save his life, otherwise now turned into an ice sculpture of the withered shadow elders, is the end of him, Zhao Yi put away nine magic weapons, and with only three or four of them and some auxiliary materials, he was able to rearrange a subdued mountain formation, so that even if a martial king or a real person came, they wouldn't be able to enter or exit unharmed, after settling Voltron Mountain, he had to go back as well, the information obtained from the withered shadow elders made Zhao Yi's killing intent in his heart even thicker, it was actually a group of Japanese ambush traders, who went to Cloud City for so many years, every extra day he lived was a disgrace to Zhao Yi, I'll recite a few more stanzas for you, enough for you to cultivate until you reach the grand completion of the Tao of Initiation, and it won't be detrimental to your body, the dragon vein of Volsing Mountain had just been unsealed and was at the stage of a hundred and one things, so there could not be any more accidents, Zhao Yi's emotions were calm, his eyes ancient and unperturbed as he looked at Amazing Dusty and said, from now on, you'll be stationed here, and you must not allow anyone to approach, if anything goes wrong, I'll chop off your head first, Amazing Dusty agreed cheerfully, and with the unsealing of the dragon vein in Volsing Mountain, the aura would gradually rise, turning it into a heavenly paradise, in today's cultivation environment of Dashya, it is a very rare treasure, in which a day is comparable to half a month in the outside world, he wished to stay put if he really could, moreover, there were also fire techniques that were practiced to the point of entering the Tao of great success, and there were no drawbacks to the body, so it was simply a good thing that would wake up with a smile in one's dreams, Zhao Yi passed on a few paragraphs to Amazing Dusty, a big road in the starry universe, complete up to the perfection of the mortal transformation realm, for Amazing Dusty it was really an immortal scripture, immediately, he sat down and began to sense, his face unable to hide his ecstasy, summoning his crimson feathered wings, Zhao Yi prepared to return to the city, the current aura of Voltron Mountain was still too low, and planting that seed wouldn't germinate, and it would probably take about a year or a few years before it could completely regain its former glory, he could also know the way to reduce the time from the book of life and death, but it was impossible for the current Zhao Yi, I'm counting on the Ayagi organization, high in the air, Zhao Yi let out a cold laugh, surrounded by a fiery red light, like a mythical figure, Zhao Yi guessed that since the Shang Liu organization had sent Master Tiger over with the purpose of taking down Bolsing Mountain without moving, they must be thinking of restarting the bottom dragon vein, and since they couldn't wait that long, they must have a way to reduce the time, now the identity of hunter and prey has changed, he'll just stand guard and wait, first destroy all of master tiger's inner circle, and then see what else he has up his sleeve, Zhao Yi, who returned to the prison, sent a message to Xin Yunshan that the time to test the results had come, and that he would see the head of the fox organization's boss on his desk in the morning, at the same time, he sent a message to Yi Qinghong that as soon as he received the news of Su Yunshan's success, he would immediately launch a purge of the remaining members of the Fox organization, not sparing a single executioner whose hands were stained with blood. The two kittens, White Sun and Black Obsidian, lay quietly by Zhao Yi's feet, consuming a large amount of fresh beef every day, and then running the Demon Emperor's heart technique to quench their own blood, now as big and strong as a small panther. He exudes a majesty that cannot be ignored in every move. Hu Shao Kang who was in charge of feeding, all felt that the two kittens were getting more and more different, and the occasional glint in their eyes made him feel like he was facing two people. Normally, apart from quenching his blood with the Demon Emperor's Heart Sutra, Zhao Yi would also drive alone and carry them around Cloud City. After the two little guys opened their spiritual intelligence, their memory was no less than He Qinghong's, and they had long since imprinted the entire map of Cloud City in their minds. Zhao Yi also passed on the introductory chapter of the Slayer God's Temple to them to learn the same. Ben is a born killer, get the introductory chapter as if God's help, the wildness is completely unleashed, touching the great adult martial arts master can be wrestled, in actuality, the two of them were the first combatants under Zhao Yi's seat, but they just never had the chance to make a move, meow, meow meow meow, looking at the two of its grudging expressions, Zhao Yi said with a smiling face, let you guys do it tonight, 
I'll tell you in a moment the photos and locations of Meng Shuangxi and his subordinates. None of them should be spared. The key is not to leave any obvious traces. Both of its ears perked up when it heard that it would finally get to go out on the horse, and it nodded excitedly. After arranging it, Zhao Yi sent a message to Chang Xiao. Tonight all police officers stay put, ignore any related police calls, and wait in peace until dawn appears and this is all over. The more you look forward to something, the slower time passes, and that was the case with Black Sun and Black Obsidian, scratching their heads in the house in a hurry. Finally, when the city's prosperity fell, the streets were empty, the stars and the moon were covered by dark clouds, Zhao Yi looked at the distant figure, the indifference under his eyes did not fluctuate emotionally, the law is too merciful, I'll judge the guilty. Black Sun and White Obsidian had a clear goal in mind, running light and athletic, aiming straight for the remote development area, the development zone belongs to the area to be developed, everywhere is surrounded by the construction site of the Iron Sheet, to the night even the human hair cannot see, after the incident from Ping and Charity Company, the other three have increased their vigilance, and also arranged for a few people to take turns on duty at night, spent a huge amount of money to buy dozens of infrared cameras, and purchased a large number of mahogany products to ward off evil spirits online. The corners of his mouth quirked into a morose smile as the three townhouses, five-story private villas, leapt into their eyes. The villa is surrounded by high walls with wire mesh, high-voltage electricity 24 hours a day, and security cameras and unmanned alarms everywhere. Whenever a stranger breaks in, immediately alert the person inside. Daylight and Obsidian sat on the branches of a large tree outside, gazing up and scrutinizing, the people coming in and out could not escape their sight. Villa at least captive 60 or 70 mouths. Very strict defense. High power incandescent lamps shine brightly. And even kept a few Tibetan mastiffs. Intentionally feed a meal a day. Hungry emotions are very anxious. It's not a problem to break in hard. But it's just a matter of spooking people and they'll get out. It both looked at each other and an idea came to them. One after another. They left the big trees and came to the poles. Stretching out their sharp claws. And in a flash. Sparks flew everywhere and the three townhouses instantly became pitch black. The roar of a Tibetan mastiff, the sound of a man speaking, sounded at the same time. How did the power go out? Hurry up and move the generator. The boss is already cursing. Why did the power go out for a good reason? Something's not going to happen, is it? Shut the fuck up. Five or six big men were about to go to the basement to move the generator, but after five or six minutes had passed, the villa had not regained its light. The few extremely fierce Tibetan mastiffs, as if seeing something horrible, lay on the ground and made whimpering noises, so scared that they were incontinent. The lights of the villa would never come on again. Two figures, one white and one black, incarnated into ruthless killing machines, their eyes emitting an ethereal light in the darkness of the night, and everyone in their path fell without any resistance, without even seeing what happened, turned into cold corpses. Some people choose to call the police in desperation, preferring to go to the police rather than lose their lives for nothing, but it rang over and over again and no one answered. At this moment, it was as if they had been abandoned by the world, with only the cold wind and the silence to keep them company. Five minutes later Black Sun and White Obsidian stopped. There was no longer a single living person. Several Tibetan Mastiffs were disposed of, making sure that no hidden dangers would be left behind not a single drop of blood on their pure fur. They start counting people to make sure there are any leaks, pointing to find something wrong, it too look at each other. Pupils unconsciously enlarged a circle. There is one less person and it's the most crucial one, the number one target boss Meng Shuangxi. After carefully circling around the townhouse, I actually found a dog hole that was extremely difficult to find, and it seems that this Meng Shuangxi climbed out of the dog hole. Meow, 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 meow. It both looked at each other, sniffed the air, and decisively chose to pursue. The first time he came out on a mission, if he let Meng Shuangxi get away, I don't know how long he would have to be grounded again. The cars around the area with their tires slashed before the strike, surely couldn't have gotten far. Meng Shuangxi can live until now. Mixed to the cloud city a hegemon, rely on is to judge the situation. Wear body armor all year round and sleep and shower without taking it off. The moment the power went out in the villa, he got out of the dog hole alone, leaving the henchmen as targets, and ran off in a car. The computer monitor in the car is connected to a hidden miniature camera in the villa and has an independent power supply. It was a secret that only he knew and although he couldn't see anything in the pitch black, he could hear his men howling in agony. What kind of monster is this? 80 to 90 people plus a dozen guns didn't even last 3 minutes. Meng Shuangxi's chest was rising and falling violently. A tendon was clearly visible on his neck, and he hadn't remembered how many years it had been since he felt this kind of fear from head to toe. A message had already been sent to Master Tiger. 
and the resultant delay in the other party's reply meant that the other party also felt that he was hopeless. Escape. Now there is just one idea. Hurry up and escape from the development to a populated place in order to give the murderer something to fear. The tires rubbed against the ground with a sharp whine, making a scorched black track on the asphalt. Horse shit. Why are they all broken? What in the world is the origin of the one who wants to kill me? The old man is breaking the rules of heaven. Don't even have to worry about the consequences. Meng Shuaishi is going to despair. His whole body is drenched in cold sweat. All four tires are leaking. Cannot drive far. Can only leave it to fate. Finally, when they drove to the edge of the development zone and the car was about to be completely abandoned, the speed was reduced to not much more than an electric car. And a dozen or so military soldiers wearing military uniforms with extraordinarily solemn looks came into view. Meng Shuaishi screamed out in excitement. Never having seen a soldier so gracious. Stopping a few meters away from them and running down from the car on his hands and knees shouting, Master Army help! Someone is chasing me! A dozen soldiers looked solemn. The one in the lead was tall. Already a major at the age of 25 or 26. The speed of promotion was truly frightening. He looked at the person who was panting and running over, took out a one-inch photo from his pocket, and looked back and forth five or six times before he asked uncertainly, You're Meng Shuangxi? Although Meng Shuangxi didn't know how the military master knew him, he couldn't care less right now, nodded and asked, military master hurry up and take me away, my life is in danger at any moment, the major put away the photo, the bystander handed over a pair of white gloves, put them on and took out the waist with the gun, loaded the gun and shot it in one go, and Meng Shuangxi, who had been shot in the center of the eyebrow, fell to the ground, with the dismay of death on his face, how could I have ever imagined that I would die at the hands of the military district people, after killing Meng Shuangxi, he simply disposed of the body and got into the jeep of the military region, quickly disappearing into the night. Everything was clearly seen by Black Sun White Yao, who was hiding in the distant grass. I was already about to catch up, but then I saw such a scene. The two of it looked at each other and saw each other's doubts, but they didn't look deeper and went back to the prison to resume their orders with Zhao Yi. Zhao Yi in the prison has been waiting for a long time. See it too returned safely. A look of uneasy heart. With the book of life and death can see what happened, the military region people actually also came. Yen Lao is really not bad for me, even the backhand is ready. It is not necessary to think that it is related to Yen Lao, and the person who can drive the military region cannot find the second one in Cloud City. Cloud City military region was created 40 years ago, is one of the top 10 defense war zones in Dasha. The military strength is very majestic. The commander-in-chief is a general. Is the current mayor wants to visit? Have to make an appointment a few days before. On the contrary, that one 25 or 26 year old major looks as if he has some familiarity. Zhaoyi smilingly looked at the two little guys who had a weak heart. No matter how you say it, you're letting someone else wrap it up for you guys. Don't even think about going out again before you're able to rival a half-step martial king and the slayer introductory piece is cultivated to completion. When Bai Ri and Black Yao heard this, their little faces immediately drooped, but they didn't retort. But for a first mission that was accomplished well enough, I have a gift for you. Running from the prison to the old city, killing people and then running back, Zhaoyi could see that their physical exertion was not small, and picked up a piece on the table, which was about the thickness of an adult man's arm, and had a black colored beast bone, I don't know exactly what race it was, even after so many years, there was still an inexplicable pressure, but unlike that drop of immortal bird's blood there was still a chance that it just contained a huge amount of energy, one of the nine magic weapons, Zhaoyi took it out alone, and without any sacrifices, it had a notable power. Zhaoyi estimated that the body of this beast bone was far beyond that of a martial king and a real person, and it just happened to be a blood meal for the two kittens. The higher the quality of the blood food one swallowed, the more pronounced the effect of running the demon emperor's heart technique would be, and this beast bone on the table of mysterious origin was a thousand times higher than fresh beef. Meow. The two kittens purred with delight. Again, it was the greedy black sun that moved first, and a full force bite could cut through the steel, but only left a faint trace at most gnawing down the sesame seed so little, even so it was enough for Black Sun to suffer, scalding as if it was going to burn, hastily running the Demon Emperor's heart technique for a few minutes before calming down, Black Sun's eyes lit up and gained great benefit from it, just that tiny bit of sesame seed was worth thousands of pounds of beef, you guys have worked hard too, so get some rest tonight, Zhao Yi instructed, now that the two of them had their own room, they didn't have to be with Zhao Yi, running from the prison to the development zone, Killing people and then running back is extremely taxing on the body and requires a nap to recover. Looking at the kitten that left with a bone in its mouth, Zhaoyi resumed his seat back at the table. The night wasn't over yet, and he had to keep waiting. By 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, He Qinghong and Su Yunshong also came, 
Tonight Su Yunshan wore a set of white background printed satin sleeveless Chang Sam dress, the chest is a piece of tulle hollowed out design, attractive cleavage by the semi-transparent gauze, covering the hidden. It was customized by hand according to Su Yunshan's figure, which completely outlined Su Yunshan's proud curves while adding more elegance and knowledge to her already dignified and charming temperament. But, instead, with a rare expressionless face, she presented a wooden box with both hands. Zhao Yi opened the wooden box, and a smiling human head came into his eyes. The head of the boss of the fox organization, the spirit fox clan is not good at frontal combat, but will charm to the extreme. Strong willpower again cannot resist, because it is a direct role in the soul. Unknowingly can hook away from the mind. Su Yunshan's charisma rose dramatically after her cultivation. In five days, the fox organization boss of the fascination of the east and west, dead, handed over the entire list of the organization, and then willingly take from the kitchen to get a kitchen knife, with a smile on the face of the end of their own. He Qinghong had some strength, but he had kept his distance from Su Yunshan from the moment he entered. It's a weird way to kill someone. Letting the enemy commit suicide is the first time I've heard of it, and my scalp is tingling. A good performance. I'm satisfied. Zhao didn't mince words in his praise. Su Yunshan's talent was high, with a bloodline speckled with a natural charming body. He Qinghong would have to bow down to it. Now that you've passed the test, you've become a member of my command. Su Yunshan nodded excitedly. I will continue to work hard and live up to Mr. Zhao's high expectations. She had already felt the benefits of cultivation. Her every word and action seduced people's souls, and her physical fitness was far beyond the usual, and she could reach three meters with a gentle leap. He Qinghong also handed over a list with more than 300 names, all with a cross at the back, the list given by MS. Su, not a single one of them was left out. All of them were solved by me and the other five. Lu Lao crooked side was also dealt with. Knowing that he still had value, and left him alive for the time being, said here he Ching Hong, paused for a second before saying, he also counts some courage, in order to not let Master Tiger suspected, even let me give him a centimeter under the heart to move a knife, and let me kill two thirds of the men, now sent to the hospital intensive care unit rescue, you're doing well, too, Zhao Yi smiled and looked away, I have to say that he Light Hong is a talent, in addition to their own talent, but also a rare orator. Half a month can brainwash an ordinary person for his liver and brain, very suitable for cultivating a group of diehard out. The other five people Zhao Yi watched, all of them now believed from the bottom of their hearts that Zhao Yi had granted a second life, and even if it cost them their lives, they could not let him down. Lu Leakuan's approach was an idea given by Zhao Yi. The other three leaders have been eliminated, so what makes you the only one who's not hurt? In order not to make Master Tiger suspicious, he could only cut off his own hands and feet. Zhao Yi picked up another box on the table, a not bad magic weapon, the material is taken from the fangs of a poisonous snake with a hundred years of Tao, you've done quite a lot for me, consider it a reward given, taking four or five of the nine magic weapons was enough, more would become a liability, he couldn't use it either, he could smash it with one punch and simply take it as a reward, he Qinghong surprised over the box, the silver white dagger quietly lying inside, the hilt design simple but elegant, exuding a dangerous and charming atmosphere, lovingly gently caressing it, it was simply tailor-made for him, with the help of this dagger, it would be like a tiger with wings for him, that is, if he encountered a small mature martial artist, he would have the confidence to attack and kill him, in recent days, He Qinghong had made every effort to gather information and had a slight understanding of martial arts and arts, knowing how difficult it was to practice, Wu Dao pay attention to his heart to cultivate, day after year diligently, talent excellent people also want to 10 years to reach the warrior. 30 to 50 years is expected to martial arts master. As for the king of the martial arts that is unattainable, the spells were quick, but the drawbacks were so great that they were either inhuman or lived too short a life. Also know what a magic weapon is, a treasure of great value, money can't even buy it. How many martial artists don't have one? But, Mr. Zhao passed on is different. No need to practice hard to get power, and there is no disadvantage to the body. The attribute value of the precious magic weapon is also casually gifted. The heart really will be Mr. Zhao as a god. Thanks, Mr. Zhao. Don't be so quick to rejoice. There's still a mission. Zhao Yi brought Yi Ching Hong back to reality with a single sentence. I want you to pick another 24 reliable people from the prison. And when you've confirmed that there's no problem, teach them the introductory chapter of the killer's pantheon, and create an assassin organization. As long as he got the herbs given by Chang Shao, he would be able to refine 30 tiger wolf pills. Give one to Chang Zhao's brother-in-law Dang Xiuwen and the remaining 29 can create, 29 people who are fearless of life and death, and at the same time, their bodies can become much stronger, and with a little cultivation, 
they can become top killers. Then you can pick up quests in the darknet and hunt down some of the bounty characters. And the bounties are very high, with the lowest ranked ones starting at a million dollars. A world away from the small fights you get nowadays. Promise to finish the job. He Ching Hong's blood also boiled, as if he saw the assassin organization, making a splash in the future and becoming a word that was talked about. The killer god dynasty's kung fu was designed to kill people for a living. The effect of following the rules of hard cultivation was very inconspicuous, and only by wandering between life and death time and time again could one obtain a breakthrough from it. Next to her, Su Yunshang was full of envy, seeing that the dagger was very precious, but now that she had just passed the test and had yet to make a single strand of merit, she could only look on with bated breath. Zhao Yi of course noticed Su Yunshang's expression and tuned over to speak very solemnly. I'm going to give you a daunting task, Mr. Zhao, go ahead. Su Yunshan was also excited and eager to take credit. Shu Guanqi's researched product will be released soon. The company I've already found someone to create. It's the Snow Spirit Pharmaceutical Cosmetics located in the new city. But it still lacks a spokesperson. And I think you're the most suitable candidate. Advocate? Su Yunshan was a bit puzzled. But I'm just an ordinary person. Unlike the famous stars in the entertainment industry. So why don't you choose a star who is a big hit? There's a higher probability that the product will be a hit because you are born with a charming body. Every glance and smile seduces the soul, much better than those stars who only rely on their faces. Zhao Yi made Su Yunshang jump out of the frame and gave feasible ideas, and you can also be a star. Tomorrow you'll enter the group to act, customize a good script and release it in a few months. By then the popularity won't come. There's no way a cultivated natural charming body wouldn't be on fire. I forgot to tell you that the Spirit Fox Clan's technique has another shortcut. As long as the more people you seduce and get Yuan Qi from them, that's the best tonic for you. You can keep breaking through without cultivation. One day can be as good as a few months normally. And you can even make up for the disadvantage of an impure bloodline. The nine-tailed demon fox of the spirit fox clan is a pure-blooded natural charming body that attracts countless heavenly prides to follow it. And can ask for the seat of supremacy in the shortest possible time. Su Yunshan's heart was thumping at the words and saw a well-traveled path. And, Zhao Yi smiled. Continued. Do not think that the medicine is a small brand. When the time comes to let you endorsement is a degradation of the body. I see the future of the snow spirit medicine. The first product release will be a breakout dark horse. Will be the first to feed back to the first batch of your fans. Tonight, He Qinghong and Su Yinshong received enough shocking information. Zhao Yi had arranged a future for both of them. And was so excited that he would not be able to sleep for a few nights to come. Go back and get ready. A bright future beckons. Zhao Yi's cell phone rang and the words were all said and done. So let them go. The two of them. He Qinghong and Su Yinshong bowed respectfully towards Zhao Yi and silently left the prison. Familiar unknown number. Zhao Yi already knew who it was. Opened the speakerphone and put it on the table. And a horse growl followed. It's really just not going to stop. Right. Zhao Yi could feel Master Tiger's anger even through the phone. The four heartthrobs three dead and one crippled. The strength in the cloud city even root shoveling. How can not remain calm? Keep your voice down. It's nighttime. Aren't you afraid of disturbing the public? Zhao Yi pulled out his ears, enjoying Master Tiger's moment of broken defense, if you cause the neighbors to call the police, and then give arrested into the police station. The oolong can be a big deal. I'll give you one last chance. You don't know who you're messing with. And even if you have a bit of skill, so what? It's just a mayfly shaking a tree. Master Tiger forced to calm down and reveal a little truth to Zhao Yi. Soon the envoy will come. He must take care of all the troubles in Cloud City before then. Get the deed of Volsing Mountain as well as make Zhao Yi disappear forever. Little tiger. Zhao Yi suddenly shouted. The tiger master on the opposite side obviously paused for a moment, and said with some incredulous dismay, You called out to me. What? What's wrong? Tiger boy? Zhao Yi lowered his voice, pretending to be running, and said with great fervor, Don't think how tightly you're hiding. I've already figured out where you are, and I'm on my way to your house right now. You're swindling me. Master tiger's voice resumed its indifference, not so easily fooled. He knows that Dashia has enshrined the immortal family, so he pays extra attention to his whereabouts and resolutely does not expose himself to the public, sits behind the scenes in command of the work that no one knows, and thinks that there has been no negligence in the past five years, and that Zhao Yi is swindling him in nine cases out of ten, a puppet of the Ayagi organization, and a lackey injected with poison. Does he really think that his whereabouts are unknown? Zhao Yi likewise returned a cold smile and drew with the creation heart sutra, a gust of whistling cold wind giving the impression that he was running wild, little tiger if you don't believe me, just sit there and don't move, and I'll take your dog's life in half an hour, the tiger master on the other side of the phone stopped talking, indeed he was stunned by Zhao Yi, 
and was silent for five seconds before biting his back teeth and spitting out three words. Count on your ruthlessness. Then the call was hung up, and when Zhao Yi dialed again, it showed that he was no longer in the service area, and a bad smile of triumph appeared on his face. Scared you to death, you naive skin. Now you are running for your life. Right, I'll go to bed. Zhao Yi, who was in a good mood, lay down on the bed and quickly fell asleep. Until the sun rises, the golden dawn quietly pours down, giving the earth a layer of radiant coat. Cloud City shook once again, and it was unprecedented. The police department's phones have been ringing off the hook, and I don't know how many people have reported seeing an extremely dead body. Shang Shao is like nothing, let the police go over to go through the scene. At noon it was announced in public, it is a case of blackmail, there is conclusive evidence that the people who died are carrying a murder. The murderer is still in pursuit, as long as there is a discovery will be the first time to announce. The people of Yunshang laughed their mouths off, and thousands of people gathered in one piece unanimously and walked to the entrance of the police station to jointly petition pleading for the police to stop investigating. Those who died were so guilty that they were worse than animals, not to mention that they should not vilify their benefactors as murderers, or else they would sit in front of the police station and not leave. The four tumors have been harming Yun Chang for more than 20 years, and I don't know how many families have been victimized by them. Forcing good people into prostitution is even more numerous, and now all of them have been eradicated in one night. And if the police dare to make a move on their benefactors, the thousands of people standing at the entrance of the police station will be the first to disagree. There is a scale in the hearts of the general public, and many times it is more accurate than the law. Dozens or hundreds of banners, plastered over an entire wall. To rid the people of evil is a feat for the ages. Sword of justice, remove the violence, heroes are fearless and shelter the people. The police couldn't do anything at all and had to come out to distribute mineral water. Among the thousands of petitioners, there is no lack of old men of age. It is now the scorching summer heat and if anything happens again, they will still be held responsible. The petitioners were so determined that they did not leave even late into the night, and as the incident came to light, more and more people actually came. Chang Xiao, through the window of the director's office, clearly saw the expression of each petitioner, the expression of emotion and helplessness on his face, and even some envy. He was in the bottom of his heart reflecting, now the law is not too merciful, the judicial system is too bloated. From the investigation to the finalization of the delay is too long. As long as there is a link out of the problem, will be the intention of the people of the loophole, Zhao Yi. This kind of violence to combat violence approach, but more efficient. It is indeed a gift of greed for heaven. Even if he disliked Zhao Yi prisoner's identity again, he had to admit that he had sent a heavy gift in the end, and only needed to help wipe his ass. Without standing in the office for too long, he left through the back door of the police station, just sent a message to Zhao Yi. A moment in the old man's villa area rendezvous, has prepared 30 materials, and sent people to send to the Cloud City prison, in addition to spending an astronomical figure, but also hitched a lot of accumulated favors. But with this great gift from Zhaoyi, the promotion of vice mayor in a few years is also on the table. Arriving at the villa where his old husband Deng Kaiji lived, he waited for 10 minutes at the door and finally waited for Zhaoyi, the rightful owner. The two entered a piece. The old man Deng Kaiji also reluctantly discharged from the hospital sitting in a wheelchair so that the daughter Deng Panyan pushed, and now the son Deng Xiuwen had become a demon. If you can't break over the sexual orientation, there are not a few days to live. Zhao Yi asked, where are the people? Chang Xiao walked in front to lead the way, using the key to open the innermost bedroom on the third floor, and met Deng Xiuwen, who was tied into a dumpling. Even his mouth was glued with adhesive tape, and his eyes were about to spit fire. Deng Xiuwen looks very clean, small and delicate features. 36 or 70 years old and still fine skin, is very popular in the zero circle of the type of people, see brother-in-law Chang Xiao came, cannot stop making painful whimpering sounds, if he wasn't tied up tightly, Dang Xiuwen would have jumped up and killed someone, having been tied up for three whole days, urinating and defecating in bed, it was almost more desperate than killing him, facing Jia Yi's seen eyes, Chang Xiao was helplessly holding his forehead, the way you said is too risky, anyway, it's a big old man, Starving for a few days can't be a big deal. Zhao Yi does not waste time. Walked up to reach out and pull down the tape. Do not give him the opportunity to struggle. From the pocket out of the refined tiger and wolf dan. Roughly stuffed into Deng Xiuwen's mouth. But also to the filling of a few mouths of mineral water. Choking the face red also was not seen. After finishing and reusing the tape to paste his mouth. Zhao Yi wiped his hands with a towel. Let's go out and sit for a while. Half an hour will be almost enough. Chang Zhao's expression is very complicated although he knows that Zhao Yi has real skills, but the treatment process is also too simple and rough, that is, the veterinarian in the village who treats the livestock, 
he also needs to check carefully for a while, but looking at the chesty look of care, he couldn't say anything else, and only had to follow out for a piece of tea, half an hour as if sitting on pins and needles, Chang Xiao were ready to hit the water, but apprehensively went upstairs and entered the bedroom was dumbfounded by the scene he saw, Dang Xiuwen, who hadn't seen him for half an hour, had rolled from the bed to the ground after taking the pills that Zhaoyi had fed him, and was utilizing the protrusion in the corner of the wall to grind the rope, it didn't care at all about the roughness of the twine, or the blood seeping from his arms from the abrasion, give him a little more time and really get away with it, the most crucial thing is the change in temperament, and you can't see the previous femininity, and your body is filled with a strong masculinity, as if you've changed into a different person, but, Chang Xiao was still not sure, just in case this is all faked by your brother-in-law, wait until everyone believes it and then suddenly run out of the country and you're screwed, Zhaoyi saw the concerns in Chang Zhao's mind, picked up Dang Xiuwen's cell phone on the table, entered six digits to successfully unlock it, and skillfully clicked on the encrypted album, which saved hundreds of small videos, and casually clicked on one that was the image of Dang Xiuwen being ridden in a wailing manner, Dang Xiuwen merely glanced at it and stared at Zhaoyi with a face full of horror, subconsciously reaching out to grab the phone, hurry up and delete it, he felt that in the past he was absolutely being possessed by a ghost, actually fucking old Zero and the male homosexuals, think about what he did in the past is bashful, the kind of women with big breasts and asses to meet the taste, and the man across the street is also too shameless, in front of her brother-in-law played the video of being ridden as a horse, the sound is still turned up to the maximum, in the first floor can be heard clearly, I can't stand it anymore, it's a big social death scene, Ching Shu was the chief of the police department and is well versed in micro expressions as he faces prisoners every day, it was obvious that my brother-in-law was disgusted from the bottom of his heart, it was a demeanor that couldn't be acted out in any way, and you could be sure that the real sexuality had been wrenched back, Zhaoyi smilingly handed over the cell phone, anxious Dang Xiu one lazy one by one to delete, fierce ground hard, to ensure that there will be no chance of recovery, before a long sigh of relief, only when Dang Xiu one's emotions calmed down did the three return to the first floor, Shang Xiao has been concerned about the old man's physical condition, did not let him go upstairs for three days, now see his son finally turned back to normal, in front of so many people, cannot help but old tears up, even if I die now, I will have the face to explain to my ancestors when I go to the Nine Springs, now that that's settled, I'll be on my way, Zhaoyi still has a bunch of things, to go out when Deng Kaiji shouted out, trembling from his pocket took out a key, Mr. Zhao, this time thanks to you, I'm in this neighborhood to buy two sets of real estate, the other set of idol, you do not mind if you take it, the villa is not too expensive though, mainly because it sold out 5 or 6 years ago and no one has put it up for sale yet, which is rare, next to the Deng Xiuwen stalking a neck, get rid of the feminine gas, the character is also bipolar reversal, heard to send a set of villas, sullen shouted out, I am in the end is not your son, the family property all let you this old Deng Yulu, no insolence, Deng Kaiji glared angrily at Deng Xiuwen, knowing that Zhao Yi is an extraordinary person, even the military region are involved in the line, the future has unlimited prospects, now do not befriend the future will not have the opportunity, if it is not now the body does not allow, really want to get up and kick him two feet, Zhao Yi took it, I think this place has a nice view and is close to the Snow Spirit Pharmaceutical Company, so I can give Zhu Guanxi a place to live, anyhow, it's your own money tree, and having to live in a place that's too remote is very disruptive to inspiration when researching new products, Deng Kaiji was overjoyed, his complexion was much rosier, and he had to personally send Zhaoyi to the car and watched him go out of the cell door before going home, Zhaoyi did not return to the prison immediately, but went to visit Elder Yen again, whether it is Yen Lao's mouth or action, all give Zhaoyi great support, that a siege of Meng Shuangxi's army, is Yen Lao to prevent Zhaoyi from omission to keep the backhand, came to the small courtyard on the hillside, in addition to Yen Lao at the door, there is a young man waiting next to him, is that night shot Meng Shuangxi? looks a little familiar major, little friend Zhao has finally come, I've been waiting for you for a long time, as soon as he got off the bus Yen Lao was enthusiastic, welcoming Zhao Yi into the courtyard, five or six small dishes were placed in the pavilion, that night's kill was really painful, a little yakuzi didn't let go, the celebratory wine has been ready for a long time, but I have heard that the people who petitioned for you have surrounded the police station, listening to Elder Yan's jokes, Zhao Yi smiled and didn't say anything, only pouring the wine, right, right, Yen Lao lightly patted the back of his head, pointed his finger at the young man and said, I forgot to introduce you, his name is Xin Zhangjian, the most accomplished of the three generations of the Xin family, he was a major at the age of 25, and is now the captain of the special brigade, Zhao Yi also knows why it looks familiar, and Xin Fu has a few similarities, 
but the temperament is very different. Xin Zhongjian did not have a bit of arrogance, between the eyebrows through the heroic, on the battlefield to sharpen the soldier, very respectful to extend a hand, Mr. Zhao, the name is as good as a thunderclap, you saved Yin old man's life, is the benefactor of all the Xin family? Zhao Yi politely shook hands and sat down to have a drink with Elder Yen. Xin Zhongjian didn't sit down, and waited behind Yen Lao, pouring wine for the two of them from time to time, the wine is over, the meal is over, eat almost is idle chat, silent for half an hour Xin Zhongjian, finally could not help but open his mouth, Mr. Zhao, listening to Yen Lao said, you are a person with real skills, have time to play in the military region, ah, Zhao Yi also saw traces of a practiced fighter from Xin Zhongjian's body, there are also martial arts cultivation experts in the military region, and they are stronger than even Wang Fuzhu, Xin Zhongjian asked Zhao Yi to go to the military region because he also wanted to test his bottom, sometime, Zhao Yi coped and ended his lunch to return to the prison, proceeding to prepare with the other 29 materials, he refined 29 tiger wolf dan, using the bronze medicine cauldron that served as the eye of the little green meditation formation, the quality of which was much higher than the one given to Cheng Zhao's brother-in-law, notify He Qinghong after refining and ask him to come over and choose someone, there are already 5 of them, pick 24 more, He Qinghong took a few by Marrow Dan, completely unable to use the tiger and wolf Dan, he was not rooted in the prison, he chose the best 24 people, clutched the bottle filled with pills, hesitated for a long time or said, Mr. Zhao, can you give the assassin organization a name? Zhao Yi tapped the table and thought slightly. Hell, you are the temple of assassins affiliated with the Hellmouth. Train the 24 as soon as possible. Within six months each of you must complete three single assassination missions on the Darknet. Failures expelled never to be rehired. There are ten halls in the mythical hell. And now Zhao Yi is replicating them. Nor could the 24 take the tiger and wolf Dan instantly. They also have to have cosmetic surgery and a period of observation to make sure there are no oversights. Zhao Yi sent a message to Chang Xiao, let him want to do will include He Qinghong, including 30 people, in Da Xia's personal file all deleted, in the future is not the existence of the ghost of this world, Chang Xiao responded, it was not a difficult task, it could be completed in a few days, the heat of the three major tumors gradually dropped in the following days, fewer and fewer people came to the police station to petition every day, Yun Cheng ushered in peace after a long time, the crime rate was almost at the freezing point in 50 years, and the police officers were all going to be idle out of their asses one by one. Mostly, the punks are scared too, lest they are suddenly exterminated in the middle of the night. Zhao Yi did not leave the prison, drilling to set up a spell formation for Volusia Mountain. Now Hu Xiao Kang in addition to delivering three meals, usually can not just come up. If something happens, send a message to report. Now Hu Xiao Kang sends a message to Zhao Yi, informing him that Gu Qingqing and Wang Fuzhuang are here. The parlor. Zhao Yi returned three words and left the room to go downstairs. Gu Qingqing wore a purple embroidered chonsam. Her long hair was combed into a beauty bun, and her 1 meter 75 height wearing thin heeled high heels made many boys feel inferior. After killing her second uncle Gu Yulong, Gu Qingqing changed tremendously and began to get involved in the family business, dealing with a number of people who were close to her second uncle Gu Yulong. Elder Gu has also begun to decentralize his power, preparing to give up the position of head of the Gu family and the candidate with the best chance of winning is Gu Qingqing, as evidenced by having Wang Fuzhuan become her personal bodyguard. Wang Fuchu, in his thousand-year-old black practicing clothes, looked at the radiant Zhao Yi and asked with a puzzled expression, the immortal you've been offering to is so fierce, and you've been striking out consecutively lately, so how is it that there's not a single sign of a backlash? The ancestor records are clear, but they don't apply to Zhao Yi. Maybe I'm close to the immortals. Zhao Yi casually made up a reason that the now non-existent immortals were his biggest backer. In person are so powerful, the immortal shall not be powerful to no bounds. Scared the tiger master fled in the night. I do not know if I can sleep these days. Wang Fuchu was speechless in his heart. He felt that Zhao Yi must have a way to restrain himself, but he was just unwilling to disclose it. Of course, he also fully understood that if he could live in peace with the immortals, it would be a cultivation system that exceeded the martial arts and the arts. There is no telling how many people will gravitate to it and pay whatever it takes to get it. We are here today to express our gratitude and to provide news. Gu Qingqing cut a topic. Now she is short of time. To close the Gu family business in the shortest possible time, the longer the delay the more prone to change, I got a heavy news. Qin Hong is going to hold a funeral for his son Qin Yuanhao in five days. And, Qin Hong claimed to have known his son's murderer, just couldn't find the evidence to let that person get away with it, and would publicly announce who it was on the day of the funeral all of which suggests that it was aimed at you in prison. In the days to come, all the famous names in Cloud City will receive a post and arrive to participate in the funeral. 
which will be held on Dongping Avenue in the new city center. Zhaoyi rubbed his chin. What I'm more curious about is why it's going to be seven days later and still be on Dongping Avenue. Snow Spirit Pharmaceuticals is located right on East Flat Boulevard and releases its first product in five days. Gu Qingqing is now in a position of power and can use all of the Gu family's connections. Yin Jia, who graduated from the art department of Yunshan University, has been frequenting Qin Hong's house in recent times, and I have investigated that she used to be Qin Yuan House concubine. Yun Jie, Zhaoyi recalled in his mind for a second, remembering Yin Jie from the hotel management department, famous for her fiery body in Yunshan University. Make boyfriends like water, as long as you see the right eyes. Dating, no the first day also give, with the bus almost, and I never cared about my surroundings. I could go to the bathroom when the mood struck. Occasionally also do some part-time jobs outside the school. The identity of the students of the University of Cloud City is quite popular, and many bosses with a low level of education are very popular. Plus from elementary school dance, can do a word horse type of difficult movements, half an hour can earn thousands of tens of thousands of dollars. But this matter is more private. Only a very small number of people know. Then somehow he hooked up with Qin Yuanhao and gave 60, 000 or 70, 000 dollars a month for the package. Besides playing for myself, I take it to the bar every once in a while and give it to my buddies. After the incident in the medicine field Qin Yuanhao went to prison, but also letting Jie find a way to seduce Zhao Yi, when the time to do the bureau buckle a rapist's hat. But Zhao Yi no longer stupid will not be fooled. Will be tricked to getting Jie go out to sell the video. Angry Qin Yuanhao are going to kill people. If Yun Jie was there, everything would be through. Zhao Yi said. Yin Jie knew about my relationship with Xu Guanxi and must have guessed that the snow spirit pill makeup had something to do with me as well. So she wanted to use this as a way to force me to go out and show up at Qin Yuanhao's funeral five days later. Gu Qingqing frowned lightly. What an outlaw woman. Do you want me to help you teach her a lesson? It doesn't have to be that much trouble. Zhao Yi smiled to keep Gu Qingqing from being redundant. All they're doing is just trying to get me to show up at the funeral. So when the time comes, I'll just show up so that I don't let some people's elaborate preparations fall through. He could see that there was still a black hand behind the curtain. The Tiger Master of the Sagittarius Organization. Having lost his four beloved ones, Master Tiger would have to take action himself even if he didn't want to. And Zhaoyi was waiting for this day. Whatever tricks you have, I'll take them all. Wang Fuzhu also said that he could help out. Just not too deeply involved. So that the Gu family would be caught in the storm. After all. Gu Qingqing's wings were not yet full, and the old coveters were watching intently, so making a wrong step was very passive. Zhao Yi expressed his gratitude to Gu Qingqing, and both parties had no interest in it. Thank you, you're going to. Thank me how? Gu Qingqing's beautiful eyes blinked repeatedly as she looked at Zhao Yi with an expectant expression. Zhao Yi suddenly sensed that Gu Qingqing's interest in coming here today was impure, and just as he was about to check it out with the Book of Life and Death, the other party took the first step and said, I'm not going to give you the chance to tell your fortune. I hope that the Gu family can get the right of first refusal for the release of the products of Snow Spirit Company. The Gu family has been comfortable for too long. Many areas are ossified and old industries are going out of business. I have faith in you. Although she hadn't seen the products of Snow Spirit Medicine and didn't know how effective they were, Gu Qingqing had a strong confidence in Zhao Yi and was sure that he would amaze everyone. Have to take advantage of the friendship first into the game. The icing on the cake is not as good as the snow to send charcoal. Otherwise the back to want to get a piece of the pie. I do not know how long to queue up. Could be. Zhao Yi agreed. It really could have gone smoother if the Gu family had gotten into it as well. Gu Qingqing and Wang Fuzhu got up. And without further delay. Left the meeting room and walked out of the prison. Zhao Yi also didn't stay in prison for long. He hadn't been to Volsing Mountain for several days. And although Amazing Dusty had sent messages every day saying that it was safe and sound. He had to go and check it out in person. As well as set up a spell formation. The two kittens were also brought along, still traveling by car to the outskirts of the city, and summoning their feathers to fly to Mount Volusia. White Sun and Black Obsidian flew for the first time, and were gripped by Zhao Yi with one hand on the back of one's neck, and they couldn't stop poking their tongues out in excitement as they looked down on the mountain scenery from a high altitude, fell to the top of the mountain and saw, amazing dusty sneaky, do not know what to do. After seeing the expression became very speechless, damn put away the Fiji cup, so old really energetic. Amazing Dusty Z also did not expect that Zhao Yi would make a sudden visit. Embarrassed, he put away his Fijian cup. Zen Master Zhao, how did you? Suddenly came over. If I hadn't come over all of a sudden, I wouldn't have known that Taoist Master Amazing had such a hobby. Zhao Yi said with a cold smile. Really did not expect to see such a scene, but also thanks to the late descending to the ground for a second. Or else it will be spicy to the eyes. The two kittens, White Sun and Black Obsidian, were also staring at Amazing Dusty with curiosity. 
not understanding the human in front of them. What kind of wrongdoing could make their master so furious? Amazing Dusty Z shyly wore an old face. Afraid of being slapped to death by Zhaoyi, he hurriedly opened his mouth to explain the disadvantage of practicing fire arts. All day long you are burned by the fire of the heart. If you can't release it in time, it is possible for you to go into a demonic state. And I'm so careful about hygiene. I put it all in a garbage bag and didn't even throw a piece of toilet paper on the floor. Even if he knew that Amazing Dusty was telling the truth, Zhaoyi was still warning that it would not happen again or else he would permanently solve his problem. Yes, Amazing Dusty knew that this matter was turned over, and he was busy and excited to answer the question. Moreover, with the cultivation of the arts bestowed by Zhao Yi, the drawbacks caused to the body before were getting weaker and weaker. And in the future, there was no need for this primitive method of releasing fire. And then he looked at the two kittens in amazement. He couldn't help but open his mouth in admiration. Zenith Zhao really has strong chances. What a rare two spirit beasts. Actually both of them have been taken under his command. The root bone and talent is stronger than mine. In time it might be able to match that of a martial king. There was an element of horse's ass in it. But Amazing Dusty was also genuinely amazed and could see the extraordinary nature of the two kittens. There were clans in Dasha that specialized in raising spirit beasts. And Amazing Dusty had seen them when he traveled around the world. But it is no match for the two kittens in front of them. The small body contains horrible power. Amazing Dusty was stared at coldly actually had the illusion of a heartbeat, like facing two fierce tigers. Step aside first, I'm going to set up a formation. Jowie told Amazing Dust to hide farther away, and the two kittens retreated to a safe position, crouching on the ground and waiting quietly. He left the ground and took off into the air, taking out five magic artifacts, as well as the materials he had collected over the past few days, to set up a spell formation for Volsing Mountain. With the lifting of the seal on Volcano Mountain, the value of the aura rose every day and the ones that gained the most were the tea trees, which were moisturized and revitalized by the aura. Originally yellow leaves, became bright green, as if emerald in the sun, glittering with vitality. With the experience of setting up the little green underworld formation, it was now easy to act, and it was roughly finished in two or three hours. He used five magic weapons from the Shangli organization, the most valuable of which was the purple gold gourd, whose surface was covered with a layer of purple gold luster, flowing with wisps of mysterious runes, Carved with both the pattern of scrolling clouds and the auspicious image of dragons and phoenixes. It doesn't look like it came from the Japanese. Jawi think about it also feel normal. In the Japanese invasion of summer those years, do not know how many good things to get rid of. Purple gold gourd is one of them, and now become the eye of the big array. It could absorb the aura of Volsung Mountain and transform it into raw energy, firing extremely terrifying attacks. Even martial kings and real people had to engage in dodging, not daring to fight head on. Next to him, Amazing Dusty witnessed the entire scene, unable to speak his words of shock, time and time again being refreshed by Zhao Zhenrun's cognition, setting up a complete mountain suppressing battle all by himself. Dasha first class sects also have the Jintiao Grand Formation, but it is never set up by one person. Dozens of hundreds of years of generations of efforts? There is no lack of real person realm experts continue to improve. Zhao Yi who landed on the ground sucked in his breath. The aura of the Fulong Mountain gathered and attracted. After being quenched by the golden flame, it was turned into true essence to replenish the consumption of the array. It's still far worse than the prison. It will take at least two years to recover. Has this thing been following you around for years without figuring out exactly what it is? Zhao Yi from the small wooden box, poured out that a palm-sized, wrinkled grooves and grooves, white and brown with jelly similar to the gadgets, smilingly looked to the fire old devil. Please solve the problem. Mr. Zhao. Old fire demon nodded. Very curious indeed. Over the years he had gone through hundreds and thousands of ancient books and couldn't find a single trace. Jawi placed the object into the pit and filled it in a little bit with soil, gently uttering two words, seed, seeds, seeds. Amazing Dusty's brain was a bit down. He had a lot of results in mind, but he never associated them toward the seed aspect, and it looked like they were all dead. Was there any possibility of them sprouting again? Some extraordinary medicine lived too long. To birth spirit will be jealous of the sky lead to the nine days of the thunderbolt split. You get this should be the failure of the robbery. The vitality of the Changbai mountain treasure medicine. Zhao Yi's eyes burned with great anticipation. The elixir that can trigger the thunderbolt must be extraordinary. And the handwritten notes record that it can bring people back to life and achieve the heaven-defying effect of white bones and flesh. Starting today, you will report to me once a day. On the status of the seeds, Zhao Yi gave Amazing Dusty an order. Even though he knew that the aura wasn't dense enough right now, there might be hope after a long time. Still, not enough. He summoned the horse-faced Rakshasa again, and the moment it appeared, 
Amazing Dusty was horrified and had a bold guess in his heart. Could it be that Zenith Zhou, enshrined an immortal? Seems reasonable again. Zhao Xinren was in his early twenties, without a master but with precious kung fu, and was also able to understand heavenly chances to see through destiny, which only those who had made offerings to the immortals could do. But, Amazing Dusty remembered that those who made offerings to the immortals, didn't they all offer the immortals as their ancestors, but how did Zhao Xinren call on them and drink them away? Now that the prison has a small green meditation formation, there is no need to worry about security. He then left the horse-faced Rakshasa at Volsing Mountain, and the horse-faced Rakshasa's battle power was also comparable to that of the Martial King, so he could shoulder the burden of defending the seed, and then he looked at Black Sun and White Yao, the two quietly sitting kittens. In the future, you will also stay here, and apart from that one beast bone, the blood food you need every day will depend on what you get from your own hunting, or else you will wait to go hungry. The two kittens were growing in size, both about the size of small leopards, and it was inconvenient to stay in the prison. Why don't we let them come to Voltron Mountain as well? Anyway, a hundred kilometers around our mountains, there is no lack of large prey such as wild boars, filling their stomachs is more than enough, and sharpening the experience of killing combat in the hunt. Daybreak and Obsidian looked at each other, and instead of uncertainty, there was excitement and anticipation in their eyes. They also live in prison suffocating, only able to stay in their rooms every day. Now they just feel infinite pleasure and can't wait to go hunting. Jawi picked some tea leaves and put them in a cloth bag. It looked good. I don't know what the quality is. After descending the mountain, I asked Su Yunshang to introduce a tea frying master, and after getting the address, I drove there and arrived at a very famous tea house two hours later. According to the address given by Su Yunshang, he came to the deepest part of the inside and stopped in front of a small, plain courtyard. There are specialties in the art, and stir-frying tea, also called greening, is an important step in tea making, the purpose is through high temperature, destroy the late shirt before and passivate the oxidative enzymes in the fresh leaves, evaporate part of the water in the fresh leaves, so that the tea leaves become soft, easy to knead in shape, and at the same time disseminate the green smell, promote the formation of good aroma. Cloud City is surrounded by mountains on three sides. There are many people who grow tea, and although the fame is not as good as Wui Mountain, the scale is not small. Small courtyard in the high-rise buildings inconspicuous. No opulent decoration, but has a kind of low-key and introverted implicit, as a deep residence in a good person. The first thing that caught his eye was the wooden door, free of elaborate decorations and crafted from dark brown wood, which gave off a faint fragrance in the sunlight. A man in a suit in his thirties, seeing Zhao Yi who was watching the navigation walk over, excitedly went forward to welcome him. You are Mr. Zhao. Looking at the other side nodded. The suit man smiled more thickly. I'm the manager of the hidden treasure pavilion Chenning Jin. Su boss have explained. My grandfather is known far and near the master of the tea production. Before a lot of big bosses have come to the door to ask for tea. The last few years had a field disease before quit. To ensure that you can make you satisfied. When he talked about his grandfather. Pride surfaced on Chenning Jin's face and he hurriedly let Zhao Yi in. Boss Su focuses on his valued guest claiming that if he can satisfy him, his annual salary will be increased to $1 million. Zhao Yi, who walked into the courtyard, found that it was even more quaint inside, with only a wooden table for drinking tea. Tea is not sold here, you go elsewhere. Behind the wooden table an old man in a loose gray suit with white hair was lying on a bamboo chair leisurely sunbathing. Grandpa, it's me. Chen Ning Jian returned without good humor. The old man looked up from the bamboo chair, after seeing that the visitor was a grandson, more than 90 years old still able to nimbly jump up, copied the stick and ran over to beat, I don't have this grandson of yours, it's not easy to come, actually have the nerve to be empty-handed, Chen Ning Jian was beaten and wailed, holding his head in the yard, today I came for a big event, to help this guest fry tea, the gift ode will be made up tomorrow, only after hearing this did Chen Jing stop, muttered a few words, and then looked at Zhao Yi who was standing on the sidelines, although you are Jianer's guest, I'm not looking at any of the big road goods, and if you can't get into the eyes, please return. After a serious illness, Chen Jing completely retired and rarely made tea himself. The only way to do it is to come across those rare and unattainable teas that you are itching to get your hands on. Next to Chen Ning Jian couldn't help but give his grandfather a wink. This is a guess that Boss Su has emphasized several times. If he doesn't give face today, he will probably lose his rice bowl. He really regretted that as a child he thought frying tea was hard work and did not acquire his grandfather's craft, and now he could only stare at it. Zhao Yi expressed his understanding and unlocked a small opening to the cloth bag. Craftsmen have pride. Their whole life is devoted to it. It's normal to have their own pride. The ordinary tea produced by their own family. If they don't look at it, they don't force it. Chen Jing looked away in disbelief. 
Hearing about homegrown tea, there was no longer much expectation in his heart, but when I actually saw it, my expression changed in a flash. Tea with a lifetime of dealings, the age of five years old to follow the elders fry tea, has long practiced the eyes of the fire. A glance can see the tea is good or bad. The young man's tea in front of him, just from the shape and color, must be the very best goods. Can I taste a piece? Chen Jing completely changed his face, looking at Zhao Yi excitedly rubbing his hands. After getting permission, he carefully took out a piece, first putting it under his nose and sniffing it, his eyes getting brighter and brighter, and then solemnly putting it into his mouth and chewing it. Close your eyes and savor the breath of enjoyment. It took a long time to come back to his senses, so excited that his body trembled lightly, as light as a feather, and as warm as emerald, with a fresh and long-lasting aroma. This is a gift of nature, a superb product that surpasses the very best. The old man has been drinking tea all his life. In addition to the 600-year-old king of tea tree in Amei Mountain, the mother tree of Dahongpo in Wui Mountain, it is enough to ask for a seat in the top three. Chen Jing reluctantly swallowed. His demeanor was frustrated, and he solemnly looked at Zhao Yi, the matter of frying the tea is wrapped up in me. I can make a promise to little brother that I'm the only one in Yin Chang who will make a move so that I won't spoil these tea leaves. Zhao Yi trusted Su Yunshan's vision and placed the cloth bag on the table. Tea making takes time. The two agreed to pick it up in five days. Chen Jing didn't care about his grandson in Zhao Yi, and was about to start a fire to fry tea on the spot. For master tea maker Chen Jing, at the age of 90, he has no attachment to money and fame, and is only interested in making precious tea. Zhao Yi walked out of the small courtyard and took a car back to the prison. Halfway through the journey Tsunami came to the phone. Zhao Yi tapped to answer. Hello? The deletion of the files is still being done. I came to call about another matter. What? Chang Xiao on the other side of the phone spoke in a heavy tone. There have been quite a few sneaky people sneaking into Cloud City in the last few days, and we've only been able to track down a handful of them, and I believe that this is just the tip of the iceberg. The reason for this is that someone has posted a bounty on the dark net. Zhao Yi's interest came up. I never thought I'd be on the dark web one day. Immediately following Chang Xiao sent over a link. Clicked in to see the mysterious bounty. The publisher was a person with a tiger avatar. For the time being, the assassination list had not been announced. Just let the interested parties come to Cloud City first. The bounty was as high as $1 billion. Don't even think about it. It must be Master Tiger. And as long as you receive the mission, you will be rewarded with 100,000 as a traveling fee to come to Cloud City. There are dozens and hundreds of other comments below, all from assassins registered on the dark web in hundreds of countries around the world. 1 billion Chinese dollars, converted into dollars, that's 1.7 billion. I have arrived at Cloud City and am waiting to release the target. After this job, it's time to retire. Hawaii waits for me. A target worth a billion dollars is definitely not a small person, but I've already investigated. Cloud City doesn't have a martial king sitting with a real person. The only risk is that there's a military district. Brothers, I've built a small group. There are currently 36 people. We definitely can't go long alone. Why don't we work together to complete it? And then we'll share the 10 billion dollars equally? I want in. Working together is indeed a good idea. I'm in. There's no privacy in the comments. So if you want to join, you can chat with me privately and invite in after checking your identity. Zhaoyi looked at the comments of the heated discussion and said to Cheng Xiao, who hadn't hung up the phone yet, tell me the location of those killers. I hope you guys track down a few people, among them the slayer who got into the group chat, and that'll bring the 36 to a close. Trouble, Mr. Cho. Cheng Zhao's mood was complicated. It was not easy for Cloud City to be quiet. And then there were so many killers pouring in that he didn't dare to sleep at night. If anything does go wrong, he'll be the first to be punished. Send it as soon as you can. The most recent place it appeared, the more detailed the better. Zhao Yi knew that the target of the bounty was him, and that the outburst was for himself. Cheng Xiaoxi seconds sent over a file, clicked on a total of five people, all the darknet registered killers, and have completed a few single task, household registration from several countries, but also recorded the location of the last appearance. The killers are all day and night, trying to stay out of the daylight and exposed to the public eye. Zhao Yi called a cab back to the prison and waited until the evening to deal with them. After returning to the prison, he went up to the rooftop and entered a state of cultivation retreat. From fusing the blood sun iron crystal, his strength ushered in another surge, and now it was infinitely close to the late stage of the true spirit realm, so he was ready to make a breakthrough today. All the yin shi that was consumed was replenished. He also gave the rooftop cloth a concealment array. No matter how big the commotion, the outside world looked no different from normal. Zhao Yi crossed his legs and simply sat on the ground. A cluster of golden flames, ancient and unadorned, hung silently above him. The 
Then the air around him flowed as if pulled by an invisible force, forming a mysterious vortex. As the vortex slowly rotated, all the yin chi in a hundred mile radius was sucked in, like seawater being swept up by a huge wave, and all of it surged towards the cluster of golden flames. The golden flame suddenly skyrocketed several times, instantly incinerating the yin chi that surged over, turning it into wisps of the most majestic true essence, filling Zhao Yi's limbs and bones. The entire process continued until late at night, when Zhao Yi violently opened his eyes, shooting out fire light that turned into substance, his strength climbing upwards by one step, sweeping the starry realm, gulping the Qian Kuan, suppressing the ten thousand realms, changing the furnace, suspended above the golden flame suddenly changed, issued a whirring whirring burst, vaguely to coalesce into a furnace like, the hundred ghosts patrolling the prison suddenly felt a huge pressure, like an invisible mountain, pressing down so hard that their spine snapped, and they could only get relief by kneeling down on the ground, their eyes filled with terror and awe, eventually, halfway through, the gold color still slowed to a stop, sure enough, Jowie revealed a look that he had known this would happen, breaking through to the late true spirit realm is still not enough to metamorphose into a furnace, it seems like it's still necessary to reach true spirit realm perfection, it's when it morphs into a furnace that it can really shine, once the furnace is complete, it devours all things, the essence of the sun and moon and grass and trees, the essence of encroaching life, and even the power of the stars can be transformed into the essence of the origin, according to the divine silkworm Taoist's handwritten notes, although he did not turn around and recultivate the burning immortal scripture, he also borrowed some of the mysteries of this scripture, and in order to make up for the drawback of his lack of talent, he devoured the origin of ten, zero 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 supreme heavenly prides and stepped on their bones to change his destiny against the heavens, Zhaoyi felt terrible when he thought about it, mainly borrowing some of the mysteries, far less than the genuine burning immortal scripture, wasting more than two-thirds, however, the golden flames had become several times larger, and could now quench a small half of the brain, the head is the most vulnerable position in the human body, after being tempered by the golden flame for a period of time, I'm afraid that even magnum bullets can't penetrate it, Zhao Yi was very excited, feeling the changes after the breakthrough, the stored true essence in the body increased several times, and then go to Volsing Mountain without having to take a car to the suburbs, flying 3 to 500 kilometers was no big deal, sent a location to Yi Qinghong and asked him to drive over to help, not a moment too soon, He Qinghong, who was driving a black sedan, arrived, and Zhao Yi got on the car and briefly talked about it, how dare you eat bare heart and leopard guts and dare to assassinate Mr. Zhao, He Qinghong was very angry, the hands clutching the steering wheel creaked, Qinghong was just discharged from the hospital last week and is recuperating at home, Mr. Zhao gave me half an hour, I will not be able to get him to attend his son's funeral, there's no need to do it now, it's just a grasshopper in the fall, what Zhao Yi wanted now was to get past the five killers and get into that group chat. First, go to the Xiaoyu library in the new city. One of the assassins in the file was in John, a black man of rice nationality, who had successfully completed two assassinations with bounties of half a million and two hundred thousand dollars, which was pretty low on the list of registered assassins. The little rain library is open 24 hours a day. Zhao Yi asked He Qinghong to park his car at the entrance, injected his true essence to increase the range of the book of life and death and soon knew the location of John, the other guy wasn't in the group, but since he's here, deal with it, just wait a minute, I'll be right down, Zhao Yi said to He Qinghong, got off the car and stepped into the Xiaoyu library, took the elevator to the seventh floor, which had one study room after another, and a lot of people who had taken the exams came, the key doesn't have to be registered, you can avoid the lineup, and John's in there, coming to the room where John was, Zhao Yi actually heard a slight snoring sound, and came to the cloud city to actually fall asleep, stretching out a finger through the wooden door. Wow! John, who was falling asleep, was never able to wake up again, and in moments was burned to a small mass of white ash, which could not be compared to anything when taken for genetic testing. Zhao has never had a good impression of black people, and when he strikes, he doesn't leave a trace, leaving the Xiaoyu library and getting into the backseat of the black sedan to go to the place where the next killer appears. The second one was also a black mib, who also didn't join the group chat, and Zhao Yi was likewise a free cremation service, when the fourth killer was found, he was very alert, hiding in the park, Zhao Yi used the book of life and death to read through, the killer's name is Tai, proficient in Muay Thai and assassination, had helped a Burmese park boss for three million dollars, assassinated a senior official of the Burmese government, was chased by hundreds of soldiers, completed the counter killing in the dense forest, currently in the 900th position in the dark network killer list, Tai wasn't supposed to be exposed, but was wanted on a national priority list and had the side of his face photographed when he entered the country. The Darknet had a hitman list, 
with a total of 1,000 names entered, and the more orders completed and the higher the bounty, the higher the ranking. How many assassins there were on the dark web? Over a hundred thousand were always there. Nine hundred were already strong. You go ahead and try. Zhaoyi looked at Yi Qinghong with a smiling face. The other party was a good whetstone. Don't destroy his cell phone. It's of use to me. Yes. Yi Qinghong licked his tongue in excitement, moving lightly and athletically, like a viper slithering through the grass, perfectly blending into the surrounding night, like a ghostly shadow. Five minutes later Yi Qinghong came back. Not a drop of blood on his clothes. Only his face was a little redder, and respectfully handed over a smartphone. Zhaoyi took it over, unlocked it with a password, and tapped on a group chat. Only 8 or 9 hours had passed, and the number of people in the group chat was 52, and the billion dollar bounty had really gotten a lot of people's hearts racing, but no one chats, the names are code names for fear of guttering. Tai's code name was Rattlesnake, and Zhaoyi took the initiative to break the calm by typing in a few words and sending them out. Good evening everyone, after Zhaoyi sent the message. It was only after 10 seconds or so that the group chat came alive. Actually someone greeted in the killer group. It's the first time I've seen it in 10 years of practice. It can't be a sheep mixed in, right? The scenery of Cloud City is really nice. Very suitable for settlement. And after completing this order? I'm not going to leave. Aren't you afraid your identity will be exposed? Underestimating my hibernation tactics too much. Now I'll sneak into a mother and daughter's house. Use the daughter's life as a threat. And do whatever I want that mature mother to do and stay 10 years without being discovered. What a great view tonight. Go out and kill someone later or your hands will be raw. Zhaoyi watched the killers chatting and used his morphing technique to mimic Tai's voice, pressing his voice and asking quietly, Did you guys find anything fishy? The pupils of Yi Qinghong in the driver's seat shrunk slightly, and immediately noticed that it was the voice of the man who had just killed Tai, and Mr. Zhao hadn't even seen the other party's face, but was 100% able to mimic it. The killer's curiosity was immediately mobilized blowing out a number of secret screen peepers to ask the man codenamed Rattlesnake what he had found so fishy. Have you guys noticed that the group is getting bigger and bigger? Only two or three days after it was built there are more than 50 people, and eventually surpassing a hundred won't be a problem. Jowi continued to use Tai's fake voice and sent a voice to the group. A bounty of one billion dollars is indeed tempting, but even if 100 people share it equally, that's still 10 million dollars per person, and that's the most conservative situation. The actual number of people who will be splitting the money will only be higher. Each of the 50 or so men felt that Rattlesnake did have a point. 100 is definitely a conservative estimate. And based on the current rate of growth of the group's membership, it's doubtful that 200 will be able to fight. Zhaoyi looked at no one to speak in the group, but knew that the scheme had begun to show results. And then in front of He Qinghong's face, the five senses become blurred, gradually forming a brand new face, which is clearly the dead tie. He Qinghong's mouth unconsciously opened wide once again being refreshed by Mr. Zhao's cognition was just too unbelievable. For Zhao Yi, it is a piece of cake. Recently, he has been studying the art of metamorphosis, and has made rapid progress, imitating other people's appearance and voice at will. Plus he has just used the book of life and death to look up Tai's life history, so it can be said that as long as Zhao Yi wants, he can be the real Tai. Turning on his cell phone camera, he tapped on the video recording function and looked anxious as he said to the screen, I'm Tai who's ranked 900 on the Darknet killer list, and I suspect that the group masters are carrying out the anti-clearance plan, hunting down the killers who came to Cloud City so that too many people won't compete for the 1 billion bounty. Four killers have been killed so far, and just now I was almost killed as well, paying a heavy price to escape from the pursuit. Only the group master knows my true identity, and a reasonable explanation must be given. After recording and checking it again to make sure it's okay, click send to group chat. Half a minute later, the group chat exploded. Almost everyone was blown out of the water, and the editor group leader came out to give an explanation. Tai was at 900 on the assassination list and had a good reputation on the darknet, plus the video of him just showing his face. His anxious demeanor didn't look like a fake, and it wouldn't do him any good to lie. A killer who wants to join a group chat must disclose information to the group's owner. If the information is really leaked, the group owner is really the biggest suspect, and no one thinks Tai has a problem. Zhao Yi, whose purpose was accomplished had his cell phone stowed away in his pocket. It is estimated that more than 50 people will soon find out that the four killers who were solved by themselves, and then turn the spearhead to the group owner. The anxious group owner has no way to do so. In order to remove the suspicion can only disclose the identity. By then I will slowly find out where he is. There was coldness brewing in the bottom of Zhao Yi's eyes. Those killers from all over the world came to Cloud City to do no harm. Even more so than the four major tumors. Once you find the leader of the group, you can find out the identity of the group members and kill them all when you do. 
He Ching Hong shocked speechless, Mr. Zhao in addition to conceal the sea of disguise, the control of the human heart is very subtle. Three words let the group chat fall apart. Bowing to himself he is far from being able to do. Looking at the lost and thought he Ching Hong, Zhao Yi knew what was going through his mind. How about it? Want to learn? He Ching Hong nodded repeatedly, his eyes filled with anticipation. If we can really learn Mr. Zhao's disguise, is there anyone in the world we can't assassinate? Charge into the top 100 of the Slayer ranking within a year, and I'll consider imparting the transformation technique to you. Zhao Yi laughed lightly and gave his promise. Shapeshifting was indeed very suitable for killers, but it was carried forward by thieves. He Ching Hong's heart was beating wildly with excitement. It was indeed extremely difficult to break into the top 100 of the killer list within a year. At least he had to complete dozens of big orders with a total bounty of $100 million, but he would definitely do his best to live up to Mr. Zhao's high expectations. And then thinking of something, he looked at Zhao Yi expectantly. The 29 reserve killers, all of them have taken the tiger and wolf Dan and completed a metamorphosis. Does Mr. Zhao have time to review it? This was not just He Ching Hong's idea. All 29 assassins were like this. Wanting to show Zhao Yi the results, then go check it out. I'm curious too. Having solved the matter of the killer for the time being, Zhao Yi was in a much lighter mood and asked He Ching Hong to drive to take a look. He is very attentive to each piece. Very clear in the time of the game. Any inconspicuous piece may play a big role. The killer organization is even more important. Otherwise it will not get the tiger and wolf Dan to shrink the growth time. The future is spread all over the world. Netting the world's intelligence. He Ching Hong is very excited to drive. The base in the suburbs of a small barren mountain. Originally built in the 80s military region of the air raid shelters. And then cannot be used gradually abandoned down. Did not show on the map. He also wasted a lot of effort to find. It has become a forgotten place where no one knows the history and purpose it once served. Preliminarily modified for assassin training. Pulling up at the foot of the hill three hours later, the bomb shelter blended into its barren surroundings, its entrance hidden by thick brush and weeds, with only a muddy path looming, winding its way to the rusted iron door. The two of them hiked to the front of the cave, where a few cobwebs hung from the seven or eight meter high doorway, and a cold, damp scent, mixed with the stench of rotting animals, made people unconsciously frown. Air raid shelter internal structure is intricate and complex, like a huge maze, if not for a special person to guide the way. People who mistakenly enter the exit cannot be found in a few days. In addition to this there are also a lot of hidden organs laid out to prevent people with bad intentions. Subsequently, he would have to set up red line cameras, as well as all sorts of defense equipment, turning it into a real fortress, and Zhao Yi would not provide any more formation help, or else he would develop a dependency mentality. He Ching Hong had long since imprinted the map in his brain, and he could not go wrong even with his eyes closed and it took another 20 minutes or so before he arrived at the core area of the air defense shelter. The 29 selected reserve assassins were training at the very core of the air defense shelter, and when they saw He Ching Hong and Zhao Yi coming, they immediately gathered urgently and stood in two columns. They listened to He Ching Hong singing the praises of Zhao Yi every day. The original fate is to die in prison for the rest of his life, now not only become a free body, but also take the elixir to obtain extraordinary power, has long been in the heart as a godlike figure. At this moment, when he saw Zhao Yi arrive, the expression on his face was reverent. Zhao Yi was also sizing them up. After taking the tiger and wolf Dan, each of them was incredibly strong, as if they had inexhaustible energy, their eyes were sharp and staring ahead, and after a few days of devilish training, their bodies were filled with a ferocious aura. Tiger and wolf Dan got rid of their feminine chi. Ken in action are fearless of life and death. Taishan collapsed in front of the face without changing color. No matter which killer organization in the world, is a good seedling will be focused on cultivation, the future is bound to be the ace assassin, but for Zhao Yi, a single tiger and wolf Dan could create it, with a supply of enough herbs, he could build a division of tigers and wolves, nice, Zhao Yi gently nodded, 29 people heard the praise, their faces just showed joy, He Ching Hong also with the honor, but the next sentence followed to make their faces become gloomy, but still far from enough, know why the organization is called hell, everyone was silent, Sun Quan took a step and stood out of the queue, Shouting loudly and earnestly, I think it was Mr. Zhao who made us, like the black and white invincibles who came out of the hell, and demanded the enemy's life without knowing it. You're a tiny bit right. Zhao Yi revealed a corner of his smile, calmly stretching out his two fingers. He began to rapidly sketch in the void. The air seemed to freeze in an instant. A mysterious force permeated the entire air defense shelter. The gazes of the crowd closely followed Zhao Yi's fingers, like a calligrapher waving a brush and splashing ink on rice paper. A magnificent bronze gate surfaced under the brush, and then gradually transformed into a solid entity in reality. 
The Bronze Gate was carved with complex patterns, full of ancient and solemn atmosphere. A few meters away from each other let them feel the pressure. Actually had an impulse to resist kneeling down and paying homage. Squeak. Yikes. With Zhao Yi's low drink, the Bronze Gate slowly opened, and the 29 assassins, along with He Ching Hong, saw the cruel picture of another world through the corner of the Bronze Gate. Everywhere there were stern ghosts apprehended in chains, their faces monstrously hideous, their eyes glittering with resentment and resignation. Behind them there were ghost officers in official uniforms, and whenever a stern ghost fell in line, they raised their whips and flogged their backs viciously, with surely horrifying results of split skin and flesh. A dull yellow wooden bridge spanned over a raging river, and the stern ghosts on the bridge moved forward with difficulty step by step, very heavy with their ankle cuffs, suffering endless pain with every step forward. The waves under the bridge were rough and glowing in eerie green color, as if swallowing up all life. The air was filled with an eerie atmosphere. Even after taking the tiger and wolf Dan, the crowd felt shivering and felt their insignificance, subconsciously bowed their heads and bent their heads, not daring to look at the scene inside the bronze gates again. There is no longer any need to examine. The bronze gate connects. Must be the hell undoubtedly. They were shocked beyond words. Their hearts were about to jump out of their chests, while Jowi seemed to be out of the picture. With only calmness and depth in his eyes, his figure appearing taller and more mysterious, taking the name from hell. Do you understand now? In the future, when you pass the vetting, you can also become a member of hell. It's enforcer on earth. Looking at all the people with frenzied expressions, Zhaoyi nodded his head in satisfaction and splashed buckets of cool water. There are no losers in hell. Either you complete the mission. Either you die in the mission. The threat of death did not extinguish their enthusiasm, but instead a blazing fire in their hearts. Their knuckles clenched green and not the slightest bit loose, and they can't wait to do the task now. Pop. Zhao Yi withdrew his true essence, and everything was like a dream bubble, as if it had never appeared. He took a long breath. Sketching a corner of hell was really too consuming of true essence. Even after breaking through to the late true spirit realm and increasing his storage by five or six times, it still evaporated two-thirds of it in just a few seconds. But it was all worth it. It is equivalent to implanting faith in those present and the effect is a thousand times more prevalent than a pyramid scheme, and there will be no possibility of betrayal in the future. And, the heart sutra of creation is that the more people who believe in it, the more realistic the drawing will be, and the less it will consume the practitioner's true essence. Horse-faced Rakshasa has been perfected. The number of people who believe in it is incomparably large. Li Butao can't wait to go to the incense every day, and now as long as it doesn't get damaged by the destruction, the amount of true essence consumed is minimal and as long as Jowi doesn't fall, it will be able to exist all the time. In the future, when the killers completed their tasks and left behind the prestige of the hell, the number of people who believed in it would become more, and sooner or later, one day, Jowi would be able to outline it in full and it would be able to survive for a long period of time. After visiting the killers, Jowi walked out of the air defense cave, no need to let He Ching Hong send it off, calling out his feathered wings to simply fly back, high in the air, he pulled out Tai's cell phone, and even though it was the latter part of the night, the group chat was a heated argument. The group master is already going to be besieged, helplessly stood out to explain, with me really have nothing to do. Build a group of cooperation is only through cooperation. After all, the bounty can be up to a billion. How can it be a simple role? To ensure that there is no so-called clearing program, none of the group members believed it and relentlessly asked the group leader to give an account. I've already used the investigation. There are indeed four assassins missing and I can't get in touch with them in any way. There's no second person who knows where we are besides you. How else can we explain what happened to Tai? Tai is at the 900th position on the assassination list. If someone hadn't learned of his position, how could he have been suddenly attacked? You must give an explanation today, or we won't let you go. Don't think you're resting on your laurels without revealing your true name. If we really combine our efforts, we'll climb you out sooner or later. Looking at the chat records in the group, the corner of Zhao Yi's mouth hooked into a smile. If it wasn't for the group chat that was constructed, using the program developed by the dark net, which couldn't track the signal location, Jowie would have already come to the door and slaughtered each and every one of them. But, now, that's about right. The group's main goal is to not give an explanation, and with so many people offended, something big is definitely going to happen. Not surprisingly to Jowie, the group master, who had been silent for half a minute, finally sent out a voice. I'm the 90th ranked magician on the killer list so if it was really me who made the move, there's no way he could have escaped. If there are any disbelievers, including Tai who was attacked, you may now come to me at the 7th pavilion in Pingyan Lake, and I will certainly give an explanation. Zhao Yi changed the direction of his flight and transformed into Tai's appearance, instantly heading to Pingyan Lake. 
On the way to Pingyang Lake, Zhao Yi used Tai's cell phone and logged into the darknet to access the magician. The magician's name is Henry, an assassin from Rice, known as the toughest man in the last 10 years, very good at using the terrain and making magic tricks with the use of flashy stages to kill targets with bounties on them in full view of the public. One of the biggest sensations was the remote theft of $69 million from a bank in Las Vegas last year, where none of the 30 or so staff members on duty that night were spared, and the police still haven't found out where the dead man's head was hidden. Interesting indeed. Zhao Yi overlooks Pingyang Lake from a high altitude, with magnificent scenery and rich ecological resources, and an ancient-style pavilion dotted along the shoreline, attracting countless tourists every year. The shoreline of the lake twists and turns and is lush and green along the way. In ancient times, Pingyang Lake is also known as the Big Wild Zay, only a very small number of people know. 89 years have made water monkeys, there must be hundreds of innocent fishermen killed, and ultimately asked the monk of the Peach Blossom Temple only to calm down. That is, the cause of the name of the Pingyang Lake, Zhao Yi's eyes gleamed, seeing the darkness of the night as if it were nothing, and he could see a single athletic figure, dressed in black tights and wearing a black mask on his face, approaching the seventh pavilion of Pingyang Lake, there had to be eight or nine of them, and obviously more were watching, not wanting to be exposed as a result, in order not to draw attention to himself, Zhao Yi also landed on the ground, making a woeful appearance of being injured in joining their camp, Tai, coming, I can't believe you're even hurt, the only one who can hurt you is a magician, why isn't the magician here yet, we're not falling for a trick, are we, tell us the specifics, and it may not be a group master magician, De Xia has martial arts and arts, and there are capable people among them, the assassins from various countries wearing black masks looked at Zhao Yi's pretended tie and asked for the details of the sneak attack, and after calming down and thinking of quite a few suspicious points, they all kept a safe distance from Zhao Yi's disguised tie. Zhao Yi didn't say anything and just looked towards the pavilion. I don't know when, appeared a tall thin man, standard white face, from the ears to the lips of several areas, hit there must be dozens of iron nails, grey-blue satanic tattoos cover most of the face, the dark knight gives people a very demonic feeling, it's really a magician, leaning on Zhao Yi's most recent killer shouted out, mainly because the magician was so recognizable that it was hard for anyone to imitate him, the magician's voice was sharp. Blaring straight at Zhao Yi's disguised tie, you've all been tricked. He's the one who leaked the information. What purpose is unknown for now? First strike and take down. Then interrogate. The eight or nine killers looked at each other. Although they didn't trust Tai either, they couldn't just listen to one side of the story and take action against Tai. Do you have any proof? Zhao Yi's disguised tie was furious, and he understood what was said even though it was in English, flashed his still bleeding arm, and gritted his teeth and growled word by word. It can't be that I am merely falsely accusing you. May I ask what favor will be given to me? Apparently the magician also did not have much patience, and did not care at that time to storm up and start a counterattack, wait until a moment to take you down. After the interrogation we'll know. The palm of his hand turned over there was more a bright red cloth and silk. Violently vibrating there were a large number of playing cards, shooting out towards Zhao Yi. It's like raindrops, and it's dense. They were all extremely thinly ground pieces of iron and coated with a special matte pigment that made them hard to hair in the dark, and to be sliced they had to chip off a large chunk of flesh. The corner of Zhao Yi's mouth hooked into a smile and blew out a mouthful of cold air, and all of a sudden all the playing cards were frozen. The magician's face changed dramatically, realizing something was wrong. You're not Tai. The real Tai was well versed in Muay Thai and assassination, and the hand that just blew air into ice was by no means something that someone at the 900th position on the killer list could do. Without a second's hesitation, the magician took out two more colorful prop balls and threw them left and right at Zhao Yi, bursting out extremely blinding incandescent glare in mid-air. Everything happened in a flash. Eight or nine killers were also affected. Two lines of blood and tears flowed out of the corners of their eyes. Zhao Yi blew out a mouthful of cold air, cutting off all their vitality and turning into a set of ice sculptures. Circus vaudeville level, hardly a grand show, Zhao Yi commented, looking towards the magician who had fled far away, and followed after him. The prop balls used for the show are nothing more than military blinding bullets, again decorated to be seen in order to get people to let their guard down. Military blinding rounds produce a blinding light for a few seconds, which can blind the target for a short period of time, as well as a loud noise, which can cause the target in the range to lose its hearing temporarily. The magician who wore goggles, had planned his route and escaped very quickly, using one complex obstacle after another to affect Zhao Yi's line of sight, thus reducing the speed of the chase. But, it was all futile in front of Zhao Yi. One step was dozens of meters, and the distance between him and the magician shrunk to five meters. Opening his mouth, he spat out a mouthful of cold air. The magician felt a huge crisis and instantly removed the outermost layer of clothes, 
avoiding the deadly attack with the golden cicada, followed by an explosion at Zhao Yi's feet, stepping on two debris mines that had been buried long ago. I have to say there's something about the killer who came in at number 90. Zhao Yi makes a critique and plans everything. Even the escape route after the failure was done as an ambush. But in the face of the debris mine that was about to explode, Zhao Yi didn't even have the thought of dodging it. It was supposed to be a test of how strong the physical body was, otherwise how could he possibly make this kind of low-level mistake? Bang! A huge wave of exploding light covered Zhao Yi, and the magician who looked back, before he could show a smile, saw the unharmed Zhao Yi walking out. What a monster! The magician exploded. Even a high explosive mine couldn't kill him. Was he still human after all? Zhao Yi has played enough. In the face of absolute power, any more elaborate means are a joke. Taking several consecutive steps, he came to the magician, and with a flat punch, he imprinted himself on his chest. The magician was like a kite with broken strings, smashed by the terrifying force and flew out dozens of meters. And even though the clothes he wore were bulletproof materials, his chest was still dented viciously and a dozen ribs were broken. Magic would have been scum if he hadn't saved his hand at the last minute. Leaving the magician alive is not a mercy, it's still a great use. Without stopping, Jowie summoned his crimson feathered wings, gripped the half-dead magician with one hand, and quickly flew away from Pingyang Lake, quietly coming to the rooftop of the three-star hotel opened by Qin Hong. Jowie just plainly sat on the magician's body, and not long after that a man climbed the stairs and walked up, his face wearing the mask of Ultraman that he had bought temporarily. Jowie followed and laughed. The senior disciple of hypnosis master Wu Yufang, can't I recognize him with a mask on? The man forced his right hand not to tremble and removed his Ultraman mask. In his thirties, with heavy and scary black eyes, I admit defeat today. I don't know who your excellency is that you can actually recognize my identity. Fong you, right? Zhaoyi watched the other party nod his head before continuing. The senior disciple of hypnosis master Wu Yufang, now in the Dashia Vigilante, received a mission to travel to Cloud City to solve the incident of killers gathering in Cloud City. The vigilantes were a department that had been established by Dashia for decades with dispatching authority over departments in every province in the country, and the members who joined them were rigorously vetted. The members are secretly constructed by a group of top masters who come from different backgrounds. Some are retired soldiers, some are hermits in the rivers and lakes, and some are martial arts families that have been passed down for generations, and live in a normal capacity when they are not on a mission. The purpose is to deal with troublesome incidents that threaten the safety of the population, to regulate sectarian forces in the country and to fight against unscrupulous organizations abroad that have covetous designs on Dasha. Confucianism uses the written word to break the law, and chivalry uses the military to violate the prohibition. Just mastering Superman is bound to give birth to trouble. Ordinary people are just like that, with the police and the law hanging over their heads, but martial artists and warlocks are different. If they really want to commit a crime, the police can't do anything about it, so it's time for the vigilantes to play their role. I had learned about it from old Manyan before and I had also heard Amazing Dusty say a word about it, but I didn't expect to see it today. Wu Yufeng is an extremely famous psychological master, unique in the field of hypnosis, which Xiao Yi learned about when he first went to Cheng Zhao's house, originally thought it was also a powerful doctor. Now see certainly not. Even the disciple can hypnotize the magician of the 90th place on the killer list, according to Feng Yu's life history to know. Spare the king of the martial arts to see Wu Yufeng have to salute, also a member of the Night's Watch, and of high standing. Feng Yu's expression changed dramatically. How do you know? Vigilantes? The back was instantly drenched in cold sweat, not expecting to be known by the mysterious person in front of him, disguised as Tai. Knowing that the information of the members of the Night's Watch is top secret, and no lieutenant generals or below have permission to access it. Looking at the other party's tense demeanor, Zhao hooked a smile. Using the Book of Life and Death to look through the other party's resume, Zhao knows the cause and effect and realizes that the other party actually coincides with himself. After Feng Yu came to Cloud City, he accidentally discovered the magician who was ranked 90 on the assassination list, and then successfully hypnotized the other party to set up a cooperative group chat, wanting to bring those international assassins to a head. As a result, I did not expect myself to kill Tai, and then splashed dirty water on Feng Yu in the group. The other side had no choice but to burst the identity of the magician, Tai about to Pingyang Lake to deal with it so that the plan is back on track. As a result, I did not expect Zhao Yi disguised Tai so ferocious. Hypnotized magician is not a rival at all. Carefully arranged to kill the situation does not work at all. A few rounds to be a punch smashed half dead. If not to stay hand also paid the dust of the eight or nine killers. Zhao Yi also used this to follow the trail and found Feng Yu in the hotel. Having already seen the strength of the other party, Feng Yu couldn't even think of escaping. 
and was even more self-aware and didn't use attempts to hypnotize the other party. Don't be so nervous, I'm not a bad guy. Zhao Yi stood up from the magician and apologetically patted Feng Yu's shoulder. Actually, I'm also a member of the vigilante department. I was ordered to come to Cloud City to support you. I was thinking of latching on to the group killer letter, but I didn't think that the water had washed over the Dragon King's temple. Fong Yu, it felt so wrong, but it did seem like the other side was doing the right thing. Are you really part of the Night's Watch? Looking at Fong Yu who had a suspicious face, Zhao Yi nodded his head sincerely. Fong Yu nodded, indicating that he believed it. Welcome comrade. In fact, you have to believe it even if you don't believe it, or if you poke and prod and cause the other party to become annoyed. The consequences are even more unimaginable. Yes, Zhao Yi didn't care if Fong Yu really believed it or not. Anyway, admitting it with his mouth was enough, now that the international assassin's threat to Yun City is getting bigger and bigger, we have to carry out the operation. What? Action? Fong Yu was a bit dazed and felt trapped. Zhao Yi said calmly, Of course it's to use your hypnosis ability to hypnotize all the killers in the group chat, otherwise it's just the two of us, and the manpower is really falling behind. Originally, he was thinking of eradicating the 50 or so killers in the group chat. Now that he had seen Fong use hypnotic methods, he had a different idea. All hypnotized into temporary helpers, and then give Master Tiger a big surprise. My lord, you're not kidding. Fong Yu felt that the other party was dreaming. Hypnosis is not as simple as one would like to think. It is very mentally and physically exhausting. Don't look at me hypnotizing the magician. It was two days of lying on the bed, as well as the other party could wake up at any time. The stronger the person the stronger the mental power and the more difficult the hypnosis. Like a magician's strength, it was already comparable to that of a martial artist, and it was extremely difficult to break through, unless the master personally made a move. It would never be possible to hypnotize all 50 people. Zhao revealed a confident smile. You just hypnotize, leave the rest to me. Feng Yu had no choice but to follow. He had already set up the location of 8 or 9 killers, and took Zhao Yi to the urban village first, which had a lot of unlicensed BNBS and didn't need an ID card to register to stay there. The two drilled through through dark alley after dark alley, uneven dirt and gravel underfoot, an uncanny odor in the air, and entered a bed and breakfast with a sign that said 21 nights, tipped the owner a hundred and told her to pretend nothing happened. Zhao Yi waited at the door and Feng Yu went up by himself. Ten minutes later Feng Yu came down, clutching a sterling silver clock in his right hand. Some fatigue appeared on his face, and gestured to Zhao Yi. Next, the two were running around for the rest of the long night. One killer after another was hypnotized by Feng Yu. When it came to the fifth one, he just couldn't carry it anymore. His mental and physical strength reached the double limit. His head was about to explode, and he might pass out at any time. Zhao Yi extended his arm at the right time and placed it on Feng Yu's shoulder, injecting a majestic true essence. All of a sudden, Feng Yu's eyes widened, and his exhaustion was instantly washed away as his body was infused with new vigor, full of strength and vitality, and the heaviness of the brain was relieved. Soothing subconsciously stretched his waist, and the eyes that looked at Zhao Yi completely changed. The hypnotic means he used was actually a mental art. The disadvantages are also very obvious. That is, it is difficult to sleep. The deeper the drill, the more serious. Like he can only sleep a few hours in an average of five days. Listening to the master said that he has not slept for several years, have forgotten what it's like, and can only rely on meditation to nourish the mind. According to Master Wu Yufeng's account, in the last few hundred years, None of the grandmasters who practiced this technique had not gone mad after not sleeping for too long. Thank you, my lord. Feng Yu said gratefully. Understand what Zhao Yi meant when he said, you just hypnotize and leave the rest to me. A single true essence made Feng Yu stay full, and the time was shortened when he was hypnotized again, and the two of them didn't rest until dawn. Twelve have been hypnotized, and following this progress, all will be hypnotized by nightfall. Feng Yu was very excited. He had never been this crazy continuously hypnotizing 12 people without stopping, and his mental and physical strength was full, an unprecedented experience, master, I'm rested, carry on, Feng Yu's eyes revealed excitement, his spirit had never been in a fuller state before, and every time Zhao Yi injected a piece of true essence, it was like a deep sleep for more than 10 hours, having hypnotized so many people again in succession, his understanding of the art was greatly deepened, comparable to several years of hard training, the address to Zhao Yi also changed from adult to master. In his opinion Zhao Yi was already a general figure like his master, even more powerful than his master in some aspects. Go. Zhao Yi and Feng Yu went to the next place and stayed there until 12.30 p.m. M. All of the two dozen people in the known location were hypnotized. It's all deep hypnosis, and it's hard to wake up in a week without outside help. The two sat in the Hong Yun Chi Tian three-star hotel opened by Qin Hong. 
Feng Yu as a thank you, ordered a large table of dishes, to finish eating, very respectful to Zhao Yi poured tea, what should we do next? Facing Zhao Yi disguised as Tai, Feng Yu was no longer as wary as he was at the beginning. With the other party's methods, if they really wanted to kill themselves, they would never survive until now. Now you have the magician send out a video testifying that Tai is in big trouble, bringing a mysterious master to kill me, and that everyone who went to the pavilion that night was overwritten because they wanted information about the killers in the group chat to reduce the number of entrants competing for the billion dollar bounty. Then the two dozen or so assassins who were hypnotized were asked to chat privately with those who were not, about whether or not they wanted to cooperate with each other to reduce the risk of being attacked and killed out of the blue. Zhaoyi sipped a small mouthful of tea. It was far worse than Li Botao's in prison, barely making ends meet. Didn't kill the magician last night, just saved it for now. Wonderful. Fomu excitedly slapped his thighs. Now the group killers are all on edge. They are all afraid of being suddenly attacked. There must be a lot of people who want to embrace the group. Do it after dinner. I'm staying at the hotel. Let me know if you get anything. Zhaoyi casually coped with a few mouthfuls and got up to leave the box. Fomu looked at his back as he left confirming that he had gone far away. A strong scorn surfaced on his face and took out his cell phone to talk to his superiors. I now have three speculations on the identity of the mysterious person disguised as Tai. There was a second of silence across the room. Go on. First he is indeed a member of the Night's Watch department, but the probability is very low, and with his strength it is unlikely that he is too big for his britches. The vigilantes of the Eastern Mountain Province are facing a tricky trouble and are clearly understaffed or else they wouldn't have let me come to Cloud City alone. Feng Yu paused as he spoke. Of course, we can't rule out the possibility that it's a provincial night watchman, the type with a very esteemed status, who happened to travel to Cloud City. Vigilantes are all over the country, in every province, and are not in contact with each other. And when the other side uses a disguise, it's hard to tell if it's real or not for a short time. The second one is that he is from the Tianji sect, which has the ability to be unpredictable and has made all kinds of prophecies by deducing the heavenly chances, which is why he was able to tell that I am a night watchman. Fomu finished baring his mouth, of course this probability is even lower. Why? The superior across the room asked curiously. First of all deduce the sky itself is against the sky. The talent and then amazing people also need 30 years into the line, and small success of the youngest will have to be 60 years old up, and peeping through the sky will be heavenly jealousy. Every time the fortune telling will pay a heavy price, there is not a good end. Although there are amazing divine arts, it is difficult to flourish. There are not many heirs through the generations, and they have to hide in the deep mountains in seclusion, and try not to be tainted by mortal dust and karma. That person although he hides the original appearance, but can feel his vitality exuberant as a furnace, and in addition to fortune telling, there is also a blowing into ice killing means, at least a real person or a martial arts king can do. Whether it was deducing heavenly chances or blowing air into ice means, each of them took a lot of time to cultivate and being able to do one thing well was difficult. People's energy and time is limited, can master the same, can pressure peers. What about the last one? The tone of his superiors also became grave, not realizing that the situation was so complicated. The last kind is, he has enshrined an immortal, and a very fierce one at that. That's why he has both fortune telling and the means to blow up the cost of air, enough to be compared to a real person and a martial king. Feng Yu who finished speaking sighed in his tone became anxious, no matter how you say it. He is currently a friend. Hurry up and send a powerful character over. In case he is really an enemy, Cloud City is going to be in great trouble. On the other side Zhaoyi who walked out of the box, not intending to go back to the prison, took the elevator to the front desk on the first floor. Hello. Open a presidential suite. Qin Hong dared to set up a killing game for himself with Master Tigers, and did not have to think about leaving the funeral alive. By the time the only three-star hotel in Cloud City is its own property, and now stay as if it were an early inspection. Front desk at his bright gray professional suit narrow skirt, blue ultra short tight skirt with black stockings, looks very sweet young little sister. In the computer query the remaining room, very polite, said, presidential suite a day is $9,800, please sir to provide an ID card. Wait a minute. Jawi took out Tai's cell phone and typed in a string of numbers, and in no time a weak middle-aged male voice rang out from the opposite side, who are you? How did you get my private number? I'm an international expert invited by Master Tiger. Restricted by being officially wanted by Dashia, I don't have a place to stay for the time being, and Master Tiger said that I can look for you if I have any problems. Zhao Yi, who lowered his voice, used Tai's voice, and Qin Hong on the other side of the phone was stunned for a second, and his tone followed with seriousness. You are now. Where? Qin Hong, who was recuperating in the hospital, listened to the unfamiliar voice on the phone and knew that it was an expert invited by Master Tiger. 
so there was not much doubt in his mind. I was at the front desk of your hotel and she asked for my ID. Hearing what Zhao said, Xin Hong immediately said, Please pass your cell phone to the front desk. I'll just come and say it. Since it is Master Tiger invited international experts, etiquette certainly cannot fall. And so Zhao Yi will hand the phone to the front desk, repeatedly instructed to open the highest specifications of that room, and then send a few eyesight waiter 24 waiting. Never let the guests in front of them to give birth to dissatisfaction. Disconnect the call. The receptionist respectfully handed back the cell phone. A hint of scarlet in the round melon. Or the first time I encountered a guest who made the boss so solemn. Zhao Yi is guided by the suite receptionist to the highest floor of the hotel. The highest specification of a presidential suite, which is usually not open to ordinary customers. Only the boss or honored guests are eligible. The most striking feature is the huge floor-to-ceiling window, which takes up almost an entire wall, filling the interior with natural light and providing an unobstructed view of the city. As the suite receptionist was leaving, she put a blank piece of paper on the table with her contact information. Zhao merely glanced at it. A contemptuous smile appeared at the corner of his mouth, casually crumpled the white paper into a ball and threw it into the garbage can. My damned and charming charm. Zhao Yi knew that it would soon be the end of the month, and Master Tiger had already broken his back, to solve all of Cloud City's problems before the white masked envoy arrived. It certainly wouldn't be all about the bounty on the dark net, but whatever paths were being made, he had plenty of certainty that he'd be able to smash them. Feng Yi used Zhao Yi's method and had the magician record a video and send it to a group chat of over 50 people which really caused a furor. In the video magic is extremely injured, almost dying, but his credibility is much stronger than Tai's. Tai only hurt his arm, but magic almost even lost his life. The group knew how strong the magician was, and a shadow was cast over their eyes. Originally, he only wanted to come to Cloud City to get a piece of the pie. At the very least, he still had 100, 000 road fees, and if he couldn't do it, he would consider it as a trip. But now that he knew that he had also become a prey, he instantly became nonchalant, an expert who had heavily damaged a magician in a very short period of time. There was definitely no chance of them surviving if they went up against each other. Then it's time for the hypnotized killers to make their appearance, one after the other, chatting privately with the remaining unhypnotized killers, asking if they need to cooperate with each other to increase the probability of staying alive. They opened up the city to announce it, telling who they really were, in a very honest tone. Sure enough, immediately, there was a response with several assassins willing to cooperate, giving their approximate locations. Feng Yu notified Zhao Yi and the two of them traveled together. Zhao Yi increased the range of the Book of Life and Death to determine the specific location of that killer, and then let Feng Yu go over to hypnosis, and after success, let him send a message to the group to compel those who are still watching. Of course, not all of Feng Yu's hypnosis worked. Occasionally, a killer made an effort to break free before being blown into an ice sculpture with a breath of air by Zhao Yi, who was waiting outside. In less than two days, the killers of the group chat were hypnotized, creating an atmosphere of harmony and harmony, and the name of the group was changed to help each other get rich together, attracting many people who are not yet in the group. They come in and are chatted with in a friendly private chat, ask for the exact location, and then come to the door is the hypnosis service. Master, Feng Yu said excitedly, our army of hypnotized killers has exceeded 70. More than 70 people were hypnotized in two days, more than in the last 10 years. Keep up the good work. Zhao Yi's attention was elsewhere. Both the killers who had succeeded in hypnotizing, and those who had failed to hypnotize, a total of more than 80 cell phones were obtained. How to say are completed a few single killers. Remove the completion of the dark network of bounty missions. In the local are also a snake level characters. Operating a number of gray and black industry. Bank card money at least are a few million. All add up to actually more than 2 billion U. S. Dollars converted into the Chinese currency have broken tens of billions of dollars. Zhao Yi developed all of a sudden, became a $10 billion tycoon, couldn't help but sigh, any more profitable industry, not as fast as killing people to get rid of goods. For a while he was somewhat tempted to thank Master Tiger and Qin Hong, attracting over so many big fish with a billion dollars of bait. However, the transfer of assets is a considerable trouble, involving transfers across more than a dozen countries, as well as hundreds of fixed assets and the black and gray industry in which they operate. Zhao Yi left it to phone you to deal with. Master this business I'm familiar with. Give a bank card that can be used. Within 10 days guaranteed to arrive. Phone you patted his chest and took the job. Then said gruffly, I just got information from a hypnotized assassin that a third level mercenary group has arrived in Cloud City. There are about 8 or 9 of them. And the leader is still the butcher. Who is ranked 50th on the assassination list. International mercenary missions are strictly graded. In total, 
There are levels 1 through 7. Level 1 is the highest and level 7 is the lowest. Level 3 is also very, very powerful. Completed the single broken half a billion dollars. The leader of the butcher is even more ferocious. Serious mental problems. Launched madness without restraint. Once slaughtered a small town in Madagascar. Slaughtered nearly 800 innocent lives. With a strength no weaker than that of a Dechang martial master. Phone you helplessly spread his hands. I can't hypnotize the butcher. What do you think should be done? Where's the location? Chong Yang Sr. living in Old Town. Go ahead and check it out. Cloud City is divided into a total of four districts. The New City the old city, the development zone, and the suburbs. Each district is several times larger than the county, housing a population of 8 or 9 million people, and dominating several neighboring cities, which means that the provincial capital, Qizhou, can overshadow one another. Chengyang senior citizen residence has been built for 40 to 50 years, and all the elderly people in it are childless and widowed, and the geographical location is relatively remote, so there are usually few young people close to it. The two took the car to arrive at the Chongyang senior citizen's residence. To get off the car Jia Yi's expression suddenly changed. Gently sighed, we came late. Owed a person a favor. What? Mean? Feng Yu was in a daze. Not understanding what was happening. Jiao Yi didn't make an answer and just walked towards the Chongyang senior citizen's residence. After 40 to 50 years of weathering, the walls of the apartment have long been stained, exposing dull red bricks, and the tiles on the floor are covered with cracks. So from time to time you can hear coughing coming from inside. Wang Fuzhu stood right in the doorway of the apartment. His hands unloved and dripping blood. He recognized Zhao Yi in disguise. Mainly because he had worked together and was familiar with Zhao Yi's ancient and unperturbed temperament. Come in and take a look. I've got it all worked out. The apartment was piled up with the bodies of the mercenary group. The leading butcher even had his head smashed. Red and white brains splattered everywhere. Not even a complete body. How did you do it? Feng Yu looked at Wang Fuchu with a shocked face, but he knew that Butcher's combat strength was not weak to a De Chang martial master, and even when the psychosis attacked, the fight for his life was that a De Chang martial master would not dare to compete, he could see in front of him, although Wang Fuchu was also a great master of martial arts, but how to destroy all of them so easily, even a visible wound on his body could not be seen, could it be a half-step martial arts king that was hibernating in Cloud City? Iron Sand Palm is rigid and castless, but the backlash against the body is not small. Even if you practice it to great success, you will fall paralyzed in old age. Zhao Yi looked at Wang Fuzhu and pointed out the reason in one sentence. You know very well the disadvantages of the iron sand palm. Worshipped the Gu family and became a guest of honor. An elder Gu paid a lot of attention to you. Spending a lot of money to get a copy of the internal kung fu. Inner and outer. Yin and yang harmonization. Your own talent is truly extraordinary. All comparable to the founding ancestor. Right. The iron sand palm has truly flourished in your hands. The martial way itself progresses slowly. Ten or eight years of hard cultivation only produces a little result. If one specializes in the iron sand suit of kung fu, one might even have a chance to ask for the martial king. But even when practicing both internal and external kung fu at the same time, Wang Fuzhu still reached the level of a grandmaster martial artist, the benefit of which is that it is hard to meet an opponent at the same level. And using internal spitting to catalyze the iron sand palm, he crushed the grade three mercenary group that Butcher was a part of. Wang Fuzhu heard a long sigh and did not feel proud. The disadvantages are even more fatal. The martial master to martial king itself is separated by a heavenly rift. This is equivalent to doubling the difficulty for me. And it will be difficult to step into the martial king realm for life. A smile appeared on Zhao Yi's face as he said seriously word for word. I don't like owing favors. When you advance to half-step martial king, I'll come and help you become a true martial king. Wang Fuzhu was unable to remain calm. His expression changed drastically and he even made a big salute to Zhao Yi. If I can really be promoted to Martial King, I will be at your disposal from now on, provided that what I do does not fail the Gu family. The Gu family was really not mean to Wang Fuzhu, and devoted themselves wholeheartedly, poor in literature and rich in martial arts. Wang Fu cast practice iron sand palm expenses are great. Every month only medicine bath are millions of dollars. None of them are expensive and scary herbs, completely with money pile out. Without the full support of the Gu family, Wang Fuzhu would not have reached this level of success. Of course, Wang Fuzhu did not have any second thoughts, seriously fulfilling his duties as a bodyguard, with his internal and external dual cultivation of the great masters of martial arts. Even if he encountered a half-step martial arts king, he had the confidence to maneuver dozens of rounds, and I do not know how much trouble he helped the Gu family to shovel over the years. Wait until you've promoted to half-step martial king first. Zhao Yi calmly said that if Wang Fuzhuan couldn't reach a half-step martial king, he wouldn't help in advance. Martial King has exceeded the category of human beings, 
attracting the aura of heaven and earth into the body, and combining with the essence source of the original life to transform the true chi, it is already no different from cultivation, even stepping out of half a step is incomparably difficult, 1000 great masters of martial arts can only have one person to do it, although the butcher had been killed by Wang Fuzhu, he still came to the corpse and rummaged through 8 or 9 cell phones, tossing them to phone you next to him, transfer them to me piece by piece when the time comes, the third level mercenary group was indeed very rich, with total assets of 600 million dollars, all of which were cheap to Zhao Yi. After saying goodbye to Wang Fuzhu, Zhao Yi went back to the hotel. The latter two days hypnotized a dozen more killers, and although there were still some cautious ones that hadn't shown their heads, it was estimated that there weren't many more that had escaped the net, and the ones that had been attracted by the billion dollar bounty had almost all been wiped out. Just wait until the funeral is over and they've lost their value and can go to hell. Zhao Yi in the heart of those hypnotized killers, all left a very cold true chi. The heart can be detonated, but also to prevent a killer to break free from the hypnosis. It is considered to do a twofold insurance measures. When there was only one day left before the funeral, a billion dollar bounty on the dark web announced the target to be assassinated. Zhao Yi, Feng Yu stared at the photo of the fresh faced man and looked at Zhao Yi, who had transformed into Tai next to him, and asked in a puzzled manner, Grandmaster, have you heard of Zhao Yi? He thought that the person with the billion Chinese dollar bounty was either an important person in the system or the chairman of a listed group, but he never thought that it would be such a young man with no name. The publisher with the tiger avatar said that Zhao Yi will appear at Qin Yuan House funeral tomorrow, focusing on stating that the other party has fortune-telling means, and should be dedicated to an immortal, don't choose to close the assassination, and try to kill in one shot with a sniper rifle from a distance, cloud cities large and small, anyone with some fame, had received an invitation. How to say Qin Hong in the Cloud City is also counted as a number one figure. The vast majority of people will attend to participate, but also invited a number of local media coverage. Seems to be a death row inmate in prison. I heard he's very handsome. Zhao Yi faintly returned Feng Yu's sentence, his eyes glancing at the scenery outside the window. I'm going to make preparations as well. The 90 or so killers will be left to you to solve the unhypnotized killers on the day of the funeral. Feng Yu looked at Zhao Yi who walked out of the room, always feeling that something was not right. The characteristics stated by the publisher of the Tiger Avatar. It seemed like they all matched up with the master in front of him who had a mysterious origin. Crap. Realizing that he had discovered the truth, he followed up with a foul-mouthed outburst, noticing the outburst, and hurried to keep his mouth shut. Zhao summoned his crimson feathered wings and made a trip to Volsing Mountain, where amazing Dusty Z solemnly greeted him. After practicing orthodox gongfu for a few days, the wounds on amazing Dusty Z's body were gradually recovering and with the daily increase in the aura of the volcano mountain, his strength had improved considerably. You're here, Zen Master Zhao. The seed has yet to germinate. Nothing is wrong. White Sun and Black Obsidian smelled the scent and also ran over furiously, rubbing Zhao Yi's pants leg excitedly. They are undoubtedly dragons returning to the sea in Volsing Mountain, gnawing on that one mysterious beast bone all day long, and then quenching the blood with the Demon Emperor's heart method, and going to the surrounding mountains and forests to hunt when they are hungry and mutating in just a few days, almost to Zhao Yi's waist. Amazing Dusty Z's expression was complex and shocked as he said, True person Zhao, these two little beasts of yours are truly divine. I wonder if there's dragon's blood flowing in their bodies. He wasn't being complimentary, he was really feeling it. At first the two kittens, both of which hunted roe deer and other herbivores, yesterday were biting a 500 pound boar, and ate it all in just half a day. 500 pounds of wild boar are going to become essence, body wrapped in a thick layer of mud. Hunter's homemade earth cannon cannot shoot through, but by the two kittens in front of them to bite through, the hardest layer of the spine by the sharp claws split into two. Looking at Amazing Dusty for a while, he was afraid that if he was up against it, he wouldn't even be able to cast his spells in time, and he would become a dead soul under his claws. The two kittens knew that Jowie was up to something again and were excited to say that they could help. The funeral is just a piece of cake. Wait until the end of the month and there's a big battle. Jowie gently rubbed their brains. After all, Master Tiger was only a puppet of the Shangli organization. His status was still far inferior to the slain Kukui shadow who grew up. The envoy who was going to come to Cloud City at the end of the month was the dangerous one. But, neglecting the enemy is by no means Zhao Yi's style. Master Tiger can dominate Cloud City for five years. There must also be unveiled cards. In short, it is right not to be careless tomorrow. Retrieve the horseface Rakshasa and go back to the prison. A few days have not returned to the prison. The rooftop in Chi gathered a lot. Unified refining into true essence, one step further from the true spirit realm consummation. The next realm in the true spirit realm was the five viscera realm. Once it enters the five viscera, divine powers are born. 
opening up the enormous potential of the five viscera, the strength will increase dramatically, and those with amazing root bones will even have the probability of giving birth to an innate divine ability. Zhao Yi who had finished his cultivation went back to his room and sat on a chair to take a nap and rest, Li Botao ran over anxiously and apprehensively, knocking on the door and then getting an answer to push the door in. Mr. Zhao, you are finally back. Someone has offered a billion dollar bounty. Don't go out these days. He's also gotten word that there are a lot of international assassins coming, all killing people. What's it like to panic? Straighten your tongue before you speak, Zhao Yi said with incomparable composure. Just opening his mouth was like magic, always able to stabilize people. Looking at Li Tao to return to normal before saying, you go and prepare three wreaths for me. Tomorrow I will go to Qin Yuan House funeral before I go to participate in the Snow Spirit Pharmaceutical Cosmetics Company's product conference. I know, Li Tao, who ate a tranquilizing pill, turned puzzled and asked, obviously only one person died, why are you preparing three? You'll find out tomorrow. Zhaoyi didn't want to explain anymore and continued to close his eyes to rest. The next day Zhaoyi got up early in the morning and asked Li Tao to be his driver to drive him to the funeral, I've been preparing for this day for a long time. It's time to have a closure. Qin Yuan Hao's funeral was grand, decorated in classical western style, with hundreds of security hired to maintain order and a priest delivering the eulogy. Luxury cars filled the parking lot, each representing a guest's status and position. From classic Rolls Royces to modern Lamborghinis, the security guard in charge of opening the door was puzzled. Having watched the parking lot for five years, he hadn't encountered as many luxury cars combined as he had today. All the dignitaries of Cloud City came and sent a wreath of flowers to express their deep condolences. The melodious melody of the pipe organ, accompanied by a low chorus, creates a sad atmosphere. Guests find their seats and sit down, waiting for the funeral to take place. Jean Hong spent a lot of money, invited a number of media in Cloud City, many people who do not know, but also curious to come around to watch. The scene is very much people. Traffic jams for several minutes have not been unblocked. The goal is to create confusion and facilitate the killer's movements in a moment. At this time, Qin Hong was sitting in a wheelchair, pushed by a hot woman at the back. The injury still needs to be recuperated for a year and a half, and was talking and laughing with a few men of about the same age, wearing high-grade suits. This matter will be troublesome to all of you. Tomorrow I will set up a banquet in Han Yun Chitian to entertain you. A few people are big heads of cosmetics in Cloud City. Very unconcerned Qin Hong clinked his wine glass. We are all old friends for more than 10 years. Medicine and makeup sounds like a gimmick. One sentence can make him not live in Cloud City. I heard that today is the new product launch, so we'll go check it out later. Having operated in Cloud City for so many years and occupying 80% of the market share, it had the brash strength to say such things. The woman with the hot body is in an extremely good mood. She is Qin Yuan Hao's adopted Yin Jia from college, relying on betraying Zhu Guanxi this message, taking the opportunity to have sex with Qin Hong in the hospital, to be a little more secure then quickly found a few concubines, and carried out a dozen more software hardening works, and now to the physiological period did not come to the period, in all likelihood is pregnant, learned the good news of Qin Hong, immediately transferred a million dollars to her to support the birth of a child, middle-aged son is also considered a successor, if she could give birth to a son for Qin Hong, then she would be the boss lady of Hong Luck Chi Tian, Ying Jie suddenly felt that Qin Yuan Hao's death was quite good, and no one was competing for the family fortune, otherwise, with that dude's character, there was definitely no way to give birth to a child safely. A happy scene was quickly interrupted when a black commercial vehicle ignored security and drove into the middle of the funeral before stopping. Li Botao got off from the driver's seat, and many people recognized him, the warden of Cloud City Prison who took office two months ago. But isn't it too rude to forcefully intrude on a funeral? We know that there are senior officials among the people who came, and we have not seen such recklessness. Li Botao, who got out of the car? First carried down three reeds before he pushed open the door of the back seat and respectfully invited Zhao Yi down. The other people at the funeral also noticed, and their gazes went to Zhao Yi and Li Buotao, thinking that they were also guests who had come to mourn. Zhao Yi wore a type of sunglasses and walked towards Qin Hong with a smile on her face. Qin Hong saw the killing of his son's enemy to come, his eyes glared round at once, whimpering and gasping for breath, and his afterglow also glanced at the surrounding buildings, thinking of hurrying to appear a killer. A shot to this son of a bitch to death. However, even when Zhao Yi stepped forward, none of the expected scene happened. You, who is it? A cosmetic company's boss asked suspiciously, since he could let Li Butao be the driver. He thought his status must not be bad. What does it mean to send three wreaths for a dead person? Cloud City is very squeamish about these and considers them unlucky. Zhao Yi ignored the cosmetic company boss and stretched out an arm, lightly resting on the nervous Qin Hong's shoulder. You spent so much energy on making the bureau. 
and also set up the funeral near my company. Wasn't it just to lure me over? How? Now that I'm here, you're nervous instead? Chin Han's body tense. Eyes are terrified. One billion bounty inside. He also padded 400 million. As a result, even a little splash did not stir up. Are the killers are dead? What he doesn't know is that the killers are indeed all dead. Foam you ordered those hypnotized killers to patrol all the kilometers in a radius centered on the funeral since last night. Those leaky assassins were all dealt with, and it's impossible for them to appear to snipe Zhao Yi anymore. I'll tell you a little secret before I die. Zhao Yi looked at Qin Hong smilingly and said very loudly, the child in Yin Jie's stomach is not yours. That night after she left from the hospital, she looked for five or six more concubines just so that she could get pregnant as early as possible and be the mother of your dead son. Qin Hong's face changed drastically. A sharp pain shot through his heart, and he looked at Yin Jie angrily, but he didn't have the chance to question it anymore as Zhao Yi blew out a mouthful of cold air and killed Qin Hong in the same way. Yin Jie's expression became horrified as she watched the living people turn into corpses, letting out a shrill cry. Murder, 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 help, Timothy. Zhao Yi took another breath of cold air, making Yin Jie turn into an ice sculpture as well, and the scene was instantly much quieter before looking at a few cosmetic company bosses. Now you know why you need to send three wreaths right? The several bosses were too scared to squeak, lest they angered this murderous embryo and used demonic magic to freeze them into ice sculptures as well. Lived most of his life, the big waves have seen a lot, but in a public place in full view, in front of so many media, a sentence of nonsense or not much to say, directly out of the even killed two people, so lawless maniacs, it is really the first time to see, but in front of so many people, even killed Qin Hong and Yin Jie two people, surely someone has already called the police. The situation is very difficult to clean up. T.O. 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 As expected, a dozen or so police cars arrived later, and more than 40 loaded police officers came down and quickly surrounded the entire funeral. Director Chang Xiao in uniform, holding a loud hailer, followed by a few police officers, came step by step to the front of Zhao Yi and a few bosses, first glanced at the two corpses that were turned into ice sculptures, and then raised the loud hailer and shouted with a strong voice. Qin Hong and Yin Jie communicated with the foreign enemy letting Yun Chang fall into danger. The evidence is conclusive has been killed immediately. Finished looking around the circle of people, especially a few news media. The expression on his face became more and more serious. In a moment, everyone signed a confidentiality agreement. If they dare to spread false information to mislead the public. Consequences. A boss next to him, who was on good terms with Qin Hong, hesitantly opened his mouth as if he had something to say. Chang Xiao took two steps over to him and put a loudspeaker against his head. What do you have to say differently? Or are you involved with Qin Hong and want to come back to the police station with me to be investigated? The senior officials who came to attend the funeral were scared like little quails at the moment, cowering in the crowd for fear of suddenly being targeted by Chang Xiao. To be in the usual is just, not at all false Chang Xiao. But now Qin Hong is communicating with foreign enemies. Treasonous crimes, they are not known, but often go to Hong Yun Chi Tian dinner. Secretly some on the mutual benefit, not the gray transactions and now people's only son died, over to offer condolences reasonable. But, what is feared, comes to pass. Cheng Xiao obviously did not want to let them go. His eyes swept over the senior officials one by one. A cold smile hung on his face. I've remembered all the officials who came to offer condolences today. I hope you'll show an explanation as soon as possible. Otherwise if something goes wrong, don't blame Chang for not reminding you. Those senior officials blanched, knowing that their career in this life was over and coming to the funeral of a prisoner who communicated with a foreign enemy and committed treason would sooner or later be made a big deal of by their rivals. Finally Chang Xiao saluted towards Zhao Yi and turned to stride towards the crowd. He still had a lot of tasks to do, maintaining order on the scene and clearing the surrounding supervision. There were just too many people coming over and it was continuing to grow. There must be someone pushing behind the scenes. It was very easy to have a trampling incident. The whole scene is also happy Li Buotao. The officials saw five or six big fish. If they go down, they want to be able to sit on it would be cool. Zhao Yi turned back to look at the crowd like a tidal wave of people. Know what Qin Hong and Master Tiger is the meaning of the sea of people to influence their own use of the book of life and death to view. Came to have thousands of tens of thousands of people. Spare him a short time can not all ranked. However, Zhao Yi was not afraid. Showing that they really had no choice but to use this kind of earthly method. Zhao Yi catalyzed the book of life and death. Injecting a channel of true essence that covered the entire funeral. He had plenty of time to check one by one. That is, after two or three minutes, another Rolls Royce drove in, and the middle-aged man wearing a practice suit got off first, and then came down a woman with a white professional set of dresses, and the slender calves exposed under the knees revealed a thrilling beauty. Like a queen descending, 
she appeared in everyone's line of sight, occupying the absolute center of attention. Many men's mouths are going to flow out. Just such a pair of beautiful legs are enough to let them pinned all night. But that woman that raised her hands and feet, but filled with a kind of faint majesty, so that people do not dare to go forward to talk to. Gu Qingqing had taken full charge of the Gu family. The old master had announced his abdication, and at the end of the month, he would hold a ceremony for the inauguration of the family head. So naturally, he had the aura of a person who was in the upper echelons of the family. Wang Fuzhuang stood right next to Gu Qingqing, wearing a pair of clean white gloves, silent like a statue. A few Gu family juniors in the crowd, their hearts thumped when they saw Gu Qingqing appear, and just when they wanted to comfort themselves, they heard Gu Qingqing's icy voice, everyone from the Gu family, get out. A few Gu family juniors couldn't sit still, completely afraid to touch Gu Qingqing's mold, dragging their bodies out. Slap. After Gu Qingqing finished speaking, Wang Fuzhuang moved and slapped five slaps each. The force used was very precise, merely letting their faces swell into pig heads, or else their brains would have to crack. Go back to your family's ancestral shrine and face the wall for two and a half years. Gu Qingqing didn't care about their injuries, and set their punishment with a single word, before looking at Zhao Yi with a friendly smile. Let boss Zhao look at the joke. I was going to attend the product launch of your snow spirit medicine cosmetics, and only came over to take a look when I learned that a few juniors were disgracing themselves here. Several cosmetic company bosses looked at each other and saw shock in each other's eyes, but they knew who Gu Qingqing was? Just now, they were still saying loudly that a single word could make snow spirit medicine go out of business, and the man in front of them was actually the owner of snow spirit medicine, and he was also very close to the head of the Gu family? Forcing down a breath. The Gu family is the Gu family, and it's barely holding up. Before they could calm down the heavy news of the Gu family head's personal visit, a few more dark green jeeps with military license plates barged in, parked next to Li Buotao's business car, and stepped down to the young man in a straight military uniform, like a sheathed sword with a whip made of rhinoceros cowhide in his hand, attracting even more stares than Gu Qingqing. Even Chang Xiao came over and saluted the young man. Xin Zhongjian returned the salute, his voice resounding, Shen Mao came today for personal matters leading an elder over to attend the launch, and by the way, punish the juniors of the family who broke the rules. Director Chang Go also please go to preside over the work. The jeep's window came down, revealing an old man's face that returned Chang Zhao's smile. Chang Zhao's liver was trembling, his face reddened with excitement, recognizing who the old man was, Yen Chaozong, who had retired back to the mountains, and how he had also come down to participate in the product launch of Snow Spirit Pharmaceutical Cosmetics. Yen Chaozong is a celebrity of the Yunqing Police Department a national hero who participated in the war of self-defense and counterattack, and the portrait is still hanging in his office, declining the award of the post of general. One of the most respected people in Chang Zhao's heart, Xin Zhongjian told the Xin family juniors to roll out as well and stand in a row to kneel in turn, the Xin family's commandment whip that I took, aiding and abetting the persecution of the family's benefactors, and participating in the funeral of the person who rebelled against the enemy. I will receive a total of 25 commandment whips. Any objections? Xin family juniors did not dare to say a word, although some of them are older than Xin Zhongjian, but Xin Zhongjian is the only son of the contemporary head of the family. At the age of 16 he was sent to the army to sharpen his skills, and went to the battlefield a few times, and is a major at a young age, and may not not be able to seal the wolf in the future, and can only grit his teeth and answer. No objections. Yes. Xin Zhongjian let out a low drink. Now it is summer. Where are not much, and there is no need to take off the clothes. Move not at all water. The whip and the air are out of white marks. Twenty-five lashes each, and each of them fell to the ground and fainted. Take him to the hospital. He deserves to die. Xin Zhongjian didn't even look at the family juniors and just glanced at a few cosmetic company bosses. Several bosses subconsciously took a step backward, although not a single word was said. But that aura of killing, really not pampered they can stand. It's really over. Xin Zhongjian is wearing a military region uniform, holding a Xin family ring whip representing the Xin family and the military region at the same time, in front of the two huge giants, by no means can they check and balance, only obediently lying on their backs will not be destroyed, those who were present today were all famous in Yin Chang, all of them looked at Zhao Yi with curiosity, today they were really knowledgeable, it was simply inconceivable that the young man was so important that he could make the two major representatives of the Gu and Xin families attend the product launch of the Snow Spirit Pill Cosmetics, the identity of the person sitting in the jeep is even more uncomplicated, and there are not many people in the whole city who can make Cheng Xiao lose his temper like this. Zhao Yi's center of gravity is not here anymore. His body suddenly disappeared in place, running at full force almost faster than the speed of sound. And when he reappeared he had already appeared in the crowd, and smashed his fist into the short monk who was wearing a gray and tattered monk's clothes. 
and his head was covered with mange. Found you. The lighthead monk obviously did not anticipate that he would be suddenly discovered by Zhao Yi, and was caught off guard by being moved to use his arms to defend, while his chest emitted a faint Buddhist light, turning into a cover to bounce Zhao Yi off. However, Zhao Yi's fist which is easy to solve, the light yellow Buddha's light transformed into a Vajra cover, but also lasted three seconds on the broken. Lighthead monk also cannot withstand the impact, while spitting out blood while flying backward out. The crowd around them screamed and quickly cleared a clearing to prevent being hurt by the aftermath of the battle. How did you get? So strong? Climbing up from the ground lie head monk. Two arms are broken. Take out the chest of the hidden monk clothes. Has broken into several halves of the black bull. If it is not that I have a magic weapon. The critical moment of Buddha's light blessing. Or else you will be smashed to death by that punch. He could already be compared to a great master martial artist. And that black mantle was not a mortal object. Having been chanted by high priests day and night for decades. It was difficult for a half-step martial king to break through it and it was indeed smashed by a single punch. I'm really having a hard time understanding how you can exert so much power without having to communicate with the immortals, and since I'm also wearing a magic weapon that obscures the heavens, how on earth did you recognize my disguise? And, are you also wearing a magic weapon that obscures the sky? Why can't I see anything on you? Lighthead Monk knows that the person who wears the magic weapon that obscures the heavenly opportunity, there is a layer of gray mist hidden on the body, and the eyes glaring and bleeding cannot be seen. However, Zhao Yi is as clean as a pool of clear water, like a descending exiled immortal. Zhao Yi looked at the puzzled Lai head monk, knowing that he so-called can wear a magic weapon to cover the sky, by a dozen small broken bones strung bracelet, but in front of the book of life and death is completely inadequate to see, slightly fee a little true essence pierced, so you're the one who also made offerings to the immortals, as master tiger said, Lai head monk's expression changed slightly, under the grey monk's robes were all thick sores, blood mixed with green pus, extremely causing physiological discomfort, take people's money, take away people's disasters, today you will die, strike that, he began to chant a low, repeated incantation, and his aura shifted rapidly as he communicated with the upper body of the consecrated immortal, his eyes suddenly only the whites of his oozing eyes, and his skin rapidly grew fine black hairs, but stained with fishy mucus that clung to the surface of his skin, even the face was changing, the nose bone was high and protruding, the check ears and forehead and skull were wide, the fangs were born outward, and the two white eyebrows were hanging down to the waistline, living like an ape. It was also the first time for Zhao Yi to meet the people who actually made offerings to the immortals, and this type of person was also called an immortal child, meaning that they served the immortals in their living and living, normal fairy children communicating with immortals, certainly not as horrible as the Lai head monk, mainly because they perceived that Zhao Yi was too scary, and directly used the most powerful to invite immortals to their bodies, once to consume 20 years of life. I thought it was some kind of immortal, but it turned out to be an old ape. Zhao Yi let out a snort, not putting it in his eyes at all. What is an immortal? However, it is a person who has a high level of Taoism in his life, and his soul is so powerful that it affects reality, and after death, he remains immortal in the world, and is then sustained by a special dharma, but as the days go by, it still doesn't work. The dead are not dispersed would have been contrary to the laws of heaven. Day and night by the rules of the great Tao washed, the mind will gradually become muddled and there are two choices, or from the living body to suck the young chi, or open a temple to enjoy the incense. The number of people who open a temple to enjoy the incense is very small, and there are not many of them from ancient times to the present day, so sucking young chi from the living is the choice of most people. The two parties enter into an unequal pact to suck the young energy of the worshippers as a lure to give them power for a living. Of course not everyone can be a fairy child. Offerings to the immortals need to bear great karma, and you must be hard enough in your eight characters or you will die horizontally if you don't live for more than three days. The mangy-headed monk is no slouch either. A few years ago a township ruffian, who raped a widow who lost her husband, went up to the Peach Blossom Monastery to avoid jail time, and shaved his head to become a monk of the lowest order. Afterwards, when he was about to be driven down from the Peach Blossom Temple for cheating, he was chosen by the old ape to become a fairy boy. Every time the lie head monk used his immortal power, an abscess would grow on his body, and when he had an attack, his hands constantly scratched and clawed at his body, creating a shocking trail that was even more painful than the most brutal lynching. Where did that brat come from? Talking so unruly, the lie head monk was a completely different person, and his voice was thick and raspy, occasionally emitting a few animal sounds. Zhao Yi's smile did not diminish, and told its origin, but it's just an old ape from the Peach Blossom Temple, listening to the scriptures day and night to open his mind, and cultivating hard for a hundred years to become a climate, but no more than an animal. Tai. Zhao Yi's few light words were like touching the most sensitive strings in the old ape's heart, and his eyes instantly became crimson, 
as if they were two burning flames, with berserk rage surging madly in them. I have lived in the Peach Blossom Temple for hundreds of years. During my lifetime, those vultures see me all perform a great salute, daily sitting with Abbot Yun Hai and discussing Zen, but it is by you, a brat, a mouth a beast, today it is necessary to kill you, immortal upper body lie head monk, originally close to the skin of the hair, as if a steel needle instantly popped up, tilted his head and roared to the heavens, echoed back and forth throughout the funeral, thousands of tens of thousands of people are paralyzed, phone you also came, but he couldn't help, the current lie head monk, already had the strength of a martial king, beyond the scope of human confrontation, going up is purely looking for death, what is ironic is that the old ape, who had refined the Buddha's light in his life, was full of grievances after his death, with his entire body entwined with a black aura that was going to corrode Zhaoyi into a puddle of slime, still don't communicate with your immortal, so that I can see what kind of beast it is that has actually tuned you up, you're not good enough, Zhaoyi also got serious, frost appeared wherever he passed, a palm slammed out, containing the true essence of the underworld emperor technique, the air temperature plummeted to sub-zero, and the invisible ebony fury was frozen, the old ape's pupils shrunk slightly as it hurriedly exploded backward, but Zhaoyi quickly closed in and slapped out palm after palm, imprinting on its body, and wherever it touched it instantly froze, and its figure was greatly affected, Chang Xiao brought the police frantically to maintain order, try to let the public lean back, the battle has long been subverted perception, many people took out their cell phones and frantically photographed, roar, painful old ape wailed miserably, completely not a rival, if not cultivated Vudra unbreakable divine power, would have been frozen into an ice sculpture, but still freezing all over the body trembling, it urged its entire body to activate the string of bone bracelets it was wearing, the blackish baleful energy was going to turn into substance, quickly enlarging into a rope and tying Zhaoyi up, hurry up and come out to help me, or else we'll all die together, as its words fell, another hunched figure sprang out of the crowd, holding a blood-colored nail in its right hand, swooping in from behind to stab Zhaoyi in the brain, Zhaoyi turned around violently and looked at the hunched figure, blowing lightly at the bone bracelet, which instantly turned into pieces, revealing snow white teeth, finally willing to show yourself, master tiger hiding behind the curtain, I'd been waiting for you for a long time, the hunched figure was hidden underneath a wide cloth coat, and Zhao Yi's eyes shot out invisible golden light to see the true appearance inside, much different from the image Zhao Yi had brainstormed, master tiger was only about 30 years old, and strangely there was not a single hair on his entire body, the brain was so bare that it could reflect light, there was no trace of hair, the fine sweat and armpit hair had disappeared, and the skin of the lower half of the body was close to the bone, there was not a single drop of blood under the skin, and it looked like a taut drum skin, this extreme thinness that, extreme thinness makes his face very seem to be emaciated, looks like the body is also unusually thin, a gust of wind can blow down like, wrapped in a layer of white cotton cloth, the whole person threw a kind of bizarre atmosphere, living off a western mummy, Feng Yu and Wang Fuzhu were both greatly shocked, and were able to tell that the mysterious figure that suddenly appeared was emitting an aura that was no weaker than that of a martial king, what exactly is he practicing, what kind of evil power, why does it look so bizarre, the usually godly martial kings, two of which had appeared at once today, had joined the crowd evacuation efforts, otherwise too many people would have suffered, the earth was strewn with deep cracks, difficult to destroy with a forklift, but it was the wind of the old ape's fist that did it, a few cosmetic bosses who hid in safe positions were even thinking in their hearts that Zhaoyi would hurry up and die, otherwise with him supporting snow spirit pill cosmetics, they would all have to follow behind the but as little brothers, the old ape that got on the body of the lie head monk let out a long whistle and hurriedly tried to find a way to use the soul destroying nail, this kid is evil as hell, up to now he didn't communicate with the immortal, did he offer to be an immortal who has already passed to the gods, it's just too creepy to feel the crisis of death. The rigid physical body that practiced the Vajra unbreakable sacrifice in his lifetime, which bullets couldn't even hurt, the dozen of relics left behind after the cremation, and then the magic weapons that were personally sacrificed by several senior monks, actually trapped Zhao Yi for only one second? He was invited here by Master Tiger, saying that he had found a very weak immortal, and that if he could devour it, his soul power would surely go to the next level. As a result, the mere fairy child is going to kill it. You actually pushed me this far. Master Tiger did not care about the furious old ape, opened his mouth as a familiar raspy sound, the tongue in the mouth also dried up, the teeth are all off, speak up the words is very difficult, eyes red staring at Zhaoyi said, can you know, I paid, how big a price, Zhaoyi nodded his head flatly, and through the book of life and death, he had completely seen through Master Tiger, Wang Xiaohu, 32 years old, originally a worker in the coal mine, jealous of the team leader's salary is higher than yours, 
dunked white wine and then plotted to kill, threw the body to the bottom of the coal mine, didn't think of it or exposed to be wanted, afraid to pay for their lives on the road to escape. At the point of desperation, the white masked envoy found you, injected the poison to become a member of the Sagittarius organization, and having made several outstanding contributions over the years, was rewarded with a complete human skin containing an ancient technique that, when cultivated to the highest level, can lead to immortality. Ecstatic, you begin to practice, only to realize, to your horror, that this is going to eat you step by step. Next to Feng Yu and Wang Fuzhu face shocked, Dasha's art cultivation is a disadvantage, but how will not be evil to, to become stronger by eating themselves? Master Tiger nodded approvingly. The ancient technique recorded on the human skin had no name and was also very badly mutilated, with only the first two realms, but each realm reached could gain strange powers. The first realm is called the barren hair. Need to take down all the hair of the body. Even the nose hairs cannot be spared, swallowed and digested. Unlimited strength can be a thousand kilograms, running up more like the wind. Encountered the small into the martial arts masters do not lose the upper hand. The second realm is called blood drinking, which requires the blood to be released before it is ignited with the secret method recorded on the human skin, and quickly and painfully drunk while it burns. The hot blood burns the mouth and throat, and every organ from the stomach to the intestines suffers indescribable pain making speech incredibly hoarse. When the blood-drinking realm becomes a great success, the body no longer has a drop of blood, dry like a mummy in the West, but the combat power can be compared to the martial king, pulling the heaven and earth aura into their own use, and the body's self-healing ability has increased dramatically. Master Tiger spent five years, swallowed the hair of the whole body, cultivated to the great success of the desolate hair realm, fell into the struggle of the self, drinking all their blood, that is still a normal person has not been put into action, as Jowie gradually lost control, he had no choice but to harden his head and cultivate downwards, but the severity of the situation is far more than expected, the four beloved three dead and one injured, with the envoy Lin Yun city will be close, the tiger master can only exhaust the life expectancy, to shorten the time in which, the blood drinking realm, which took decades to achieve great success, was completed in just a few days, the current tiger master only had a few months of life left, and now he couldn't wait to crack Jiaoyi and drink his blood painfully as well. You two come in one piece. Jiaoyi was at the late stage of the true spirit realm, which was equivalent to a martial king and a real person both being at a high level of maturity. And when he came across two martial kings who were barely considered to be at a low level of maturity, he was able to hang back and forth with one hand. If I hadn't kept the apes and monkeys to fish Master Tiger out, I would have grilled them with the true spirit and tasted what the monkey brain tasted like. He erupted his true strength. His right fist containing the power of opening mountains struck out violently. The air resounded with sharp sonic booms, as if it was the roar of a heavenly god. The air all seemed to be torn apart, forming a ripple that was visible to the naked eye, and without any doubt, it smashed into the face of the Tiger Master. The magic weapon in Master Tiger's hand was the soul destruction nail, and as long as it was nailed to the brain, the soul would instantly go up in smoke. No use of true essence, purely strong physical body, to the old ape looked dumbfounded dam or a horizontal training martial arts king, his offerings will not be the great sage of Qi Tian, how to go against the heavens to such a degree, Wang Fuzhu and Feng Yu also looked confused, if they were smashed, they would definitely be exploded into pieces, even they were moving back, the joke would be on them if they were inadvertently dragged into the fight, the places they passed through looked like they had been ravaged by a catastrophe, and the reinforced concrete floors, which were more fragile than tofu dregs, were blasted out into one big crater after another, Martial kings themselves were few and far between, and battles were even rarer. Vigilantes issued a decree ten years ago. Martial king and real level masters may not break out in public armed combat, where the battle is to be about to a rare place, such as the outbreak of the city, in recent decades have not happened a few cases. It can only be said that it is too rare. To their level, they all aim to pursue a higher realm. Without life and death feuds will not make a move. Phone you also only just remembered. Horizontal hard work is also a branch of martial arts more demanding on the practitioner, 10 years is one day hammering the physical body, 90% have not yet been practiced, the first to play with their own waist, to the big chang is like a copper wall, let the bullets shelling is difficult to hurt the slightest, the old ape was cultivated in the peach blossom temple's vajra invulnerability kung fu, but the distance from the big difference is far, master tiger was blasted out hundreds of meters and embedded deeply into the concrete wall of an office building, but the scene of exploding into bloody mud didn't happen, he was as if he was made of rubber, and his severely deformed brain was recovering at a speed visible to the naked eye, breaking his neck to make it recover, with a bizarre smile on his face. After practicing the technique recorded on the human skin, 
It is very difficult for my physical body to be shattered. But your punch really hurt. Almost had me literally falling apart. Zhao Yi also laughed. Since he couldn't die from one punch, he would try a few more times. Zhao Yi attacked as fiercely as a raging wind and rain, slamming punch after punch at Master Tiger. He wanted to see how much time the so-called immortal body could last. Each punch was as swift and unusual as the first, and the air around him was severely deformed. The earth was trembling slightly under the monstrous force, as if it was expressing a plea for mercy, and it would not be too much to describe the funeral scene as a mess, with nothing but big pits and deep scars. Va! The onlookers were deeply shocked by this scene, dumbfounded as they watched Zhao Yi attack. Their hearts had been filled with fear and awe, the ones who were weak in guts wanted to worship. It was not a human power at all. It was simply like a god manifesting himself. The biggest shock is still Shen Zhongjin. At first he wanted Zhao Yi to come to the military region. Let the instructor to explore where the bottom. Now think about it and feel ashamed. Damn not to mention let a few instructors to come. Even let the special brigade armed together. Nine times out of ten will not last more than a minute. But immediately followed by the outburst of respectful gazes. If they could let Zhao Yi be their instructor and train for a few months or half a year. They would definitely get a good result at the end of the year's all army martial arts competition. Ghost ape do it. Master Tiger was truly stunned. He could feel the self-healing ability reaching its limit. And his physical body was really going to collapse completely. The old ape that got on the body of the Lai head monk also forced to be anxious. The hands that are full of black hairs were put together. The violent face even strangely appeared to be Buddhist. Reciting complicated scriptures. A swastika that is dyed with bloodlight flew out from the mouth. And Zhao Yi's attack was really slowed down. What he read was a Buddhist technique from the Peach Blossom Temple. Specializing in attacking the souls of living beings. Ordinary people hear instant annihilation of the soul. Consuming a year of yang life every 10 seconds. But it only made Zhao Yi a little dizzy. The old ape itself is the soul body. Pay a heavier price? Lie head monk first to be finished. As the immortal child to bear the karma is greater. The consumption of yang life to be multiplied by another 5 times. It itself will be a sharp reduction of 2 thirds of the strength. Not to draw a few hundred years of yang life to recover. Does he have a spell to protect his soul? The old ape felt that Zhao Yi was too rogue. Damn it was a villain who pretended to be a pig eating a tiger. Was he practicing from his mother's womb? And he could battle the two without using the power of the immortals. The possessed Lai head monk was aging rapidly. The surface skin gradually lost its elasticity and became loose and rough. Wrinkles spread across his face like furrows. His hair became pale and sparse, like dry grass in the fall, exuding an air of decay. Now he could only rely on Master Tiger and use this precious opportunity to kill Zhao Yi with the soul-destroying nail. Master Tiger let out a bellowing cry and clutched the soul-destroying nail with both hands taking advantage of Zhao Yi's influence to poke through his soul with a single blow. When the two were only a few meters away from each other, a several meters high, old and bizarrely black as ink hand suddenly reached out from the ground without warning, covered with age-old ancient armor, and clutched Master Tiger at once. Master Tiger's face instantly became horrified as he tried to break free from the large hand, but it all clutched him as tightly as an iron hoop, and one could even hear the bones popping under the pressure. Attacked by the old ape Zhao Yi, his face Woody returned to normal. The corner of his mouth hooked up a triumphant smile. The soul that was blessed by the golden flame of the true spirit was not affected at all. Just the right fist has been storing power. Waiting for the tiger master to send himself to the door. His eyes became sharp and cold. And master tiger was smashed by another infinitely stiff punch. His body finally reached its tolerance limit and exploded like a balloon. The scene of blood and flesh flying all over the sky is still not found. Master tiger's body is actually like quicksand. Turned into countless tiny gray gravel before landing by Zhao Yi as much as possible to collect, thinking of nothing to take out to study. It's the first time I've seen that a body that turns to sand after death is designated as something special. Seeing the tiger master dead, the old ape is also ready to slip away, to exit the lie head monk body. The mood is worse than eating a turd, but also have to bother to try their best to choose a fairy child. How could Zhao Yi give it a chance? A few steps stepped out in front of the lie head monk and reached out to break the lie head monk's neck. Then he was about to strip the old ape from his body. How dare the harlot. The old ape's real body was an ape. But wearing a red robe that carried a Buddhist nature along with a fury. And was angrily rebuking Zhao Yi for being so bold as to actually think of making a move against it. If you really want to forcefully leave me behind. The Peach Blossom Monastery won't let you off the hook. A mere remnant of a soul. How dare you speak so loudly. Zhao Yi coveted the old ape for a long time. If he could devour it. It would be a great tonic for the soul. And he might be able to use it to breed a divine sense. Divine sense is only above the five viscera realm, shaping the divine fetus to open the ability, all standing within the range of divine sense. No matter how profound hiding techniques are all invalid, wherever divine sense reaches, 
No eyes or ears are needed to perceive everything. Strong divine sense could also harness weapons to achieve the effect of killing people with imperial swords. It can even become a means of attack, so that even the hardest armor is useless, and it can sweep through tens of thousands of troops with a single thought. If the Gung Jin Shi acted on the physical body, then the divine sense acted on the soul. Jiaoyi first rubbed the old ape residual soul continuously, turning it into a fist-sized irregular sphere to prevent escape then I sealed it, allowing Li Buotao to bring over a school bag, packed it inside then carried it. The battle was over. The curtain had fallen perfectly, and Jiaoyi was retiring, putting away that soul-destroying nail of Master Tiger, which is also a good magic weapon. He exchanged a glance with Cheng Xiao, and after such a big incident, he definitely could not participate in the conference anymore. The trouble caused today is already so much that Cheng Xiao will have to wipe his ass until his hands cramp up, although every effort had been made not to injure the innocent. There were still many people who were not afraid of death, who defied the police and came close to get a clear video, and as a result, they were seriously injured by the aftermath of the crash and had to be taken to the hospital for emergency treatment. He summoned his crimson feathered wings and flew away from the scene, destined for Mount Voltron. It's clean and undisturbed there, suitable for refining. Amazing Dusty didn't expect Zhao Yi to come back so quickly, and thought that something had happened. Zenith Zhao, did something happen? We're running away now? The two kittens also leaned over full of concern, and Zhao Yi gave them a reassuring expression before looking at Amazing Dusty again. Roll aside, gotta go. Looking at Amazing Dusty who really rolled to one side, Zhao Yi also didn't have a general understanding with him, and took out that ice ball from his backpack. Amazing Dusty also curiously leaned over, scared and surveyed and said, good guy. Such a big ice ball, Zhao Xinren, don't you freeze your hands? Seeing the killing intent under Zhao Yi's eyes, Amazing Dusty was truly flustered and immediately covered his mouth tightly, signaling that he would not speak again. How dare the harlot! The old ape that was sealed in the ice ball was very violent. Zhao Yi unlocked the ice ball and was going to refine it to prevent things from changing, and did not want to delay for a moment. Souls do not perish after death, and immortals that can be consecrated have strong soul power, making it a tenfold tonic pill for Zhao Yi. Looking at Zhao Yi, the old ape really panicked. His tone instantly softened, there are words to discuss. We are not a deadly enemy. Really can't I be your subordinates? There is no need to kill everyone, right? The old ape is really flustered. Face violence scattered. Very flattering said, I stayed in the Peach Blossom Temple for hundreds of years. The hidden scriptures of hundreds of Kung Fu backward. As long as you're willing to let go of me, all can be taught to you. Next to him, Amazing Dusty reacted even more slowly. But he also recognized the old ape's origin. It's actually that white-browed old ape from the Peach Blossom Temple. Didn't he pass away 70 years ago? White-browed old ape's life is very rippling. Was an ape in the Peach Blossom Temple. Every day listening to the last abbot preaching scripture. Under the influence of the ears and eyes actually opened the mind. And then was accepted as the seat of the next disciple. And gradually be able to recite the scriptures and talk about Zen. Reading the cabinet of tens of thousands of volumes of scriptures. And embarked on the road of cultivation. Amazing Dusty remembered clearly. Rumor has it that the white-browed old ape is already a martial king perfection, shedding his bones even further, initially sensing the great Tao of heaven and earth, with his soul interfering with the outside world's matter, and just one step away from being a supreme expert of the martial saint realm. Above the martial king was the martial sage, the supreme expert who had transcended into sainthood. Martial saint in the secular status than the king of the martial arts more respected a hundred times, placed in the ancient dynasty is also a superclass sect master. Life expectancy of up to 300 years. In the army is to lead the army hundreds of thousands of great generals. Legend has it that it can subdue all evils and demons, which is the highest achievement of the martial arts lineage. Wen Zhong, the master of the world society before the founding of the country, is a genuine and old-fashioned martial arts saint. On the eve of the founding of the country, they tried to dominate the central plains and took over several provinces to make themselves king. But the country invited a strong man from Mount Tai to expel both Wen Zhong and the world society. Then that powerful man who came out of Tarzan single-handedly created the current vigilante division. The white-browed old ape also accomplished great feats, just one step short of becoming a martial saint. And after his death, his soul did not perish, and he was transformed into an immortal. And in order to be able to live on, he committed quite a lot of sins, and now he has fallen into my hands. Zhaoyi let out a cold laugh. It's better to keep the Peach Blossom Temple's gongfu for yourself and wait for the afterlife to practice it. The white-browed old ape's residual soul after death is not one of the ten. Can also play out the strength of the small into the martial king? Otherwise really want to be able to burst out of the peak state. Zhaoyi also want to avoid the front for the time being. There was a deviation between the Dasha martial way and Zhaoyi's cultivation from the martial saint. True spirit realm is equivalent to the martial king. 
and then above the martial saint flesh body development to the extreme, focusing on mining the soul potential, equivalent to the last of the transformation stage of the divine fetus realm, and Zhao Yi which is still spaced out by a five viscera realmet. The five viscera are still the development of the physical body, which is superior compared to the Dasha martial arts. Zhao Yi urged the golden flames to melt the white-browed old ape, turning it into the most original soul power to use to strengthen his own soul. A golden flame leaped in his palm, hot and bright bright to unseeable. Soul state of the white-browed old ape appeared, eyes flashing with the ferocious light of resentment, really really want a fish death net break? Does it really think that ordinary flames can hurt my soul body? Zhao Yi ignored the white-browed old ape and casually threw it into the flames. The next second the white-browed old ape let out a wail. His soul body crackled and popped like butter was rapidly melting away. I used to be the town temple Vudra under the seat of the Peach Blossom Temple. And Abbot Yunhai is about to be promoted to a Rowan. Are you sure you can afford to pay the price? It collapsed and roared. Its threatening words whistling out like a gale. Shaking the surrounding mountains. Amazing Dusty Z all looked stunned. Zhao Xinrin was even more ruthless than he thought. He was actually refining the white-browed old ape. The word would have to get out and make the Peach Blossom Temple shake. The Peach Blossom Temple is aiding and abetting the evil, letting you beasts scourge the earth. I don't believe they don't know. If they dare to come over to settle the score, I'll definitely hit up the Peach Blossom Temple. Zhao Yi increased the injection of true essence. The golden flame burned more vigorously, and was likewise nourished by soul power, complete with the formation of a furnace, and the realm went from. White Eyebrow can only send out the most humble wail, voice full of despair and helplessness. Trapped in the furnace cannot play the slightest power, even the least cannot be done to self-detonation, and ultimately be refined under the gradually become pure. It transformed into a strand of the purest soul power, and was swallowed by Zhao Yi with his mouth open. Gather divine recognition today. Zhao Yi crossed his knees with his legs and swallowed the soul power of the white-browed old ape, then used a special method to grow his soul. Divine sense is similar to spiritual power, but it is a thousand times more effective. If spiritual power was compared to cotton thread, then divine thoughts were steel bars, and the difference was even greater than the difference between true qi and true essence. The hypnosis technique that Feng Yu practiced used spiritual power, and if he could condense his divine sense, he could hypnotize hundreds or thousands of people in an instant. To really be able to use this to breed a divine sense, Zhao Yi would also have to cultivate a soul-related art, and at the moment, his spirit was highly concentrated, and after swallowing the soul power of the white-browed old ape, his soul instantly grew by more than ten times. The invisible fluctuations were like tsunami fluctuations, centering on Zhao Yi and shaking everything around him away. It was similarly nourished by soul power, complete with the formation of a melting pot, and the realm had broken through from late to complete. The next step being the five viscera realm. Amazing Dusty, who was eating melon, couldn't react at all, bumping into a tea tree and wobbling to his feet. The two kittens had long been used to it, so they ran to a safe position before Zhao Yi melted. And when they saw Amazing Dusty fall, they actually let out a human-like cackle. It's really done. Zhao closed his eyes and uttered these words. His divine sense covered two to three kilometers in a radius. The grass and trees within the cage. The sound of the bees winging as they were diligently collecting honey. And even the wind blowing towards and the sound of the carp spitting bubbles in the stream. All of them could not escape his senses. The divine sense that could only be birthed at the divine fetus realm. Zhao had it at the true spirit realm. Moreover, divine sense could also foresee danger making it difficult to react first, and it would be hard to be sniped within two or three kilometers. More importantly, I have obtained the entirety of the white-browed old ape, and I have learned all of the techniques he practiced. Zhao Yi's tone is very excited. The white-browed old ape always lived 200 years old, dabbling in Shaolin 15 or 16 kinds of kung fu. Although they are all shallow, the most specialized when it comes to the Vajra unbreakable divine power, and then it is the scriptures that specialize in attacking the soul. The key is that there is no need to learn. It's the equivalent of getting it for nothing. It was not easy to calm down his excitement. Zhao Yi wanted to use his divine sense to catalyze the book of life and death. And whether there was any difference from when he was a soul, the divine sense had just catalyzed the book of life and death. Zhao Yi stood on the top of Volsung Mountain and looked towards the bustling Cloud City. But his expression changed drastically. He actually saw the future of Cloud City. Cloud City, a bustling and noisy metropolis that asked for a first-tier city, was in Zhao Yi's eyes but it was already completely different. Towering skyscrapers, only broken walls remain, broken glass in the sun, glittering with a bleak light, once bustling streets, now just a dead silence, the air filled with the smell of decay, corpses were strewn among the ruins, and the Voltron Mountain, which was recovering at its feet, could see no trace of the dragon vein, and had become a barren mountain of nothing again. Zhao Yi's face turned white, and he muttered incredulously, what in the world? 
has happened in Cloud City, happened? Jiaoyi instantly stopped urging the Book of Life and Death, and in just a second, all of his true essence was used up, and his soul power was also depleted to the extreme. After his spiritual power metamorphosed into divine sense, Jiaoyi unlocked another function of the Book of Life and Death. The scope of viewing was not limited to people, and he was even able to know the future of a city. But viewing the future of a city was still too much of a stretch for the current Jiaoyi. He hurriedly crossed his knees with his legs and recovered his depleted true essence. White Sun and Black Obsidian crouched right next to each other, their eyes staring around vigilantly, not even allowing Amazing Dusty to get close to them, lighting up sharp claws that were strong enough to cleave through boulders, and as long as Amazing Dusty dared to get close to them, they would instantly bite him into pieces. It was only after about half an hour that Jowie regained some of his energy, and a look of fear appeared on his face. It's really too risky. Jowie sent out a whisper in his heart. The resident population of Cloud City is 8 or 9 million. Just now he also just saw a corner, equivalent to checking dozens of millions of people at the same time. If he looks at it for more than a few seconds he is going to be drained. But, under the misfortune, Jowie saw the future of the Cloud City, the darkest corner, like just after the disaster ravaged. 8 or 9 million people tend not survive. It's not quite an earthquake type of disaster. The dragon vein of Volsing Mountain is all gone. Jowie rubbed his chin, his mood heavy for a long time. He closed his eyes again and floated the image he had just seen, trying to get the key point out of it. A frame walks in front of Jowie. Until the time of watching the seventh time, Jowie only from a high-rise rooftop, saw a familiar and unfamiliar figure. The killing intent in his eyes instantly rose, the special envoy of the Shangli organization. Jowie saw several mysterious people wearing white masks, overlooking the ruins with emotionless eyes, and in the center there was an old man sitting in a wheelchair, having lost both his hands and feet, his whole body wrapped in a layer of white cloth. The dragon vein of Volsing Mountain must have also allowed them, without knowing what secret method they used, to successfully take it away. It shouldn't be much longer, not many days from the end of the month, the envoy wearing a white mask will come, now injected with toxic agents. The only one left in Cloud City is Lu Lao Crooked. As long as it is closely monitored, it will be able to be the first to know when the envoy will come. The Ayagi organization has done many evil things, so you can't succeed in your schemes. Unfortunately one second is too little to look at to be specific about exactly what day it is, or else a response could be made. Zhao Yi was about to leave Volsing Mountain. The aura was ultimately too low. It would take at least a few days to recover. It would be better to go back to the prison first. When he suddenly heard a faint call, and Woody turned back to look at the place where the seeds were planted, walking over and crouching down, are you calling for me? He had never heard it before, and after conceiving divine sense, his sensitivity had become dozens of times stronger, and he was able to perceive extremely faint sounds, how also did not expect, this one mysterious seed, actually can send out a call sound, just got the seed, but used the book of life and death to check the origin, but unfortunately did not see anything, now that the divine sense has been birthed, even the future of the city can be seen, and when it returns to the prison to recover its true essence, it will have to come back to see what is coming. It took a while for the seed beneath the dirt to give a response, to acknowledge that it was calling, and then another 10 minutes passed before it had saved enough strength to say, Want, want, sand, sun. Jowi removed his backpack, which was filled with the grayish white sand that was transformed into after Master Tiger's death. You want this? Amazing Dusty, who was limping, walked over with great effort looked at Zhao Yi who was crouching on the ground, and muttered in a very low voice, it's finished, Zenith Zhao has a brain problem, and he even talked to the seeds, Zhao Yi, who had turned back, backhanded a slap and gave another shock to fly out a few dozen meters, he found that amazing Dusty's 100 pounds of weight and 99 pounds of backbones, after getting acquainted, became more and more fond of repeatedly jumping sideways on the edge of death, Seed was struggling to give a response, and it had to be another 5 or 6 minutes before he grunted back a, want, Want. I can't believe you want this thing. Zhao Yi's heart was puzzled, but he still took off his backpack and poured out the grayish white sand and covered it on top of the seeds buried under the land. Not expecting that Master Tiger could still make a contribution after his death, the ashes became fertilizer. Thanks. Thanks. The seeds that had been moisturized responded much faster, and it was estimated that it wouldn't take long for them to break through the ground and sprout. Zhao Yi, who had returned to the prison, Recovered his true chi on the rooftop while taking out his cell phone to send a message to Su Yunshang, asking how far the conference had gone. Su Yunshang quickly gave a reply. The product launch was far more than expected hot. As of now, sales broke 300 million. Many large companies have given orders. Queuing up to two months later do not mind. In particular, the bosses of several major cosmetic companies, almost in a knee-jerk manner, said that if they encountered any difficulties, 
they could approach them for help. She got the benefits on her first day as a spokesperson for the product, countless times faster than practicing on her own. Jowie was also aware that the owner of the cosmetics company was also scared out of his wits and was afraid of getting into trouble by him. In full view of the public, he even beheaded Qin Hong and Yin Jia, and demonstrated strength beyond normal people, and he didn't go limp with fear. His mental quality was already very good. In the meantime, other side, a temple nestled in the verdant foothills of the mountains, blending in with its natural surroundings, with a simple, elegant and dignified appearance. Tall wooden pillars supporting white eaves and a roof covered with dark-colored glazed tiles. At the entrance were two heavy wooden doors, beautifully carved with Buddhist designs, revealing a sacredness and solemnity, and on the lintel were plaques inlaid with gold edges, atmospherically writing the name of the temple. Peach Blossom Temple Adjacent to a few mountains planted thousands of acres of peach blossoms. When spring comes full of peach blossoms in full bloom, gorgeous like a sea of flowers, the entire temple is also set off extraordinarily sacred. Hundreds of thousands of millions of believers to devoutly on the incense. Now that the peach blossom season is over, there aren't as many devotees, and there must be 30, 000 to 40, 000 people a day. Dang, 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 the lull. Three bells rang out, shaking heaven and earth. The thousands of little Sanayasins in the peach blossom temple tilted their heads at the same time, and all of them put down the work at hand and acted in unison, running towards the side of the main hall. What happened? An incense burner who had come to return a wish, gripped the sleeve of a small shaman and asked. The little shaman's face was filled with panic as he saluted toward the incense burner. Abbot Yun Hai. It's Abbot Yun Hai who has come out of the gate. We all need to go over and meet him. That incense dweller was shocked and ran over immediately after a piece to witness Abbot Yun Hai's exit. Abbot Yun Hai hadn't stepped out of the temple door for several years, and something very significant was definitely going on today. Zhao Yi was on the rooftop of the prison. Recovering his depleted true essence while using the book of life and death to pick out a technique, divine sense was equivalent to true essence, and also required feats in order to be powerful, specializing in flipping through techniques related to divine sense. It had to take five or six hours before Jawi carefully chose a book from the hundreds of thousands of books, Great Dream Ancient Scripture. The Great Dream Ancient Scripture is nine million years ago the Great Dream Taoist system of the town of the teachings of the law. Phone you will be hypnotic art. In front of it's are not into the level of pediatrics. The real counterintuitive is that you can create a one, the real and the reality of almost no difference between the dream world. You can let yourself dream, and you can let others dream. The mind is so lucid in the dream state that it can change the flow of time, and a night in the dream compares to years in reality, and also can break into other people's dreams, really do kill in the invisible. Nine million years ago, the great dream Taoist system in the universe is enough to ask the top ten, then to the Taoist system of the patriarch can make a star field of tens of billions of living beings into the dream, go through a hundred years in your sleep, marry and have children to go through life, and wake up as a child. But too many forces coveted the great dream ancient scriptures, suddenly up was exterminated, from the handyman to the pro-transmission of hundreds of thousands of disciples, in one night as many as possible to be killed. A few escaped to the edge of the universe of the chaos zone people, still did not escape the fate of extermination. The complete version of the great dream ancient scripture was also lost and all the ones that were currently obtained in the major powers of the universe were all mutilated versions. Jowie got naturally complete, instantly began to choose to cultivate, mainly because there are quite a lot of forces that cultivate, in the future one day out of the earth, was found also not in the way. Of course, the great dream ancient scriptures cultivation method is also extremely harsh. Jowie stayed on the rooftop for four days, reading too many great dream Taoist tradition sages left behind handwritten journals, they also can only one foot into the threshold. Even with just one foot on the threshold, he was far beyond phone you in terms of hypnosis. Hypnotizing others was ultimately just the first glimpse of the doorway. Being able to hypnotize oneself was the pinnacle of excellence, releasing the infinite potential of the physical body and erupting into an appalling strength that far exceeded the realm, which of course required the great dream ancient scripture to be cultivated to a very far level. Jowie got up from the ground and stretched out his long, slender fingers, and began to sketch again. A hideous and majestic minotaur gradually took shape. Copper bell-sized eyes red as blood. Thick nostrils spewed out wisps of black smoke. The smell of sulfur can choke ordinary people poisoning. The bull-headed Rakshasa also wore ancient armor that inspired awe. The two double horns on the left and right towered high, causing the rooftops to shake at the slightest movement. Zhao Yi, who had reached the consummation of the true spirit realm, drew out another ox-headed Rakshasa, similarly with enough battle power to fight with a martial king, and worked with the horse-faced Rakshasa to guard Volsing Mountain. Zhao Yi put away the ox-headed Rakshasa, and three days had passed since the funeral battle, period. 
he is also learning about the outside world. The most well-informed He Qinghong endowed. Yunqing official blockade of the funeral. All the relevant personnel have signed a confidentiality agreement. The news media have been severely warned. Photographed material face-to-face -face deleted. A photo did not appear in the network. Anyone who dared to discuss it online was immediately and permanently blocked. And someone came to the door the same day to check the water meter. Now after three days of precipitation, the discussion is down 90%. Zhao Yi thought that the time of the appointment with the tea-making master Chen Jing had arrived, and using transformation to slightly change his appearance, he went out of the prison and shouted down a cab, driving towards the deepest part of that street in the tea market. The quaint little courtyard was closed up tight. The wooden doors turned into thickened metal gates. Even the fences were wrapped in barbed wire, and at a glance there were four or five cameras. A far cry from the first visit. Zhao Yi paid the fare and got out of the car, walked up and knocked on the door a few times, and Chen Jing's suspicious voice rang out from inside, Who are you? Xiao Chan, through that iron door, Zhao Yi said. It was agreed that we would come to pick up the tea today. Only when he heard Zhao Yi's voice did Chen Jing drop his guard and open the door in a hurry, letting Zhao Yi in and then hurriedly locking the door again. Finally found you. Thought it was those old guys. What old man? Zhao Yi was unsure and didn't use the book of life and death. Not knowing what was going on with Master Chen. Seeing the rightful owner came, Chen Jing hanging heart only put down, very helpless began to spit out bitter, after you left that day, I began to fry the tea, did not expect your tea quality is so high, the aroma of the fragrance of the air out of a few kilometers, but will be those few gluttony to hook over, they all wanted to offer money for it, but how could I have the right to do that, and they all blew it out of the water, but, I'm not afraid of thieves stealing, but I'm afraid of thieves thinking about them and those few old gluttons are squatting at the door to prevent them from doing anything untoward to the tea, so I had someone redecorate the small courtyard overnight. Chen Jing said that the few old guys, is also immersed in the tea ceremony for decades, belongs to the level of gourmets, see a good tea, cannot walk the road, the last few days but scared him did not sleep well, for fear of waking up asleep, he was afraid that he would wake up and realize that the tea had been stolen, where's the tea? Zhao looked at the suspicious Chen Jing, and could not help but turn the corner of his mouth upwards, knowing that if he came to fetch the tea two days later, he would probably have a suspicious heart, have a seat and I'll fetch it, Chen Jing drilled into the hall room, not long after the end out of a, yellow rosewood box, saw this box made of yellow rosewood, Zhao Yi is also some surprise, how also have to have a value of two or three hundred thousand, actually was used to hold tea, really want to, the grandson Chen Ying Jian, who works outside, just thought that his grandfather was a petty cashier, and could not have imagined that the money in his bank card had broken into nine figures. Chen Jing was quite not caring at all, but instead said sincerely, your tea is more expensive than gold, and only yellow pear wood is worthy of it. Carefully opening the yellow rosewood box, Zhao Yi's eyes fell on the tea leaves, after frying was completely stimulated, the aroma that came to his face was refreshing, the shape was like a delicate jade, each piece presented a unique luster in texture, actually contained a light spiritual qi, tea that contains aura. That can be called an elixir. Regular consumption has the effect of detoxifying the body and prolonging life. Zhao Yi closed the yellow rosewood box, ready to pay the cost of making tea, but Chen Jing was waving his hand repeatedly. To be able to fry this level of tea is already an honor for me. How dare I say that your money can, just, is, hey. Chen Jing nervously rubbed his hands. If little brother Zhao still has this kind of tea, can you sell me some after the next frying is over? The price is guaranteed to satisfy you his bank card money broke in nine figures, originally thought to let the grandson inherit the mantle, did not think the grandson disliked tea production is too hard, and there is not much oil and water can be salvaged, insisted on a few days to give up, Chen Jing dislike did not tell him the truth, the idea is for him to get a little social frustration and come back and tell him that his grandfather is a hidden rich man, okay, Zhao Yi agreed, the first time to make tea just want to see the quality, Wang Wali wooden box is only half a caddy weight, certainly not to sell out, the dozens of tea trees on Volusia Mountain are more than enough, and the next time they are fried again they can sell some to Chen Jing. Chen Jing who got the promise was overjoyed, his nose bubbling with joy, sending Zhao Yi out of the tea market before heading back. Zhao Yi, who was out of the tea market, didn't go back to the prison either, but went to Yen Lao's small courtyard. Funeral that day Yen old man also stepped in to support the Snow Spirit Medicine Company. This heavy identity can be big to go. The relevant departments in the future have to go all the way to the green light do not dare to have any official position, but also that there is an important thing to say. Arriving at the small courtyard where Elder Yen was, the two of them sat in the pavilion. You're a good boy, thinking of me when you have something good. Yen Lao was very excited to look at the yellow rosewood box, 
watching Zhaoyi take out five or six slices and put them into a good purple clay pot. As the hot water was injected, the tea leaves stretched out in the water, releasing a refreshing aroma as if it was able to penetrate into every cell, and the big summer's anxious heart was calmed down, waiting for the brew to be ready and fragrant. Those soldiers in the courtyard who were responsible for defending Yen Lao subconsciously looked over, and a refreshing look spread across their faces. Can't wait for Yen Lao. Pick up and sip a mouthful. The folds of the face are stretched. Comfortable every cell is moaning. After a lifetime of drinking tea, I realized that the ones before that were leaves at best. Yen Lao cursed and cursed, and he didn't stop even when his hot tongue tingled. Zhao Yi also tasted a mouthful. This level of elixir had minimal effect on him anymore, but the flavor was really good, crushing all that he had drank before. The two of them drank three or four cups in a row before Zhao Yi put down his teacup and stated the purpose of his trip. A few days ago I happened to, by chance, foretell the future of Cloud City, that there is going to be a great disaster coming. What? Catastrophe? Elder Yen knew that Zhao Yi was a fortune teller and seriously put down his teacup. Little friend Zhao, please tell me, what is the great difficulty in Yun Chang? The specific cause I do not know for the time being, just saw a few masked mysterious people. Are from the Japanese secretly formed in Dasha Ayanaji organization? Millions of citizens were killed. The survivors of 1 in 10. Zhao Yi's expression was solemn, vaguely guessing that perhaps it was related to the dragon vein of Volsing Mountain. Elder Yen was shocked. His decades of qi cultivation efforts were all gone at this moment. His lips trembling as he asked. Little friend Zhao don't joke. This is a big deal to poke the sky. Cloud City's population of nearly 10 million is 1 out of 10. The involvement is too great. And there must not be any negligence. I promise I'm not kidding. Zhao Yi spoke very seriously. That's why I've come to tell Elder Yen. It's just that the number of people involved is too many and has exceeded my limits to determine the exact time. Yes, Elder Yen, who got these words, slammed the table. This matter must not be delayed. Yun Chang owes you a big favor. Little friend Zhao will drink tea in the small courtyard first. I'll go to the military area immediately. Elder Yen called over two soldiers and drove a car from a nearby garage. Zhao Yi looked at the quickly departing car and drank a few pots of tea alone. Near noon, Yen Lao sent a message over, saying that the state of affairs is more anxious. The military region is in the middle of the discussion, and the probability is that it will not be able to return today. It's okay. Zhao Yi replied back with two words, and since the mission had been accomplished, he was also ready to return to the prison to continue his cultivation, striving to put his other foot in the door as well at an early date, so that he could cultivate in the dream world and reduce the time once again not yet out of the yard. The pocket phone rang. Amazing Dusty came to the phone. What's wrong? Zhao Yi asked, his tone unkind. If it weren't for something big, I would have killed you. Zenith Zhao. That seed. It came out. Amazing Dusty on the other side of the phone, who detected the killing intent even from a hundred kilometers away, was so scared that his body trembled violently and hurriedly added, and this seed is a bit of a demon, so you have to be mentally prepared. Zenith Zhu. Zhao Yi who had broken off the call. His crimson feathered wings stretched out from behind his back, the feathers made of fiery flames coming to life, and the entire person instantly rose up in the air, transforming into a crimson meteor that cut through this side of the sky. After reaching the perfection of true spirit realm, Zhao Yi's flying speed was even higher, enough to break the speed of sound if he went all out, feeling the wind whistling past his ears, like sharp blades chopping every part of his body. An ordinary person would be torn into pieces in an instant. Yet Zhao Yi's flesh was as hard as steel, and he treated it all as if it was nothing. Zhao Yi slowly opened his eyes, overlooking the ever-changing landscape of the ground, the current him, as long as he had enough true essence to support him. Where could he not go in the greatness of the world? Less than ten minutes to arrive at the volcano mountain, the scene that met his eyes. Indeed, Zhao Yi was a little surprised. Just a few days of the volcano mountain, a sea change has occurred. Originally lifted the seal of the dragon vein. Volcano Mountain and gradually restore prosperity, but this speed is relatively slow. In addition to the few old tea trees that live long, the rest of the temporary cannot see the obvious changes. From a high place to see is still a yellow soil bare barren mountain, and now a wide variety of plants are competing for growth, with green branches and leaves lushly intertwined, giving the barren mountain a new coat of emerald green. It was reborn overnight and became so beautiful and rich that the whole mountain field was full of life and vigor, and the seven or eight kinds of wild fruit trees were full of fruits emitting a gust of tantalizing aroma. Zhao Yi's eyes narrowed slightly, having already guessed the truth but having to verify it some more. Descending from a high altitude to Volsing Mountain, Amazing Dusty quickly ran over and rapped to Zhao Yi. This morning I checked the seeds as usual, but the result was a sudden fluorescent light. I didn't even react, and Volsing Mountain turned into the appearance right before my eyes. 
The two kittens also ran over and nodded at Zhaoyi, signaling that Amazing Dusty wasn't lying. Where is it? Zhaoyi opened his mouth and asked. The drastic change in Volsing Mountain was indeed related to that seed. Amazing Dusty helplessly spread his hands, said with an innocent face, it seems to have a not low spiritual wisdom. At the moment of the excavation, it turned into a white light and disappeared. Don't believe me, ask those two masters, and I don't have a penny to do with it. You're gone? Zhao Yi also did not expect. Thousands of hard work and hard to grow out of the thing, and now not even see a face. Do not know where to go. Now I just hope it doesn't go too far, or else it's a basket case. Releasing his divine sense, he covered Mount Voltron. So there you are. Zhao Yi hooked a smile and took a step a few dozen meters. What a naughty little guy. Amazing Dusty and the two kittens looked at each other, then followed closely after Zhao Yi, also going to see what kind of thing had been planted. This is the first time I've heard that a plant can run when it breaks the ground, and the one man and two cats floundered and didn't catch up, not even looking at the shadow. That one elixir that broke the ground and disappeared didn't escape, but nestled in an old tea tree and was squinting and huffing. The mysterious elixir that broke out of the ground, about 8 or 9 centimeters high, the shape is like a piece of superb jade, the sunlight flashes with five colored light, the appearance is also very strange. The head and the umbrella cover of the fungus has a slight resemblance to the face but was born with human-like features, a little bit like a baby that has just been born. Seeing someone approaching, the mysterious elixir snapped its eyes open, and just as it was about to vanish again, after realizing that it was Zhao Yi, it slowly came to a halt again, and its soul struggled to send out two words, nurture, material, it recognized Zhao Yi, the great man who had given sustenance a few days ago, and didn't need to run away anymore and followed with a giggle as its body stretched out a milky white tentacle and plucked a tea leaf and ate it on its own. Teo, Zhaoyi lightly spat out two words, recognizing the origin of the great medicine. From ancient times to the present Taiyu are significant meaning. The name of Dashia have thousands of years. Each dynasty has a mythological color. By many emperors struggling to find. One of the categories of medicine about immortality. Amazing Dusty Z also has fiery eyes. Having heard many stories of Taiyu, the Taiyu in front of him is psychic like a demon and it is even more precious a thousand times ten thousand times more precious, all of them transcending out of the category of spiritual medicine and becoming a supreme holy medicine, right? Noticing amazing Dusty's fiery gaze, nestled in the old tea tree, the Tai Yu, again transformed into a white light flash, actually faster than the speed of sound a few points, cowering appeared on Zhao Yi's shoulders, using the soul to transmit voice, harm, scared, Zhao Yi also did not expect that this Tai Sui plant in front of him would trust him so much, and softly spoke out to pacify him, little guy, don't be afraid, I'll clean up this bad thing later, amazing Dusty instantly couldn't hold himself together, his face wrinkled more than crying, Mr. Zhao, let me go, an old bone, I really can't withstand the tossing and turning, Zhaoyi told amazing Dusty to hide far away, Tai Sui had a delicate heart, untainted by the red dust and strife, and could directly penetrate a person's heart, the fire in amazing Dusty's eyes was naturally detected by Tai Yu, so he was very wary of him, but it trusts me, and it hasn't fled Voltron Mountain, so it should have liked it here, Zhao Yi knows that too old like the dragon vein, the two belong to complement each other, it can make the dragon vein to shorten the recovery time, toward the too old to stretch out a finger, gently poke the smooth delicate skin, soft and bouncy very fleshy, causing it to giggle and laugh, stay here if you like, little one, but don't wander off, Zhao Yi gradually became serious, you are the meat of the Tang Monk in the eyes of others, you must want it at all costs, and don't do anything bad either, or I won't take you in. When he said the last sentence, Zhao Yi aggravated his tone again, knowing that Tai Sui had just broken the ground and was curious about everything, it was easy to go on a crooked path, if he didn't educate himself more, he would definitely be very naughty in the future. Tai Sui was born psychic, randomly wandering in the mountains and rivers, laid down more than the legal formations are useless, in its eyes as if nothing, the clueless Tai Yu nodded, knowing that Zhao Yi was a good person, or else he wouldn't have been able to come back to life. Zhao Yi looked at the Tai Sui that had broken the ground, and suddenly thought of using the Book of Life and Death to check and see what the origin was and why it appeared in Changbai Mountain. Zhao Yi from the previous Wang Fuzhu that understand, he was young traveled extensively, passing through the Changbai Mountain when a long distance, by chance to see alive for a long time mountain ginseng, are going to take on human form. It is a plant as difficult to find in the world of medicine, with a high degree of spiritual intelligence. See him turned into a stream of light disappeared, went down the mountain to visit the old hunters around, some said to hear his grandfather said a few words, live should have to have thousands of years, was called to be the king of the ginseng of the Shangbashan mountain, 
Zhao Yi originally thought that the seed he got was the old ginseng king who had failed to cross the threshold, but it turned out to be the even more mysterious Tai Sui, so he couldn't help but become even more curious about its origin. But he was also prepared to stop the book of life and death instantly once he realized something was wrong. The last time I looked at the future of a corner of Cloud City, the true essence in my body was instantly depleted, and if it hadn't ended in time, there was a risk of being drained. The karma involved in such an extraordinary Tai Sui plant was definitely big, so Jowie couldn't afford to be careless, injecting true essence into the book of life and death. A scene immediately appeared in front of him, this ancient and mysterious divine medicine was born more than 2000 years ago in the Qin dynasty, and came into being in the warring states where wars were frequent. It was like a walker who traveled the world, going round and round, going through all the mountain ranges of Dasha, witnessed the sorrows and joys of the world, felt the warmth and coldness of the world, carried the vicissitudes and changes of the world, and experienced countless baptisms of wind and rain. In order to prevent being tainted with too much karma, every time a hundred years passed, the Tai Sui would undergo a self-purification, clearing away all the memories, and always remaining clear and pure in the river of years. The last time it appeared was 70 years ago in Changbai Mountain, where it was revered by all spirits, and even the Jinseng King, who had lived for a thousand years, honored it as an old ancestor. However, just as it was about to turn on its self-purification, a group of mysterious people with white masks on their faces appeared, using a special secret method temporarily blocked the Changbai Mountain Dragon Vein, making it so that it could not move freely, and eventually, after a fierce battle, relying on the help of all the spirits of the Changbai Mountain, when he was about to escape, he came across an old man sitting in a wheelchair, the old man's whole body has no hair, both arms and legs are no, but the strength is really strong to no bounds stronger than any of the people he has seen before. The Changbai Mountain 10,000 spirits in front of it is like grass. In the end, Tai Sui triggered the thunderbolt and stopped the weird old man, but he himself was also seriously injured. His body was 10 to 1, and he was only revived by Zhao Yi's help. About the end of the life history of Tai Yu, every hundred years to purify the reason, resulting in a hundred years ago, only sparse fragments of the paragraph, do not get too much useful information. The feat of becoming stronger by self-eating, I seem to know which one it is. Zhaoyi got more useful information from the old man who attacked the Tai Sui, and greatly narrowed down the scope in the Book of Life and Death, eventually locking onto a technique called self bakewell technique. Back then, when the first emperor Ying Zhang unified the Six Kingdoms, he asked Su Fu, a square scholar, to go out to sea to seek the art of longevity, and the other party took 500 boys and girls out of the country, and after crossing the ocean to the Japanese country, after making a deal with the ghosts and deities there, he created his own style of gongfu. Zhao Yi saw a secret discipline that involved the fangshu of the Qin dynasty, this technique defies common sense, by claiming power from heaven and earth at the cost of self-eating. White sun and black obsidian, two big cats, squatted next to each other and listened attentively. After they opened their minds, they became exceptionally studious, increasing their insights and enriching their experience. Seeing Zhao Yi stop and couldn't stop meowing, Tai Yu was also curious and leaned over, wanting to know why that old man, who was half dead, was still so strong. What a trio of curiosities. Since they were all interested, Zhao Yi continued. The first realm is called desolate hair. The second realm is called drinking blood. And nine out of ten people will stop practicing when they get here because the next realm is called earthly dismemberment, which involves eating one's own legs. Non-extremists really can't do it. And it's all going to hurt. And a lot of them don't survive. And then the next realm is heaven's cripples, eating their own arms. Zhao Yi looked at Tai Yu. The old man who attacked you in Changbai Mountain should be a strong person of the heavenly disability realm, strong enough to be comparable to the half-step martial saints of the great Xia Martial Dao. The further you get to the next stage, the more you have to pay and the longer it takes to ask for power from heaven and earth. Where there is a gain, there is a loss. The next realm is called bone transformation, which is melting all the bones before digesting them internally. At that time there is only flesh and mud left in the skin, but with a power that truly compares to that of a martial saint. Both White Sun and Obsidian physically shivered. Apparently they too found this too extreme. Zhao Yi did not continue to say down. The Book of Life and Death Record Su Fu was the creator of the self bakewell know-how. Cultivation to the bones of the realm of the ceiling of the viscera realm. That is, even the five viscera and six bowels are eaten. And then there is no record of the future. Su Fu who sealed the dirty realm was nearly invincible in the Japanese country. And was worshipped as an ancestor by the Japanese people until now. And even killed all those ghosts and gods who made deals and was also a murderer. It also seems to have died in the past two, zero 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 years. Where in the world is their true immortality? None of the techniques he cultivated came from the overlord, and ultimately did not escape the fate of death. 
one also had to admit that Su Fu was really a genius, being able to create such a perverted gongfu on his own, and actually passing it down as well, with so many people in the Japanese country practicing it. Zhaoyi guessed that the Japanese old man from the heavenly disabled realm, who came to Changbai Mountain 70 years ago, was trying to obtain a tenacious and long lifespan by swallowing the Tai Sui, so that he could impact the next bone transformation realm, regrettably underestimated the Tai Yukai, did not expect to attract the thunderbolt to block it, or else it really might have succeeded, don't wander off, little Tai Yukai, I'll visit you often, Zhaoyi also had to go back to the prison and impact the five viscera realm as soon as possible to prepare for the cloud city cataclysm, with that one heaven's crippling realm old man alone, even he would have to be on guard. There was also the fact that Yen Lao had come back from the military region and would definitely contact him at the first opportunity, and the probability was that the military region was also going to come, so meeting up as early as possible would allow them to make preparations as well. Now it was only 10 minutes of full flight from the prison to Volsing Mountain, and it wouldn't be a waste of time like before. If I can find a space stone, I'll be able to make a teleportation spell and travel freely between the prison and Volsing Mountain. Zhaoyi summoned his feathered wings and flew towards the prison. Ox head and horse face two big Rakshasa, all stayed in the volcano mountain, all can be with the martial arts king to kill the war power, and then increase a few points of security. Another few pounds of tea leaves were picked for Master Chen Jing to fry. Now these old tea trees, following the Tai Sui side, will be accelerated in growth and evolution, and it is really possible to grow into more than 10 meters high, and then picking hundreds of pounds won't be a problem, and the medicinal power will be much swifter than it is now. Eight or nine minutes later about to return to the prison. Zhaoyi suddenly lowered his speed and squinted his eyes to the ground, spotting two unusual people who were hiding outside the prison and whispering, a face even more delicate than the female, should be a few days without washing sake, looks a little messy, sky blue hair hanging down to the waist, with a hair tie with a simple bundle up the man, leaning next to Feng Yu whispered, whether or not to confirm, you said that Zhaoyi, inside the prison, I suppose, it is, Feng Yu said uncertainly, then looked at Nia Gao Yang, don't you know if you go in and take a look, how can you say that you're a fire seed level vigilante? You won't be cowering to such an extent, right? Nye Gaoyang scorned Feng Yu obliquely. You're also a fire seed level vigilante. Why did you let me go in? Don't think I don't see that the prison has been laid down with a large formation. And a flourishing star level vigilante going in is probably going to capsize. It's really hard to imagine. A large formation of this level would actually appear in a prison. The two big stone lions at the entrance are about to breed a spirit. And also seemingly, Perceiving a pair of eyes glancing over in the prison, giving Nye Gao Yang a hundred guts, he would not dare to break in. He knew the inside story, and in the last few days, the dark net was boiling over because of Zhaoyi. Over a hundred killers for a billion dollars, two of them in the top one hundred of the list, and a third level mercenary group led by Butcher, without even sending out a distress message, all died in Tiny Cloud City, an immortal with cultivated unknown evil power, both comparable to the Martial King's two strongest men was hanged and hammered by Zhao Yi at the funeral. How many years hadn't there been such a thing? Feng Yu sighed, trepidation showing in his eyes. It's likely that he has also enshrined an immortal. But just how powerful of an existence is it to be able to temper such a demon? A hand appeared during the battle, and spaced out at a great distance. It all gave me a palpitating aura. He was present at the battle that day, and the large hand draped in black mist and wearing ancient armor clutched the martial king level enemy in one go, leaving an indelible shadow. Ahem. A cough and the two people behind the woods sounded, both of their hairs stood up, both belonged to the experts, completely did not notice, when there is a person leaning over, subconsciously turning back, his expression became even more tense when he saw that it was Zhao Yi, Zhao Yi looked helplessly at the two crouching dragon phoenixes, could it be that the night watchmen are all this kind of goods? The night watchman's department is divided into five levels, for being a light in the night, glow, kindling, stars, alabaster, morning sun, generally speaking, a province was guarded by a prosperous star level, and the white jade and morning sun levels were either in the center or stationed at the borders all year round, and wouldn't be deployed without major emergencies. Nya Gao Yang, the sole heir of the Thousand Blade sect, joined the vigilante sector three years ago, and was just promoted to the fire seed level last month. The Thousand Blade sect upholds an unusual cultivation philosophy, inspiring hair to be honed into an indestructible weapon, and undergoes a rigorous and unique training program since childhood whereby the hair strands are boiled weekly with a unique potion, gradually becoming as hard as steel and each strand as sharp as a steel blade. The apprehensive Feng Yu, hesitant for a few seconds, tentatively shouted, Grand! Master? Although there was a high probability of determining that the Grandmaster disguised as Tai was Zhao Yi who had killed two martial kings in a row in front of him, 
It was still necessary to say one more word to prevent misrecognizing the wrong person and having another incident. Eh? Zhao Yi, through the book of life and death, already knew the purpose of the two coming. Don't stand around outside. Go in and sit for a while. The two of them exchanged glances and followed Zhao Yi's footsteps to the parlor. Zhao Yi took out a bronze-colored teapot, took out a few slices from the cloth bag containing the tea leaves, and rushed it into the boiling hot water. A light fragrance immediately filled the air, and Feng Yu and Nie Gao Yang's slightly tired looks immediately became refreshed. Good tea. Both of them also know what they are talking about. Smell out is good stuff. Always over have not drunk a few times. Today is to catch up. Ran Zhao Yi only poured a cup for himself. Looking at the two people whose mouths were drooling, he tasted a mouthful of it flatly. Although it was not as good as the finished product of the stir fry, but it was also extremely good, I'm pressed for time. What price can I offer? Tea for Crouching Dragon and Phoenix too? Are you kidding me? One or two can sell for a thousand dollars. He can't afford to part with it. Obviously, Feng Yu and Nia Gao Yang were the night watch, respected wherever they were, but they didn't dare to lose their temper at all in the face of Zhao Yi, so they could only try not to look at the spirit tea. Restraining the sound of swallowing saliva, we need your help. Nye Gao Yan looked like he had seen a life-saving straw. Speaking very quickly, almost all of the night watchmen in Dongshan province have overturned their vehicles, and the one leading them is still a prosperous star-level martial king, trapped in a very weird town, repeating what happens every single day, and they have to follow along with a piece of them, or else they'll have to encounter the danger of death. I was sent out for help by a few people together, to mobilize the night watchmen from other provinces, even if they encountered a major event with a life-threatening situation, they need to go through a few processes. The fastest will take two or three days. Listening to Feng Yu said that you're a high-profile person. You can't blame the vigil sector for being strict. It had been caught in a trap quite a few times before, triggering huge casualties among its members. And it had no choice but to develop such strictness. It doesn't really need to be something you can fix. Just help put it off for a couple of days or so until our help arrives. Zhao Yi took another sip of tea and looked at Nye Gao Yang flatly. Did you not hear me? I'm talking about what price can be offered. Having just learned what happened to them through the book of life and death, it was indeed a rather troublesome matter. It's certainly not impossible to make an offer, provided the right price is given. I, Nye Gao Yang swallowed and hesitated four or five times before finally sighing. What you want? Odds are we can't get it out. They don't feel like they can hold out and make the opposite man's heart sing. There was not a single magic weapon, and there was even less need to think about spiritual medicine. The only thing worth anything was the Thousand Blades sex secret book. But Nye Gao Yang felt that the other party couldn't see it either. You guys got it. Zhao Yi's smile didn't diminish. I'm sure I won't leonize you. Otherwise it's useless if you guys can't get it out. Nye Gao Yang looked at Zhao Yi. His expression gradually became shocked. Although he was a man. He was more handsome than many girls. Could it be that the other party had a dragon yang? Before also met a lot. There is willing to a million dollars a month package. Where Nye Gao Yang gave back. Inside the two little people began to fight. The expression gradually became firm. Zhao Yi looks actually quite handsome. To be really willing to help out. Zhao Yi also saw what Nye Gao Yang was thinking and couldn't help but feel a chill. Rushing to open his mouth to make him stop thinking out loud. Don't think the wrong way damn it. I just want to join the Night's Watch. The Night's Watch is very high ranking. Has preemptive powers. And is very liberal. Without an official identity. It's still too much of a hindrance to do anything. If you can join the Night's Watch department. You can kill any enemy you run into in the future. There is also the most crucial point. He is now the leader behind the scenes of the Cloud City prison. In the future, if there are people who are interested in doing something about this, something big is definitely going to happen. To have an official status, that would be reasonable and legal. Nye Gao Yang and Feng Yu's expressions were torn. The three vigilantes united together could indeed recommend a newcomer to the department. They only needed to find one more person. But when facing Zhao Yi, whose origins were unknown, how could they not be rash? It would be a great sin if you were to lead the wolves into the house. Take your time to think about it. Another guest has arrived and I have to go and greet them. Zhao got up to leave the parlor and stopped when he reached the door. Turning back to look at the two playfully. The person coming is the commander of the Cloud City military region. Do you want to follow along? Feng Yu and Nye Gao Yang exchanged a glance and naturally knew who the commander of the Cloud City military region was. The night watchman had dispatching authority over all departments. And Cheng Xiao was called over by Feng Yu on the day of the funeral. But the military district was the only one that was not included. The army is the symbol of Dasha's national defense and strength. But also to deal with sudden emergencies, such as earthquakes and floods, our highly trained soldiers rushed to the front line. The role is even more important than the night watchman. The commander-in-chief of the Cloud City military region was an admiral. The equivalent of a morning glory level night watchman now. 
The morning sun is the first ray of sunshine after dawn, meaning the end of a long dark night, with the great power to overcome all adversities. A true Jin Guo level character, the two had not yet had the chance to meet the commander in chief once, and their asses followed suit. The commander in chief of the Cloud City military region, Kong Yu Hong, was also a legendary figure, not from a general's family, but a poor, shithole ridden mountain valley. Being sent to the army is also because of eating too much. The father of the family thought of saving some food, and when he was young, he was also a god of killing, and he made countless achievements in the battlefield, and step by step, he climbed from the bottom to the present position. He was highly respected in the hearts of half a million warriors in Cloud City, and his legend was widely spread in the military region even now. Moreover, Kong Yu Hang is still being rewarded by the Dark Net, occupying the top position for five consecutive years, with a bounty as high as $50 billion, issued by the Japanese Zuisu Temple, but no power dares to collect it yet. Zhao Yi was standing right next to the square of the prison, Feng Yu and Nye Gao Yang stood behind him, tilting their heads and looking at the dark cloudy sky, feeling greatly deceived. Rumble, rumble, suddenly a burst of engine roar, as if from their ears, resounded in every inch of the prison. The rapid rotation of the propeller is like a sharp blade, cut through the heavy clouds in the sky, a few such as the falcon-like figure, in the high altitude looming, the dark green paint shone with a cold light, Feng Yu and Nye Gao Yang's breath caught, both of them recognized the helicopter gunships that belonged to the military region, six of them at once, only the commander-in-chief of a military region can have that, the whole prison was in an uproar, the prisoners, who were stomping on their sewing machines, looked nervously at the sky through the windows, and the guards who were supervising them were so strong that they drew their batons from their belts, and gave the tables a sharp rap, so that they were at once in a state of work again, even if the sky falls and the world comes to an end, the mission must be accomplished, the tall, burly guard yelled over the loudspeaker to the hundred inmates in the entire production room, double your tasks today, those who can't finish don't eat, those who are sleepy go get coffee, and don't let me see anyone take a nap, Cloud City Prison features an unlimited supply of high strength coffee for the inmates, the previous warden, Chang Xiao, read the information and found that in the last century, when there was a food shortage, people fed caffeine to donkeys and mules as a kind of veterinary medicine, which not only enabled them to eat less and work more, but also worked tirelessly and continuously. Chang Xiao then followed it, and the output really far exceeded that of other prisons. Unknown officials in the prison also hurriedly ran out of the office, tilted their heads and looked at a helicopter gunship. The leading warden, Li Buatao, saw Zhao Yi in the square and his hanging heart was released, with such a big show, the target must be Mr. Chi Wu, like a tiger descending from a mountain, dozens of heavily armed soldiers quickly jumped out of the cabin, spread out and formed a tactical formation, occupying various high positions in the prison square, eyes vigilantly scanned the surroundings to ensure that no threats existed, the originally calm prison square was instantly filled with a solemn atmosphere, the middle of the helicopter gunship hatch opened, an old man nearly two meters out, wearing a straight dark green uniform, more than 70 years old is still majestic, short silver hair roots upright, like a hunting step lion, though age had carved its way into his face, his eyes were still sparkling and untouched by a speck of dust, Kong Yu Heng's body, can't see a bit of the old man's vigor, striding towards Zhao standing at the edge of the square, a few soldiers hesitantly wanted to go over, but was turned back a look to stop, only let Qin Zhongjian one person to follow, what are you guys afraid of, we're not wrong in looking at the people, Zhao little brother is not a bad guy, Xin Zhongjian was both the captain of the special brigade, with one of the best hands in the entire military region, and also the person personally guaranteed by Elder Yen, and was deeply trusted by Kong Yu Hang, looking at Zhao Yi with a gaze full of reverence, coming in front of Zhao Yi, he gently stretched out his hand, hello, I've heard your name many times, saved old Yan's life, countess is owing you a favor, Feng Yu and Nye Gao Yang in the back have to tilt their heads, even if Kong Yu Hong has not practiced martial arts, but charging on the battlefield, with a high position for many years to cultivate the potential of ordinary people to see all have to shiver, cannot help but be in awe. The prison officials standing around the square also recognized the uniformed old man. With expressions of extreme shock on their faces, the commander-in-chief of the military region had come to inspect the area, and they hadn't been given permission to even get close. Those soldiers with loaded guns don't joke around and treat you as an unsuspecting bad guy and shoot you to death without anyone redressing their grievances. Only Li Buotao a person face ecstasy, if not next to so many people, really want to go crazy shouting, their previous investment in the end how clear, even the commander-in-chief of the military region have come to see Mr. Zhao, and now there is a relationship, the future is to see the mayor, the other side have to politely shout Li brother it, Zhao Yi face Kong Yu Hong generous, 
face cannot see the constraints, stretching out his hand to simply shake, growing up listening to the story of Yen old man, in my mind is the elders, since I see will not be regardless, ha 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 ha, since ancient times, heroes have been born out of youths, you're very much to our liking, Kong Yu Hong convergence of the smile, glanced at Feng Yu and Nye Gao Yang, seems to recognize their identity, although lowered voice but also did not avoid, I heard that you're a fortune teller, the morning time to listen to the old Yen said, predicted that soon to the cloud city to suffer a great deal of trouble, right, Zhao Yi nodded, anticipating a reaction from the military region, and appeared calm at the commander in chief's arrival, do you have, evidence, Kong Yu Hang's look is very serious, hands simply behind his back, nearly two meters but does not look hunched over, involved in the lives of nearly 10 million people, even sitting in this position we cannot be taken seriously just based on your words, I'm ready to convince you, commander Kong relax your mind, you'll see the evidence soon, Zhao Yi looked at the relaxed Kong Yu Hang, and used the images he saw that day standing on Volsing Mountain to construct a few seconds dream using the great dream ancient scripture, and with Kong Yu Hong letting go of his defenses, it wasn't a difficult task for him anymore, stretching out a finger, he tapped it on his brow, Kong Yu Hong closed his eyes and fell asleep, reopening them after about 5 or 6 seconds, and his breathing became messy, Kong Yu Hang's forehead was covered in cold sweat, everything was too real to feel like a dream, witnessing the city in ruins and broken limbs everywhere, only after opening his eyes in pain and realizing that all the guns were aimed at Zhao Yi, did he open his mouth and said in a low voice, all of them put down their guns, in front of so many people, what can little brother Zhao do to us, there was another cold sweaty one, it was the prison warden, Li Buatao, who saw the cold, ghostly muzzle retract and held on to not collapse to the ground, if anything happens to Mr. Chiu today, he'll be the first to go, Commander Kong, did you get the letter? Zhao Yi watched the other party nod his head before continuing with the invitation. The sun is too sunny outside. Why don't we go to the parlor and chat while drinking tea? Kong Yu Hong agreed. Good. The parlor could not fit a few people. Kong Yu Hong still only brought Shen Zhong Jian. Zhao Yi let Feng Yu and Nye Gao Yang also follow. The rest of the people were guarding the outside of the building. When they entered the parlor, only Zhao Yi and Kong Yu Hong were seated. The remaining three did not dare to sit at all and stood behind the sofa nervously. The air conditioner in the parlor is always on, so when you come in, you feel the cool air and the anxious atmosphere is relieved. Zhao Yi poured a cup of tea for Kong Yu Hong as well. Only 10 minutes had passed and the teapot was still boiling hot. The other party picked up a light sniff a mouthful. Eyes immediately brightened up. The afterglow glanced at the cloth bag containing tea, indeed is a good tea. The old yen said you sent him half a caddy. A few years to go to such a trip to the military region. Also do not say to us to bring a little. If the commander likes it, when it's fried, I'll send you a pound as well. Zhao Yi felt that the abacus beads that Kong Yu Hong had played, he had heard them from so far away. However, it is not a rare thing, if you like to send a caddy, can climb with Kong Yu Hong favor? In the Dashia are not a few people dare to target. That, Kong Yu Hong also did not expect Zhao Yi to be so frank. Some embarrassed smile, the first time we met, we did not send you a gift, and how can I accept such an expensive tea? Aren't there so many helicopters parked outside? If Commander Kong is embarrassed, it's not impossible to send me one. Zhao Yi was all smiles and didn't see any outsiders at all. Kong Yu Hong who was drinking tea was immediately choked, slowed down for several seconds before not spraying out, just to open his mouth to say something. He heard Zhao Yi open his mouth again to add, really can't give a tank is fine. I'll put it at the prison gate. The king of martial arts also have to kneel down when he comes. Although the martial king drew heaven and earth aura into his body, combining it with his native essence source to generate true chi which could form a defensive shield that even bullets couldn't penetrate. He was no better than a brittle college student when faced with a cannonball fired by a tank. Forget it. Kong Yu Hong felt that the tea didn't seem to be that good anymore. And parking a tank in front of the prison entrance would have made it to the top of the hot search list that day. And the phone calls from the central government side would have had to blow up the command. Looking at Kong Yu Hang's rare embarrassment, Zhao Yi hurriedly explained. Just kidding with Commander Kong. When when it's fried, I'll definitely send a caddy for a taste. At this moment, Kong Yu Hong and outside the judgment of two people, through the book of life and death Zhao Yi also know what kind of person he is, just enlisted in the army every day with the old man Yen hang out together, no how could not be affected, didn't let that many people in and didn't want to strain my nerves, Kong Yu Hong knows that the other party is joking, but not at all disgusted, fingers gently knocking on the table, definitely want to send a gift, when we go back to the military region to think about it, in any case, will not let you disappointed on the right, right, as if he thought of something, he first looked back at Xin Zheng Jin, who was standing straight, and then looked at Zhao Yi, the Bai Zhe Special Brigade of the Yuncheng Military Region. 
The position of the chief instructor has not yet been determined. And Xiao Shen, who is the captain, has been strongly recommending you to us? I wonder if you're interested and would like to step into the position? Feng Yu and Nye Gaoyang, who hadn't said anything, were shocked twice in a row. From Jiawei saying that there was going to be a major disaster in Cloud City, involving the safety and security of millions of people, to Commander Kong Yu Hong believing it as well, the two were shocked to the core. It was another time when Kong Yu Hong extended an invitation to Zhao Yi to serve as the chief instructor of the Baizhe Special Brigade, and the two were shocked once more. Every military region in Dashia had cultivated special brigades, ranging in number from 100 to several hundred, none of which was a talent picked out of a thousand, trained in hell, equipped with the most advanced weaponry, and accomplishing impossible tasks. The two of them glanced at each other, both understanding the other's little plan. If Cloud City really had a great difficulty in the future, then letting Zhao Yi join the vigilantes seemed like a good thing to do, and he couldn't just stand by when the time came. And if the other party agreed to serve as the chief instructor, then it would be even more important. The chief instructor of the special brigade of each military region has a very high status. The initial rank is a lieutenant colonel to start. If you can make outstanding contributions, in the region's combat conference rankings, may not be unable to be awarded the title of general. A general in his twenties is enough to intimidate large swaths of the population. Available at. Feng Yu and Nye Gao Yang are a bit flustered again. The military has thrown out the olive branch. How could Zhao Yi join the Night Watch again? The discerning know which one to choose. Zhao Yi pondered for a second. I'm really sorry Commander Kong. I don't have time to teach them to prepare for the great disaster in Cloud City. The Cloud City catastrophe was always a hidden danger. And he was also going to close down. Impacting the Five Viscera Realm. And couldn't spare that much time. Xin Zheng Jin, who was standing at the back. Heard Zhao Yi's rebuff and his eyes slightly dimmed. In his mind Zhao Yi is the best candidate. By Zay Special Brigade in the 10 military regions. Three consecutive years in the bottom five. Also came a few martial arts masters as the chief instructor. But the White Zephyr Special Brigade are all pricks. The chief instructor is not capable enough cannot be suppressed. And finally within a few months they all resigned. Kong Yu Hong is also seen in the eyes of Xin Zhong Jin lost. Right hand lightly tapped the table. Seems to have made some kind of determination. Zhao brother reconsider. Really can not we hemorrhage? Really give you an armed helicopter? How about two tanks? As the chief instructor of the White Zephyr Special Brigade, having a helicopter gunship, along with two tanks, would be justified on the central government's side. Zhaoyi looked at Kong Yu Hong who had a face of flesh pain and knew that the other party was not joking and was really willing to take it out as payment. Honestly, heartwarming. When the military district produces something, it's a good thing. The deterrent power of a single helicopter gunship with two tanks was stronger than ten martial kings. I, Zhao frowned in a very tangled manner and looked at Kong Yu Hang very solemnly. I have a compromise. I wonder if Commander Kong can agree to it. Oh, Kong Yu Hang's interest came up. Tell me about it. I have a subordinate whose skills are not bad, proficient in all kinds of assassination techniques. Teaching the White Zephyr Special Brigade will definitely be no problem. How about letting him take over for a period of time first, and then letting me come in? Zhao Yi thought of He Qinghong, who had surged forward in recent times. Teaching the Baize Special Brigade for a period of time would definitely be no problem. It's just up to Commander Kong. Kong Yu Hong smacked his mouth, and then looked at the back of the Xinjiang Jian, eyes asking what to think. The original intention is to let Zhao Yi teach. Now let his department down. Always feel a little belittled. But Zhao Yi also said that he would just teach for a while, and that he would come back in person when he had successfully graduated. Mr. Cho. Xin Zhongjian's expression was serious, sure your men can hold down that group of pricks from the Baize Special Brigade? Into the White Zephyr Special Brigade are elite. Accordingly also none is not a prick. Usually even picket soldiers are not gripping. But for the instructor with real ability, that is from the bottom of the heart of respect. And those indiscriminate straw instructor, no one can serve more than half a month. If Zhao Yi were to teach it, there would be no problem. But, an unnamed minion who wasn't tough enough would be teased by the White Zephyr crew and waste everyone's time. Zhao Yi also knew what was in Xin Zhongjian's heart, and said with the same confidence, I assure you, there is definitely no problem. Let him train the Baize Special Brigade for three months, and there will definitely be a sudden improvement. Those martial arts experts are indeed very strong, but that's decades of day-to-day -day water polishing, and you can't see the changes in just a few years, which is why martial arts can't be popularized on a wide scale in the military. And that subordinate of mine, even though he hadn't practiced martial arts for a day, could assassinate a martial artist, and was more than capable of teaching the current White Zephyr Special Brigade. Anyway, He Qinghong taught the 29 Yen Luo Reserve Killers are also taught, plus a White Zephyr Special Brigade is not a problem. Kong Yu Hang's voice is full of energy, 
obviously also practicing martial arts for many years, but it's the kind of fitness and longevity, little brother Zhao is right. The disadvantage of martial arts is that it takes too long to achieve results. We agree for Xiao Shen. But, he turned around and was an old fox, a helicopter gunship and two tanks, as well as the lieutenant colonel rank of the chief instructor. We can't give it to you until we see the progress of the White Zephyr Special Forces Brigade. Is this something that little brother Zhao can accept? No problem. Zhao Yi also knew Kong Yu Hang's concern. It was just a matter of getting it a few days later. The big deal was to refine a few more body tempering pills and turn them into water for the White Zephyr Special Brigade to drink. And they would also be able to get significant progress. There is one more condition. He added. The White Zephyr Special Brigade's training location won't be in a military area. I'll choose where exactly. And odds are it'll be close to the city. The site chosen by He Ching Hong was large. As long as an area was planned for the White Zephyr Special Brigade, coupled with the complex terrain of the air raid shelter, Zhao Yi would then set up a concealment formation, and could not discover the 29 reserve assassins, that was the initial personnel of the Yen Luo organization, Zhao Yi did not want to expose it prematurely, Kong Yu Hong didn't consider for long, and again slapped the table with force, we also agree to this condition, in case the difficulty of Cloud City occurs, there will be a way to take care of them, even if he knew that Cloud City would be in trouble, he couldn't mobilize hundreds of thousands of troops to come over without warning. It would trigger the fear of the people. Letting the White Zephyr Special Brigade be ordered to lurk was the most feasible plan. Kong Yu Hong, who had made a decision, looked at Zhao Yi who got up to pour himself some tea, and a thought arose in his mind. As if this conversation in the parlor had been led by him, it was as if the other person had realized he was coming and had rehearsed every word in his head. Looking at the other party's expression of light laughter, Kong Yu Hong felt that it was a bit absurd. It must be that he was overthinking it, and got up and said seriously, we have too much work at hand, so we won't continue to be polite, when will we let the White Zephyr Special Brigade start training, 10 o'clock tonight, I'll send the location, Zhao similarly got up and sent Kong Yu hung out the door, the group reboard the helicopter gunship and left Cloud City Prison at a fiery pace, not saying a word to the rest of the personnel the entire time, of course the prison officials did not dare to complain, both sides were not from the same world, even if they went out and said everywhere that they met the commander-in-chief of the military region today, others would only think that there was something wrong with one of their nerves. The parlor was much emptier a few minutes later. Zhao Yi looked at Feng Yu and Nye Gao Yang who were in a hurry, and drank tea very plainly. I suddenly want to change my mind. Since I'm already going to be the chief instructor of the White Zephyr Special Brigade, it seems like there's no need for the vigilantes to join. So the two of you come from wherever you came from, go back to wherever you are. Don't. 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 Nye Gao Yang's hands were busy, the status of the chief instructor is very high, but the corresponding responsibility is also large, far less free than the night watchman, and we can supervise everything outside of the military zone, the status is the highest level encrypted, as long as you have conclusive evidence, chopping up the feudal officials on the street can be done, there is the privilege of decapitation after the report, when he said the last sentence, Nye Gao Yang was obviously a bit weak, although it is not without precedent, 20 years ago there was a feudal official, to do the real truth of treason, in the escape to the great summer border, was passing by the white jade level vigilantes on the ground, the luminescent and spark levels were definitely not good enough to be appointed to such an important task, and, ha ha ha, looking at Zhao Yi who seemed to be moved, Feng Yu revealed a fawning smile and followed by adding, the night watchman isn't paying for nothing, as long as the mission is completed, there will be rewards from above as well, in the past few decades, the vigilante department, I don't know how many evil sects have been purged, not to say that they are rich, but also almost, all kinds of rare treasures piled up into a small mountain, and even the unquestionable law of the heavenly master's house, the thunder law are stored in the remnants of it, now it was completely the other way around, and they were browbeating Zhao Yi into joining, the thunder law of the heavenly master's mansion was reputed to be unrivaled, and had already exceeded the realm of the artistic laws of the immortals, and even if it was only a remnant, its value was so great that it was incalculable, and they were certain that Zhao Yi would definitely be moved by it. They also knew that there was going to be a great disaster in Cloud City, involving the lives of nearly 10 million people. If they could get Zhao Yi to join the vigilantes, when the great disaster erupted in the future, the other party would definitely not be able to stand on the sidelines. Feng Yu was also able to understand that Zhao Yi was not a bad person, otherwise why would he tell this to the public? Even the training of the White Zephyr Special Brigade, the location of which was arranged to be close to the city, was for the sake of saving more people at that time, wasn't it? It's not impossible to join. Zhao Yi looked at the two of them with a smile on his face. His purpose had been mostly accomplished. I definitely can't start from the bottom. 
not too high or too low at the flourishing star level would be quite good. And then let me randomly choose a few things in the treasure trove. Feng Yu and Nia Gao Yang's feet slipped and almost fell on their asses on the ground, but it was too much of a lion's mouth. Traditional star level night watchman that is what concept. Put in the army then the major general are precious. East Mountain Province is currently only one. There are also treasures in the treasury of exotic treasures. Also need to use the completion of the mission rewards of the points to cash in. Master Zhao, you're being a bit of a rogue. Feng Yu was about to cry out. I've stayed up for 10 years of seniority, but I'm still at the fire seed level. We don't have the power. Or else I'd let you be at the morning sun level. We agree. Nia Gao Yang sold his teammates and poked Feng Yu with his finger. Don't listen to Feng Yu's old boy selling himself short. His master Wu Yufang is a white jade rank. He can still make this decision. Hearing this Feng Yu anxious. To grip Nia Gao Yang hair, you an old boy. Then the village head of the women are talking too much. Do not know the identity of the night watchman is top secret. Really want to report to the top. Can rebel you a leakage crime. Nia Gao Yang is not used to Feng Yu. His hair is instantly hard as a steel blade. And the other party wailed in pain. What can I do? Almost the entire night's watch has turned over. Time is more expensive than anything now. What if they all die in that town? Feng Yu gradually calmed down. Knowing that Nia Gao Yang was also motivated by helplessness. Vigilante's department was also established in just a few decades. Dongshan province's team to get up too difficult. Feng Yu is still transferred from outside it. Alabaster level vigilante's Wu Yufeng's disciple. Everyone is valuable. Otherwise it would not have not let him participate in this task. Okay. Feng Yu also went out on a limb. His eyes reddened as he looked at Zhao Yi. His breathing was very messy, Mr. Zhao. I will try my best to convince my master. Of course which step I can take. I can't guarantee it. I'm only begging for you to make a move once. The first prerequisite for a prosperous star level vigilante was a martial king or a real person. Which Zhao Yi had already confirmed. And even far beyond that. And then there was the need to complete 50 quests. And finally to be personally introduced by a white jade level vigilante. Feng Yu dared to say these words. That is, Zhao Yi at the funeral. Solved the white brought old ape. And with the tiger master who practiced the self bakewell technique, it could almost make up for 50 quests. I promise. Zhao Yi raised his cup to the two men and said, In the future, no matter what, he can back the official status. The prison zine vein is his. And whoever comes can not drive it away. So attached to the prison zine vein. In addition to being a rare blessed place where a day is as good as a few months in the outside world. There is also the fact that occasionally he will throb when practicing, instinctively feeling that the ground is not so simple. I have already learned the experience in Volsing Mountain, thinking that when I break through to the five viscera realm and open up the first divine deposit, the true essence in my body will increase by dozens of times, and I will use the book of life and death to see how the truth is. Nia Gao Yang knew that time waited for no one and could not be delayed for even a moment. Since you have agreed, when do we move? The main reason was that the town was so remote. It had to be six or seven hundred kilometers, almost on the other side of Dongshan province, and it would take quite a while to get on a plane. Not yet. I saw that town through your experience. The martial king doesn't die that easily. Sheltering a few people can be done. After dealing with the white zephyr special squad first, it's not too late to move in the morning. Zhao Yi, through Nia Gao Yang, has a general understanding of the town, and is now going to look for He Qinghong. The two of you stay in the prison, and if you have any needs to talk to someone, I'll send someone with an eye for arranging food, clothing, and shelter. Call over Hu Shao Kang and tell him to give the time to follow. A man left the prison and went to that small deserted mountain and sent a message for He Qinghong to come over. He Qinghong quickly rushed over. This recent period of rapid progress? Excitedly reported the results. 29 killers are also on track. We'll soon go to the dark net to receive the task. Their own on the killer temple of the introductory chapter of the deep sense. Occupying the environment and the darkness of the night advantage. There are eight points of certainty that the attack and kill the great masters of the martial arts. Zhao Yi spoke about the White Zephyr Special Brigade, what level of strength the team members were almost at, and what they specialized in. He Qinghong first thought carefully, then nodded confidently. Please don't worry, Mr. Zhao, just leave it to me. According to the information given by Mr. Zhao, the members of the White Zephyr Special Brigade were not even as good as the 29 reserve killers, so it really wasn't much of a challenge to make them have progress in a short period of time. Later I will pass on to you, a simplified version of the Slayer's Temple Primer. Zhao Yi nodded his head in satisfaction. When they learn from you for three months, I'll bestow you with the subsequent techniques. And later on I'll set up a concealment array so that they can't discover the air raid shelter. And you guys be careful on weekdays as well. There must be a dozen or so barren mountains in this place, stretching for dozens of kilometers. And when the concealment array is set up, it will be impossible to discover it. 
As long as the White Zephyr Special Brigade had made progress on, and was able to place in the all-army competition, they would be able to deliver on Commander Sun Yu Heng's side, and those who had not taken the Tiger and Wolf Dan might not be able to hold on to the perverted training methods that were included in the introductory chapter. Thank you, Mr. Zhao. He Qinghong couldn't contain his elation and made a big salute towards Zhao Yi, with the deeper and deeper sense, more and more feel the subtle of the killer temple. Every position of the human body can be turned into a killing weapon. Convergence of life breath fusion of darkness? Advanced scientific and technological equipment cannot be scanned out. Zhao summoned his crimson feathered wings and arrived at the Shen family to buy a few pieces of extremely high quality jade. Shen Liancheng, the head of the Shen family, who was also Shen Zhongjian's father, was busy running out to see Zhao Yi, inviting him to the main hall that was only open to the most honored guests, and handing over eight palm-sized pieces of extremely high-grade jade with hands that were of a much higher quality than the last one. Obviously knowing that Zhao Yi needed it, he had collected it in reserve. We're not outsiders anymore. It's out of line to say we're buying. Just give it to young friend Zhao. Shen Lianqing is a middle-aged man in his fifties. Heart wide body fat really have a few points of the Buddha's face. The name comes from the Shen family's strong financial strength, mining nine gold mines and two jade mines. In ancient times enough to buy a few cities in the East Mountain province are one of the most cash king. The source of information was also very wide, knowing what Zhao had done and the fact that he was going to be the chief instructor, which was his son's top boss, and he acted very friendly towards him. How can a piece be worth a hundred million dollars? It's too hot for me to hold. Zhao revealed a light smile. Give money does seem polite. I use one of them to make a magic weapon, where it all year round can bless all diseases. Two months later can also let you that place. Seven times a night are not down. Throw in a peach and return the favor. Since the Shen family's attitude was so friendly, Zhao didn't mind gifting the magic weapon. Shen Lianqing was really overjoyed. Knowing that his younger brother Shen Fu that magic weapon, the critical moment can save a life, has long been coveted and now he can also have a piece of it, but also can cure the old problem of incontinence. The mouth of the happy cannot close. Zhao refined the magic weapon on the spot, and then with seven pieces of jade, he re-arrived at the barren mountain, and with four pieces of extremely high quality jade, blocking the four directions of the air defense cave, the concealment array took shape, and it was basically foolproof. Taoism and the real person below, from the outside to find the existence of the air raid shelter. If you really want to break into, into the moment of dizziness, how can not find the direction? Zhao Yi also used ordinary jade, carved 30 small pendants, handheld will be able to enter and exit normally, even if it is a little bit of their small compensation, so that Yi Ching Hong sent out the heart and soul to teach for 3 months. Everything is ready for 10 o'clock to come. Yi Ching Hong stood right next to Zhao Yi, quiet as a statue, the night is like a deep velvet cloth, with stars in the sky. There was suddenly a low rotor roar in the distant darkness, Yi Ching Hong looked toward the source of the sound. Five or six armed helicopters seen during the day, like black ghosts, had appeared in the sky, weaving through the mountains, it flew this way, here we go, welcome, Zhao Yi whispered, making Yi Ching Hong follow beside him, a piece of pre-prepared open flat land was the ideal location for the helicopter to land, as the roar of the rotor blades gradually increased, the dust was stirred up by the air currents for dozens of meters, and finally landed precisely at the foot of the barren mountain, the hatch of the helicopter gunship opened in turn, and one by one, the soldiers wearing gray and white special operations uniforms quickly leaped out, each one's movements swift and orderly, the expression on their faces cold, and their bodies exuding an aura of solemnity and murder. 95 White Zephyr Special Brigade members, each with traces of rigorous training, landed on the ground and vigilantly scanned the surroundings. The leader was naturally the brigade leader Xin Zhongjian. Xin Zhongjian was also wearing a gray and white special operations uniform, and was even more unsmiling than what he usually saw and had a very high status in the Bai Zhe Special Brigade. White Zephyr is a legendary divine beast living in the Kunlun Mountains, manifesting itself in the form of a Qilin, capable of warding off all evils on earth and blessing the people from disasters. And Kong Yu Hong personally set down the name with infinite high hopes. Xin Zhongjian came in front of Zhao Yi and performed a standard military salute, reporting to Chief Instructor. There should be 95 members of the Bai Zhe Special Brigade and 95 are actually here. Please review. Get in line. Roger that. Looking at Xin Zhongjian who returned to the team, the 95 people were like a whole, more than half a minute from the landing, arriving at an unfamiliar environment, not even a single murmur, Zhao Yi let out a chuckle, in fact, the heart is also not happy, right, your average age is 26 or 27, which is 3 or 4 years older than I have to be, but it's for me to train you, 95 people opened their mouths in unison, their voices like heavenly thunder, no, that's good, Zhao Yi smiled even more. It's fine if you're not happy in your heart. Anyway, 
It's not me who's training you guys. It's this one next to you. He pointed to He Ching Hong, who was even younger next to him and looked to be just 18 or 19 years old, and greeted them. It's my first time to be an instructor and I don't have much experience. So I'd like to ask all of you older brothers to be more patient. The White Zephyr special team members other than Xin Zhengjian all narrowed their eyes, feeling deeply humiliated. I'm not convinced. One of them, unable to hold his tongue, took a step forward and yelled at the top of his lungs. We can withstand the harshest of training, and put death at risk in the line of duty, but we cannot stand contempt. The rest of the group nodded, agreeing with him strongly. Well said. Zhao Yi applauded. You make a very good point. Now see that mountain back there? The crowd followed his gaze and looked back. A barren mountain that was only about 200 meters. Zhao Yi continued. Now I'll give you guys a chance. I'll let instructor Xiao He go up the mountain for 10 minutes, and then I'll give you guys another 2 hours. You can use all means within the deadline. As long as you can kill him, I'll immediately send a message to Commander Kong and tell you to go back from wherever you came from. Bullets can also be used. Anyway, the use of rubber bullets, shot will only be bruised, no matter which part of the shot, all counted as you win. And don't say girly things about not wanting to bully the weak. Sending one person out is enough. My time is precious. And now that I've given you this opportunity, just say yes or no. 95 nodded their heads, indicating no problem. 200 or so meters of a small barren mountain, not to mention two hours, they could patrol it in 20 minutes. It was useless to hide anywhere. Zhao Yi looked at He Qinghong who was leaping next to him. Be gentle with your hands. Okay. He Qinghong faced the same harmless smile, past them compared to what he was wearing, all to wrap the white shirt. Could not help but let out a sigh of admiration, a look of no insight. Cannot see a bit of professional quality? A while before disappearing in the field of vision, when the 10 minutes were up, the special brigades all moved, choosing to search from four directions, little by little. Zhao Yi looked at Xin Jian who didn't follow the move. Is that so strong that the first captain isn't even involved? We, lost. Xin Jian spat out these four words with difficulty, although he very much didn't want to face it, he was the only one who noticed the confidence under He Ching Hong's eyes. There was no point in having one more of him, and some face could be saved by not participating. But, even after being mentally prepared, it turned out to be worse than expected. From 15 minutes onwards, there were special team members, with lifeless faces, walking out despondently from the barren mountain, sitting on the ground and doubting their lives. They all had a scratch on their clothes, all fatal wounds that would have killed them instantly with a little more force. Even the other side did not see where the game, even in the military competition, with the first ranked Thunder God Special Brigade, have not lost so ugly. Zhao Yi didn't even need to look at it. He still had to go to the town tomorrow and needed to make some preparations. He turned around and was about to go back to the prison, and said to Xin Zhengjian, who was already petrified, when it's over, you'll set up camp in the same place and don't leave this barren mountain for a three-month training period. Roger that. Xin Zhengjian let out a bitter smile, really ran into a tough opponent, have to go to comfort the team members, do not suffer another blow and do something stupid. Returning to the prison, Zhao Yi summoned the ancient armor. The armor was refined into a puppet day and night by the Yin Qi nourishment, but also to be born out of the spirit, now also has the strength to rival the great adult martial master's combat power, holding that big knife also let Zhao Yi sacrificed, half-step martial king can give cleave to death, I've brought it with me tomorrow piece by piece, hoping to kill a few more people and add some more hostility, it still has to be resolved soon, it's almost the end of the month, and a special envoy from the Ayagi organization is coming, Zhao Yi is also quite interested in the armor puppet, when it is born out of the spirit, Pass a body refining technique. The future is also a major combatant. Randomly finding two pieces of clothing. He put them on the golem and cast a morphing spell on it. Otherwise it was just too conspicuous. The next day also at 5 or 6 o'clock. Zhaoyi called up Feng Yu and Nye Gao Yang to take the airplane and go to the nearest place first before chartering a car to go to the town. The puppet registration was also simple. Feng Yu made a phone call and solved it. Oftentimes the chief instructor of the military region is really not as good as the night watchman. No matter where you are the green light is given all the way, and you don't have to spend a penny on first class, can't you enjoy yourself after living on the edge of a knife? Feng Yu obviously didn't sleep all night and started to catch up on his sleep when he boarded the plane, occasionally looking over at the burly man who hadn't said a word and was sitting next to Zhao Yi, thinking to himself, is this a helper that was found? When he was bored on the airplane, he casually found a topic, want to set a set of each other what identity, but the other party did not say a word, the courage of the ghost, he stretched out two fingers, put under the nose of the puppet. The plane landed three hours later and ended up in a small county. During this time Feng Yu did not say another word. No matter how much Nye Gao Yang asked, he kept his head down and read his book. 
it's just too creepy to be breathing. The place they are going to is on the edge of Dongshan province, which is the critical point between the north and the south, and many people don't know that there is this place, and then continue on is the South Ridge Hundred Thousand Mountains, which belongs to a very remote location, and there is only one flight in half a month. The air was dreary as we exited the airfield. A dark-skinned old man with a simple smile on his face, who looked to be in his early fifties, ran over toward the three, and asked in an authentic dialect, where are the three little brothers and one little sister from, and do you want to take a ride? I'm a male, going to Langham Town. Nya Gao Yan looked at the old man and said the destination of the trip, being treated like a girl outside, he was already used to it. From here to the town of Langzhong also have to have a 60 or 70 miles, said the town is actually not much bigger than the village. Originated in the late Qing dynasty, the plague is prevalent in this place, a lot of people died, that town has a bone setter, free treatment to save people, let too many dying people come to life, people in order to thank her, erected a clay statue, and later renamed the town of the bone setter, nestled in the depths of the mountains, the terrain is also rugged, there is no access to the bus to that, four people have to charter a car, and the driver has to know the way, or they won't get there by dark, the old man heard the name, the expression suddenly occurred a big change, is very panicked toward the three people waved their hands repeatedly, rather nowhere, but that place cannot go, I heard that haunted for a long time ghosts, you are not what the anchor, from where it goes from where it goes, Feng Yu patted the old man's arm and took out the prepared camera, don't worry old man, you won't get less money, we are reporters, we are just taking a look around, we definitely won't go in, when he finished speaking, he counted out ten hundred dollar bills from his wallet and shoved them into the old man's hands on the spot. The old man did not move to collect the money, followed by a joyful smile. I'll go to the car right away, but you have to listen to me. It's okay to look around. Don't risk going in. Usually it's just a couple dozen dollars a day. Today it's like half a month. Not a moment too soon. The four of them then sat in the old man's wooling hongwang. Usually in addition to carrying people there must be a side business. Filled with the smell of livestock feces causing Feng Yu to let out a burst of dry heaves. The Wuling Hongguang struggled along the rugged and steep mountain road. The body swayed in the bumps as if it might roll down the mountain at any time, and every time it drove over a steep hill, the body would shake violently as if it was going to be lifted up from the ground. Feng Yu tightly fastened seatbelt, do not dare to look at the scene outside the window, although he is in the middle of the road, but his specialty is the art of hypnosis. Really want to get into a car accident? Certainly not survive. Along the way the old man is very cheerful. The box did not stop, asked the four people from which place, a moment to take back, the price cut in half on the good, $500 will be enough, Nye Gao Yang is also a human savant, knowing that those things cannot be said, and after talking with the old man for most of the day, not a single word of useful information, stop the car, Zhao Yi, who hadn't said a word since he got on the bus, suddenly opened his mouth and said to the old man, the boss slammed on the brakes and looked at Zhao Yi in disbelief, little brother is not feeling well, do you want to go out and spit out ash? Hold on for another half an hour. We're about to arrive in Longzhong town. We're not taking the car. We'll just walk. Zhao Yi looked at the dark-skinned old man. You've had a hard time driving for so long. The lot outside is really nice. Consider it your burial ground and kill him. After saying that, without giving the old man time to react, the armored puppet sitting on the passenger side stormed up, raised his sword and chopped off his head, kicked open the door of the broken car, and threw the head with the headless body off the cliff. Feng Yu and Nye Gao Yang both froze and looked at Zhao Yi in disbelief, cutting down the driver before they even got to the place, he's an outer disciple of the soul regeneration sect, Zhao Yi told the truth, he's already used chondroitin, if it was a little later, both of you would have been poisoned, both of them knew the name of the soul regeneration sect, which was powerful by harnessing ghosts, but was also known in the southern ridge for its secretive behavior and ruthlessness, the history of the soul regeneration sect dates back hundreds of years, and its founder was a master of the art of ghost paths, rumored to have exceeded the realm of the real person. The soul regeneration sect had committed many sins over the years, causing anger and resistance from all walks of life in the South Ridge, and the vigilante sector had cleared it out. But due to the fact that the ghost harnessing skills of its disciples were too bizarre and the location of the sect was unknown to anyone, it had been unsuccessful just. Chondroitin is a poison circulating in the South Ridge, a white powder that is inhaled for a short period of time without any signs. After a long time your body will be weak and you will not be able to exert any force. I'm afraid that when you vigilantes set foot on this land, your whereabouts were made known to the people of the Dementor sect, and what happened in Lunjong town was something they made up, and to prevent it from being sabotaged by the vigilantes. Zhao Yi knew a lot of valuable information through the outer disciple old man. For example, the small county where they had landed, 
which should have belonged to the jurisdiction of Dongshan Province, had been reduced to the territory of the Soul Regeneration Sect after more than a decade of encroachment, with their eyes and ears laid everywhere, and the main characters were all checked and balanced. Nye Gaoyang and Feng Yu suddenly realized, and followed to look at the co-pilot's puppet. They had just made a move and they had seen it. There were still such strong people under Zhao Yi's command, but they did get a good look at the fact that underneath the loose clothing was not a person, but an ancient suit of armor, an armor that could walk normally, had such strong combat power, and could understand Zhao Yi's commands, really subverted the cognition, which had never been heard of before. Let's go, don't drive. Zhao Yi spoke to the two of them, already knowing where the town was, the car was filled with soft bone scatter, no one below Marshal King was immune to it, he didn't want to bring two burdensome people with him, none of them were ordinary people either, and after 20 minutes of walking, the town of Langzhong came into view, dilapidated houses are scattered along the narrow streets, contrasting with the lush trees that surround them, the daytime sunlight pierced through the sparse clouds and sprinkled on this town, but it could not dispel the heavy atmosphere of silence, the streets were empty, with only the occasional falling leaves and the sound of robins in the distance, the four of them were silent, and they were going to enter the town of Longzhong. A black dot appeared in the field of vision. Feng Yu and Nia Gao Yang couldn't see it. Zhao Yi's mouth curled up into a smile. It's really a bit interesting. Feng Yu and Nia Gao Yang were uncertain until they had to walk to the entrance of the town and saw what the black spots were. Their pupils instinctively shrunk slightly. The old man, the driver who had just been decapitated, was actually standing at the entrance of Longzhong town with a joyful smile on his face. You guys are finally here. Feng Yu and Nia Gao Yang's scalps were numb. The dead man who had just been cleaved and then thrown into the cliff was now looking at them with a big smile, playing God. Zhao Yi glanced at the armored golem next to him, and the other party understood and took a step out, raising his sword to vertically split it in half from the middle. The old man's body bizarrely out of blood, but the layers of yellow paper from the gushing, which there is also a faint flow of Yin Qi, actually a fake paper man. It's actually, Papi Mache. Feng Yu was very knowledgeable and immediately recognized it. Rumor has it that an extremely powerful supreme elder of the soul regeneration sect has somehow obtained the paper time and evil technique, which requires the use of ten people's living souls in order to create a paper time man out of it. Killing a paper zapper? Zhao Yi's heart rippled as he took the lead and entered the town. Don't delay. Settle it as soon as possible. I still have to go back to my seclusion. The dilapidated town of Longzhong was filled with desolation and decay, and not a single person could be seen on the streets. Zhao Yi's goal was very clear. Walking towards the town's ancestral hall and explaining towards the two without looking back. This place had an outbreak of plague before, and too many people died of the disease and stayed in the red dust and were unwilling to leave. So it is a place of great een, and there has not been any development over the years. Someone has used this to set up the earth binding spirit formation, repeating it over and over again to gather and draw an in chi, with the aim of cultivating the red clad ghosts, and it seems to be succeeding already. Phone you looked at the empty streets and alleys not a single person in sight, and subconsciously shivered, where have all the people of Longzhong town gone, they won't all be dead, right, Longzhong town must have 500 or 600 people, if all of them die, their few accomplices are probably finished too, that's not so bad, Zhao Yi used the book of life and death to cover a corner of the town, and still knew that the townspeople were all alive, but they should be mesmerized, like mannequins, and concentrated in the ancestral hall, but it's almost time, the life force is draining away, so I guess it's just these two days, but I always feel like something's wrong, like everyone's been misled. Ten minutes to the shrine, the only building in the whole town, but also hard to hide its dilapidated and vicissitudes of life. The appearance of the Qing dynasty to maintain the style, next to it stands a long time old mud sculpture. Now it is difficult to see the appearance. Go inside. Zhao Yi also didn't care about Feng Yu and Nye Gao Yang. He still stepped in first, he was really aroused curiosity. He always felt that what he had seen so far wasn't the truth. The armored golem was following closely behind. The dark red greatsword was filled with a fierce aura. The other two rushed to follow them. Even the shining star level vigilantes had capsized. If they didn't hold on to Zhao Yi's thighs, they would definitely be finished as well. The ancestral hall was filled with the townspeople of Longzhong town. Everyone had a cheerful smile on their faces. Seeing four more people come in. One of them, an old man in his sixties, rushed to welcome them. Those who come from afar are guests. I am the mayor of this town. Today we have someone marrying a bride. Come in and have a glass of wine. Zhao Yi looked at the other party's face, which was already green and bloated, as well as the red wedding invitations plastered all over the wall, and slightly owed his body. I'll be intruding then. Hearing this, the mayor of the town, his face showed a stiff smile. The back of the people do not know where. Get out of four bowls of wine. 
presented to the front of them, home-brewed grain wine. Wolianya cannot be compared to the four hurry to taste. A moment on the table. The rest of the people in the shrine looked over, their eyes only the whites of their oozing eyes staring straight at the four. The air was filled with a refreshing scent of wine, and even Feng Yu, who didn't know anything about wine, couldn't help but sniff a few more times. There were golden flames steaming under Zhao Yi's eyes as he saw through the arranged blindfold. Originally clear four bowls of wine, instantly became cloudy like urine. You can see a few soaked white fingers, but also crawling with white and fat maggots. Zhao Yi just stood there motionless, suddenly do not want to drink it. Since Zhao Yi didn't even drink, Feng Yu and Nia Gao Yang weren't fools and knew what these places were. Giving them 10,000 guts, they wouldn't dare to drink indiscriminately. The atmosphere just stood still as the townspeople gradually leaned over, the whites of their eyes revealing a fierce light. Feng Yu and Nia Gao Yang both made a fighting stance, when suddenly a young man wearing an ancient Taoist robe, with a clean look and a very white face, drilled out from the crowd and brought over the wine in front of Zhao Yi. Grain wine is so rare nowadays, if they don't drink it, all of them will give it to me to drink. Say it. He picked up four glasses of wine, and without moving, made a mismatch, appearing to drink them all in, but actually pouring them out. Seeing that someone had relieved the situation, the mayor's face only looked better. Everyone wait a little longer, until the bride arrives, then we can open the banquet. It wasn't until the town mayor returned to the crowd with the four townspeople that the young man in the Taoist robes, only then did he salute towards Zhao Yi's four people with a flourish and said with great sincerity, Little Shang is a disciple of the Longhu Mountain, and I felt something was wrong as I passed by this town. The townspeople seemed to be mesmerized, repeating what they'd done over and over again, and I'm afraid if you guys hadn't been drinking just now, you would have triggered them into a violent rage. Feng Yu's face showed joy, you're actually a disciple of Longhu Mountain. Longhu Mountain was a superb sect of Dixia, if they really had the help of the Xiao Dao in front of them, the success rate of rescuing their accomplices would be even higher. The young man first nodded his head, and then asked suspiciously, I am indeed a disciple of Longhu Mountain, and what is your origin? This town is too dangerous, it is better to exit while the bride is not here. Zhao Yi looked coldly at, the young man who called himself a disciple of Longhu Mountain, chop it up, not giving the other party a chance to argue. The back of the armor puppets instantly made a move, the young Taoist priest did not even have the time to react. Another knife from the waist cut into two. Red blood stained the shrine hall. The other party looked at Zhao Yi incredulously, not understanding that he had carefully disguised himself and deceived so many people. How in the world was he exposed today? And also too decisive. Right. Not even giving the opportunity to open his mouth to argue? Feng Yu and Nia Gao Yan were also looking at Zhao Yi with shocked faces. A disciple from Longhu Mountain. And he was given a chop just by saying chop? Knowing that Longhu Mountain was a superb sect. The status of its disciples was no lower than that of a night watchman, and that the old heavenly master was also a strong man standing at the very top of Dasha. If this matter were to really spread out today, it would cause a not so small dispute. Longhu Mountain is 100,000, 800,000 miles away from Longzhong town. How did he come so coincidentally? The same as a disciple of the soul regeneration sect. Do not believe in checking the sleeve robe, which is loaded with extra powerful cartilage dispersal. The martial king cannot stand to inhale more than a few mouthfuls. Zhao Yi felt that it was good to have a book of life and death. Never think that someone can fool himself. Even the best acting skills are useless. That young Taoist in the soul regeneration sex status is not low. Just below the patriarch and the elders. Into the Tao of great success of the powerful magician. But not even a little means to show out. Into the armor puppet under the sword of the ghosts of the dead. Feng Yu and Nia Gao Yang searched the sleeve robe. And indeed found a vial. The other party has just been unconsciously lassoed. And inattention is going to be tricked. Let us also take our seats and wait for the bride to enter the shrine. Zhao Yi found a random place to settle down and waited for the truth to surface. Zhao Yi and Feng Yu Nie Gao Yang three people, sitting in an inconspicuous corner of the ancestral hall. Hundreds of townspeople are standing quietly in the middle, until the hazy moonlight through the clouds, sprinkled in the broken Longzhong town trail, and added a few points of bizarre color. Da de de, da de de de, da de de, da de de de, de. a heavy footstep rang out. And as if they had received instructions, the hundreds of townspeople instantly became solemn, and with eyes that had only the whites of their eyes, they looked toward the gate of the shrine. Eight men dressed in black, men, women, and children, with expressionless faces, carried a brightly colored red sedan chair and stepped smoothly into the dimly lit shrine. The red silk fluttered gently in the breeze, giving off a creepy aura. The shadow of a person inside the sedan chair loomed and swayed along with the up and down of the sedan chair. On both sides of the sedan chair, Two boys and girls held white candles and followed expressionlessly. Their eyes were empty and godless, unable to see a trace of vitality, like empty shells without souls. 
and the gray and white morning clothes on their bodies were particularly blinding. There were pieces of red paper floating in the air, dancing and fluttering in the night wind, like flying dancing butterflies or blooming blood flowers. The sound of morning music echoed over the town, bleak and mournful to the heartstrings. The mournful melody seemed to have traveled through time and space, and the faces of the townspeople showed a look of horror and uneasiness. They all came to their senses and saw that there was something else behind the red sedan chair, dense and unseen, all dead souls in tattered clothes. Feng Yu was about to scream, not only the dead souls standing behind the shrine, but more importantly the eight men carrying the coffin, who were clearly the night watchman's accomplices. The leader of the eight night watchman was an old man in his seventies, although his body was skinny to skin and bones, but his eyes were sharper than eagles in the night. When he saw Feng Yu's trio, he wanted to open his mouth to warn something, but thinking of what is forbidden, he tightly closed his mouth again. Seeing the young Taoist priest who had been chopped off from the waist and turned into two pieces, he spat on the corpse with great relief. What a fucking pain in the ass. Damn if I hadn't mistakenly believed this liar and inhaled the special cartilage powder. I wouldn't have been reduced to fish meat on the board. Zhao used the book of life and death to consult the lean old man. The other party looked over subconsciously as if he had sensed something, and had the illusion of being looked at naked, stripped clean from head to toe. Zhao Wuji, a rare martial arts prodigy. He began practicing Xing Yi Quan at the age of five, and after diligently using it for more than 60 years, he drew heaven and earth's aura into his body last year, combining it with his native essence source to transform it into true qi, and formally stepped into the realm of the martial king. He is very upright and hot-tempered, and has suffered a lot for not being smooth enough in his dealings. Zhao Yi murmured in his heart, the first time to see the real thing martial arts king, Xing Yi Quan practiced to the gods, is indeed extraordinary, came to Longjong town, mistakenly believed the fake Taoist priests, inhaled the special cartilage dispersal, woke up as a sedan chairman, he thought a lot more about it and suspected that it was a ruse from start to finish, the special chondroitin that caused the martial king to fall is so precious, that is, the soul regeneration sect is valuable, how could it be held by that fake Taoist priest? I'm afraid that the soul regeneration sex purpose from the beginning was to lure over a martial king realm vigilante. How exuberant was the life essence of a martial king? Enough so that the red clothed ghosts created would have few enemies in their class. But there were still a few suspicions, and he looked into the red sedan chair again. The dead souls standing outside came in, rushed into the shrine in a swarm, and took the bride in the red sedan chair, and roughly gripped her. The departed souls in the back brought up a paper doll to force worship at the shrine, despite the struggling bride shouting dementedly from his mutilated face, one worship of heaven and earth, two worships of the high hall, and the husband and wife worship each other, the bride, whose head was forcibly held down, cowed out to the papier-mâché man, revealing a corner of her snow-white melon face under the red cover, with a tear sliding down the corner of her eye, the townspeople who had come to their senses looked on in horror, having lost track of how many times it had happened, having been trapped in it for too long, I know all about it, Zhao Yi, who was paying attention at all times, let out a cold laugh, the truth about Longjong town, there's no such thing as a bone setter, it's just a made up lie, he had surmised the whole truth from the body of the ghostly bride in the sedan chair, combined with the two soul regeneration sect disciples he had beheaded, the several hundred sober townspeople of Longjong town, Feng Yu with Nia Gaoyang and the eight night watchman, all looked at Zhao Yi, not understanding what he meant, Zhao Yi looked at the epileptic dead souls, and the disgust in his eyes grew thicker, at the end of the Qing dynasty, the plague rose in all directions, and too many people died of the disease. An old Taoist priest in a Taoist robe came to this place and told everyone that the plague was the wrath of the god of pestilence, and that it needed a virgin born on a cloudy day in a cloudy year in a cloudy month on a cloudy day to be saved by an underworld marriage to the god of pestilence. You have thought of old Manyan, whose 18-year-old daughter, born in the Yin year, the Yin month, the Yin day and the Yin hour, has not yet married or is still a virgin. Then you asked Mr. Yen to give up his daughter but he refused and was brutally murdered by you, and his daughter jumped into a well to commit suicide. You then salvaged the body and married the plague god made of paper. The plague did gradually die out, and fearing that things would be exposed to cover up the evil deed of killing two people in a row, you made up the identity of a bone setter and molded a clay statue to go with it. Everyone had a tacit agreement to keep their mouths shut about it, and no one knew about it. Nia Gao Yang reacted. The densely packed dead souls in front of him were the townspeople of this town during the late Qing dynasty. Didn't they die a long time ago? Why do they still exist? Feng Yu's scalp was also numb. He didn't expect the people of the soul regeneration sect to have such a heavy heart. They actually started to make a game from the end of the Qing dynasty. Because from start to finish, it's all a game. The coldness in Zhao Yi's eyes became heavier. The plague is a fake. The soul regeneration sect poisoned it with the purpose of sacrificing Yan Leihan's daughter, 
who was born in the Yin year, Yin month, Yin day, and Yin hour, to create a red-clothed ghost, the town has been set up with an earth-binding formation, and the dead townspeople, unable to dissipate, will turn into undead souls and harsh ghosts, repeating their underworld marriages over and over again, making them more and more hostile. There is no need to say more about the latter. Those present understood, sacrificing another five or six hundred of the town's population, as well as all of their night watchmen, would have created extremely powerful red-clad ghosts, as for the previous did not notice, because the hostility has not accumulated enough, did not involve the town's living people, and now the time is almost ripe, none can leave, all fall into the ghost bride's tonic, as Zhao Yi's words fell, the bride who had been forced to pay her respects exuded a coldness that was like substance, shocking away a dozen or so dead souls next to her, it floated, the resentment accumulated over the last hundred years just one step away from being red, and the only thing that remained gray was the pair of embroidered shoes, but that's okay, as long as the living beings present, devour them all would be enough, the night was as dark as ink, and the wind was bleak, her face was originally as pale as paper, but at this moment, a touch of blood red, eyes through the morose cold, opened that bloodless lips, around the dozen or so dead souls that were shaken flying, as if by the invisible force of traction, struggling to no avail have flocked to the mouth, with every dead soul inhaled, the demonic aura on the ghost bride's body became one point heavier, and those dead souls rolled around painfully inside her, trying to open their intestines and escape, yet they were unable to escape being devoured, she slowly stood up and floated in midair, the last pair of embroidered shoes, also stained with a drop of blood, her aura became more and more eerie, as if she was able to freeze everything around her, when the last pair of embroidered shoes were dyed the color of blood, they also metamorphosed into a red-clad ghost, ghost bride again look outside the ancestral hall, running out of the dead souls, tonight appeared in Longzhong town all the people have to die, but the first thing to be resolved is that as more than a hundred years ago brutally killed his father, forced himself to death also forced with the paper people to marry in the underworld of the murderer, looking at the ghost bride that flew out of the ancestral hall, the eight sedan chair carrying vigilantes let out a long sigh of relief and ran to Fong Yu and Ye Gao Yang, with the leader, Zhao Wuji, looking at Zhao Yi and asking with both hands clasping his fists, this little brother, should be the foreign aid that was brought in, Zhao Wuji could see that Zhao Yi was not simple, being able to recognize the fake Taoist priest's deception, and also being able to tell the truth about what happened a hundred years ago, and saw the other party nodding, dare I ask little brother, is there a way to crack it? He came to the town of Langzhong, mistakenly hit by the special cartilage powder, in order to protect themselves into the sedan chair people, time and time again to repeat the marriage of the underworld, cannot escape Langzhong town, the entrance to the town seems to be blocked, if the heyday would be able to use Xingyi fist to break it, but now the strength of the battle is ten no one, can only hope that the young man in front of him, the broadclothed big man hidden in the back also looked uncomplicated, and was actually refined into a puppet, especially the big sword held in his hand, which emitted a fury that was about to turn into substance, and was also very powerful amongst the magic weapons, knowing where Feng Yu and Nye Gao Yang invited the experts from, could it be the night watchman from another province? The odds were that it shouldn't be, the timing wasn't that fast, and it wasn't like the puppet sex people had no dealings with the vigilantes, and they couldn't refine such a fine puppet, the crack is simple, Zhao Yi leaned against the pillar of the ancestral hall and opened his mouth, Longzhong town was laid with an earth-binding spirit formation a hundred years ago, as long as we crack that formation, we can get out, hearing this, Zhao Wuji's face revealed a joyful expression, I still hope to trouble little brother and help break the earth-binding spirit formation, and in the future, Zhao will definitely thank him more, what for, to break? The one who was doubtful was Zhao Yi instead. It's time to understand the grudge from over a hundred years ago, before the ghost bride kills all the dead souls. I won't make a move to crack the earth binding spirit formation. Zhao Wuji sighed deeply, and also knew that the ghost bride had a grudge in her heart, and the position did pity her, and people who practiced martial arts were even more cynical, or else they wouldn't have joined the vigilantes. But once they were promoted to a red clothed stern ghost, none of the people present could escape. The red clothed stern ghost was extraordinary not to mention devouring so many dead souls, appearing would trigger a disaster, tens of thousands of innocent people suffered, the great Chang Marshal King couldn't even check and balance it, even if he was at his peak, he couldn't hold on for long, a thousand miles of bare ground and no survivors, peace of mind, everyone, Zhao Yi told the 70 something year old Zhao Wuji to relax his mind, no matter what, he would be a colleague in the future, she hasn't been promoted to the red clothes yet, so what if she is, after saying that, he didn't stay in the ancestral hall, and was going to look for the eye of the earth binding spirit formation, 
The eye of the earth binding spirit formation must be a space stone in order to achieve the effect of blocking off space, so that the dead souls that had died over the past hundred years could not leave. One of the most important wondrous treasures that Jowie needed at the moment. Space stones could be refined into space magic treasures, which were the storage rings of the unusual mouth. While searching for the needle eyes of the earth binding spirit formation, Zhao Yi whispered to himself, If it's a small space stone, I'll set up a teleportation array to connect the prison to Volsing Mountain, and if it's a large space stone, I'll refine it into a storage ring. The military district still owes a helicopter gunship and two tanks. If he could refine a space blank and put the helicopter gunships and tanks in it, it would be so much more convenient, and he could take it out and use it whenever he wanted. A magic treasure is a grade above a magic weapon and has a certain spirituality, and may even possess a certain spiritual intelligence. The space stone, due to being too heaven-defying and forming its own internal space, must be a magic treasure when refined. In the present-day Dashya, although magic weapons were rare, they were not so valuable that they were worth a lot of money. For the 81 great formations that suppressed Volsing Mountain, Zhao Yi had obtained 9 magic weapons, and the immortal white-browed old ape also had 2 or 3 on his person. Fabulous treasures, on the other hand, were different and belonged to the very precious kind. It may be that the first class and super first class sects have them, passed down from a long time ago, used to suppress a sex chi, a well-deserved treasure. Feng Yu and Nia Gao Yang made Zhao Wuji and the others, also follow closely behind Zhao Yi, paying a big price to invite an expert to offer a very fierce immortal. In the future, it will also be a night watchman on the same level as Zhao Lao. Zhao Wuji gave a shock deep, but he knew that he had made offerings to the immortals, and he had also seen a few fairy children. All of them were inhuman and ghostly. How come Zhao Yi was unaffected? Let's go check it out. Zhao Wuji, who was about to leave the ancestral hall, was surrounded by the townspeople who were nestled in a block, and the town mayor, who was in his sixties, crawled over, don't go, all the high masters, what should we do? Zhao Wuji didn't bother to pay attention to the mayor and told him to hurry up and get out of the way. The only one who can be relied on right now is that young man, or else he'll die first and then die later. So you guys just stay quiet in the shrine and don't go out when you hear any commotion. Poor mountains produce unruly people, and there really aren't many good people in Lungzhong town. Although located in the East Mountain province, are closer to the South Ridge, the impact is great. They came to Lungzhong town a few days ago to find a place to stay, but they were charged $10,000 per person for a dilapidated dirt shack. There were also a few old bachelor men who privately found Zhao Wuji and fell in love with the female night watchman in the team, asking if they could pay for a daughter-in-law and the price was definitely higher than before. Zhao Wuji sternly rebuffed the old bachelor, and as a result, they actually tried to come to the door in the middle of the night to take it by force, and were broken a few ribs by Zhao Wuji, and were all thrown out. It was already deeply disgusting, and now that it was shyly coming up again, Zhao Wuji only felt nauseous and really wanted to exterminate them all and then relying on the red-clothed female ghost on top of them, the mayor of the town for the tiger, turn a blind eye, and the next day also as an abusive person trying to muddle through this matter. But in fact, every trade in human beings, he has to take a share. It was already deeply disgusting, and now that it was shyly coming up again, Zhao Wuji only felt nauseous and really wanted to exterminate them all and then relying on the red-clothed female ghost on top of them. After continuously taking several deep breaths, Zhao Wuji was still furious and called Feng Yu over. Give this human-faced, beastly town mayor, hypnotize him into an old sow. No, okay. Feng Yu took a cowardly step back. Striking out at the general public was against the vigilante code, in case word gets out, it will not reflect well on Elder Zhao, if I'm not afraid, what are you afraid of? Zhao Wuji put Feng Yu in front of the town mayor like he was lifting a chicken, don't care what happens, I'll take the blame, only when Feng Yu finished did the ten of them exit the ancestral hall, to hurry and catch up with Zhao Yi, Zhao Wuji was also very curious about what means Zhao Yi had to restrain the red-clothed ghosts, not that he didn't believe Feng Yu and Nye Gao Yang, but he just didn't see it with his own eyes and felt that it was a bit unreal. Zhao Yi did not go out far. The eye of the formation was definitely in the center. He locked the clay sculpture that had stood for a hundred years and had long been unrecognizable. The eye of the formation should be inside. After staying for most of an hour, he estimated that it was about time, and the dead souls should have all been eaten up, and opened his mouth to spit out a Gengjin Chi. The blood-red Gengjin Chi was murderous and was the nemesis of all formations. Cutting through a corner of the dark curtain and illuminating the greater half of the shrine with a glittering light, the clay sculpture instantly became fragmented and turned into a cloud of dust under the impact of the Gung Jin Chi. After destroying the earth binding spirit formation, Zhao Yi saw that the central eye of the formation was actually a palm sized bottle. The surface was white and flawless, as if it was carved out of sheep's fat jade, revealing a sense of holiness and nobility. Jade pure bottle. 
Jawi recognized it and used the spacer to ingest it. Jade net bottle is usually the imperial shape of the Buddhist sect. The journey to the west in the goddess of mercy used is. Jawi took it over to scrutinize and found that the bottle is covered with cobweb-like cracks. The This bottle was originally a magic treasure, but it suffered heavy damage and the inscribed lines are blurred beyond recognition, but it's definitely still usable. I've picked up a great bargain. Refining a magic treasure was much more difficult than repairing one. After checking, Jawi used his divine sense to probe into the jade pure bottle and found that the internal space was really not small. Even after suffering heavy damage, it could still fit into a small mountain if it can be repaired. It could be twice as big. When the time comes, we'll think of a way to blackmail a few missiles from Commander Kong. That thing can be more powerful than anything. Even martial saints may not be able to carry it. When the battle is at a fever pitch, bring out this thing and it's guaranteed to scare the shit out of the enemy. I thought it was a small space stone, but I didn't expect it to be such a surprise. Jade net bottle is at least by the palm of the space stone, is already immeasurable wealth, and then by the refining of a research and deep master, with great magic power Su carved out the pattern and then with a lifelong effort to nurture it, Zhao Wuji, who was standing at the back, had poisonous eyes and subconsciously let out a low shout, good treasure, he also recognized that the jade pure bottle was a treasure, ranking among the treasures of the vigilantes, but it was something that Jowie had gotten his hands on, so he could only hold back even if he had a craving for it, it's almost time for the bride to be promoted to red and for the ghost breeder behind the scenes to show himself, Zhao Yi detected the ghost bride, devouring all the dead souls and breaking through to the red clothes, the reason why I stayed until now is also thinking of fishing, waiting for the main man behind the curtain to come out, laying a big game for more than a hundred years, can't wait to come out and reap the rewards, right? Zhao Wuji looked at the seven vigilantes next to him, who were still suffering from the special cartilage powder and were staggering, stay close behind me for a while, and hide when you run into something wrong, the earth binding spirit formation has been lifted, so there's no need to risk your life for those scums, that ghost daughter-in-law has become a red dress, but it's too fierce, if she's 20 years younger, maybe I can use my young energy to suppress it. Next in Ye Gao Yang a burst of heart, left and right to observe the surroundings. Zhao Lao you lower your voice. It's not easy to promote prosperous star level, and then let people report to you grips down. The rest of the vigilantes nodded their heads in little chicken pecking circles, happy but headache inducing to run into such a superior. Of course everyone respected Zhao Wuji, never letting his men die for no reason. Otherwise, Ye Gao Yang wouldn't have put his life on the line preferring to betray Foam Yu's master and bring out Xiao Yi to help. The ten people had just reached the entrance of Longzhong town when they saw a man wearing a wide black robe, his face hidden in the shadows and blurred, only a pair of ghostly eyes exposed to the air, the whole of which swayed with the gloomy wind. The gate was even more unusually stiff, each step like a mechanical stereotype. When he walked to the entrance of the town, he stopped in his footsteps. How did the earth-binding spirit formation break? The prosperous star-level night watchman of Dongshan province is Zhao Wuji and he was also hit by the special cartilage dispersal, did a high level person come, couldn't care less, the red clothed stern ghost has become a reality, I need to hurry up and take it in, there can't be any accidents, slowly, he pulled out of his arms a, dark, glowing flute, the flute exuded a rich, sinister aura, as if it was an evil object taken out of hell, and the man's eyes glittered with fervor as he placed it to his mouth and was about to blow it, I know who he is, Zhao Wuji looked at Zhao Yi, his eyes were very night and very bright, he is the last patriarch of the soul regeneration sect, decades ago he achieved the realm of a real person, he did a lot of evil and was besieged by the night watchman, the last punch was still my hand, his chest was pierced through, didn't he say that he would die long ago back in the sect, how come he showed up this night is actually him, he did die, Zhao Yi saw more thoroughly than Zhao Woji and used the life and death book to check his resume, after decades of encountering a siege, his chest was indeed pierced by you, but he did use the forbidden secret technique of paper tying to transfer his soul into three paper figures, the forbidden secret technique is too flawed, three paper people split into three bodies, which is equivalent to turning into five independent and crippled people, the one in front of me is one of them, far from being a real person, that one flute was made from the thigh bone of the previous patriarch, and after blowing it could lure the ghost bride over, he was the one who had laid out the plan more than a hundred years ago, and must have left behind a backhanded way to carry out the subjugation, the Soul Region sect is also appalling in its ghost harnessing techniques, imprisoning the collected ghosts in its own bones. The more ferocious the night ghost, the bigger the bones needed. Bones cannot withstand the Yin Chi. Will gradually necrosis? The pain suffered is like a lingering death. That's why the Soul Regeneration sect found another way to cut down their own bones first and make a magic weapon. Then harness the ghosts, and the effect can even be doubled. The previous Soul Regeneration sect patriarch, 
who was about to blow his ghost flute, heard someone talking in a low voice, his spectral eyes blossomed in the darkness of the night, and he let out a strange cackling sound at his throat. Who? There. After saying that he quickly blew his bone flute and summoned fifteen or sixteen stern ghosts, wearing grayish-white morning clothes, with a beating gray heart vaguely visible under their chests, killing in the direction of Zhao and the others, Zhao snapped his fingers, and the fifteen or sixteen stern ghosts spontaneously combusted and instantly burned to ashes. The true spirit flame is the most masculine and rigid, and is the nemesis of all in and evil. The night watchman stood next to him dumbfounded and watched. Fifteen de Shang white-shirt ghosts, all of them to be comparable to the martial arts masters, and even more difficult to deal with. In addition to the arts masters who can cast magic spells, it is very difficult to cause damage to the following martial arts king, but was a ringing finger to finish off? After the white shirt comes the yellow pupil, and then the red shirt. Feng Yu and Nia Gao Yang are not looking for outside help. It's clear that they've invited a big daddy to come. Zhao Wuji excited to jump up, very vigorously patted them both on the shoulder, was very happy to laugh, you two do really good. From where to know the big daddy, a moment will have to give me a good introduction. Zhao Yi came in front of the paper man, and the other party revealed a strong scorn. Who exactly are you? Although the other party has no traces of martial arts cultivation, and did not perform magic spells to read incantations, but I do not know with what means, killed 15 or 16 heads of the great adult white shirt ghosts in seconds, and have never seen this person before. It is reasonable to say that there should be some fame is right. I don't care to talk shit. You don't deserve to know. Zhao Yi was even drier, since the ghost breeder behind the scenes had appeared. Let's send him on his way and put an end to the absurd drama that had continued for over a hundred years. Zhao Yi immediately went down on the killer and blew out a cold air. The cold air quickly condensed in mid-air, transforming into dozens or hundreds of sharp ice spikes, emitting a compelling cold aura as if even the air around them was about to freeze, glowing blue-white in the moonlight. Deeper understanding of the underworld emperor skill. A mouthful of cold air instantly condensed hundreds of ice spikes. The power is much stronger than the dark net killer magicians. The last Ming soul regeneration sex sovereign's heart and mind were shaken. The means of blowing air into ice spikes was indeed powerful, and the black robe worn on the body was also paper, which was quickly gripped down from the body and transformed into a huge mouth covered with teeth. To swallow all those ice spikes, the giant mouth was instantly stabbed into a sieve and fell to the ground in tatters. Zhao Wuji and the others also got a good look at the real face under the black robe. It was actually a tawny-colored paper man. The five senses were unusually finely etched, almost to a lifelike degree. But it was precisely because of its overly lifelike appearance that people felt creepy. The previous soul regenerating sect patriarch's expression stiffened. Cruelty and madness flashed in his spectral eyes as he took out ten greenish brown mini paper figures, recited a few obscure incantations, and then threw them towards Joey. The ten miniature paper people grew against the wind, as if they were given life, and transformed into ten tall demons. Each demon is wearing bronze armor, glittering with cold light. Stout body are more than three meters, as if the boulders piled up. Up and down reveals a thick fury, holding all kinds of weapons. Some hold up the battle axe. Some wield the long sword. Some are holding the shield. Step by step approaching Zhao Yi and others. Ning Qian you've done everything bad. Zhao Wuji's eyes widen in anger as he recognized the ten demons and let out a roar up to the sky. Each demon wants a martial arts master's soul. There is no lack of medium success and great success, which the leading one is a martial arts king. All of them are a member of the night watchman of the East Mountain Province. Decades ago. With Zhao Wuji to participate in the siege of the soul regeneration sex sacrificed, I did not expect that the soul cannot be at peace after death, but also be tied into the iron blood demon. Jie Jie. GGG. Kill them. Ning Qian's laughter was strange due to his paper body. I've waited for the red clothed night ghost for more than a hundred years, so of course I can't afford to make any oversights. And since you guys broke the earth binding spirit formation, that jade pure bottle mustn't be in any way lost, so I'll let you all die today. Ten demons but the cost of my decades of heritage. The paper used is more expensive than gold thousands of times ten thousand times. The raw material is the soul regenerating sex treasure of the iron blood ancient tree. Daily must be used to pour ten people's blood. The surface layer of the bark is impervious to knives and spears. The flame also burned is not bad. Made of it is the most precious material. Also with a variety of ores, ground into a liquid soaked, and then tied with its iron blood demon. Even stronger than the original body in life. The only regret is that it can only be used once, only at the most critical time, otherwise relying on the ten iron-blooded demons. I could have swept across half of the South Ridge, and wanted the Soul Regeneration sect to rank among the first-class sects. The ten iron-blood demons were his masterpieces over the decades, and he used them today, arrogantly showing them off to the crowd. He didn't want to use it either, but there was no way around it. 
The threat Xiaoyi gave him was too great, as well as the Jade Pure Bottle being the sole regeneration sect's first generation patriarch's treasure of the sect, even more important than the Red Clothed Knight Ghost, so he can only use his crushing hand and not give them a chance to turn the tables. The heart of Zhao Wuji, who was under violent anger, cooled to the bottom again. A martial king plus nine martial masters, made of iron blood demon. If he is in his peak state, he still has the power to fight. Now only Zhao Yi is single-handed, but looking at Foam Yu still full of fighting spirit, he doesn't understand how he is so confident in Zhao Yi. Only those who had seen Zhao Yi in action would know how strong he really was. Foam Yu firmly believed that Zhao Yi practiced both arts and martial arts, both cultivated into a martial king and a real person. And unless a martial saint or an earth master stepped in, no one would be an opponent. Earth division is the realm above the real person, the attainments of the art of the right, but also the highest achievement of the art of the lineage has been able to mobilize the mountains and rivers for their own use, almost can shake heaven and earth. Reversal of a side of Chinkuan, Zhaoyi looked at the ten lanky figures that were killing, and had the armored puppet take on that martial king level iron blood demon. It doesn't matter if it wins or loses, sharpening it from battle will do it a lot of good. Then looking at the other nine demons, Zhaoyi snorted. Carving small skills also dare to show off. Decades into the rags, also have the nerve to show off. Today let you see Zhong Kuei subdue the demons. Two fingers as a pen sketched in the void, a high five or six meters. Iron face and gnarled beard Zhong Kuei quickly materialized, face majestic and rigid, between the eyebrows through a deep fury, stout muscles like a small mountain. Nine demons in front of it all seemed small. He grew up listening to the story of Zhong Kuei, Tang Xuanzong Lishan Palace sick, a day and night dream look it's great, claiming to be specializing in eating evil ghosts Zhong Kuei, although it is a fabricated character, but today the heart has a feeling sketched out. Zhao Wuji and the others were shocked, knowing that Zhao Yi had made offerings to the immortals, but they didn't think that the offerings were to Zhong Kuei. Zhong Kuei is not a fictional character in myths and legends, and there has never been any known precedent for making offerings to the deity. Only Feng Yu's expression was horrified. He had seen Zhao Yi offer one of his hands to an immortal, and it was completely different from the Zhong Kuei in front of him. Could it be that he has offered two immortals? The Zhong Kuei, who had turned into substance, went on a killing spree stretching out his arm, which was thicker than a tree, and gripped an iron-blooded demon, letting it struggle to no avail, and followed it up by sending the demon into his mouth and chewing on it. Crunch, crunch, crisp sound spread out a long way. The sword and gun invulnerable iron-blood demon crushed. There is reddish blood from the corner of the mouth. The ten people next to the eyeballs are going to stare out. After eating an iron-blood demon Zhong Kuei was not yet finished, he turned around with both hands and gleaned out two more and sent them into his mouth. But he swallowed them cleanly again in a few seconds and then stared at the rest of the iron blood demons that were alive. The initiator Ning Qian's heart was trembling, unable to believe what he saw, and then he looked at that one martial king level iron blooded demon. Although he was powering over that one armored golem, he was also being entangled, especially because that knife had a ferocious aura, and it had a great restraining effect on the demon, and it was difficult to achieve victory within a minute. He really panicked and took out another fascinating folded paper blew into a horse and mounted it about to flee Longzhong town. The jade pure bottle was definitely finished with the red clothed night ghost, and now he was thinking of preserving the paper man. How could Zhao Yi let him have his way? His footsteps nearly shrank, instantly breaking the speed of sound and clamping the previous soul regeneration sect sect master Ning Qian in his hands. I'll fold a little piggy when we get back and shove your soul into it. And then he looked to the northwest, where a red shadow suddenly appeared, rushing towards this direction. The ghost bride, who had devoured all of the dead souls, heard the sounds of the fight over here, and then was attracted to it. For a time, the atmosphere suddenly condensed, and all of them felt a piercing coldness coming, as if a beast's claw had gently slipped over their skin, and the sweaty hairs of their whole body exploded, and they couldn't help but look toward the northwest. A red shadow floated out of the darkness, and the ghostly bride, dressed in a red, fresh, blood-dripping wedding robe, managed to break through to a red-clothed, stern ghost, like a blazing fire burning in the night, contrasting sharply with the dim surroundings, although her face is absolutely beautiful ice, but cold palpitating, without a trace of emotional color, like a frozen lake, her eyes seem to hide endless madness, the corners of the mouth under the red head slightly up, sketched out a touch of cruelty smile, the, what was the most chilling was the fury emanating from her body, which had already turned into substance, like a black whirlwind that raged continuously around her, even the air was filled with the scent of death, wherever it passed, the land dried up and the grass withered. Everyone was shocked by this horrifying scene. The knowledgeable Zhao Wuji's body froze, sweat running down his forehead. Once they break through to the red clothes, a few demons will be born with divine powers. 
but the ones born from the ghost bride are the same as the drought demons. The drought is cheerful. Looking at the eight or nine juniors' confused expression, Zhao Wuji answered Dasha myths and legends of a kind of drought-causing monsters, preaching to Han Dynasty to the image of the Heavenly Maiden as a representative of the Tianji sect speculated that it is the breakthrough to the Red Ghosts. The red-clothed ghosts are already extremely difficult to deal with, and the ones that give birth to magical powers are even harder to deal with, and the ones that give birth to the same magical powers as the drought demons. The Tianji sect has made a prophecy that if they cannot be mobilized to destroy them, they will surely trigger a disaster that will plague several provinces. Zhao Wuji really regretted it. Had I known that even if I fought for my life, I would have to stop the breakthrough. Ruthlessness flashed in his eyes. Look at my eyes in a moment and act. If something is not right, then hurry up and escape. This old bone of mine will fight for a while, and still be able to fight for some time. He is not young, more than 70, nearly 80, and does not have a few years to live. Planted also planted. The nine juniors in front of them still had an infinite future. And although they were all locked by the ghost bride, and the probability of escaping with their lives was slim to none, it was worth it to be able to get out of one alive. Feng Yu who was next to him was also not calm when he heard what Zhao Wuji said, even though he knew that Zhao Yi was very strong, but when he bumped into the Drykas Kuei who had the same aptitude as him, could he really win from it? Zhao Yi also looked at the breakthrough ghost bride, both have clamped down on Ning Qian, the remaining iron blood demons have stopped, also did not let Zhong Kuei continue to attack. Stay can still be of some use. Take it to cash in with the night watchman to get the items in the treasury. Go! Reaching out towards the ghost bride, Zhang Kuei Den killed it, and for a short time it had the power of a middle-aged martial king to try to see if it could do any damage to it. More than 5 meters high Zhang Kuei let out a roar. Stride to the front of the ghost bride, the right hand is a fist slammed down. A moment round dozens of meters of earth and stone flying, more than 10 meters deep pit instantly formed. Its power was so strong that even Zhao Wuji was willing to bow to it. However, the ghost bride was even more terrifying. Dodging Zhong Kuei's full force strike, its face as cold as frost, its hands outstretched suddenly grew over a dozen centimeters long black nails, emanating a cold light of moroseness. The two immediately fought fiercely in a piece. The ghost bride looks thin and weak, but the power is not inferior, and even to exceed a cut. Each exchange caused the air in a circle of several dozen meters to quake wildly, and everyone else except Zhao Wuji covered their ears with the palms of their hands in death and there was still black and red blood seeping out. Their eardrums had suffered heavy damage. Even more terrifying was the ghost bride's divine ability. Zhong Kuei's flesh as hard as steel was withering, and gradually he began to stagger when he walked, rather similar to the Deadwood sect. Zhao Yi made a comment. However, it was a few steps stronger. The Deadwood gate had to touch the other side to be able to do so, while the ghost bride was more like a field. With everything within range being affected by the waves, the ghost bride's power seemed endless. Its long fingernails were sharper than even a magic weapon, piercing deeply into Zhong Kuei's body and plucking out chunks of flesh and blood, but before it could hit the ground it turned to ink. In the end, Zhong Kuei is nearly dismembered by the Ghost Bride and is resolved in less than a minute. Even after causing such a tragedy, the Ghost Bride's murderous intent still hadn't diminished by half, but instead became even more intense. Her blood-red wedding robes fluttering in the night wind, permeated with a suffocating aura of fury. Sure is good. Zhao Yi also moved. Coming in front of the ghost bride, golden flames hanging above her head, truly invulnerable to all laws, completely unaffected. If you devour Zhao Wuji again, and Longzhong Town's 5 or 6 million people, you might be able to have a point of escape, but it really doesn't work out too well right now. Previously, when dealing with Master Tiger and the white browed old ape at the funeral, the fact that it would drag on for such a long time was also because Zhao Yi wanted to increase his combat experience, and if he really wanted to go all out, they wouldn't even be able to hold out for three seconds. The ghost bride was indeed powerful. Even if she fought with a Dichang martial king, the other party would have to be killed after a long time if they didn't have the means of prime elbow. Everyone held their breath, waiting for the coming battle, the outcome of which would determine the survival of all. The ghost bride looked at Zhao Yi in a daze, and even cocked her head as if she was engaged in thought. Feng Yu actually has a ghost bride naive and cute illusion. Standing next to Nye Gao Yang immediately saw what he thought. The next second would like to slap him a few times. Life and death situation is still blind a few messy thoughts. The atmosphere was like a taut string that could snap at any moment. Ran Ghost Bride actually withdrew her native divine ability, slowly landing from the suspended air, like light flower petals floating down with the wind, not stained with any dust, and took a small step backward in a graceful manner, slightly owing her body towards Zhao Yi, and her vermilion lips faintly opened and said, Lord, person. The voice was as soft as the night wind and conveyed submission. It was not known whether it was an illusion or not, but a wisp of imperceptible redness surfaced on the originally expressionless frosty face, 
adding a bit of earthly shyness to her. The ten vigilance eyes that were hiding next to them were going to stare out. No matter who won or who lost the outcome, they had all anticipated it in their minds. Only they hadn't thought that it would be such an outcome. Am I dreaming? Shocked. Fomu rose and fell violently, gently patting his cheeks. It doesn't hurt at all. I am indeed dreaming. Next to him, Nye Gao Yang threw out two slaps in a row and watched Fomu's face redden and swell up. The old god Shi Yen said, Tested it for you. You're not dreaming. Zhao Wuji was even more puzzled. He had never heard of a case of a red-clothed stern ghost actively submitting. Was there something fishy about it? Has been clamped down Ning Qian is also trying to use. More than a hundred years of thorough understanding of the ghost bride, as well as the unique ghost harnessing techniques of the soul regeneration sect, as well as the infinite repetition of the earth binding spirit formation over and over again, with long periods of time to fight a protracted war to take in. But what did Zhao Yi do? Obviously did not do anything. The ghost bride submitted. In what a joke of the century. Zhao Yi looked at the ghost bride with a smiling face, his eyes unusually deep in the future. If you have already submitted, then you are my person. From now on, no one will dare to bully you, and all those involved in this case will be liquidated one by one. The clamped down Ning Qian's heart trembled with fear. How could the soul regeneration sect continue in the future when it had provoked such a terrifying enemy? Yan Zhoui, who was covered with a red head, nodded slightly and simply responded to Zhao Yi's words. She is not a heartless killing machine, forced to repeat thousands and thousands of plutonic marriages for over a hundred years, hates those who killed her father's enemies with a passion but still retains a piece of clarity deep inside. The reason for this is one of her biggest secrets, which she encountered as a child at the head of the village, the blind old man in rags. The other party claimed that he is what Tianji Doormaster is measuring the mountains and rivers of Dasha with his feet. Passing by this place as long as two steamed buns can count a fortune. Was the nearby townspeople to blow out? A few bare children sneak up to follow the teasing, so that the blind man is very messy. But the blind man is not annoyed. The forehead was stone head broken blood. The face has been very calm, the bare child consciously uninteresting before slipping. Yen Zhou Yi see the blind old man poor, steal two steamed buns from the house, give the blind old man free to eat, said to eat and then quickly go, she is not a three-year-old child, know that fortune-telling are deceptive tricks, eat the steamed buns of the blind old man was very happy, had to give Yen Zhou Yi count of fortune, asked the birth date, a long time after a long sigh, said to the age of 18 years old that year will be suffered havoc and then up to a hundred years of tragedy. That blind old man exhorted Yen Zhou Yi, exhorted that even if he carried a blood feud, he should not sink into the abyss, or else it would be the fate of all, and gave an ancient coin on his way out. The ancient coin Yen Zhou Yi was worn close to the body for years, but never had any effect, until he came in front of Zhao Yi. The slumbering piece of clarity within his heart was awakened by the ancient coins given by the blind old man, and when Yen Zhou Yi saw Zhao Yi's face, he knew that he was the variable that the blind old man was talking about. Yen Zhou Yi stretched out her white arm, which looked like flawless jade under the moonlight, and handed over an ancient coin that had been broken into two halves. Tian Ji sect is indeed not simple. Dasha is still a crouching tiger in hidden dragon. There are quite a few hibernating high achievers, actually spied on the soul regeneration sect more than a hundred years later before it was laid out. And in order to prevent Yen Zhou Yi from falling into the abyss, it actually left behind such a backhand. Zhao Yi rubbed his chin and said, recognizing that this was actually a superb artifact that could cause a dead soul that was so muddled that it was incomplete to regain the clarity it had in life. Spells are also divided into grades, lower, middle, upper, and ultimate. The talismans that Zhao Yi had refined with extremely high grade jade were all lower grade. The bone bracelet that the white-browed old ape had worn with the cremated relics of his own corpse and bones was a middle grade magic weapon, and the one soul destroying nail of Master Tiger was a top grade, tied for the highest with the great sword held by the armored puppet. A single top-grade magic weapon was more precious than ten top-grade ones, and I'm afraid that the Tian Ji sect didn't even have much of a collection. Even though the master of the Tian Ji sect is so marvelous and unpredictable that he has peeked through a corner of the Great Summer Machine, he is still unable to calculate Zhao Yi's existence, and is only vaguely able to discern the variables that might lead to a good homecoming for Yin Zhou Yi. The red-clothed ghosts of heaven and earth appeared on the world's enemies, to always be hunted down and besieged, that piece of clarity in the heart sooner or later to wear out. Zhao Yi put away the ancient coin that was broken into two pieces, thinking that he would try to fix it when he went back. The other party sent himself such a potential subordinate, and in time he would be able to achieve the position of Yin God. Let's go. Zhao Yi looked at Yen Zhou Yi and said that the red-clothed stern ghosts were forbidden to walk under the hot sun, not to mention that it was the latter part of the night. Arriving in front of Zhao Wuji and the others, the other party looked at the ghost bride hanging behind Zhao Yi, his legs involuntarily trembling still having a hard time believing that he would be subdued. 
Little brother Zhao, is it really solved? Zhao Yi didn't argue much, he just threw out those two pieces of broken coins. This weapon was left by the Tianji sect more than a hundred years ago for the purpose of making the ghost bride submit to me. If you don't believe me feel free to go and check. Saying that, he stretched out a finger and pointed it at Zhao Wuji's brow, constructing the images he had seen on Yan Zhui into a simple dream. Waking up, Zhao Wuji scrutinized the two ancient coins and couldn't tell the difference between the real and the fake for a while. However, he also believed that Zhao Yi wasn't lying, and thinking that all the crises were temporarily lifted, he asked once again with a sigh of relief. What are we going to do now? You guys are too deeply poisoned and need to recuperate. First rest here for the night. This place doesn't deserve to be called Longzhong Town. From now on, let's rename it as Sin Town. Zhao Yi made a decision after thinking about it. And just like that, he became the center of the squad. Well said. Zhao Wuji slapped his thighs. Originally had no good feelings towards this place. And now that he knew the truth from more than a hundred years ago, he felt even more diaphragmatic. The truth should be exposed so that the world will know their ugly faces. Zhao Yi walked at the front to lead the way to the town mayor's home, the only three-story cottage in the whole town. Decades of lavish enrichment, a share of every gray income, a wide range of appliances, and a refrigerator full of food. Just in time to fill long hungry bellies, Yan Zhao Yi did not want to meet with so many people, chose to land on the rooftop of the small villa, lost in thought, looking at the shining stars, looking forward to more than a hundred years of freedom, now finally get. But instead, there is a sense of unreality. Zhao Wuji sat across from Zhao Yi, unable to see through this young man invited over. How could he have such terrifying battle power at such a young age? Even if you have made offerings to the immortals, don't you need to pay a price? His conjecture was the same as Wang Fuzhu's, believing that Zhao Yi had the means to check and balance the immortals and make the other party unconditionally effective. And that was the only explanation that would work. Zhao Yi's eyes were ancient and unperturbed as he looked towards the lazy Zhao Wuji. I've completed the rescue mission. So I'm now a flourishing star-ranked vigilante, right? Hearing this question, Zhao Wuji's expression also became serious and earnest as he nodded and said, The department's scrutiny of you began when you left Cloud City, and it's surprising that both your grandfather and great-grandfather served as militia members, contributing to the guarding of the Japanese army's invasion of Cloud City. The Night's Watch department is indeed powerful. His grandfather and great-grandfather did work as a militia, but they didn't have a few days of training. They didn't even record it in the booklet in their haste. They didn't even have the simplest of certificates. They went to war and then died in a heroic manner. And all those who investigated him before still haven't been able to find out about it. Zhao Yi also learned only a few words from his father's mouth. Your scrutiny has passed. White Jade ranked vigilant Wu Yufeng has introduced you on your behalf. Along with being appointed as the chief instructor of the White Zephyr Special Brigade of the Cloud City Military Region. You are now officially a prosperous star ranked vigilant. And may also choose three exotic treasures from the treasure trove at your discretion. Zhao Wuji had a lot of emotions. He had only achieved the prosperous star level just last year ago and was already 71 years old. The other party is in his early 20s. And I am afraid that he is the youngest prosperous star level night watchman in Dasha, supervising the intricate cultivation forces of Dasha, holding the significant power of first deciding and then decreeing, and is the chief instructor of the special brigade of the military region of Yuncheng, and has the opportunity to be awarded the title of general in the future. And such a dazzling achievement is not comparable to that of the capital city. There were also the exotic treasures in the vigilante's treasure trove. The value of each of them was hard to measure in terms of money, sparing him from drooling as he looked at them. To get three pieces for nothing, you'd wake up smiling in your dreams. What's our arrangement back there? Zhao Yi, who had gotten a satisfactory answer, had gained more than expected from this trip. The special cartilage powder I was hit with is too deep. It will take me at least two days to get back to full strength. I hope to go again at that time. Zhao Wuji sighed. The main other seven night watchmen who had been hit with cartilage powder were now unsteady on their feet and needed two days to buffer. Two days? That's enough. Looking at Zhao Yi who said this sentence, Zhao Wuji who was sitting on the ground meditating, suddenly had some bad premonitions. You want to, do? The corner of Zhao Yi's mouth hooked up into a smile, and he said calmly, the chess pieces laid down by the Dementor sect in the county, all of them without a single one left, will be pulled out. Zhao Wuji's pupils shrunk slightly, and his breathing became messy, a lot of people will die. What if there are innocents? The Night's Watch had the privilege of preemptive action, and he did have a big grin on his face and did bad things to scum like the mayor. But how did it rise to the level of seeing blood? And hurting innocents was a big no-no for the Night's Watch, and not something that could be violated by even a Morning Star class. He felt that he was adventurous enough as it was, but compared to Zhao Yi in front of him, it was like a 10 best model. There is not one innocent who has died at my hands. How do you prove it? 
Zhao Yi stared at Zhao Wuji his gaze became deep, that feeling as if he was being seen through came again, you started practicing Xing Yi Quan at the age of 5, at the age of 12 you peeped at your senior sister taking a bath, and were kicked by the master and broke two ribs, at the age of 15 you stole and ate the master's old mountain ginseng, and were beaten by the master and laid on the bed for half a year, and at the age of 17 you had the audacity to peek at the master's wife taking a bath, and were almost expelled from the master's school. You bragged in front of your disciples and outsiders about how big and fierce you used to be, nicknamed One Night Thirteen, how many affairs you caused when you were young, and now you're old enough to wash your hands of the gold basin and quit. But, Zhao Yi's expression became teasing, and he didn't hold back a snort of laughter. Xing Yi Quan is rigid and castless, and it's all about that breath, and up to now you're still a virgin. Zhao Wuji, who was over 70 years old, at this moment, his old face was red with shame, and there were veins rippling at his neck. If it wasn't for the fact that he couldn't beat Zhaoyi, he would really want to kill and exterminate him. The biggest secret of his life was told in public, and a mouthful of old blood almost spewed out. I'm going with you, Zhao Wuji wailed a throat, very vain said. I have to tell you, even if you have sufficient evidence, kill so many people in case you can't pocket it. Although I did not restore the full strength, but this old arm and leg, to help you throw the body of such a small thing can still do. As long as there is solid evidence, there is certainly no problem with killing someone. Instead there are points awarded. It was just that Zhao Wuji was thinking of mixing it up in front of Zhao Yi and trying to find a way to seal his mouth. Never to shake out this secret. Or else he could be unable to lift his head by those old friends jokes. Aren't you afraid I'll spill over to the innocent? Listening to Zhao Yi's words with slight sarcasm. Zhao Wuji was superficially relieved and tried his best to keep his tone from seeming so choked. You do things. I'm relieved. Zhao Yi was all smiles and managed to get Zhao Wuji hooked. This morning just arrived in the county. He increased the scope of the book of life and death. Found that the chess pieces are really quite a lot. Only just joined the night watchman. All kill all may really have trouble. How to say is also phone you bitterly master Wu Yufeng. Can not give people further trouble. It would be different if we could bring Zhao Wuji with us. An old night watchman. So the big deal would be to carry it all together. Elder Zhao go rest. We'll leave in the morning. Zhao Yi put away his smile and was going to see Yin Zhao Yi. Zhao Wuji. Who was about to walk out of the room door opened his mouth in a very uneasy manner. Don't get rid of me tomorrow. I think we're very temperamental. Why don't we worship a forgotten friend now? Looking at Zhao Yi who was going to be impatient, Zhao Wuji only sneaked away and went downstairs just in time to run into Feng Yu, Zhao Lao. Not sleeping at night, what did you go for? Zhao Wuji put his hands behind his back. His expression was helpless. Xiao Zhao said that he didn't have an object even after 20-something years and he wanted me to give him an idea and how he is also a lifesaver so he unknowingly chatted more. The still do not want to let me go. Have to let me worship forgotten friends. We are half of the body into the ground people. How also have to point face. Also did not agree. Feng Yu stood in awe and flattered and complimented. It's still you. It's really high. Zhao Wuji was very flattered and patted Feng Yu's shoulder. Just follow your ass and learn. Zhao Yi, who had come to the rooftop at this moment, looked towards Yan Zhao Yi who was lost in thought as she looked at the moon. I'm going out in the next two days. So you protect them here and don't have any more accidents. Yen Zhou returned to her senses, nodding slightly under her red head. Right. As if he thought of something, Zhao Yi reached out and tapped on Ghost Bride Yen Zhou's brow. Relax your mind. Skin is cold and delicate as the dew of the morning sun. One by one, primordial and grandiose symbols leapt out from his fingertips and ended up in Yen Zhou's soul sea. Ghost Bride Yen Zhou's face was pale and beautiful. Her long hair was like ink coiled into a bun. Her eyes were as deep as the sea and she was dressed in a bright red exquisite wedding dress, like a blooming flower on the other side of the sea. Feeling the meaning carried by the primordial symbols, its eyes actually revealed surprise. What Zhao Yi had passed on was part of the mysteries of the Tai In True Scripture, which was enough to help Yan Zhou Yi quickly break through to the In God realm. The Tai In True Scripture was also very extraordinary, related to the underworld emperor's skill that he had cultivated. In the past, when the emperor of the underworld unified thousands of frontiers, there was a follower with outstanding talent who created a similar tie in true scripture, which was equally terrifying to the point of being limitless in its power, devouring all in energies, and was praised by the emperor of the underworld for claiming to have inherited part of its essence. Yan Zhoui, who had obtained the gong method, instantly settled down and started practicing, the moonlight being a natural nourishment. The bright moonlight poured over her, reflecting with her own dark aura, actually forming a weird kind of holiness. Zhao Yi left and couldn't wait for dawn. Summoning his crimson feathered wings, he gripped the armored golem in his right hand and flew to the county seat. The name of the county is Fairview. Filth everywhere beneath the beautifully named facade, long since eaten away by the Dementors. 
run by a couple of dogged clans that had been groomed to run the show, injecting true essence into the book of life and death. He turned into a walking radar, slashing one as soon as he spotted one. The armored golem fought with martial king level demons, itself about to be on the verge of being born with spiritual intelligence. And now after the constant killing, the helmet's empty eye socket steamed up two regal ethereal lights. Since you have been born with a spirit and are considered a life, let's give you a name. Zhaoyi looked at the armored golem. The character Yuan was carved at the position of the left arm, which should be the last name of the previous owner. Take the last name of your previous owner. Since you were born for killing and pray to kill all the evil people in the world, then call it Yuan Killing Life. When he heard the words Yuan Kilsheng, the ghostly light in his eye sockets grew even more, clearly recognizing the name. I'll give you the Buddhist sex Vidra Voodoo Kung Fu again. As long as you kill evil people you'll be able to receive merit from the heavens. And it's also a horizontal training art that specializes in refining the body. Kill the good for evil and the evil for good. Zhao Yi tapped on Yuan Kilsheng's brow. Vudra Voodoo Kung Fu is also ranked first class even in the universe. Cultivated to the great completion and even able to knit the golden wheel of merit. At that time, it will be blessed by the great Tao. And whoever wants to kill will be rejected by the heaven and the earth. When the dawn is going to rise, Zhao Yi also swept a circle. Stray fish basically cleared. Casually find a place to eat breakfast. A panting old man ran over and looked at Zhao Yi in a very grumpy manner. Saying that we didn't agree to act together. Why did you run off alone? Zhao Wuji, who slept comfortably, woke up and found Zhao Yi missing, casually explained a few sentences to his accomplices, and then ran to Jinshou County in a hurry, and found Zhao Yi who was drinking kanji at the breakfast store, and the big stone in his heart finally fell, couldn't sleep at night, came over to count the stragglers, and it hasn't even officially started yet. Zhao Yi scooped up a spoonful of hot porridge and told Zhao Wuji to eat some as well. Time is tight and the task is heavy. So dinner and supper may be too late. Zhao Wuji sat down opposite Zhao Yi and asked the boss to serve 20 cages of buns and 50 eggs, picking up the large half pot of egg soup at the entrance and drank it. After starving for days in the town, he was in need of some nutrition. Cultivating martial arts itself has a fast metabolism, and martial arts kings are even more swift, and with low energy food, they have to eat a lot before they are full. The shocked owner serves up breakfast, looks at the 70-year-old man who wolfed it down, and silently pulls out his cell phone to take a picture. Zhao Wuji didn't care and let him take the shot. The state is very concerned about the privacy of the vigilantes. The photos are recorded, and as soon as someone uploads them to the internet, they are automatically taken down in less than 5 seconds, and the relevant authorities are sent to check the water meter. Zhao Wuji, who was feasting, looked at the slow Zhao Yi as if he thought of something. How many stray fish were cleared last night? Not much. 300. Put. 300? Zhao Wuji's shocked mouth could not close. Looking at the youth sitting across from him drinking kanji, under the clean appearance as a complete killing embryo, he thought that he would deal with a lot of people, but he also did not expect that the miscellaneous fish would be cleared of 300, and he could not imagine how many people would have to die in the end. Hurry up and eat. Zhao Yi was as calm as ever. Two days is still too tight, or else I would have wanted to kill the soul regeneration sect and destroy this sect as well. Immediately to the end of the month, the envoy of the Shangliu organization is coming. The soul regeneration clan is hidden in the 100, 000 mountains, back and forth at least 7 days, otherwise he really door to door to also give the destruction. Do you know where the soul regeneration sex lair is? Zhao Wuji was keenly aware of Hua Point, and his speech speed was unconsciously much faster. Don't joke, this is very important. Decades ago, the reason why the vigilantes failed in their siege was that the 100, 000 mountains of the south ridge had a complicated terrain, always surrounded by miasma that even a warrior couldn't defend against, with all kinds of venomous insects hidden under the leaves or in the cracks of the rocks, and with undefensible mechanisms, and they suffered heavy losses before they could find out where their lair was. Sure, Zhao Yi faintly said, don't forget that I'm a fortune teller, clamped down on a bilocation of the previous sovereign, Ning Qian, and except for a few areas. I understand the soul regeneration sect thoroughly enough to know where they set up thousands of organs. You're really a person who will keep creating surprises. Zhao Chan. Zhao Wuji's eyes burned, feeling that there is an inexhaustible energy. Hating to go back to the town's land now. Give the donkey a kick to one side, and put on the plow to plow 10 acres of land to vent the fire, to be able to know the location of the soul regeneration sex lair, and to avoid the thousands of lethal organs. He can be submitted to the Night's Watch Department to once again besiege the soul regeneration sex mission. Decades ago when he was a martial artist, watching his companions die in front of him while crumbling helplessly, he dreamed of overthrowing the soul regeneration sect. Work hard first, we'll talk about this later. Zhao Yi also knew that turning in the location of the soul regeneration sect would be a great feat in the vigilant sector. 
So how could it be explained to Zhao Wuji, a reckless man, for nothing? The two finished their meal and left the breakfast place. The second round of sweeps was obviously much slower, but they were all dignified characters now, unlike the outermost insignificant pawns, and it didn't end until 8 or 9 o'clock in the evening, when Zhao Wuji was already going numb, and another 400 people were beheaded by Yuan Tiangang. Before every time he had to kill someone, Zhao Yi would take out his cell phone video and tell Zhao Wuji that the crime he had committed was legally enough for the death penalty. The body was incinerated by Zhao Yi and nothing was left. What Zhao Wuji did not expect was that Yuan Kishing, who had killed so many people, not only did the aura of death not worsen, but also revealed the holiness of the Buddhist sect he had lived for most of his life. What strange things had not been heard, but it was the first time he had seen such a strange one. Killing one person can save a thousand or ten thousand. So what do I have against the Buddhist sect? Zhao Yi's face was cold as he inquired to Zhao Wuji, and without waiting for him to answer, he said forcefully, the difference is that they stand too high and have forgotten the hardships of the earth, peacefully enjoying the people's fat and wealth of the general public, and even indulging in the sins of their disciples in committing murder, and sooner or later, they will fall down from that position. The family assets were definitely confiscated, and Zhao Wuji said that there would be someone who would do this and remit it to the account of the vigilante department, which made Zhao Yi a bit regretful. Although Fairview County was poor overall, with a fiscal deficit of more than a billion dollars, those doglegs who had their backs to the soul regeneration sect, specializing in black business prohibited by law, even if the vast majority of them had to be handed over to the soul regeneration sect, they were still rich and big, found the big fish, in Zhao Yi's eyes was undisguised excitement, I learned from the man who just slaughtered him that there's a party tonight at the Fortuna Hotel, and all the playboys from the surrounding counties will be coming to celebrate being the personal disciple of one of the soul regeneration sex elders, the two traveled immediately, the Floridian Hotel is considered a landmark building in Fairview County, every month there are big shots all hold parties, the degree of luxury is not inferior to the big hotels in the city, today is to celebrate the small son of the Ding family in Fairview County, by the soul regeneration sect and elder, in a few days will be able to become an official disciple, a few counties in a circle or dude are over, although it does not belong to the soul regeneration sect, but it is also being held by other small clans in the south ridge, wealthy couple dharma land, cultivation can't be done without money, and they all want a piece of the pie, but it's done in a very secretive way, picking remote and backward counties that hadn't even focused on attention before, soul regeneration sect in the south ridge is not in the first class, but it is also considered a behemoth, they are thinking of coming over to flatter, not the lowest level of the outer disciples, but by an elder, the future will certainly soar, the entrance to the hotel was filled with luxury cars, ranging from Otis to Ferraris, none less than a million, there must be about 50 or 60 of them, though not as many as the, Zhao Yi walked in the forefront, Zhao Wuji and Yuan Kilsheng followed, when he came to the door was called out by the security guard standing guard, glanced at the never seen, wearing no name brand, may I ask if there is an invitation? No. Just as Zhao Yi finished speaking, the security guard rebuffed, there's a VIP party tonight, it's not open for business, I'm really sorry, although the words were fine, the tone was brash, the Fortuna Hotel is the property of the local Ding family, and the security guard is naturally a cultivated crony who is usually a vicious gangster who bullies men and women, Zhao Wuji, who was standing at the back, acted very angry, stepped out to the front of the security guard, and threw out two slaps with his backhand, which instantly swelled into a pig's head, open your dog's eyes and take a good look at it, the young master is a close friend of Ding Yuanhang in the soul regeneration sect, and ate a bear's heart and leopard's gall and even dared to stop me, the security guard's eyes were slapped open, but the other party was able to call out the duke's big name, and also threw out the big name of the soul regeneration sect, and also acted so arrogantly in the Fairview County, and immediately endeavored to climb up and welcome inside, totally afraid to blame it for fear of being held accountable, the hotel's lobby was packed out, basically everyone came together, the stars surrounding the young man who stood in the center, looking just 26 or 27 years old, wearing a white suit elegantly, Zhao Yi and the others entered, instantly attracting the entire crowd, who are you, Ding Yuanhang narrowed his eyes, seeing the security guard who had been slapped unconscious and had revealed a murderous aura, your excellency had better give a reasonable explanation, or it will be hard to walk out tonight. Originally was thinking of relying on being accepted by the soul regeneration sect elder as a close disciple, subduing a few other dudes from different sects in the county, and taking advantage of this to establish his own class, to increase his momentum for the upward climb in the future. But after such a mess, his face is very faceless, looking at Zhao Yi, who hadn't said anything, his eyes signaled the little brother next to him, the little brother understood, from the small bag on the table, 
took out a pistol, walked over and aimed at Zhao Yi's temple. Mayor Gobi, talking to you, pretending to be deaf. Zhao Yi turned his head to look at his little brother. His expression didn't change and his tone was calm. Wang Hongzhe, relying on the fact that he is Ding Yuan Han's little brother, let 32 families break up by loan sharking, successively mesmerized 45 people and sent them to the Soul Regeneration Sect, doused them with iron blood magic, and bled them dry and died. Sentence, death, say it. Yuan Kilsheng in the back stepped out and raised his large sword to swiftly slash down, and Wang Hongzhe's head, at once, rolled to the ground. Looking at the heads that rolled and stayed in the hall, everyone's faces instantly turned pale, and a look of horror passed through their eyes. The dead Wang Hongzhe's expression froze, maintaining the arrogance and impudence of his life, constantly rolling down while staring at them with his glaring round eyes. Ah, how dare you kill someone in Fulu Lai? Let's do it together and kill him. Vomit. Somewhat anxiously took out a pistol to take advantage of the chaos to shoot Zhao Yi, but Zhao Wuji's movements were even faster, ghostly arriving in front of him, and what looked like a powerless punch landed lightly on his chest, instantly giving way to a large hole. Zhao Wuji continuously struck out, and anyone who tried to counterattack was instantly killed. It was really hard to imagine how this dying old man in front of him could have such terrifying power, with a speed faster than a bullet, casually taking people's lives. No one dared to move easily anymore. The shadow of death hung over their heads, and those with poor mental capacity fell to their knees and cried out in pain, begging for mercy. Zhao Yi ignored them all and came to a girl, looking down with a cold face. The girl was kneeling on the ground crying with pearly blossoms, wearing a white gauzy short skirt, the plump peaks under the thin clothes, gently trembling along with her body, compassionately thirsting. People aren't from Fairview County, received an invitation from a friend before coming to the party, saying that, he even stuck up and rubbed Zhao Yi's pants leg with his softness. Wang Xiaoxue, trial of Zhao Yi, the youngest daughter of the Wang family in Antai County, a lapdog supported by the Black Witch cult. Fish and meat 450, 000 county people, drugged and played with 17 high school students to death over the past few years, and underneath the skin of a human is the soul of an animal. Sentence, death, Yuan Dashang, who had been waiting for a long time, raised his large knife and chopped down, and the beauty of the incense died. The living were about to piss themselves, but there was no escape, and to pass through the hall's exit, they had to go through Zhao Yi. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells. A cell phone rang, crisp and shrill, and it stood out in the austere atmosphere. The ringtone echoed in the empty hall, adding a few more moments of tension to the already taut nerves, and the living followed the sound to the party promoter, Ding Yuan Hang, who tapped his cell phone with a trembling hand for more than a dozen seconds before he managed to answer it. The voice on the other side of the phone was very strong, but there was also a panic that couldn't be concealed. Son listen to me, quickly leave the Fortune Hotel and enter the Hundred Thousand Mountains to notify the Soul Regeneration Sect. Someone has made a move on us. From last night until now there must be nearly a thousand people dead. Across the street is Ding Yuan Han's father, Ding Liang. Most of his men were lost overnight, and it's only been a few hours since he's been sure. Until five minutes ago, when intuition told him that something might be wrong, on the way to escape. He thought that his son was still in Florentine and rushed to call and inform. Listening to his father's panicked voice on the other side, Ding Yuan Hang let out a bitter laugh. The rightful owner was right there in Fuliali. He put his cell phone aside and looked at Zhao Yi who was also listening. Your Excellency has killed enough. Thousands of lives. Do you really think that there are no laws in Dasha? Tonight, I am the law. Zhao Yi gave a very calm reply and looked towards Zhao Wuji who was sitting in the center. Trouble Zhao Lao to make a trip. Don't let this kid's father run away. It's a big fat fish. Got it. Zhao Wuji replied dryly, rubbing his hands together in excitement as he quickly left the hall. When Zhao Wuji returned again half an hour later, he was gripping a human head in his right hand, and Ding Yuan Han's heart went cold when he saw it. His old man was followed by eight bodyguards all year round, all highly trained and sleeping with their guns, and none of them ended up stopping this old man? There were only three or five people left in the hall. The rest were all beheaded by Yuan Kilsheng with a single slash. The Buddha's light on his body was getting heavier and heavier. Ding Yuan Han's eyes were streaked with blood. He was puzzled and asked, The law can't sanction you. Aren't you afraid of the soul regeneration sect? This is their stronghold. In addition to this those people you killed. It has to be five or six clans to support them. Really not afraid at all? Doesn't matter. Zhao Yi shrugged. I'll be waiting in Cloud City. If I dare to come, it's just as well to save the effort and kill and be done with it. Three or five of them wouldn't take long. When the last Ding Yuan Hang was decapitated, Zhao Yi had Yuan Killer pile the bodies together and ejected a small cluster of golden flames. All of them were burnt to ashes. Looking at the burning pile of corpses, the side of Zhao Yi's face reflected by the firelight, 
he felt that killing embryos was not enough to describe it. Vigilante's department was established for decades. Altogether there are not a few missions. The number of casualties can be more than a thousand people, and now there is still no end of the cleaning it. The silence has to be half a minute. Zhao Wuji only spit out two words, massacre. Of course it's not derogatory. In Zhao Wuji's opinion, the killings are all evil people. The means are a bit too drastic, but to deal with the bad guys we have to fight violence with violence. Looking at Zhao Yi's back as he left, he murmured in a low voice, maybe with his joining, we can really complete the great cause of the vigilance sector, which has not yet been accomplished for decades of going before and after. The two of them, one after the other, walked out of the Floridian Hotel and did another sweep, getting more information from Ding Yuan Hang, knowing that there were still a few more that had slipped through the cracks. In the end, the total number of killings reached 1,400, truly emptying the forces of the Soul Regeneration Sect. After confirming that there were no oversights, the two were heading back to town. On the way, Zhao Wuji said with some concern, we've killed so many people from the Soul Regeneration Sect, what if they lose their hearts and go after the ordinary people of Fairview County? Zhao Yi smiled without saying anything for a long time before replying, then be prepared to be overthrown. In two days he didn't just kill people anymore, re-sacrificed the remaining few iron blood demons, no longer a disposable consumable, as long as he felt the killing intent he could awaken, and persisted for half a year with no problem. Unless the entire army of the Soul Regeneration Sect was deployed, it would be difficult to take it down without injury. Zhao Yi and Zhao Wuji returned to the town. They didn't have to go back to the county to take an airplane. The prosperous star-level night watchman had more power. Zhao Wuji sent out a message. That is, after half an hour, the closest airplane was transferred over. Smooth boarding and return in order. The guys took two days off and the bumps held up. Each vigilante was in a different city. And in the end, only Feng Yu and Zhao Yi got off the plane in Cloud City. After getting off the plane there was also someone waiting early. The special car driver sent Zhao Yi to the prison gate. Vigilantes as long as the mission. Not out of the country of Dashia. In addition to the military region is more special. The rest of the department all will be wide open green light for you. This is a kind of silent tacit understanding. But also a deep respect for the guardian. Zhao Yi stretched his back and looked at the tired and weak Feng Yu. Go in piece by piece and meet the white jade ranked vigilante. Hearing the three words white jade level, Feng Yu's entire body was energized, and he was very out of breath. My master, his old man is here? It shouldn't. He murmured in a low voice, afraid of being overheard. The white jade levels all have surveillance ranges, and they usually don't cross provinces easily. Not your master. Zhao Yi walked into the prison and said without looking back, an even more interesting and mysterious old man. Only those above the prosperous star level know about it. Even if Zhao Wuji had instructed him to do so on his way back, he still feels divine when he sees it now. Zhao Yi and Feng Yu arrived at the parlor and there was already a person waiting inside. Precisely that was a, turned into a solid shadow. No features of the face looks exceptionally mysterious. Cannot analyze any expression and emotions. The overall although there is no solid texture, but give a person a kind of heavy reel. Seeing Zhao Yi and Feng Yu come in, Shadow stood up from the sofa and tried his best to make his tone friendly. But it was still stiff, Mr. Zhao, good noon, it's good to see you. Zhao Wuji explained that in the vigilantes department, there was a white jade rank specializing in liaison, codenamed Mysterious Shadow. No one knew his name and looks, but the authority was so high that it had reached Cloud City Prison. The trip was specifically to see Zhao Yi, to explain the code of the Night's Watch, and to fulfill the terms that had been negotiated long ago. Feng Yu next to him had a horrified expression, never having heard of this figure, not even his master had revealed it. Zhao Yi looked at the shadow in front of him and tried to use the Book of Life and Death to check it, but ended up seeing nothing. The corner of his mouth hooked up in a smile. It is indeed a bit interesting. I know that mister. Zhao has made offerings to the immortals and seems to have kept them in check, claiming to be a fortune teller. But still, don't waste your time on me. The shadow spoke stiffly, making it impossible to hear the fluctuations. The one who came to Cloud City is just a shadow. It would be more apt to describe it as a cell phone that can move freely. So let's just sit down and talk business. As Zhao Yi nodded his head and sat down, the shadow looked at Feng Yu again, scaring the other party to take a step back. As it relates to a conversation at the prosperous star level, please go out first, Mr. Feng. Feng Yu knew the lesser of the two. He was originally a fire seed level vigilante, and it was probably all for Zhao Yi's sake that he knew about the existence of the shadow. Right. The shadow suddenly called out to Feng Yu. His voice shifted and turned into an angry male voice, little Yu as he give me a good listen. In the future go out honestly. If you do pit master again, be careful to make a cleanup. Feng Yu's entire being was shocked to the point that it was the voice of his master. Wu Yu Feng, 
but it was being restored by the shadow even in his demeanor. Looking at Feng Yu who was so scared that he rolled out of the parlor, Shadow's voice resumed its stiffness, sitting on the sofa and facing Zhao Yi directly, a little bit of small tactics is just a little bit of small tactics, Mr. Zhao don't be worried about it, Wu Lao also knows about your deeds, and has shown great appreciation for it, or else he wouldn't have agreed to be your introducer, and today he also wants to knock him out just a little bit, Zhao Yi, who hadn't spoken for a long time, placed his hands on the table and looked at the shadow and said in a low voice, I know all of it, the great Xia is indeed deep, to the extent that it even has this kind of magic treasure, it's just that it's a bit costly, right? Although there was no way to see the shadow's biography, Zhao Yi had roughly guessed what the origin was through a book of cosmic magic treasures copied from the book of life and death, the shadow's figure stalled and sighed after it, I no longer have a future, but I can guard others' futures, Mr. Zhao is indeed knowledgeable, so let's not waste time on useless topics, apparently shadow didn't want to talk much on the subject, there's one more big thing, I want to see the ghost bride, the red knight is no small thing, and you and I both know how much of a tragedy it can be once it's out of balance in the city, Yen Zhoui had been following along, and Zhao Yi told her to show herself out as the temperature in the parlor plummeted to below zero, the shadow looked at it excitedly for a few moments, and when he wanted to open his mouth to speak, Zhao Yi had already thrown the ancient coin that had shattered into two pieces, placing it in the palm of his hand and observing it for a long while before letting out a long pout, indeed, it is something left behind by the previous Tianji sect master. Speak. Zhao Yi knew that Shadow knew a lot of secret stories and wanted to understand that blind old man as well. Shadow looked at the ancient coins into deep thought. The last Tianji door master named Liang Prain Yen. Born as blind orphans. But in a very short period of time will be the Tianji art comprehension to the extreme depth of the realm of the dozen or so door masters are unique. Half a lifetime to measure the mountains and rivers and the earth with their feet. Leaving an unknown number of the road after the hand. For the stability of the great summer set up a hefty credit, but unfortunately 60 years ago, he passed away. I have a doubt. Zhao Yi perceived a doubt from the shadow's words. You said that Liang Qinian was born as a blind orphan, so how did he join the Tianji sect, and how did he comprehend the Tianji technique to an extremely deep state? This should be considered the inheritance of the Tianji sect. The shadow replied, Tianji sect is a cursed sect, seeing through fate but being tormented by it, none of them can end well. None of the sect members will have offspring, or else they will have to bear a serious price, and even if they are born, they will die miserably, and whenever the old sect master has to pass away, he will be led in the underworld to find the candidate for the next sect master, and then I don't know what means will be used to make the next sect master to penetrate the heavenly chance technique in a very short period of time, Zhao Yi thought for a moment, thinking of the textbook Tibetan Buddhism, the choice of reincarnation spirit child, seems to have a few similarities and differences since it's a backhand left behind by the previous sect master, there must be no problem, the shadow returned the ancient coins and spoke highly of Liang Prayer Nin, picking up the black pamphlet on the table and handing it with both hands to Zhao Yi who was lost in thought, Zhao Yi took it and it sunk into his hand, what comes to mind is the five mountains on the front, with their lofty peaks close together, symbolizing steadfastness and stability, on the back is a sky of stars illuminating the night, a determination to keep the faith, there were only a few simple pages inside, with Zhao Yi's picture pasted at the top, and Shadow resting his hands on his cheeks, welcome to becoming a member of the Night's Watch, from now on your identity is encrypted at the highest level, and at the same time the Night's Watch in the East Mountain Province is under your command, he then gave an account number and password, and after logging in, he could check how many points he had, as well as redeem the supplies in the treasure trove, Zhao Yi took a general look, the accumulation was indeed very huge, decades of eliminating clans, as well as mining from relics and tombs, the ancients had left behind a lot of good things, there were 75 magic weapons alone, and 5 of them were ranked as top quality, in addition to the magic weapon is a strange treasure, there are all kinds of ancient martial arts and arts manuscripts, just take out a book, can start a sect, then there are those that only have pictures and only a few lines of information, and the department hasn't been able to figure out what the heck they are, Zhao Yi believes that what he saw was just the tip of the iceberg, the real gems are definitely not open to the public, or to a higher level of the night watchman, but he also saw a lot of heartwarming curiosities, basically will not circulate to the market, as long as the appearance of the, it's a shame he could only pick two, or he could get rich, although it can also be redeemed with points, but it can easily be a few thousand tens of thousands, Zhao Wuji has been a pawn for most of his life and has only saved more than 2000 points, but that's okay, there's plenty of opportunity, I'll take the dried up seeds in a cloth bag, versus a plain looking wooden whip, Zhao Yi quickly made a decision, and Shadow Stiff Tone, finally appeared to change, with more than a hint of human flavor, both items were unexpected, 
Can you tell us what it was about? The shadow saw the two items that Jowie had chosen. One with 6,000 points and one with 9,000 points. That one dried up seed in a cloth bag. The vigilantes had gotten it 10 years ago from an unimaginably large tomb, and it failed to make it take root in 10 years by all means. The wooden whip is the same as with the dried seed, from the same tomb, and even the morning glory ranked vigilantes have gotten their hands on it, unable to find any traces of refining, and finding that it has no other effect than being exceptionally hard. The identity of the main tomb owner was too great, so even if it had no value, the points to be redeemed were still astronomical. What really made Shadow curious was that the two items were far apart and the introduction was only a few simple sentences. To say that Jowy didn't see something fishy, Fong Yu, the nerd, could see that there was something fishy. Sure, Jowy spread a smile. Let me choose a few more and I'll tell you for free. Cut. Shadow spit out a word. The lion is also too big to open his mouth. And then white whoring a few pieces. The department has to lose money to death. Two things add up to 15,000 points. Alabaster level vigilantes take it out of the flesh, wait a little while, almost 10 minutes, that is, in the past 7 or 8 minutes, there was another identical shadow, passing through the thick wall, carrying a box in each of his left and right hands, and placing it in front of Zhaoyi, the things have been brought, let's talk some more, both shadows opened their mouths at the same time, at exactly the same frequency, Zhao Wuji told me that you know the location of the soul regeneration sex lair as well as killing dozens of Bay County dudes in passing when you were clearing out of the Fukuro Lai Hotel. So did you also know? From them, the names of quite a few renegade sects. Vigilante sector is really unexpected. Immediately adjacent to the south ridge of several counties, actually have been nibbled so seriously, if not timely control, brewing the consequences of unimaginable. But it's understandable when you think about it deeply. East Mountain, South Ridge, West River, North Plains, the four provinces that bordered each other in the Dasha territory constructed a vast territory with a total population that added up to more than 500 million people. One of the most economically developed is the Northern Plains, which is close to the capital, East Mountain Province and West River Province. One relies on the mountain to eat mines, the other relies on the river to eat harbor, but also similar. On the contrary, the South Ridge is mostly a continuous piece of worthless short mountains. The climate is always covered with poisonous miasma. Birds are difficult so it has become the hiding place of the evil sex of demons. Looking at the hesitant Jowi, the shadow immediately guessed what he was thinking, and opened his mouth first to block it. Treasure trove your stuff as don't think about it. Besides, you're a member of the Night's Watch. What's wrong with making some contribution? Hey, Jowi was happy. Don't bully me for being shallow in the field. But Elder Zhao has all but said that the Night Watchman isn't Yang Bailao. As long as there's a contribution, there has to be a reward. Not to mention the fact that I'm opening my mouth to a clan's lair, and a list involving thousands of individuals. Five points for a person's name. No offense, right? Both shadows stared at Jowie. From just a few dozen dudes, there were actually thousands of them. Something had to be done in time, while reaching out to rub his forehead. Anyway, don't think about the stuff in the treasury, I can think of a way to do the rest. He realized that Jowie was too cocky and didn't know which immortal he had enshrined. Knowing more information than even the vigilantes department, if he was left to take it, maybe all those goodies would have to be picked away. Is that true? Zhao Yi's eyes lit up. Having a substitute was fine. Seeing Shadow nod, he said, I want 10 cruise missiles. The Shadow clearly had no five senses, but he could tell that he was horrified, and was a bit in disbelief of his own ears. But he looked at Zhao Yi's serious expression before he said in a stiff tone, What do you want that for? Cruise missiles are weapons with strong surprise capabilities, high strike accuracy and flexible launching methods. And even the most common blaster warheads can create a 10 meter square exclusion zone. Stuff that's only used in the military sector. The vigilante sector really doesn't have it. The main thing is also did not expect. Actually will be someone choose. With intercontinental missiles defense. To how to carry around. The enemy C are going to run away in fear. And 10 is too much. There is a kind of food market to buy the feeling of eggs. Defense. Jawi acted honestly and really used it for self-defense. He got the jade pure bottle. Enough to fit a cruise missile. Keep his as a base card. Even if he meets a martial saint. While he is not paying attention. A low version of the equality of all living beings thrown out. Not to die. But also have to take off a few layers of skin. There was a half minute of silence before Shadow finally stammered. I need to apply to my superiors. It's all out of the realm of authority. After saying that and not giving Zhaoyi a chance to speak. The two shadows dissipated in the parlor at the same time. As if they had never appeared. Jawi confirmed that the shadow had truly disappeared before opening the two boxes on the table. On the left lay a small bag of seeds, about 20 or 30 of them, appearing a ghostly blue color in the sunlight. 
all of them slightly shriveled because they had been stored for too long. On the right is about three feet of wooden whip, although it is wooden, into the hand is a hundred times heavier than the metal, at least there must be hundreds of pounds of weight, the whole body shows grey-brown, there is a kind of indescribable subtle chi, it was more like an unopened heavy sword than a wooden whip, Yin Zhou Yi, the ghost bride next to her, watched quietly and subconsciously felt uncomfortable when her eyes landed on the wooden whip, this thing seemed to be able to hit her hard, Zhao Yi examined the wooden whip and then looked at Yin Zhou Yi, legend has it that Zhang Zia, during the time of the feudal gods, had an endlessly powerful god striking whip that specialized in attacking the souls of his enemies, whether or not Zhang Zia exists remains to be proven, but this one is a true god striking whip, it's a branch of an ancient tree that is rare in the world, and even though it hasn't undergone any refining, it contains the mysteries of heaven and earth and endless mana, born and made to fight for the soul, Zhao Yi felt that this whip are beyond the category of magic treasure, for him are invaluable treasure, regardless of the realm of the highest practitioners, the soul touches the whip of the god are afraid, if you encounter the white-browed old ape, a whip down on the soul, Yen Zhou's eyes showed curiosity, she had heard the story of Zhang Zia when she was a child, and even more so, she knew how powerful the god striking whip was, but, is, but why didn't they recognize it, that's what you're asking right, Zhao Yi voiced out Yen Zhou Yi's question and followed it up with an explanation, of course they guessed it, but in order to catalyze this whip to exert its divine power, it must be catalyzed with the appropriate mind techniques, otherwise it's just a piece of incomparably hardened scrap metal, the vigilante sector didn't get the heart technique from the tomb and didn't make a breakthrough even after 10 years of painstaking research, as for why it was put in the treasure trove, Zhao Yi guessed that it was not possible to study it anyway, so it simply acted as a facade, so hard that it was almost unbreakable, and was very suitable for knocking on the door, that little bag of seeds is even more extraordinary, it really is counted as picking up a big leak, 